Chapter 1, The Beginning of a Shabby Temple This chapter is updated by Novels.pl The skies were blue, and the clouds milky white. There were green mountains, clear blue water with a light breeze, and the setting sun in the background. Ningf was lying on the grass as he watched the clouds float by. He was feeling relaxed and content. His master had left three days ago, but before he did, he left Ning for letter. His master stated that he wanted to roam and explore the world. From today onward, Ning would become the master of Light Breeze Temple. What nonsense is he talking? Roaming the world? He is obviously just shirking his responsibilities. Ning swore and cursed after he read the letter. Light Breeze Temple had only two priests, so being the master was of no significance at all. His master decreed that he was the deputy master of the temple. Light Breeze Temple was located amongst mountains, and the mountains covered a huge stretch of land. One could hardly see the end of the land, and there were many families scattered around. Ning grew up at the temple, and he led a disciplined lifestyle. He woke up at 6 a.m. every morning, and he would begin his day by reading and reciting scriptures and classics. Then he would do all sorts of chores or practice martial arts. At night, he would do more revision, and the cycle repeated itself every day. However, his master was rather insistent about his cultural upbringing. When Ning reached a suitable age, he attended lessons at a school for the poor. He always wore a priest's robes, so everyone gave him an affectionate nickname, Little Priest. He was clever, and his results were excellent. Several students from different universities who taught at the school often praised him. Furthermore, Ningf had always been good looking and delicate. A few female teachers offered to bring him to an urban city to make a living there. Of course, he had declined. His master had told him that he was the 38th master of Light Breeze Temple and the only one left in his generation. If he were to leave, what would happen to Light Breeze Temple? Ningf's eyes swiveled around the shabby courtyard as he took in the sight of the peeling paint and cracks in the walls. And a sense of heavy responsibility took over him at that point in time. He went to high school and then proceeded to senior high school. With his intelligence and outstanding grades, he managed to enroll in a major university in the capital city. He considered himself to have enjoyed a pretty good life. And now, his master had summoned him back after he had graduated from university. He was to become the master of Light Breeze Temple. Life is pretty good, but something seems to be missing. Ningf mumbled to himself. He rather enjoyed and preferred a relaxed and laid-back lifestyle. The mountains were blooming with life and the rivers were clean. He would be able to survive here. The mountain was far away from the city's noise, and there would be no cold steel structures confining and stifling him. But he still felt that something was missing. Was it pleasure or joy? Ding! The state of the host's body is normal. Would you like to activate the outdoor live stream system? A voice rang inside of Ningf's head at this time. System. A flash of astonishment struck Ningf. Such a thing really existed. He had read plenty of books, and he knew what a system was. Begin. Ningf naturally chose to begin. Ding. The outdoor live stream system has begun. Now scanning host for information. Extracting information. The name of the host is Ningf. Strength is 13. An ordinary person's level of strength was 10. Agility is 13. An ordinary person's level of agility was 10. Endurance is 12. An ordinary person's level of endurance was 10. Current popularity is 0. His strength, agility, and endurance were stronger than a normal person's, and it was due to him practicing martial arts since he was a child. As for his popularity and skills, this information was somewhat illuminating and glaringly obvious. This was interesting. Ding! Would the host like to use the reward for beginners? The system's voice echoed again. A beginner's reward. It had indeed appeared. The system should have gift packages for beginners like what the novels had promised. Use it? Ningf replied calmly. Ding! Congratulations to the host for receiving the gifts which consists of a set of webcasting equipment, a phone, a smart drone that can be charged using solar energy, a tripod for the phone, and a remote control. The system's voice rang again. A second later, 
all the equipment landed at Ningf's feet. The phone was the latest model and cost around 13,000 yuan one. It was so much better than his current phone that had cost 1,000 yuan two. He had had no choice as he was really penniless. The drone was entirely black and had four propellers. The drone felt heavy as Ningf held it in his hand. It seemed very sturdy and stable. It was another expensive item. There was even a video camera mounted under the drone. Ningf had no great knowledge of cameras, but he hazarded a guess that it was an expensive one. System, other than these, what else do you have? What can I get from doing a webcast? Ning asked again. To answer the host's question, you can gain popularity points through webcasts, and then you can enter a lucky draw with them. The lucky draws are categorized into silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and divine. They require 1000, 10,000, 100,000 and 1 million popularity points respectively. You can receive skills and equipment from the lucky draws, the system answered. As expected, there are lucky draws, Ningf muttered to himself. That was the purpose of a system. Ningf clicked on the screen of his phone and realized that there was a downloaded app named Battling Birds webcast platform. He even had an account already registered to him. His account was 999,999. There were six nines. A flash of astonishment and wonder struck Ningf. The number nine was the biggest ultimate number in the universe. Incredibly, the system had given him such a powerful account, and Battling Birds webcast platform had even agreed to it. Of course, this had nothing to do with him. Since he already had both the app and the platform, all he had to do was to start the webcast. He began to fiddle with the drone and its buttons. He also used the remote control to operate the drone and it began to rise shakily into the air. The drone had a function where it would follow the user automatically. Ningf decided to select that option as it would save him the hassle of operating it manually. After he propped up the phone on the tripod, he tidied up the area behind him a little. After a few more tries, he realized that he could change viewpoints. He could choose to either display the captured images from his phone or from the drone seamlessly. In doing so, he could show either a close-up of himself or the entire view of his background. This method of webcasting was advanced and clever. Ningf inhaled deeply. Everything was ready, except for the webcast. At the thought of this, he extended his finger and pressed the button. Chapter 2, Revealing One's Face. What a handsome webcaster. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf's first webcast began. He felt quite awkward as he watched himself on the screen. He glanced at the number of viewers on the app, zero. This was his first webcast, and naturally, he would have no viewers. Someone had once talked for eight hours, and by the end of the webcast, there were zero viewers. People often claimed that online celebrities earned a lot of money but what they were referring to were those popular ones or those who worked in a team. Usually, before his or her first webcast, an aspiring, hopeful amateur would enlist the help of people to create some hype by taking videos, or perhaps they would choose to create parodies or something sentimental, or he or she would make a flamboyant display of themselves to attract and accumulate viewers to watch their webcast. In the case of Ningf, who began his webcast right away, it was certain that he would have no viewers. Ningf had already named his webcast room Light Breeze Temple's webcast room. He contemplated for a while as he thought of what he should perform. He had watched webcasts before, and they mainly were focused on games or competitions. Occasionally, he had chanced upon one or two pretty webcasters doing a sexy dance or performing a ballad. Forget it, I should be myself. If I do something that is too deliberate, I would be lost and awkward. Ningf shrugged to himself. Taoist priests were particular about genuineness. Thus, he set the webcast display to the view from the drone. He then chose the option of the drone tailing him automatically and began with his tasks. The structure of Light Breeze Temple was simple. There was a flight of stairs made of limestone. It was 5 meters wide and spanned 18 stories. This flight of stairs had weathered storms and the blazing sun and was beginning to darken. Trees lined both sides of the stairs, and the bottom steps, which were in the shadow of the trees, had moss growing all over them. The stairs looked primitive and were considered the facade of this shabby temple. After climbing them, 
one would arrive at a dilapidated looking courtyard. There was a signboard that had almost been corroded by the harsh weather containing three big words written in Chinese calligraphy. Light Breeze Temple. Ning had just eaten his dinner, and according to his usual routine, it was time for him to retire for the night. He had nothing to do, so he took out the wooden sword that he usually used for practice every day. Real martial arts weren't anything like what was described in martial arts novels. In real life, Wielding a sword didn't actually look that formidable, neither could it slice a path to the underworld nor open a path to the heavens. If Ning had to describe his style of martial arts, it would look more like those old masters in the park who practiced with a sword. His movements were slow, but every move was correct and exact. Every move he made seemed as though he had naturally blended with earth and heaven. At this time, Ning hadn't noticed that the number of viewers was rapidly increasing. The numbers rose from 6 to 52, to 231, and then 320. In just a matter of minutes, the number of viewers had surged past 300. Someone even began to post comments. What is this place? The surroundings look nice. It looks like a temple. Oh let me see. Light Breeze Temple's webcast room? What the? Do real priests even exist nowadays? He has to be a fraud. Don't come to a conclusion so quickly. The priest's movements look legitimate, and he does exude charm. This is strange. His moves resemble those old men at the park. But why is it such an enjoyment watching him perform? I'm curious what this priest looks like. And so, the number of viewers who watched Ningf's webcast rose substantially. The drone acted as though it possessed artificial intelligence as it would very quickly find the perfect angle to film. It descended and captured both Ningf and the setting sun in a frame. A priest in his robes, against the setting sun, engrossed and absorbed in his training. The scene was beautiful. It gave off the aura of an 80s martial arts film with him as the noble swordsman. The viewers were simply amazed as they were too used to watching female webcasters doing seductive and coquettish poses while addressing their viewers as hubby and darling. The viewers had also gotten used to false pretenses behind the screen. This refreshing and refined way of live streaming was new to them and they had never experienced anything like it before. Someone even began to record the webcast. What the? I've been watching for almost 15 minutes. And I'm still enjoying it. To the person in front, I've been watching for more than 20 minutes. This webcaster is simply incredible. This place doesn't look fake. I've lived near a mountain before and this place is definitely tucked in the depths of a mountain. Impressive. I want to reward this webcaster by giving 100 bird pellets. Same. I'm giving 200 bird pellets. Life in urban cities was fast paced and stressful, especially for the young generation. Thus, they watched these live stream shows to unwind and relax. Some preferred to watch games, while others enjoyed watching female hosts or eating or singing shows. All they wanted was to pass the time in enjoyment. The audience soon realized that watching Ningf practicing with his sword had given them a sense of calmness. This was simply indescribable. Thirty minutes later, Ning finished his sword practice. It's been a long time since I've practiced. My skills have gone rusty. Ningf wiped his perspiration off his forehead. Although practicing movements with a sword was slow, and unlike vigorous exercises, it wouldn't leave him panting for breath. But if he wanted to display every move with precision and beauty, it would indeed tire him out. Ningf recalled that he was still in the midst of a webcast, so he picked up the phone to switch it off before resting. However, he realized with a jolt of shock that he had 1000 viewers in his webcast room. He had that many. Ningf was perplexed. At this time, the screen fully captured Ningf's face closely, and the viewers saw how he looked. And the comments rushed in like violent waves. Oh god. The host is so good looking. Is he also one of those hosts who live off their looks? He has revealed his face. I thought he would do that only when he had 10,000 viewers. He looks so refreshing. Are all young priests so handsome these days? The sword practice was fantastic. Can you do it again? Wow. I've unearthed a treasure. Did he beautify his looks? I would still accept him even if he had indeed beautified his looks. Look at the beads of perspiration on his face closely. It's too real. He definitely didn't do anything. Ning freed the comments. He merely shrugged as he had nothing to say about his looks. To put it simply, 
he had received hundreds of love letters since he was a boy. In university, he was also considered the school prince, and there were indeed throngs of girls who tried to woo him. Hello, everyone. I'm the 28th master of Light Breeze Temple. My name is Ningth, and I'm 22 years old. Welcome to my webcast room. This is the first time I'm doing a live stream show. I don't have any experience, so I want to thank all of you for your support. Today, I shall introduce my temple to everyone. Ningth waved his hands as he introduced himself. His voice was masculine and manly, and it attracted a wave of enthusiastic responses from the viewers. Ningth had no idea what he should say next. Now that there were more than a thousand people watching him, he was rather uncomfortable. Therefore, he switched the camera view from his phones to the drones. The drone flew behind him as he walked towards Light Breeze Temple. Chapter 3 what the is that a panda? This chapter is updated by novels.pl. This is the Hall of Purity. Over the years, it has become old and shabby. Ningth pointed to the hall in front of him as he spoke. The hall was indeed shabby looking as the red paint on the wooden doors and window frames had faded, revealing the yellowish rotten wood underneath. But the viewers were observant enough to discover that the Hall of Purity was nonetheless clean. There wasn't a speck of dust to be seen in sight. Even the incense burners on the table were placed neatly. The incense ashes in the burners had also been removed. After that, Ningth introduced the dormitory, garden, bamboo forest, well, and fruit trees to the viewers. Even though Light Breeze Temple was a temple, other than the Hall of Purity, it resembled an ordinary peasant family house or farm. The traditional Taoists could be categorized into two clans, the Quainzan clan and the Zengi clan. However, Light Breeze Temple belonged to neither and was simply labeled as a hidden clan. A hidden clan didn't have that many rules or traditions and, in a sense, was less conventional. They emphasized more on continuing their legacy and on life. The clan's belief was in one's heart. This is my temple. If I include the area of the dormitory, it's only about 2,000 square meters, concluded Ningf. After he finished talking, a wave of ardent discussion broke out amongst the viewers. Only, does the webcaster not understand how large 2,000 square meters is? 2,000 square meters is incredible. How I envy him. My rented apartment is merely a pathetic 40 square meter space and I have to share a toilet. What the? Did my eyes fail me? His courtyard is huge. May I ask what kind of bamboo have you planted? Why are the bamboos so tall? The viewers exploded with questions, causing a commotion. Ningth glanced at the time, and it was nearly 9.00 pm. It had already turned dark. There weren't any lights in the temple, but it wasn't because they wanted to save electricity. It was merely common knowledge to anyone who lived in the mountains that there were too many bugs. Other than the bugs and mosquitoes, there was an endless number of moths flying around. The situation wasn't that bad without light. If there was a source of light, the ground would be covered with dead moths the next morning. It's getting late, so I'll end the live stream now. From tomorrow onward. I'll be starting the live stream from 9 in the morning until 9 at night. Thank you for watching. Ning waved at the screen on his phone. No, little brother, let me watch you for a while longer. This host is quite interesting. He ended the session after a mere two hours. I'm totally his fan. Let me subscribe to him and see what he is going to show tomorrow. Is this a real Taoist temple? Let me research it on Baidu. 1. Many of the viewers bade him goodbye reluctantly. Ning fended the live stream and then checked on the webcast statistics. There were a total of 2,623 viewers, and 184 had subscribed to his channel. 13 had rewarded him. These results were great and encouraging for an amateur like him, who had only live streamed for two hours. Certainly. His good looks and his identity as a priest had indeed attracted many. Ningf also checked on the popularity level with the system. He had accumulated 942 points. System, how do you calculate the popularity? Ningf asked out of curiosity. Answering the host's question now. The popularity level is calculated based on how much the viewers had liked the host. To put it simply. One point is the lowest a viewer can give. Ten points mean that the host is well liked by the viewer. If someone gives you fifty, he or she is your die-hard fan, the system answered. Oh, I see.
Ningth nodded in response. The lowest a fan could give was one popularity point, and they could also give more than 50 points. To think that he had garnered more than 900 popularity points. At this time, the system's voice echoed again. Ding. Congratulations to host for completing his first webcast. Your reward is an insect repelling incense. This incense will protect the temple from being attacked by bugs and pests. What the? An insect repelling incense? Ningf's eyes literally lit up at the announcement. What was the thing that everyone was afraid of in the mountains? It was definitely insects. The insects in summer put everyone in agony and suffering. There was a particular type of black and white mosquito in the city that had left many there suffering. Yet, this mosquito was nothing compared to the mosquitoes in the mountains. The mosquitoes in the mountains were poisonous. There was another type of mosquito that was very tiny, so not even a mosquito net could deter it from entering. It fed viciously on human blood, but for the people who had resided for a long time in the mountains, they were somewhat immune to it. For tourists or people who were new to the mountains, they would be bitten until they cried. So this insect repelling incense was practically a treasure. The insect repelling incense resembled a luminous pearl. Ningf placed it behind the statue in the Hall of Purity. Instantly, the whole temple turned silent. Even the sound of crickets gradually disappeared. It seemed as though an invisible shield had cloaked Light Breeze Temple and stopped the insects from entering. Finally I can get a good night of sleep. Ningf stretched his arms before he began to clean up the hall. After he was done, he went to his room. Early next morning, Ningf woke up and made breakfast. As usual, he studied and read. At 9.00 am, he began his webcast. In the mornings, people were usually busier, and hardly anyone would watch live streams. The number of viewers was usually slightly more than a hundred even after a few hours. However, Ningf was nonchalant about that. He continued his daily routine of tidying the garden and left the webcast on the drone view. The garden was located in the courtyard and divided into several areas. He had planted cucumbers, tomatoes, coriander, and leeks. Ningf was busy plucking the weeds and spreading fertilizer. It was a beautiful scene, and the main factor why was the mountain scenery. At a glance, it was green and lush everywhere. A priest worked beneath the fluffy clouds and blue skies and this side wasn't something that one could see in the city. Dot. Wang Chi worked in an office, and he was feeling bored at work, so he took out his phone and placed it discreetly on his desk. He began to watch a webcast show. He continued to act as though he had been working hard. It was common to see this sort of behavior in the workplace. Even when one had nothing to do, he or she would still have to act as though he or she was busy. Watching live streams was a good way to pass the time. One could turn off the show and leave at any time if he or she was bored. Today, Wang Chi clicked on an outdoorsy webcast. Light Breeze Temple webcast room? Are there any real priests left in the world? He was curious, so he clicked on the video. He saw a priest working hard in the vegetable garden with a background of cloudy blue skies. That scene perfectly embodied the essence of nature. Most outdoor webcasters filmed themselves either fishing or embarking on an adventure. Some might even resort to wild and excessive activities to attract viewers. Yet this webcaster chose to pluck weeds. Wang Chi glanced at the number of viewers. There were more than a thousand. Were they crazy or bored? After a while, Wang Chi began to understand the beauty of the show. Most outdoor webcasters merely put on a show for the sake of attracting viewers. But in reality, what viewers really yearned for was to watch someone else's actual life. Ningf's webcast show was indeed authentic. The drone would occasionally feature a close-up of Ningf's face. This young priest was indeed good-looking. Wang Chi felt relaxed and content as he watched the webcast. At this time, he caught something moving in the bamboo forest next to the vegetable garden. It looked as though there was a person. When the drone flew further away to capture the entire view, Wang Chi was shocked. He rubbed his eyes to make sure that he wasn't seeing things. His voice echoed in the entire office. What the? Is that a panda? Chapter 4 an explosion of popularity. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. The comments section erupted. Damn it. It's really a panda. This priest is simply too amazing. How did he manage to rear a panda? Fook. This is truly an eye-opener. How can an outdoor live stream feature a panda? Damn it. Priest, 
your panda is on the loose. This priest is too composed. Judging from the panda's excellent size, it is an adult. From the screen, everyone could see clearly how the huge panda, which stood as tall as 1.6 meters, was happily feasting on the bamboo in the forest. Ning heard the sounds and hurriedly stood up to take a look. What the? My bamboo. Stop eating. Ning became anxious when he saw the panda eating the bamboo. The bamboo was a type of extremely expensive and special bamboo named Inky Cloud Bamboo. It could be used to make musical instruments that fetched a high price. When the Inky Cloud Bamboo was roasted over fire, the juice that was produced was a kind of valuable and precious herbal medicine, which could be used to treat lung related ailments. Ningf had pinned his hopes on this bamboo forest to improve the quality of his life. In the end, the bamboo forest which he had painstakingly taken care of, was being destroyed by this panda. Ningf picked up the trowel which he was using just now, and he rushed towards the huge panda in a rage. What is the priest doing? Is he going to hit the panda? Priest versus panda. This is interesting. Brother. That is a national treasure. Since the live stream is still ongoing. Let's take a photo of this. The comments surged in quickly. Ningf stopped by the edge of the forest and watched as the panda munched on the bamboo. He was on the brink of tears. It was a national treasure, and according to the law, there was nothing he could do to the panda unless the panda provoked him intentionally or his life was threatened. If not, he couldn't do anything to the panda. Besides, using violence was a problem too. If he won, he would be imprisoned. If he lost, he might end up as the panda's dessert. One shouldn't underestimate the adorable appearance of a panda. It was after all a bear. In ancient times, Caillou, a mythological warrior, rode a panda to war. A panda's strength and its bite were incredible. A tame panda reared by humans might not be as dangerous, but even a tiger wouldn't dare to provoke a wild panda like this one. Under these circumstances, Ningf could only try to persuade it, Master Panda. I think you have eaten enough, don't you think it's time to leave? This bamboo is too tough, and it's not nice to eat. There is a green jade forest in the south. Why don't you head there? Brother, stop eating. Despite Nymph's pleas, the panda continued to sit on the ground, looking mightily calm and composed. It munched on the bamboo as it watched him. It was very arrogant. At this moment, the screen was filled with incoming comments. Ha ha ha. This priest is really pitiful. I want to laugh at him. What should I do? Awesome. So he didn't rear this panda. Host, it should be addressed as Grand Master Panda. You should wait upon it. It's after all just a bamboo forest. Excuse me. I think that bamboo is called Inky Cloud Bamboo. It needs years to grow, and each shoot can fetch at least a thousand yuan one. This entire forest should be worth at least one hundred thousand yuan two. What? One hundred thousand yuan? What in hell? Is bamboo that expensive? I'm not kidding. My family is in the traditional medicine business. Inky Cloud Bamboo is exceedingly expensive. Ha ha ha. No wonder the priest looks so heartbroken. The viewers were all having a fervent discussion. Perhaps everyone felt pity for Ningf, and within seconds, his webcast room was filled with gifts. Most of the viewers gave him bird pellets, while some even used their card to give him money. A rich boss even gave him 10 rockets that could be exchanged for money. Every rocket was worth 500 yuan. Ningf's webcast room was gaining popularity swiftly and he soon had 50,000 viewers. This was just the beginning. After all, how could one disrespect the national treasure of China? The management of the Battling Birds webcast platform soon discovered that an amateur webcaster had gained immense popularity. One of them clicked into the video and was stumped for words. What the hell? How dare someone feature a panda? Is he trying to get banned? After he read the comments, he finally understood what was going on. So a wild panda had trespassed into the temple's territory and was eating the host's bamboo. The priest was just trying to get the panda to leave. This was a good story. A wild panda had trespassed into a household. No rules were broken. The management realized that this new webcaster had joined just a day ago and he hadn't yet signed a contract with Battling Birds webcast platform. Withholding his judgment, he was soon shocked by the name of this webcast room. When did a new webcaster have such a random yet excellent name? At this time, 
Another employee from Battling Birds webcast platform also discovered Ninth's webcast room. They had to filter strictly before signing a contract with any of the webcasters. There were simply too many webcasters, as anyone could choose to do so. However, very few would manage to land a contract. The management had to first do a thorough consideration regarding a webcaster's ability to draw in viewers. Their appearances, how they talked, their style and class and the content of their live stream shows, all were factors. Without any surprise, they instantly contacted Ninth to sign him on. At the same time when the panda had appeared, many of the viewers went to other webcast rooms to promote Ninth, and so, Ninth's webcast room exploded in popularity. However, he didn't have the time and energy to pay attention to that. Every bamboo shoot that the huge panduette had caused his heart to bleed. He and his master had planted these inky cloud bamboo painstakingly. He needed them to earn money. In less than a month, the bamboos would all have been fully grown. Yet, a thief had gotten its hands on them instead. And unfortunately, there was nothing he could do. After eating several more bamboo shoots, the panda seemed to be full. It stood up and with its plump buttocks swaying, it left. Ninth watched as the panda ambled away, and he felt a gust of cold and miserable wind blowing against him. He glanced at the bamboo forest again and saw that the panda had eaten nearly a quarter of it. He had lost almost 20,000 yuan. Ha ha ha. The back view of the priest looks so dismal and bleak. At this time, I feel that the accompanying music should be the song with the lyrics of snowflakes drifting. The north wind is cold. This is interesting. I like this priest. This is the first time I've ever seen someone trying to talk reason with a panda. Helplessly, Ninth began to clear the crime scene as he tidied the bamboo forest. After that, it was nearly afternoon and time for lunch. He suddenly remembered that the webcast was still ongoing. He took out his phone to have a look. For a moment, he suspected that his eyes had played a trick on him. The number of viewers was 110,000. The comments were filled with praises such as the priest is so handsome, you're awesome. And I'm sending you a rocket. Ninth was stunned. A panda could attract so many viewers. The mountain was near the rivers, and wild pandas would often trespass the farmers' houses. The village head had already made it clear that if anyone spotted a panda, they should ignore it and avoid any confrontation with it. If not, one should wait upon it, and any losses would be borne by the village. However, Ninth knew that the village head had a cap of 500 yuan for the compensation. For a loss of 20,000 yuan, it would be futile to look for the village head. Thank you everyone for your support, Ninth said to the screen. Ninth clicked into the app to check on his earnings and he soon discovered that he had earned more than 6,000 yuan. He had merely started the live stream in the morning, and he had earned 6,000 yuan. This money seemed quite effortless. Actually, the sum of money was correct. That boss had given him 10 rockets, which was worth 5,000 yuan. He had also received rockets and gifts from others. Although the panduette 20,000 yuan worth of bamboos, the advertising effect it brought was far more effective than what he could have gotten if he had used the money to advertise himself. At this time, Ning realized that this saying was right. There was no wheel without woe. Fortune and misfortune depended mutually on each other. At the thought of this, his mood had lightened up. Ning glanced at the statistics, and he saw that his popularity had reached 6,300 points. He was qualified to enter the lucky draw system. Give me two silver lucky draws. Ninth said quietly in his heart. The lucky draws were categorized into categories of silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and divine. The higher the level, the better the prizes were. So he didn't want to waste too many of his popularity points. Ding. Host has requested the silver lucky draw. As this is the first time that the host is entering the lucky draw. The chances of getting a prize is higher. Congratulations to host for winning the skill of angling. It's the basic level. In the midst of the luck draw. Congratulations to host for winning some equipment. It's 10 fish baits. Chapter 5. Shocking mongrel with muscles. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. The skill of angling, basic level, would increase the host's probability of catching a fish. The fish baits were the ordinary kind. But the seven star fish seemed to love them. Seven star fish. At the sight of the bait's introduction, Ninth was overjoyed. There was a small river near the temple. 
The river came from the top of the mountains, and there wasn't any pollution. Its water was exceedingly clear. Thus, a fish like the seven star fish, which demanded a certain high quality of water, could survive. The seven star fish was a freshwater fish, which had a high economic value. It held the title of a gem among fishes as it was highly nutritious and its flesh was tender and fresh. It was also high in protein and low in fat. It was a good tonic as it could dispel internal heat and detoxify toxins. And most importantly, it was valuable. However, it was hard to catch a seven star fish in the river. There were many kinds of fishes in the river, and all of them were exceptionally smart. None would fall for a bit so easily. Today I'm going to eat fish for lunch. And in the afternoon, we'll go fishing. Let me show you my skills. Ning waved at the screen to his viewers. He took out the last fish from the refrigerator, he cleaned it properly before he marinated it with salt. Then he steamed the fish and drenched it with a sauce and some garlic. Finally, he stewed it. All of his viewers were simply stunned for words. Wow, priest, you are skilled. I'm hungry. The way you cooked was simply too yummy. Unparalleled, priest, can you eat meat, or kill a living thing? Many viewers were asking. Ningf would occasionally glance at the screen while he cooked. When he saw someone asking the question, he explained. Priests do eat meat just like all of you. We do kill chickens, ducks, fish, pigs, and other livestock. However, we do have our four commandments. The four animals we can't eat are ox, dog, snakehead fish and swan goose. We can't eat cows because the mount of the founder of Taoism, Lao Tzu, was an ox. Oxen work for humans willingly, so we don't eat them out of benevolence and righteousness. Dogs represent loyalty, so I shall not explain further. After laying eggs, a female snakehead fish is very weak. The little fish fry would swim to their mommy snakehead fish's mouth so that she could alleviate her hunger. This is filial piety, so we can't eat them. As for the swan goose, it represents steadfast love. Everyone knows that they have to thrive in pairs, and if one dies, the other will stay lonely till its death. So we can't eat swan goose either. Ningf explained patiently, and everyone had a newfound respect for him. Priest, I've been enlightened. This webcaster is awesome. Wow. So touching. I shall never eat beef again. Ningf continued to talk. Taoism emphasizes blending in with nature and respecting life. So we don't interfere with life and we have an indifferent attitude towards life and death. Someone interrupted at this moment. Yeah, many other religions keep talking about what happens after death, but only Taoism promotes what we should do while we are alive. That should be the right thing. Excuse me, can such a long comment be posted? One of the viewers asked. Time to pump in more money. Damn it. I thought I was at another live stream. Another wave of comments rushed in. After Ningf had finished cooking the fish and rice, he took out a plate of pickled vegetables and began to eat. He ate in a graceful manner. He wasn't like those people who munched on their food heartily, neither was his eating style like those who ate without a care for their appearance. The way he ate made everyone feel that the fish was delicious, because the fish was indeed delicious. Ningf had learned to cook since he was a boy. Although he had never learned professionally from a chef, nonetheless, he had understood the essence of cooking. The viewers' stomachs began to rumble at the sight of him eating. Someone commented in surprise asking why the outdoor webcast had suddenly turned into an eating show. Regardless of the theme, most importantly, the viewers had enjoyed themselves. Ningf raised his head and noticed a huge white cloud overhead. It was indeed a cloudy day. He tried to use his fingers to predict the weather but to no avail. So. He used his phone to check the weather forecast. It would be a cloudy day with no rain. Good. If it was a sunny day in the mountains, it would be very hot in the afternoon, so it wouldn't be wise to fish then. Otherwise, he would have had to fish early in the morning or later in the evening after the sun had set. But today was a cloudy day, and it was perfect for fishing. Let's go fishing today, and I'll show everyone. Ningf spoke to his viewers. Fishing? Other fish on the mountain? One of the viewers asked out of curiosity. Ningf noticed that comment and replied, Of course, there is a small river in the mountain, and the water that we use comes from there. We have to thank the government for their help. Last year, there was a project to render assistance to the poor. 
the management from the Water Conservancy and the Electricity Company came over. They helped the village to solve the long-term problem of having accessible drinking water. Ningf began to pack his fishing equipment as he talked. The fishing rod was ancient, but the quality was good. It was passed down from his master, and he had been using it for at least seven years. A decade ago, he had received a sum of money from an entrepreneur who wanted to fulfill a promise to the gods. And he finally made up his mind to get a fishing rod. He had no choice as the temple was truly poor. As a matter of fact, all Taoists were. Since ancient times, Taoist priests would live in seclusion in the mountains when times were peaceful. Only in times of turmoil would they appear to help and save people. It was after mid afternoon when Ningf had finished getting ready. He put on a straw hat with a pail slung over his shoulder. Next, he locked the door before he traipsed toward the river. The drone flew behind him, taking in the scenery as well. He had around 30,000 viewers currently. Priest, do you know how to fish? We hardly see anyone who begins a webcast right from the start. He truly knows how to fish. Yeah, most of the outdoor webcasters are frauds. They simply prepared the fish beforehand. Let's see how good this priest is at fishing. My wife is very strict, so I can only stay at home and watch others fish. There is no need to say more. If he manages to catch 10 fishes, I shall send him a gift. The screen kept refreshing with comments. Woof. At this time, a loud deafening bark sounded behind Ningf. All the viewers got a shock. What dog is that? It's so loud. Everyone was curious. The drone turned to capture both Ningf and the dog in the same frame. At the sight of them, most of the viewers' jaws dropped. Behind Ningf was a brownish-yellow mongrel, but it was unlike any common mongrel. Its muscles were all bulged together and it resembled a huge bulldog. Visually speaking, its size resembled the grey British bulldog in the cartoon, Tom and Jerry. Oh my, did this dog eat steroids? Damn it. Is that even a dog? Did this dog undergo any training? Or someone trained it? What the? I've never seen muscles on a mongrel before. Fabulous. Master Dog is formidable. I shall give Master Dog 1000 bird pellets. Amazing. The comments exploded once again. This webcaster was indeed unique. First, there was a wild panda who ate his bamboo. Next, a mongrel with muscles appeared. This was the day where everyone had seen something new. Chapter 6 Angling the King of Fishes. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Sunny. Nymph squatted as he rubbed Sunny's head. Sunny raised its head and shut its eyes, seemingly enjoying his touch. I don't have food for you. I'll feed you when I get back tonight. Ning flashed it a grin, and Sunny acted as though it had understood. It turned around and trod away lightly. Ningf glanced at his phone's screen and realized that everyone seemed very interested in the dog. So he explained. The dog's name is Sunny, and it has no owner. But everyone in the village knows it, and it has a very important status. There is a huge difference between a city and a village. A dog is a pet in the city, and it needs to be leashed. But over here, a dog is more of a companion who lives with us. However, every family has a dog, and these dogs will inevitably give birth to many wild dogs. The villagers are very friendly towards the wild dogs even though they are not theirs. The villagers will also feed these wild dogs. Sunny is rather special. Its father held the previous title of king of the dogs. All the dogs in the village listened to Sunny's father, and it had also protected the village. Once, there was a ferocious wolf that had entered one of the houses. There was a child alone inside. The king of the dogs rushed in and battled with the wild wolf. So, it saved the child's life although it sustained serious injuries too. When Sunny was a puppy, it always shadowed its father. Now that its father has passed on, Sunny became the leader of the wild dogs in the village. It has no home and would usually roam around the vicinity. I wanted to adopt it but it refused to step into the temple. Because of that, the other wild dogs would never step inside the temple either. As Ningf strolled leisurely, he chatted with the drone flying ahead of him. All of his viewers were touched by the story. Is there such an amazing dog in the village? Wow, I've always assumed that wild dogs were stupid. Excuse me, the commenter above me. Are you despising Chinese mongrels? Host. I'm sending you a rocket. Buy some food for Sunny. Me too. This gift is for Sunny. And true enough, many viewers had bestowed rewards. At the sight of the rewards, 
Ningf was amused. After doing a broadcast for hours, he had received nothing much. Sunny had merely made a brief appearance, and it had since received so many gifts. A dog was more valuable than a human. Certainly, Ningf's story had also touched the viewers' hearts. The city had too much noise and too many people. Thus, they were easily moved by simple stories like this. Ningf talked about and introduced the surroundings as he walked for half an hour. The mountain air was crisp and fresh, and the trees and grass were lush and green. Walking on the mountain path was a refreshing journey. Viewers who were watching the broadcast felt relaxed and content. Not long after that, the babbling sounds of the river sounded ahead. Ningf continued walking, and in no time, a wide river materialized before his eyes. The river flowed downward from the mountain, and the riverbed and riverbank were both naturally formed. There was no trace of any modern structure. The water in the river flowed slowly. Several gigantic natural rocks in the river had been polished by the water until they became smooth. The grass that lined the river was lush and green, and the entire scenery was like a painting. Oh my god! This place is too beautiful. Where is this place? I want to go. It seems comfortable and relaxing, but I don't think I would go. Everyone began to discuss again. Ning fumbled to the river and spotted someone. Uncle Jang, why are you so early? Ning waved with a warm smile. He placed his stool and his bucket on the grass and began to unpack his equipment. Ning, you're here to fish again? If you still can't catch a fish after a whole day like usual, just tell me. I'll give you two fishes, Chang Sen said warmly. Ningf shrugged, looking helpless. He pointed to the drone and said, Uncle Jang, I'm doing a live stream, so don't reveal this to others. Chang Sen glanced at the drone above, but he wasn't too surprised. Young people these days liked electronic gadgets, and he had spotted several people using them in the village. The viewers all cracked up with laughter when they heard him. So our webcaster can't fish. I thought he was an expert. He didn't catch a single fish after an entire day. Our host is such an amateur. Host, you can do it. I'm cheering you on. I used to dislike watching others fish. I just realized that fishing isn't the issue, but the person instead. Little brother, you're so handsome. Yeah. You're too good looking. This scene has satisfied my desire of watching a young man in the olden times. Ningf was still arranging his fishing equipment. He had no intention of using the special fish bait he had won from the lucky draw. He wanted to test his luck first. He had created this other fish bait himself after several experiments and trials. He had used barley, beans, corn, yeast, and fish protein and made a mixture. After putting the bait on his hook, he swung the rod violently, and it landed right in the middle of the river before it sank in. Judging from the distance, Ningf had thrown the bait at least 10 meters away. The way he had cast the fishing rod was full of explosive charm, and the level of precision was high, garnering praise from the viewers. Wow, look at his movement and precision. Who was the one who was mocking our host earlier? Indeed, I've been fishing for 7 to 8 years and I'm very experienced. The host's skills and the position he has chosen is good. He is an expert indeed. Priest is the best. I'm waiting for you to land a huge fish. It looks so relaxing. He is so much more professional than the rest of the outdoor hosts. And most importantly, he is so handsome, the environment looks real and legit. Everyone was heaping praise at him. Ningf had already received the skill of angling so his movements were professional. Chang Sen laughed in amusement and said, Ningf, your fishing skills have improved since you came back from university. Ningf only grinned sheepishly. It was peaceful for the next 15 minutes. Some of the viewers got bored, and the number of viewers fell by several thousand. Here it comes. At this time, the fishing rod began to move violently. The fish was here, but, it was Chang Sen's rod. Chang Sen hastily spun to reel in the fish and with one final pull, a fish as big as his palm flew out of the water. He then pulled his rod out of the water and caught it agilely with a hand. It was a commonly seen carp. Chang Sen pried the fish away from the hook and threw it into the bucket. Feeling pleased, he glanced inside the bucket and admired the other seven fishes he had caught. Ha ha, Ningf, don't despair. Chang Sen didn't forget to tease Ningf. Chang Sen grew up next to a river, and he had spent decades fishing. There was no questioning his skills. The viewers were all gloating at Ningf's misery. Host, look at him. Host, 
you've lost to a villager. What a webcast tragedy. My heart is aching for the host. At this time, Ninth's fishing rod began to move too, and it was moving even more violently. Shock and surprise flashed past Jiang Sen's face. Ninth hurriedly reeled the fish in but almost toppled forward due to the huge force pulling the fishing rod. Fortunately, he had always been training and was strong and fit. He held onto the rod tightly and pulled back by adding force. The fish then appeared above the surface. It thrashed wildly in the water, and droplets splashed everywhere. The sun shone on the fish as its scales reflected a pale silver. Ninth pulled the fishing rod once more, and the fish appeared on the screen. The fish was as long as Ninth's arm, and it was struggling wildly. The comments poured in like rain. What the heck? The host has actually caught a fish. Congratulations. Awesome. Jiang Sen was astonished and shocked. And that was because it was a priceless and rare fish. It was a deep-bodied herring. This particular fish had a title as the king of the fishes. It was a gem, and in ancient times, it was presented as a tribute. This species of fish was highly valuable and precious. This fish was so valuable that it could be used in transactions for people to buy and sell. Ningf had caught a deep-bodied herring. Jiang Sen gave him a thumbs up. Ningf put the fish into the bucket and grinned in satisfaction. Chapter 7, Host, Please Accept Me As Your Disciple. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. Amazing. Host has finally caught a fish. This fish looks unique. Can any expert enlighten us, huh? It looks like a wild deep-bodied herring. Yeah, indeed, it's a deep-bodied herring. The host is damn lucky. What is a deep-bodied herring? Can any master explain? In the comments section in the webcast room, everyone started a discussion excitedly. Let me fill everyone in. A wild deep-bodied herring would fetch around 3000 to 5000 yuan per 500 grams. Based on the fish's size, it's at least 8,000 yuan. Someone with a username of Manager Wang of the seafood market replied, He's right, a deep-bodied herring is very expensive and rare. It's worth the price indeed. Another person named Fishing Expert chimed in, Are you serious? A fish is worth 8,000 yuan? It's almost my monthly salary. Ha! Huh. If that's true, why should I still work? Host, send us a location. I want to go fishing. When everyone saw the explanation, they became excited. Don't overthink. The probability of fishing this treasure isn't much higher than you digging for gold. The expert added a comment. Exactly. Do you reckon it's so easy to catch a deep-bodied herring? I've never seen one after five years of fishing. This sort of thing can't be sought. Everyone, don't dream too much. Everyone calmed down a little after hearing the expert. Nevertheless, Ningf's luck at landing a deep-bodied herring had caused quite a commotion. Ningf, your luck is good. I've only caught this fish once about two years ago. Its flesh is very tender, Jiang Sen said in admiration. He had been fishing for decades and had only caught one. Everyone finally understood that the host had a streak of luck that had defied the heavens today. He had caught a deep-bodied herring on his first day. Ningfa put away the fish and smiled. It's just luck. Jiang Sen peered at his bucket full of fish. Although the combined value of his catch couldn't be compared to Ningfa's fish. He did have a sumptuous yield. I've been fishing the whole morning, so I'm leaving now. Today I'm going to make a feast with these fish. Come along and join us. My son has always wanted to learn martial arts from you. Jiang Sen kept his equipment as he smiled. The martial arts he was referring to were those martial art techniques that strengthened the body. His young son liked novelty, so he was interested. Sorry. Uncle Jiang, I have plans tonight. All right then. The weather isn't too good, so you should go home soon, Jiang Sen added warmly before he picked up his bucket. Slinging the rod over his shoulder, he walked to his motorbike and rode off. Ningf gazed at the motorbike, looking envious. It was unfortunate that the temple didn't have much harvest, so he only had about 800 yuan left. He couldn't afford a motorbike. The government was building a road in the mountains and a motorbike would be more convenient for him. As for a car, Ningf hadn't even given it any thought at all as he simply couldn't afford it. Thank you everyone for your support. Ningf remembered to interact with his viewers before he began to start fishing once more. During his second attempt, he had used the fish bait he had won from the lucky draw. It was a magical bait indeed. Ten seconds had barely passed when his rod began to shake violently. Oh gosh, there's another fish. Host is an expert, priest, 
Is this fish here to pay a debt? Is this staged? Is someone hiding in the river? Why would he catch two fishes in such a short period of time? Goodness, he is brilliant. Many comments praising him flooded the screen. Soon, a number of viewers began to send Ningf gifts. They had no choice. This webcaster was simply terrific. Ningf was surprised too. He had rarely been able to catch so many in the past. The skill of angling had really helped him. However, he didn't catch a seven star fish. Instead, he caught a common carp. The special fish bait was the seven star fish's favorite, but the system didn't mention that common fishes also loved the special fish bait. Before a seven star fish could eat the bait, it had attracted another fish. Ningf naturally caught that fish and added it to his bucket. It's really great to catch so many, Ningf said to himself. Next, he caught his third fish effortlessly after just dropping his rod into the water. The viewers were all dumbfounded. Someone is definitely hiding in the river. This is fake. It has to be. Oh gosh, what kind of place is this? Why would the fish be so dumb? Ningf was torn between crying and laughing at the comments. He navigated the drone so that the viewers could have a closer look at the river's surface and what was inside. The river was slightly murky, but everyone could clearly see the rocks at the bottom of the river. Certainly. There wasn't any hidden person. Ningf didn't fake anything. Next, he switched the screen back to his phone, and he spoke, I think the bait is better today. Usually, I can't even catch any. He flung his rod into the water again, and up came another fish. It was a seven star fish this time. Everyone had no reaction to that. Who was this host? Was it because of his martial arts or his skills? Everyone was here to watch him fish, not to perform magic. Host. Please accept me as your disciple. I want to learn from you. The person with the name Fishing Expert implored him. He even sent three rockets. Host, I want to learn too. God, this fish is spiritual. Priest, are you hiring any servants for your temple? Fantastic. Everyone left comments frantically as they joined in the commotion. Ning replied helplessly, I don't accept disciples. Besides, Fishing is merely one of the skills I have to seek a livelihood. And Lady Luck is merely smiling at me today. Is this even considered luck? You caught five fishes consecutively, and two of them were a deep bodied herring and a seven star fish. Fishing expert exclaimed wildly. Why wouldn't he be frustrated? Fishing was addictive, and he had once camped in a river for days just to catch a fish. He had finally met a fishing expert and he naturally had to express how he felt. Ningf couldn't explain, so he decided to change his bait to a normal one. Minutes passed by, but no fish took the bait. After some time, there was some movement, but it was just a tiny one. Anyone who fished knew that the bait had been eaten, but the fish wasn't caught on the hook. The fishes were smart, and many could merely eat the bait without getting caught. That was why fishing was hard. Everyone's excitement began to dissipate, so his five successful tries were merely due to luck. At this time, the sky became dark and gloomy, and rain began to fall. Ningf noticed the change in weather and decided to make a final attempt. All these fishes would be enough for the next few days. He placed the special bait he had won on the hook and flung it out beautifully. It had never occurred to Ningf that a real storm had seized his webcast room. Chapter 8 this mountain has divine beings. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf sat quietly at the edge of the river and waited. This time, no fish took the bait immediately. Several minutes later, the fishing rod began to tremble violently. Another fish. Judging from the movements, it had to be a huge one. This host is divine. Pull it in, priest. Wow, another giant fish. The viewers were all cheering him on. Ning freeled in his rod and soon discovered that this fish was really strong. He had to use all his strength to prevent the rod from slipping away from his palms. The rod was being bent at a sharp angle, and it looked as if it would break at any moment. What fish is this? It's so strong. Ningf muttered in surprise. Even the viewers became nervous for him. After a long period of hard tugging and pulling, he finally managed to pull the fish above the surface. When he finally caught a good sight of his prey, doubt and confusion slowly filled his eyes. This fish was flat and resembled a hair tail, but its body was silvery white, and its scales were shiny and smooth. It was thrashing wildly on the hook with its long tail. Ningf took a closer look and realized that its head was different from ordinary fish. Its mouth was slightly longer 
and it looked like a toothless shark. What fish is that? All the viewers were intrigued. I have no idea. I've never seen this fish before. It seems special. Yeah, it looks like a dragon. At this time, System's voice echoed inside of Nymph's head. Ding. The first divine fish caught by host has been detected. Host shall be given a skill as a reward. The skill is an encyclopedia on fishes. The encyclopedia would contain details and information on all fishes. This skill arrived with great timing. Nymph stared at the fish and noticed that the fish was looking back at him. Its eyes seemed to be pleading with him. The eyes of fishes were usually dull and lifeless, but Nymph could detect emotions in this particular fish's eyes. All living things had a soul. For instance, a tourist had once chanced upon a cow that knelt down before him in the wilderness. The cow was making low grunting sounds as though it was begging. The cow wanted some water. After the tourist offered the cow water, it moved softly and the calf that was hiding nearby came out. The calf then began to drink the water. At this time, the mother cow looked at the tourist with tears in its eyes. So that was the spirit or soul of the animal. But this was the first time that Nymph had witnessed emotions in a fish. He activated his skill to understand more about this fish. The white dragonfish is a type of spiritual fish that is on the brink of extinction. It needs to thrive in exceptionally clean water, so it can only be found in rivers that flow from the top of mountains. A white dragonfish was first discovered more than 2000 years ago, and its body is believed to be one of the mediums for divine beings. Oh, so it's a white dragonfish, Nymph exclaimed in astonishment. Nymph used his phone to research more about the white dragonfish. From the search results, Experts had reported that the white dragonfish had completely died out in China since five years ago. In this case, the white dragonfish was extinct. As this fish was exceedingly rare and wasn't even listed as one of the endangered animals that had to be protected, no one would bother with it. Therefore, Nymph could do whatever he wanted. At this time, manager Wang of the seafood market sent another ten rockets along with a message. Host. Please read your private message. Nymph had noticed this message, and the comments had marveled at the generosity of this person. Nymph read the private message that manager Wang wrote, Little brother, I want this fish. I'll give you 100,000 yuan won. 100,000 yuan. It was an impressive sum of money, but manager Wang was well aware that this sum was not even a fraction of what the real value of the fish was. This fish was reported to be extinct by experts. He knew that there was a businessman who had reared a white dragonfish at home, and that fish was worth at least two million yuan. That businessman believed in geomancy and had trapped this dragon in a pool. So, by keeping a dragon at home, he was accumulating its aura, and thus, he would have wealth rolling in. And true enough, this businessman had been expanding his businesses smoothly. Now, Nymph had caught this fish and it was definitely a white dragon fish, and this one was even bigger and more vibrant. This fish was definitely priceless. Fortunately, this host seemed clueless about the fish's real value. If manager Wang could successfully purchase this fish, he would be rich. I'm not selling, Ningf merely replied with a short message and caught manager Wang off guard. When manager Wang saw Ningf's reply, his eyes narrowed. Did this priest know something about the fish? Priest? Please reconsider. I'll offer 300,000 yuan. I've been searching for this fish for a long time. Please grant me this favor. Manager Wang pleaded fervently and in a humble manner. He had increased his offer to 300,000 yuan. This amount of money was definitely a lethal attraction to Ningf. With 300,000 yuan, he would be able to renovate the temple and improve his living conditions as well. But Ningf was unaffected as he said to the phone, Manager Wang, sorry but I won't sell the fish. Give me your bank account number, and I'll refund you the ten rockets. He sounded firm. He wouldn't sell this fish. There was no other reason besides that it was a divine being. His master was a priest, and he was well versed in ancient history. His master had once told him that any creature with the ability to become a medium for a divine being was spiritual, and that creature would inevitably and inexorably have the ability to bless the people with peace and favorable weather. These spiritual creatures were passing down fortune and luck. Now that a white dragonfish had appeared in this river, it meant that there were divine beings around in the mountains, 
So how could he sell the fish for money? His morals and beliefs as a Taoist wouldn't allow him to. As for renovating the temple and living in better conditions, it wouldn't have mattered. If Ning freely did want that, he and his master would have cheated the villagers into donating to the temple or done dishonest stuff as priests. They wouldn't do anything like that. Therefore, he couldn't accept the money. Manager Wang was about to say something when Ningf grabbed the fish from the rod. Don't be so greedy next time. Ning whispered to the white dragonfish before throwing it back into the river. The white dragonfish jumped out of the water once before it dove right into the river and disappeared in a flash. Manager Wang was dumbfounded by Ning's actions. What was this priest doing? Didn't he have any idea how much the fish was worth? It was two million yuan. How could he dump two million yuan into the river? Was his brain malfunctioning? At the thought of this, Manager Wang chided and cursed Ningf in another private message. When Ning freed it, he frowned and blacklisted Manager Wang permanently. Ningf had initially wanted to return the money, but he had no wish to be bothered with him anymore. A storm was threatening overhead, so Ningf grabbed his fishing rod and bucket before he turned around. He was in a good mood. It didn't affect him at all that he didn't get the 300,000 yuan. On the one hand, he had a wonderful harvest today with a bucket full of fish. On the other hand, he had finally confirmed that his master was right. There were spirits and divine beings in this mountain. The white dragonfish was the best piece of evidence. He had seen an ancient divine being in the flesh. Chapter 9 the abundance of happiness in the village. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. As Ning fished, the viewership count had reached over 90,000. He was on the way back, and his popularity still wasn't affected. No one knew about the white dragon fish. The viewers only saw him catching a long white fish, before setting it free again. They had no idea that it was a spiritual fish that had once protected the country by being a medium for a divine being. The urban cities and lifestyles had resulted in a loss of people's respect and fear for nature. However, Ningf knew that although some things couldn't be described, their existence was nonetheless real. Ningf left the river at around 4 p.m., so he hadn't spent a really long time fishing. Everyone was still fervently discussing how awesome Ningf was today and the types of fish that he had caught. At this time, Ningf halted his footsteps. What's wrong? The viewers were confused. Ningf explained to the drone, I think I can only go back later. The dog that lives in the east and the other one that lives in the west are fighting again. What? A dog fight? Where? Where are they? Host, let me take a look. Wow. This is happening? They were intrigued by Ningf's words. Ningf scratched his nose when he read the comments. He couldn't fathom why would they enjoy watching something like that. He adjusted the angle of the drone, and it zoomed in on a stone pathway that led to the village. There were a dozen brown mongrels biting at each other. Rather than biting, they were merely being playful. Dogs were different from other animals. Even the ordinary mongrels weren't that wild nor violent. As the saying went, a dog threatened based on its master's power. There were short videos circulating online about how a dog would bark at someone else when its owner was carrying it. But once the owner had relinquished his grip, the dog would turn docile again. Dogs were highly intelligent creatures, and if it predicted that it might be harmed, it would retreat. Cockerels were the exact opposite of dogs. A cockerel wouldn't attack normally but it would never admit defeat once it started. This was why people in ancient times loved to watch cockerels fight. If two cockerels were to come to a fight, it would turn bloody as both animals wouldn't rest until the other one was dead. The ending would always result in the death of a cockerel and serious injuries sustained by the other. There were also videos of geese acting similarly. Geese had a bad temper, and Ningf jokingly called it the geese influence. If someone had angered a goose, that creature would tail him or her incessantly. Its pose would also be menacing. These dogs were mongrels, and they looked alike. The viewers couldn't help but be amused. Host, how do they differentiate friend from foe? Exactly. What happens if they accidentally hurt their friend? Ha ha. I guess they rely on their sense of smell. This pack of dogs is just playing. Ningf replied politely to answer their doubts. Everyone, Look carefully. The dogs with the curly and erect tails are from the west side of the village. As for why they are doing this, I really can't explain. Those dogs whose tails are not erect are from the east side. Usually they play around in their own pack. Occasionally, 
If two packs of dogs meet, they would play and fight. The viewers were amused by Nymph's explanation. Ha ha. So such a thing could happen? I learned something new today. This is the abundance of happiness in a village. Host, shouldn't you stop the fight? Yeah, you should mediate the fight. We want to watch you stop them. If you intervene, I'll send a rocket. Suddenly, the direction of the comments changed and the viewers were clamoring for Nymph to intervene and mediate. Nymph certainly wouldn't interfere with the dogs. They were merely playing, and he might get hurt if he got embroiled. He had also always liked cats and dogs, so watching these dogs fool around was also fun. Everyone, please don't pressure me. I want to live for a few more years. Nymph jokingly replied, and everyone chuckled in amusement. At this time, another dog appeared. It was colossal, and even though it was also brown, that dog was evidently more special. It was Sunny. The moment Sunny appeared, all the dogs bowed their heads and ceased their fighting. Every dog looked alert and cautious, and they separated into two groups, and all of the dogs turned to look at Sunny with a look of acknowledgement. Indeed, the packs of dogs were just as what Nymph had described. The dogs with the curly erect tails were a group while the other dogs formed a second group. Both packs of dogs were entirely different. Hey, it's Sunny, Fook. This dog has muscles all over. Someone commented in amazement. Who can guess Sunny's breed? It's the descendant of the previous leader of the dogs. It is also currently in control of all the wild dogs in the village. What the hell? Did these dogs watch a mafia movie? This is the dog with passion and fire that stands at the summit. The almighty Sunny, brother. Seems like you want to challenge Sunny, I hereby declare Sunny to be the strongest dog in the universe. Talent was often hidden amongst these viewers, and everyone couldn't help but laugh at the incoming rush of funny comments. Sunny had come for Ningf as he was one of the people who were closest to Sunny, so it had always followed Ningf around. Sunny came to Ningf's heels, and he rubbed its head. It might have been a little awkward, but Sunny did seem as though he enjoyed it. The roads were open and Nymph continued to trudge on with Sunny behind him. Someone asked, Priest, since all the dogs are fearful of Sunny, wouldn't Sunny be lonely? This question was a deep one. All the mongrels were terrified of Sunny, so Sunny wouldn't have any friends. Since ancient times, ferocious beasts were always alone, and they must endure loneliness. Although Sunny was the village protector in the eyes of the villagers, it had missed out on the joy of playing with the other mongrels. The particular comment had struck a sentimental chord with everyone. Yeah, poor Sunny, he doesn't have any companion. Nymph was walking as he read the comments on the screen. He soon noticed that everyone was discussing how pitiful Sunny was and how everyone was imploring him to love Sunny more. Doubt and confusion flashed past his eyes. Nymph replied calmly, is everyone mistaken about something? From my knowledge, Sunny has at least four wives. In the two packs of dogs. There is at least one from each pack that is on intimate terms with Sunny. Besides, Sunny doesn't mingle with the dogs from the east and west side. This village is huge, and he has friends all over the mountains. Why would all of you come to such a conclusion? Ningf looked helpless. At his words, the webcast room went silent. A moment ago, the viewers were all spinning a story of how a dog had sacrificed his happiness for the sake of the village's safety. It had no friends and had to be domineering. As a result, it was lonely and had to seek humans for comfort. Now they were aware that Sunny had at least four wives. How could anyone have imagined that? PFFT, jerk. The viewers who were feeling sorrowful earlier on began to get worked up. Chapter 10, Godlike Knife Skills. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. When Ningf returned to the temple, he put away the fishing equipment and began to start on dinner preparation. He would be eating fish for dinner, and he was going to eat the deep-bodied herring, which was of the highest value. Ningf wasn't against the idea of selling the fish, but the roads in the mountain weren't too convenient, and there was at least a one and a half hour ride to the nearest town. Also, it wouldn't be easy to find a buyer on such short notice. In addition, priests believed in following their heart. Ningf hadn't eaten a deep-bodied herring before, and he wanted to. He glanced at the webcast room and saw that the viewership now numbered 100,000. As a newbie, it was a staggering figure for him. He took a look at the popularity count. His current popularity was at 14,000 points 
while he had used up 2000 points. Since he had 12000 points left, he decided on a whim to try his luck at the silver lucky draw 10 times. The pros of playing the silver lucky draw consecutively was that he was bound to win a rare skill or item. Although the popularity points were precious, he needed to get better equipment in order to win more popularity points. Thus, he had to do the necessary investment. System, I want the silver lucky draw. Make it 10 times. Ningf commanded firmly. Ding. Host has chosen to play the silver lucky draw ten times. Spinning for prizes now. Ding. Congratulations to host on getting the following items. Five watermelon seeds, basic grade. You will be able to grow watermelons. Although it will take a longer time, the flesh will be extra sweet. Five carrot seeds, basic grade. You will be able to grow carrots. Although it will take a longer time, it will be crunchier than ordinary carrots. 5 packets of pet food, basic grade. This is perfect for mammals, and the wonderful taste has won the unanimous approval of all animals. 5 pills to strengthen the body, basic grade. It will help the host to strengthen his body slightly. 1 sack of fertile magical black soil. It will increase the harvest by 10%. 5 Chinese cabbage seeds basic grade. You will be able to grow Chinese cabbage. It will take a shorter time, and the taste won't be affected. One sack of silver fertilizer, basic grade. It will increase the growth rate of plants and the resulting harvest. A peach wooden sword. This fine and beautiful sword is crafted from real peach wood and is also indestructible. A spice to refresh the mind and heart. The fragrance will allow the user to be carefree and relaxed. Ding! Congratulations to host for winning the ultimate skill of slicing. The ultimate skill of slicing will improve host's efficiency substantially and improve host's cooking skills. The system's voice echoed in Ningf's ears. Ningf got more excited as the system recited the list of items and skills. He was in luck. If one were to play the silver lucky draw for ten consecutive times, he or she was bound to obtain a high level skill or luxurious item, but the probability of getting a skill was still considerably lower than winning an item. Ningf had nonetheless won a skill. His luck had defied logic. The prizes from the silver lucky draw would usually be some small items. For him to win a skill, he really needed luck. The system had a storage space as his storeroom, which meant that Ningf could retrieve any of the prizes he wanted at any time. However, he wouldn't be able to put it back as he could only take something out of it. If someone were to discover that Ningf was carrying a different dimension portal with him, he wouldn't be able to explain it. It was still pretty thrilling to join the lucky draw. Thus, Ningf disappeared for a while in the webcast room as he wanted to retrieve all the prizes he had won. Ningf fed a sunny, who was still outside the temple with the pet food. Sunny looked excited after it, finished the food and wagged its tail eagerly. However, he only had five small packets so he had to get Sunny to leave. The sack of fertile magical black soil was tiny, and he had a huge garden. He couldn't even fill a tenth of his garden with that, so Ningf decided not to use it first. As for the seeds, he decided to plant them sometime later. It had taken ten minutes for the lucky draw, so he informed the viewers that he had gone to the toilet. No one raised any questions. He then began to cook his fish. He picked up the wok skillfully and used a piece of ginger to rub against the bottom of the wok. Next, he poured oil in. Ningf spoke gently as he cooked, Dear viewers, now I will be doing a live stream of how I boil soup with the deep-bodied herring. This deep-bodied herring would fetch 4000 to 8000 yuan as it's highly nutritious. I hope everyone will enjoy it. Many of them rushed to send comments after they heard Ningf state the price. Are you for real? A fish is worth 4000 yuan? This webcaster is so cute. This webcaster looks polite and refined. Shouldn't he address us as friends or something? But seriously? This webcaster has a unique charm. Many of the viewers who had been watching from the start of his live stream explained. That is a wild deep bodied herring. Please go and check the prices yourself. The webcaster is the real master of the temple. Of course his aura is different. New friends, please don't be impatient. I am sure you will be satisfied if you continue watching. Sigh. Why are there so many women out to snatch my hubby? The comments rushed in while Ning focused on cooking his fish. He began to cut ginger, onion, coriander, tofu, and some other ingredients. His movements and skills garnered surprise from the viewers. Ning picked up his knife, 
and the knife looked as though it was stuck to his hand. He could maneuver it agilely when he sliced the vegetables. He placed his left hand on the cutting board. His right hand sliced the vegetables so swiftly that it made everyone's jaw drop. He cut everything so neatly, as though a machine had done all the work. The knife seemed to have come alive and was dancing away in Nymph's hands. Just a few twists and turns of his wrists were enough to leave a chef, who had learned for several years, amazed. The webcast room exploded again. What the fuck? Can anyone play with a knife like that? I used to play like that when my hands were still intact. To the person on top. I used to play like that when I was alive. Fantastic. Wonderful. How did you train yourself? Yeah, the speed is unbelievable. Host, you're brilliant. Gifts were flying in from everywhere. Nymph didn't notice the screen as he had just placed the deep-bodied herring into the wok. He began to fry the fish. When both sides of the fish had turned slightly burned, he added boiling water. Next, he added the ginger, the onion pieces, and the other ingredients to stew them with the fish. He didn't add the tofu as it wouldn't taste good if he added it in too early. Nymph waited for some time before he scooped a piece of wet tofu onto his palm. Next, he raised his knife and began to slice the tofu on his palm. His skills left the viewers shocked and awestruck. Before they could react, Ning flipped his hand, and the pieces of neatly sliced tofu cubes fell into the wok. Every tofu cube was evenly cut, and it seemed as though the cubes had come from a mold. His knife skills were godlike. Chapter 11 Premium Deep Bodied Herring Soup. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. After Nymph had added the tofu, he placed the carrots in, ten minutes before he removed the wok from the fire. The freshly boiled fish soup was ready to be served. Nymph used a ladle and scooped the fish and soup into a bowl. Steam was rising from the whitish fish soup that was filled to the brim with ingredients. The deep bodied herring looked extra delicious nestled amongst the abundant ingredients. Why did I click on this live stream? I'm getting hungry. I really want to eat that. Webcaster, can you send me the remaining fish bones later? Webcaster, you have excellent skills. Bravo. A man who can cook is truly charming. In the webcast room, the viewers all gasped and lavished praise on him. Nymph was pleased with his dish and quickly stole a glance at the screen. He realized that many comments had highlighted his skills with the knife. As for the reason behind his skills, it was because he had obtained the ultimate skill of slicing. He soon discovered that with this skill, everything went smoothly during the cooking process. And in his mind, he naturally processed the steps of how he should cook a dish. Since everyone is interested in my cutting skills, I shall perform it again. Ning flashed a toothy smile at the screen. His words caused another excited commotion amongst the viewers. Ning was starving, so he took out the pot of rice he had cooked. Next, he took out the preserved vegetables in an earthenware jug. And so, he began to feast on his fish and the preserved vegetables with a bowl of steaming rice. The deep bodied herring was huge, so it contributed to the huge serving of the soup. He knew that he wouldn't be able to finish it all by himself, so he had scooped half of the soup into a thermal container before he began to eat. A wild deep bodied herring could fetch a high price, and even the soup in the thermal container would run up to a few thousand yuans if he were to sell it. After Ning finished dinner, it was nearly eight. He picked up the thermal container and walked out. The viewers had no idea what he wanted to do, so they were curious. Ning said, Hello, viewers, sorry. But the live stream will end now. Tomorrow, I shall start at 9 am as usual, and I hope you will continue to support me. I will make it up to all of you by performing my cutting skill tomorrow. I have some urgent last minute matters to settle. Sorry. Nymph's words left everyone taken aback as they hadn't had enough. Host, please perform before you go. Webcaster, just a while more. It's hard to finally find a good webcaster. Yeah? Just a while longer, please. Host, Press on. Despite the viewers please, Ning fended the live stream. The delicious soup had left him in high spirits, and a warm current seemed to be swimming inside him. Being filled with food was the best feeling in a day. He trudged down the mountain path while the sky was still rather bright. Here, the nights in summer arrived rather late, and the sky would only turn dark after 8 pm. Ning wanted to visit someone who lived nearby. Grandma Wang, I'm here. Before Ning entered the courtyard, 
he yelled warmly with a beaming smile. At the sound of his voice, a black and white tiny dog came dashing out instantly. It wagged its tail happily and vigorously as though it had just seen its owner. Ningf had deliberately saved a packet of the special pet food for this dog named Snowy. He smiled at the dog before throwing the food into the air. Snowy was quick on its feet and jumped immediately to catch the food. Snowy barked excitedly several times after it finished the food. Ningf recalled the introduction about the pet food. The wonderful taste has won the unanimous approval of all animals. Snowy must have been barking its approval. He strolled into the house, and a benevolent looking old lady was inside. At the sight of Ningf, a kind smile lit up her face. Ningf wasn't a saint. There were many lonely old people living in the mountains, and he didn't care for everyone. But Grandma Wang was different. To put it simply, when Ningf was a kid, he was often punished by his master. He would flee and seek refuge at Grandma Wang's house. He spent at least a third of his childhood eating at her place. When Grandma Wang was younger, she was hardworking and nimble. She was quite well to do but she had no children. She had always treated Ningf as her grandest son. Now that Grandma Wang was old, and she couldn't work anymore due to her failing eyesight, Ningf had taken her to a hospital to have a checkup, but the doctor had told him that it was too late to remove Grandma Wang's cataracts. And that was why Ningf had taken care of her. Grandma Wang, this is the fish soup I made today. Drink it while it's still hot. Ningf brought out some utensils and a bowl before he poured the soup. He then placed it in front of her. Grandma smiled warmly at him. She could only see Ningf's figure. After he put the bowl down, he began to clean Grandma Wang's courtyard. Next, he told her about what had happened today during his live stream. Naturally, he skipped the part about the system. He wasn't sure if she understood what live streaming, rewards, and viewers were about, but the old lady kept smiling and he was happy to see that. The white dragonfish I caught was huge, and its scales were shiny. It looked glorious. When I held it, the fish was looking at me, and I felt that it was begging me with its eyes. Ningf sounded excited as he spoke, and Grandma Wang became nervous unconsciously. Master said that these animals were spiritual, so we have to respect them. So I set the white dragonfish free, Ningf grinned as he spoke and Grandma Wang smiled as she listened. He spent more than two hours at Grandma Wang's place, and after everything was tidy, he went back to the temple. He had solemnly sworn to find a method to cure Grandma Wang's eyes. In the past, he could only rely on hospitals and doctors. Now, with the system's help, there would be infinite possibilities. Therefore, he needed to gather more popularity points so that he could obtain more skills. When he went back to his room, the first thing he did was to check the webcast and see what he had earned. He estimated that he had earned about 20,000 yuan. Of course, that was because of the panda's appearance and that manager Wang who had given him 10 rockets in a bid to coax him to sell the white dragon fish. It wasn't easy to earn money through a webcast, but on the other hand, it could be easy and quick as long as the content was something that the viewers were interested in. For example, the appearance of the panda catching a precious fish, and the dog fight. So, earning 20,000 yuan a day wasn't strange. At this time, Ningf discovered that he had several messages, but before he could click on any, a call came. Hi, are you Mr. Ningf? A middle-aged man's deep voice spoke. Yes, that's me. What is this regarding? I'm calling from Panda webcast platform. We feel that you have massive potential after watching your live stream. So we would like to invite you to our company to host a live stream show, spoke the man politely and earnestly. So he's here to poach me, thought Ningf quietly. This would naturally happen. After all, Ningf had won so many popularity points on his first day of his live stream and many people had begun to notice him. As for the choice of the webcast platform, Ningf had no preference. After all, they were the same to him. He knew that many of the platforms had profited mainly from the compensation the webcasters had to pay after violating a contract. Thus, Ningf had a simple conclusion. He would sign with the one who could offer him the best contract. As the man spoke, he had read the messages, and all of the parties had left him their contact number, they were all hoping that he would sign with the company that they represented. The same went for Battling Birds webcast platform. Ningf asked, 
Can I ask you a question? What would be the difference if I signed with Panda Webcast Platform instead of the other companies? He too wanted to land a contract quickly. With no contract, he could only get 40% of his earnings or rewards. The terms would be different with a contract. Grade B. This is the best our company can offer. Every newbie starts from grade D, and grade B is really the best for you. Won't you consider it? The Panda Webcast Platform representative implored. Ning frowned. A grade B contract entailed that he would have a yearly income of 300,000 yuan. He would get 60% of the rewards given, while the platform would take 40%. But he would have to sign for five years. Five years was too long for him. This contract wasn't good or enticing enough. All right, I got it. I will consider your offer. Ning fended the call. Chapter 12 a flock of ducks waiting for their friends. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. There were currently three types of webcasters. The first type of webcaster were those who had signed a contract with a webcast platform. To begin with, these webcasters would have a high level of skills and ability, but they were scarce. Those who were able to land a contract would be heavily supported by their webcast platform. They received a good number of resources and support, and they would be able to take at least half of the earnings. It was extremely hard to land a contract. In the case of Ningf, who had received offers from several platforms after a mere two days of doing his live stream, there was hardly anyone in the industry who had such luck or ability. The second type of webcaster were those who had signed with a management company or a union. Their situations would be more complex as, sometimes, the management company or union would cheat them. And many such fraudulent companies existed. If a webcaster were to sign a contract with a management company or union, the platform would take 50% of the earnings. Then, the remaining profits would be split after a discussion between the company and the webcaster. If a company were out to cheat, it might even demand up to 40%, and the webcaster would be left with 10%. But the pros of signing with the union was that the webcaster would be promoted extensively and be guaranteed a certain degree of popularity. To be frank, most unions were out to suck in money for themselves. After signing new amateurs, the union would act like a vicious wolf that would exploit and take a majority of the webcaster's earnings. If the webcaster were to break the contract in less than three months, he or she would have to compensate at least 10,000 yuan. Therefore, most unions thrived on these sums of compensation. For the more popular webcasters, they would definitely choose the bigger or more prominent management companies. As for the third category of webcasters, they were free to host their live stream wherever they wanted. To the platform, these webcasters were simply there to make up the numbers. Battling Birds webcast platform was currently the biggest player in the industry and had left its competitors trailing behind in its dust. Its popularity had far exceeded the other major players, and therefore, they were very demanding. For webcasters who didn't sign with them, they were entitled to only 40% of their earnings. If there was no contract that satisfied his terms, then Ningf would not sign any. He believed that as long as he had the ability and the talent, the various platforms would offer him more attractive terms. After all, talent and remuneration would be equal, and that was fair. If he were to recklessly be bound to a company for several years, he might come to regret his decision. And by then, it would be too late. The next morning at 6 a.m., Ningf woke up and began to tend to his vegetables. That was the life and routine for those living in the mountains. The reason was simple. The sun would blaze at 9 a.m., and it would be too hot for anyone to work, with the sunlight shining relentlessly for hours. Thus, the villagers all woke up before the crack of dawn and would finish their work before the sun rose. In the afternoon, they would retreat to their houses to rest. Ningf began to sow the seeds that he had won from the lucky drawer yesterday. In order to eat the watermelons as soon as possible, he took the fertile magical black soil that he had obtained and added it to a plot of land. Next, he planted the watermelon seeds before he scattered the special silver fertilizer to boost their growth. Ningf busied himself with the garden till 7 a.m. before he took a shower. He ate breakfast, did his revision and meditated. As Ningf didn't belong to an official clan or prominent temple, he didn't have to adhere to a strict regime or schedule. His daily habits and practices were all cultivated by his master. If he had belonged to a major clan, 
he would have had strict times for his studies both in the morning and at night. His master felt that if everything were to be restricted and fixed, it would be going against one's heart. He remembered that his master had said this before, that group of people will never understand that the true belief of a Taoist is to be free and unfettered in life. It would be too tiring to live like that. I don't want to be associated with them. After breakfast, Ningf thought about what he wanted to show during his live stream today. He first looked at the messages. The name of the host is Ningf. Strength is 13.5. An ordinary person's level of strength was 10. Agility is 13.5. An ordinary person's level of agility was 10. Endurance is 12.5. An ordinary person's level of endurance was 10. Current popularity level is 14,500 points. You have used up 12,000 points. You have 2,500 points remaining. Skills available are the skill of angling, an encyclopedia on fishes and the ultimate skill of slicing. Ningf's strength, agility, and endurance level had all improved by 0.5 points. This was all attributed to the fact that he had consumed 5 pills in order to strengthen himself. I still don't have that many skills, so it would seem forced if I try to display new content. I should behave according to how I am usually. I shall bring everyone to view the magical tree. After Ningf made up his mind. He felt much more relaxed. He took a break before starting his live stream at 9 a.m. The drone flew upward, while the phone was ready on the tripod. Ningf knew that no one would watch his show so early. He would have to be patient and accumulate his popularity. 100, 200, 300, 1000, 5000. As time passed, the number of viewers increased exponentially. Ningf didn't wave hello right away. Instead, he chose to display the view from the drone. He found a suitable spot and began to practice with his sword. As usual, he did his practice slowly. Other than the years in university, he had been practicing this set of sword play for more than a decade. He had reached the highest level where his moves were natural and fluid. Good morning, host. Host, I'm here again. Yay. You're practicing with the sword again. Great. I'm new here. Can I ask if you're subduing monsters with your sword? What is the content of your live stream? This place is really beautiful. It's green everywhere, and I'm so envious. I feel at peace whenever I watch the webcaster practice with his sword. It's so bizarre. The comments piled up during the time Ningf practiced with his sword. Ningf wielded his sword slowly and his movements were precise. His every move seemed to have some peculiar magical power. Occasionally, he would move swiftly, and his actions seemed strong and forceful. He also exuded aggressiveness and charm. Ten minutes later, Ningf completed his practice. He knew that he would have a number of viewers by now, so he switched the camera view back to his phone. He waved at the phone and said cheerfully, Hello, dear viewers. Good morning. Today, I plan to bring everyone to visit the magical tree in our mountains. I hope all of you will like it. The comments shot up instantaneously and furiously when he appeared on the screen. Hi, host. You're so beautiful when you wield the sword. My goodness, this webcaster is too handsome. Christ. He looks as if he has just walked out from an ancient painting. TSK. Why do I see so many people trying to fight with me for my hubby? I can't believe this. This outdoor webcaster has amassed so many female fans. Everyone, be rational. I reckon that there are few who can be as good looking as me and the webcaster. Hello. You on top. Are you kidding me? Ningf chuckled in helpless amusement when he saw the viewers bickering. He walked out of the temple with the drone circling the air above him. Even though the families lived a distance away from each other, they would often drop by for a visit. So after a day, news of the little priest with his drone had spread to the entire village. No one was surprised to hear that though. Good morning, Aunt Liu. Hello. Ningf, have you eaten? I made bread yesterday. I'll go get some for you. Aunt Liu, it's fine. I've eaten. Ningf smiled warmly at her. The houses were all scattered around the village. There was a large stretch of flat land that housed several families. It was also the biggest place where people gathered in Chan village. There were more than 20 families living in a row. The village had also lived here. Ningf had to pass by this stretch of land to reach the magical tree. As Ningf strode on the path, 
he would occasionally check the comments. Having the drone was a good idea as he didn't have to hold the tripod with the hand like some other webcasters. His movements weren't restricted, and the background and scenery wouldn't be cut off. There was an uptick in comments at this time. Webcaster. Why is there a flock of ducks blocking your way? Indeed. Why are the five ducks not moving? Now that you've mentioned it, what's wrong with those ducks? Ning freed the comments and was confused. He raised his head and realized that the five ducks were sitting in the middle of the path. They were all quacking in the direction of a family. Oh, these are Uncle Wang's ducks. They are waiting for Uncle Lee's ducks to go swimming together. Ning Fan said cheerfully. The moment the words left his lips, the comments shot up like flames. What the hell? Ducks waiting for other ducks. Webcaster. Are you joking? Did my ears fail me? Ducks from two households could still make an appointment to go swimming together. This webcaster has spun such a convincing story. Are you for real? Are ducks that affectionate? Ningf seemed helpless when everyone raised their doubts. He simply said, then let's wait for a while and everyone can see them. This happens every day. The flock of ducks who come out first would wait outside their house for the other group. They also come back together. Uncle Lee's ducks would go back to their own house, while Uncle Wang's ducks would go back to him. Curiosity filled the viewers at Ningf's explanation. Was this real or a joke? Why did it sound as though he was writing a novel? The scene depicted reminded everyone of their childhood where they would call out to their companions or friends to come out and play outside. Amidst the suspicions and doubt, the door of a house flung open. Just as expected, five ducks came waddling towards the direction of the other ducks as they quacked loudly. The ducks who had been waiting for some time quacked loudly back. Then, the ten ducks huddled together closely and waddled towards Ningf. Everyone, did you see that? This flock of ducks really does this. If everyone is interested, I can show you how they come home in the afternoon, Ningf said casually, as though he had seen this a thousand times. This scene was undoubtedly novel and bizarre to the viewers. A flock of ducks waiting for another flock? Did ducks really resemble humans in that sense? Dear me, I've learned something new today. Bravo host. Splendid. I've gained new knowledge. So many strange and fun things happened to this webcaster. Yesterday, he met dogs fighting, and today, he chanced upon ducks who go swimming together. Amazing. Time to send rewards, brothers. Let's subscribe to this webcaster. He is truly a good and unpretentious one. Everyone typed frantically and excitedly. The ducks waddled past Ningf noisily and got further away. Ningf continued on his way. Chapter 13. The Magical Tree and a Chick Falling from the Sky. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. The magical tree was located in the western part of the Chan village. One had to tread on the main path to get there. While Ningf was halfway through the journey, he again met the pack of mongrels, who lived in the western part of the village. They were once again snapping playfully at each other, with their tails up high. Hi, west gang of mongrels. We meet again. Ha ha ha. How about the East Pack? I want to watch them fight. Brothers, can anyone explain what is happening? Go watch yesterday's live stream. There were two packs of dogs fighting, and it was thrilling. Really? I shall watch it now. The viewers were all excited to see the mongrels, and many said hello to them. Ningf had begun to retell the story of the magical tree. The magical tree is the oldest tree in these mountains. I'm not sure what kind of tree it is but the diameter of the tree trunk is 6 meters wide. The tree trunk's circumference is around 20 meters, and the entire height of the tree is an estimated 50 meters. The magical tree is massive and can be considered one of the amazing wonders of the mountains. More viewers became intrigued and curious about the story. Are you serious? The diameter is 6 meters wide? I remembered that the biggest cypress tree in China is about this size too. The natural world is indeed fascinating. The webcasters show is very meaningful and interesting. I've seen things that I would probably never see in this lifetime. At this time, Ningf's viewership had reached 110,000. For a new webcaster who was only on the second day of his webcast show, this figure was not just incredible but simply unbelievable. That was because Ningf had gained many loyal fans who were anticipating his webcast. Yesterday, many viewers who had watched Ningf's webcast, felt that he was very interesting, 
so naturally, they were here again today. Ningf strolled steadily down the main road and towards the depths of the forest. Behind this mountain, you can see forests everywhere. The village is merely a small part of the mountains. The forests cover the main land. There are many ferocious animals who roam the mountains, but they mainly reside in the back of the mountains. The animals rarely come to this part, and there are safety measures set up too. As Ningf walked, everyone started to unconsciously feel nervous after hearing him. After all, Ningf was just like any other outdoor webcaster who was taking a risky journey into the forest. Webcaster, will you be in any danger? Someone asked. Ningf grinned back at the screen. Don't worry, the beasts are far away from this area. Besides, the magical tree is just right ahead. There is nothing dangerous there. Ningf had lived on these mountains for at least a decade, so without a doubt, he knew the surroundings very well. It didn't take too long for him to reach the magical tree. At the sight of the magical tree, everyone couldn't help but gasp. Damn it. This tree was simply massive. From the screen, the magical tree looked as if it touched the sky, with its trunk resembling a huge and thick chimney, the branches extended into the clouds, and the leaves were lush and abundant. When the drone flew nearer, the viewers could clearly see how the trunk of the magical tree was covered with roots as thick as water pipes. The magical tree looked like a piece of weathered and unadorned art. This is the magical tree. Ningf smiled as he talked. The tree only has one trunk, and its branches are as long as a dozen meters. No one would be able to climb it, so please don't suggest that I do so. He immediately squashed any ideas that the viewers might have. For the sake of excitement and thrill, the viewers naturally hoped that Ningf would embark on an adventure. And Ningf certainly understood their thoughts. But it was indeed difficult to climb the tree. If he were to fall from the tree, he would either be grievously injured or dead. Thus, he wouldn't act rashly. Ningf raised his head to study the branches of the magical tree. At that moment, he saw something small and black falling from the tree. He furrowed his eyebrows as he took a closer look. Indeed. Something small and black was falling rapidly. Was that a chick? Under these circumstances, Ningf's agility became useful. He leapt up as high as he could and used his hands to catch the chick. After that, he controlled his speed as he landed slowly to lessen the chick's impact from the fall. In doing so, he had swiftly minimized the brunt felt by the chick's freefall. He had tried to the best of his ability to protect the baby bird. All the viewers were stunned and flabbergasted by the scene. What had just happened? Did they just watch a martial arts film? From the screen, they saw how Ningf had stepped on the trunk and flew about three meters into the air. Then, he seemed to have caught something in his hand. Ningf acted nimbly and agilely and his posture looked as though he was a swordsman in a martial arts movie. What the heck? Host, and you claim that you don't know martial arts? He has to be a divine being or a god. How could he have such moves? I thought that the webcaster was gentle and scholarly. I didn't imagine that he knew martial arts. Impressive. Amazing. And the rest of the comments were filled with praise. The drone flew closer to Ningf, and everyone noticed the thing in his hand. It was a pale, pink chick who hadn't sprouted any feathers. Everyone finally came to a realization that Ningf had saved a falling baby bird. In an anxious bid to save the bird, he had revealed his skills. The viewers were suddenly overwhelmed with shock. This webcaster was too incredible. But why would the chick fall from the tree? Ningf lifted his head, and he could hear the vague soft sounds of the other chicks. He shook his head helplessly before he addressed the viewers, Dear viewers, I reckon there is a cuckoo chick in the nest at the top of the tree. At Ningf's words, most of the viewers were consumed by anger. So it's a cuckoo. That explains why. I thought that it was merely hearsay about cuckoos. I didn't know that something like that would really happen. Host, climb up the tree and smash that cuckoo. I will give you a rocket. Can someone explain all this hatred toward cuckoos? I remember that cuckoos are supposed to be very nice looking. Ningf explained to the viewers who couldn't understand. Cuckoos are notorious for being frauds in the animal world. A cuckoo would choose a nest that belonged to some other bird and lay her egg inside. It's equivalent to being a parasite. And the first thing that the cuckoo chick does after it has hatched is to push out the rest of the eggs and chicks in the nest. It will then monopolize the love and food of the surrogate mother. Every year in summer, thousands of eggs and chicks would die in such a terrible manner because of the newly hatched cuckoos. As for the parents, 
they would still be in the dark, and they would continue to shower loving care on the murderer that had killed their chicks. This is the true nature of a cuckoo. Of course, researchers have found out that only 40% of the 140 known cuckoo breeds possess such parasitic behavior, but that is enough to spread their notoriety. After Ningf's explanation, the viewers finally understood what was going on. To think that the animal world had such selfish bird species. A chick killing other chicks in order to gain the love of the parents. This behavior made everyone mad with anger. Many of the viewers started to condemn such behavior. But this was also the way where every creature found its own rule of survival. This brutal method of surviving had been imprinted in the cuckoo's genes. Perhaps it defied human morality. But to a cuckoo, it was merely a means of survival. One of the viewers explained that and attributed it to the laws of nature. However, most of the viewers couldn't accept that reasoning. Don't tell me about the laws of nature. I'm also part of nature, and if I see such a thing happening before my eyes, I would smash the cuckoo chick to death. Then it would understand my law of nature. Chapter 14 Adopting Little Falcon. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf studied the chick in his hand. This chick was rather big. It was screeching shrilly with its beak and also looked hungry. I've seen all the species in the village. What species is this? Thought Ningf quietly to himself. Its beak is light brown, and the sides are pale gray. Its eyes are yellowish and the toes are dark yellow. Its claws are also black. It should be a falcon. Ningf examined the chick closely as he murmured to himself. If it was indeed a falcon, then Ningf couldn't help but be impressed with the cuckoo's guts. The falcon was at the top of the bird food chain. It could fly extremely well and possess excellent eyesight. Falcons held a very important position in the ecology of nature. To humans, most types of falcons had the excellent image of being powerful brave, and bold. Thus, many countries had chosen a type of falcon as their national bird. Such a wonderful creature had been bullied by the cuckoo chick. In reality, such situations were common. A recent popular online video had even been circulating. It was about a cuckoo that had been laying its egg in the nest of a peregrine falcon. The falcon mother seized the cuckoo's neck and began to pluck off its feathers. The cuckoo could only wail in agony. This cuckoo really had guts. Ningf held the chick in front of the screen as he said, Viewers, this should be a falcon, but I'm not too sure of the species. I intend to adopt it. Ningf really liked this bird very much and was excited to rear it. Ningf had particularly liked two types of animals. The first was mammals like dogs, cats, and tiger and lion cubs. The second group was birds. Dear viewers, perhaps this magical tree had worked its powers. I've now saved a baby falcon. The survival rate of a chick is very low, so I will direct all my efforts and attention to saving this chick. A falcon's nature is similar to that of an eagle. It tends to attack and peck people. So if you don't have the experience of rearing such birds, please don't attempt to nurture these ferocious birds. If you really like birds, you can try a parrot, crested miner, or bulbule. After Ningf had explained patiently, he strode briskly back to the temple. The viewers all exclaimed and gasped, Oh dear lord, is that a falcon? I heard that it's the king of the birds. The host is such a kind-hearted man. He is saving this falcon chick. Is this for show? How could there be such a coincidence? How could it be fake? You have seen the tree. Would you be able to climb it? This chick seems to be a jiff falcon. It would tend to be more ferocious by nature. Someone with the name of Wildlife Lover expressed his opinion. Other than that, the rest of the comments were all clamoring for Ningf to smash the cuckoo. Host, put the little falcon back, and kill that cuckoo instead. I'll send you a rocket. Yeah? Throw that cuckoo to death or to the ground. On his way back, Ningf glanced at the screen. He noticed that many of the viewers had asked him to return the chicken to kill that cuckoo chick. Ningf had no idea how he should explain. The method that the cuckoo had used to lay its egg was indeed incorrigible, but to smash and kill that cuckoo chick was also a horrible and excessive act. Besides, a cuckoo had behaved in that way due to its nature and genes. Wanting to kill the cuckoo chick was due to the biased emotions of an individual, and that, certainly, went against the respect for nature that Ningf believed in. In addition, the magical tree was really too high. There was no way he could climb to the top. Even if he did so, it would be too dangerous. Dear viewers, 
Sorry, I can't kill the cuckoo chick. All I can do is to save this little falcon and set it free. Ningfa replied calmly. Quite a number of viewers threatened to cancel their subscription as a result, and almost 10,000 of his viewers left instantly. In reality, most of the viewers were pretending to leave as they wanted to threaten and coerce Ningfa into killing the cuckoo chick. They were planning to return quickly. However, Ningf wouldn't betray his own principles for the sake of benefits. On his journey back to the temple, he was racking his brains on ways he could help the little falcon. From now on, your name shall be Little Falcon. Ningf first made a simple nest using cardboard. He then taped the sides and added some cotton to the base. Finally, he placed some dried leaves and grass inside. He looked at the popularity statistics on the system. His popularity points had reached 16,000, and he could use 4,000 points. Ningf didn't even contemplate before he made the decision to use the popularity points on the silver lucky draw. He was hoping that he could obtain some tools to save Little Falcon's life. Alas, luck wasn't on his side. Twice he had won vegetable seeds, and for the remaining attempts, he won a packet of fertilizer and a magical band aid. In that case, I can only rely on myself. Ningf shook his head as he sighed to himself. A chick's survival rate wasn't high, and the most pressing issue right now was to find food to feed the chick. Viewers, I need to think of ways to save this chick. When I caught it in midair earlier on, it sustained some injuries. Furthermore, it has just been born and is really weak right now. It doesn't have much strength left. Ningf spoke to his viewers. The viewers gazed at the chick and realized that Ningf was right. That chick did look unhealthy. Host, please save it. Host, you're so kind. But the chick looks like it's about to die. Host, press on. A good man would lead a blessed life. The rest of the viewers were all rooting for Ningf. Ningf quickly researched about feeding chicks. Then he scurried to a tree outside of the temple to catch some worms before he put the worms in front of the falcon. Actually, Ningf had a slight fear of insects, he instinctively loathed them, but for the sake of the chick, he couldn't care less. Little Falcon noticed the food and opened its beak excitedly. It chirped shrilly as it swallowed a worm. In no time at all, Little Falcon ate up all the worms before turning quiet. It tilted its head as it surveyed Ningf. Ningf exhaled a sigh of relief at the sight of Little Falcon looking much better. At least, it was still alive. The chick had a stronger will to live than he had imagined. He had seen people selling little chicks for five yuan. Many children bought a chick and brought it back home, but the chicks would refuse to eat anything, and most died the next day. Ningf was worried that little Falcon might end up dying too, so he knew that he couldn't keep catching worms for little Falcon to eat every day. Ding! System has detected host's needs. Currently offering the skill of bird taming in exchange for host fulfilling a mission. Would you like to accept? Ningf's brain rang with the system's voice. Skill of bird taming. Surprise and delight flickered in his eyes. What luck was this? Ningf instantly activated it. Host has chosen to activate mission. Mission's summary. In 24 hours, you have to achieve 200,000 viewers. Be reminded that any form of cheating will result in the failure of the mission. Reward for the mission is the skill of bird taming. The skill of bird taming entails training and techniques. At the same time, the bird will be more receptive towards host. Ningf couldn't help but knit his eyebrows when he heard the mission. He had to hit 200,000 viewers. His current viewership was at an estimated 120,000. It shouldn't be that hard to hit 200,000, but to do it within 24 hours was a challenge due to time constraints. If he wanted to increase his popularity in such a short period, he needed some sort of event to happen. Ningf glanced at the skills he had obtained and could only use the ultimate skill of cutting. At the thought of that, he had an idea. Chapter 15, Astonishing Cutting Skills. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. Ningf glanced at the webcast room and saw that everyone was still talking about the cuckoo. He explained, Dear viewers, the animal world is cruel, so we can't simply take the viewpoint of the weak only. We also can't use the morals of a human to pass judgment on an animal's nature or behavior. Let me pose an example. Everyone knows zebras right? Zebras are gentle herbivores that end up as prey for the carnivores. Everyone would think that they are victims. In reality, zebras have another side that you don't know about. For instance, if a herd of zebras were to change their male leader, 
the male zebras would kick their former leader's foal to death in order to please the new leader. And they might even invite the new leader to kick the child as well. I've watched a documentary before where a female zebra viciously and brutally kicked a baby zebra on the ground with both its hooves. Her chest and hooves were covered with her own child's blood, while the male zebra stood coldly beside it. This is what a zebra with a gentle temperament has to do in order to survive. All I hope is for everyone to understand that nature has its own set of laws. Human emotions and morals might not be suitable as it would disrupt the rules of nature. Ningf concluded quietly. He felt that he had made his stand clear. The viewers fell silent as they mulled over his words. Is that true? Would a zebra really kick its own child to death? Nature is indeed crueler than we can imagine. Host, you are really knowledgeable. This is the first time I've come across such a cultured and refined webcaster. I love you, yeah? Most outdoor webcasters are loud and rough. This webcaster is a gem. Ningf knew that he had to get busy. After all, he had to fulfill the mission set by the system. He had to have 200,000 viewers. This figure might not be achievable even for an experienced webcaster of 3 to 5 years. Of course, it also had to do with the content of the webcast. If the webcast was indeed exciting enough, the webcaster would be able to accumulate his or her popularity. At this time, Ningf had prepared four watermelons on the table. At the sight of this, the viewers were all perplexed, what was the webcaster doing? He had just saved a bird, and now, he had brought out four watermelons for no reason. Viewers, yesterday, I promised everyone that I would perform my cutting skills. Today, I shall fulfill my promise. Ningf spoke to his viewers with a smile. Cutting skills. This webcaster knows how to perform. Is he serious? What skill is he doing with a knife? Ha ha ha. I want to watch. The viewers all cheered him on. Ningf didn't explain a word and merely took out a set of knives. He placed them next to the watermelons and began to arrange them. He also brought out a complete set of knives, ranging from big to small sizes. With his newly obtained ultimate skill of cutting, Ningf discovered that every move he executed was smooth and easy. He could control with precision every cut he made. As Ningf carved, the viewers began to complain. During this live stream, all they saw was Ningf's knife poking and cutting the watermelon randomly. They had yet to see any changes. What is the webcaster doing? Isn't he supposed to flaunt his skill? Why hasn't anything happened? Scam. Is he poking the watermelon? The viewers began to jeer. However, no one would be able to understand or see the piece of art until the last minute. Ningf's brilliant skill had allowed the watermelon skin to drop as an entire piece as he carved, and only when he removed the skin would the viewers be able to see the carved art piece. Ningf was fully concentrating on his carving and had no time to bother with the comments. However, the comments began to go overboard. Many new viewers began to add scornful remarks. I came here because there were so many people watching. What is the webcaster doing? Stabbing watermelons? The surroundings are nice, but the content is boring. The webcaster is showing off his skill with a knife. Ha ha. So these are his skills. Impressive. Not. Ningf continued to make a cut here and there, with holes everywhere. Nonetheless, the watermelons still looked intact. No one knew what he was doing. Some left out of boredom while others came in and waited for him to reveal his mysterious final piece. Liu Sen was one of those who were waiting. He was bored at home, and there was nothing to do. He was done with his games, so he randomly selected a webcast. As Liu Sen lived in a modern city, he preferred shows that were related to nature. Thus, he had selected an outdoor webcast. After a few clicks, he was attracted by the Light Breeze Temple webcast room. So he entered it. There was a handsome young man using a knife on a screen. He seemed to be carving something, but nothing seemed to be happening to the watermelon, except for a few holes that were dripping with light juice. What is this webcaster doing? Liu Sen mumbled to himself curiously. He glanced at the screen and saw that the viewers were split into two gangs. One group was berating the webcaster while the other was supporting him. Skill of cutting? What cutting skill is this? Liu Sen pursed his lips as he watched. Wasn't he merely digging a few holes? Anyone with a hand could do that. At this time, Ningf was finally done. He raised his head and wiped his forehead as he gave a sigh of relief. Viewers, I've finished carving. I'm going to show you the completed work. 
Ning smiled at the screen. He used nearly an hour to carve and had 80,000 viewers left. He moved the phone closer to zoom in on the watermelons. Liu Sen stared at the watermelons, feeling confused. What is he up to? What toy is that? Many others shared his thoughts. Ning held on to the watermelon and began to scrape the residue off the surface. And finally, his art piece was revealed. Every viewer was dumbfounded when they realized what they had seen. Even Liu Sen let out a curse unknowingly. Fook, what was that? Did my eyes fail me? Liu Sen took a closer look. On the skin of the watermelon, there was a lifelike tiger carved on it. The tiger was descending from the mountain, and even the viewers could feel its dominance and power through the screen. A tiger carved on a watermelon? Liu Sen felt that all that he had known previously was turned topsy-turvy. Who was this webcaster? He was too amazing for words. At the same time, the screen exploded with comments. The screen was littered with fooks, along with adjectives such as amazing, astonishing, and awesome, while the rewards started flying in non-stop. Ningf's carving skills were astonishing. At the same time, his popularity exploded. Chapter 16, Completing His Mission As His Popularity Increases This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. Ningf's skill with his knife had indeed left everyone awestruck. The tiger that he had carved on the watermelon was vivid and lifelike. Ningf studied his completed work and was especially pleased too. He glanced at his screen and checked his popularity. He had 120,000 viewers now. Thus, he picked up the second watermelon and began to carve. Ningf had no idea that when he was carving the watermelon earlier on, someone had recorded him and then uploaded it online. This era was all about the internet, any news, information and odd or bizarre talents would be captured and uploaded online. And so, that video clip spread as quickly as a bushfire. There is a master watermelon carving artist. He is a real artist. Godlike skills reappearing. After you finish watching this video, you will be speechless. All sorts of headlines accompanied that video clip, which was trending all over the various social media platforms. The beginning of the video clip showed how Ningf was poking and cutting the watermelon. There wasn't anything special. Many viewers expressed confusion. Dot until the mystery was revealed. The moment when Ningf displayed the watermelon, everyone was speechless with awe. Many commented with Fook. To the final moment of the tiger descending from the mountain being revealed, someone had added intense background music to that on Dewey in one and they added the caption of wild. Along with some gloomy special effects. It was really cool. In no time, the number of likes on that video surpassed a million. The recorder who had uploaded the video clip also added a message, I took this video clip from Battling Birds webcast. The webcast room is named like Breeze Temple webcast room. Everyone, please go have a look. The power and influence of social media was no joke. Ningf had carved an equally majestic eagle with its wings spread on the second watermelon. As he began to carve the third one, throngs of viewers had swarmed into the webcast room. Wow, is this the master? He's so young. He is too handsome. Did he photoshop himself? Indeed. How could anyone be so good looking? This webcaster has such good skills. May I know where he learned it from? Brother, are you selling this watermelon? Host, can you carve on wood instead? I really need a sculpture artist right now. If you're indeed this skilled, I'm willing to pay you 500,000 yuan a year. As the viewers continued to discuss with excitement, Ningf's popularity soared. Actually, he didn't gain popularity that rapidly, but many of his fans volunteered to promote Ningf. Therefore, his webcast's popularity swelled drastically. 120,000, 140,000, and then 180,000. After four hours, Ningf's webcast dashed past 200,000 viewers. Ningf was still in the midst of carving with focus when the system's voice interrupted him. Ding! Congratulations to host for completing the mission. You have obtained the new skill of bird taming. I fulfilled the mission? Ningf was rather taken aback. He had been nervous actually as carving was a rather boring process. There wouldn't be many who would be willing to watch. He had planned on his final reveal of the mystery piece to attract more viewers. He was hoping that he would surpass the 200,000 mark by then. It had never occurred to him that as he was just starting to carve the third watermelon, the mission would be complete. So, he continued to carve the third watermelon. Like what he had done before, 
he removed the skin, and a giant wolf who was peering up at the sky met everyone's eyes. It was vivid and beautiful. The viewers had no idea how they should express their amazement towards Ningf. Ningf stopped carving as it had been four hours. He was starving and reckoned that little falcon would be too. After he had obtained the skill of bird taming, Ningf immediately understood how he should train and feed little falcon. Using the skill, he knew how different a falcon was from the rest of the birds. It was a carnivore and wouldn't eat food like corn or grains. However, he could use bin powder, cooked egg yolks, minced meat, and cod liver oil mixed together to feed little falcon. Similarly, a falcon wouldn't thrive in a cage as, in the long term, it would damage its feathers. Also, due to lack of exercise, a falcon would lose the use of its claws and beaks. It's indeed not easy to rear this little fellow. Ningf smiled as he shook his head at the little chick. It was becking around as it made soft sounds. He picked up his phone and addressed everyone. Sorry, guys. Today I have to make a trip to the town nearby to get some necessities, so I'm going to end the webcast now. I'll see you all tonight. He ended the webcast. He had to make a trip to the town as there were many things that were unavailable in the village. He had about 2000 yuan left in his savings. It should be enough since he could also take out some money from the webcast earnings. Ningf glanced at the figure in the system. He had gained 320,000 popularity points. He had around half of it left after spending half. Ningf decided to be frugal with it. After some contemplation, the rewards he got from the silver lucky draw weren't that useful. It was mainly some basic grade seeds and tonics to strengthen his body. There wasn't anything good. He was anticipating the rewards from the gold lucky draw. In the afternoon, Ningf cooked a bowl of noodles hastily for lunch before he rushed out. At the end of the village, he bumped into the butcher, Zuya Dao, who was going down the mountain too. So Ningf hitched to ride with him. The roads weren't very convenient in the mountains. There was a bus, but it only operated at dawn and returned at around 7.30 pm. There were no other times. There were many people who owned a car as it was more convenient for them. However, Ningf couldn't afford one. Hey, Ningf, where are you going? Zuya Dao asked with a smile. Zuya Dao was the owner of the biggest butcher shop in Chan village. Most of its residents patronized his shop. I need to buy some stuff. Ningf smiled back at him. Look at you. You have a university degree, but you came back. Why? The mountains have nothing here. Zuya Dao drove as he advised him. There were only a few young people in these mountains, and they lived mainly in the towns near the foot of the mountain. The rest had all left for the cities. It was rare for someone to come back like Ningf. Ningf loved nature and loved to explore it too. To the people who thrived in a new era where they lived in a concrete jungle, his beliefs and dreams were undoubtedly ridiculous. His biggest dream was to travel around the world and to go to different places to explore. Mountains, grasslands, valleys, caves. Nature was so beautiful and he wanted to explore and experience all of it. He also wanted to share this experience with others. In the past, he thought that this would merely be a dream. His plans were to return to the temple and to repair and reconstruct it. Then after that, he would travel out to find a job to make ends meet. He would become an ordinary man in society. However, it was different now. This outdoor webcast system was tailor-made for him. He had the ability and confidence to pursue his dreams. Uncle Zhu, to me, every part of the mountain is precious. Ningf grinned sheepishly. Zhu Yidao didn't press on when he saw how firm Ningf was. In the afternoon, Ningf bought cod liver oil, minced meat, and shrimps for little falcon. Then he purchased some necessities before he boarded the bus back. It was a leisurely and relaxed journey back home. The scenery of the mountains was breathtaking, it was lush and green everywhere. It looked as though they were layers of jade. Ningf began to contemplate quietly on his future plans. Chapter 17, Earning Some Quick Bucks Today This chapter is updated by Novels.pl Ningf checked his webcast room for his statistics. Many had left him private messages too. Some wanted to add him as a friend, while a few wealthy women asked if he was free. Several webcast channels wanted to sign a contract with him. Ningf received a call at this time. Hello, are you the webcaster of Light Breeze Temple? It was a man's voice. Yes. I am. Is there something I can help you with? Asked Ningf. I'm Lee He, 
the manager of Skycliff Union. I would like to check if you have any intention of joining a union. Skycliff Union has more than a hundred webcasters. We will promote you intensively if you were to join us. You will grow even more popular with us. I'm not interested. Ning for replied dully and wanted to hang up. Wait. Please consider. You'll be more popular if you join a union. It's tough for a newbie like you to strike out on his own. The other party began to sound a little harsh. Ning hung up right away. Lee He's expression turned ominous as he hung up. Sky Cliff Union was a major union with a hundred webcasters. Lee He felt that Ning had great potential and wanted to invite him. He had met quite a few like Ning but there was also a majority who came back begging with their heads bowed. At the thought of that, Lee He pursed his lips before he cursed. A newbie has no inkling of the harsh reality of the webcasting business. He won't know what's lying ahead for him. Lee He wasn't completely wrong. For amateur webcasters, they had to resort to unions if they weren't signed by a webcast company. But Ningf was different. He had already been invited by a good many webcast companies. He had no reason nor incentive to join a union. I don't have enough popularity points to get the good stuff. Seems like I'll have to make a trip up the mountain tomorrow, Ningf muttered to himself. He went to town today to prepare for his upcoming webcasts. When he got back to the temple, he began to prepare food for Little Falcon. Ningf was gone for nearly half a day, and that little fellow had been crying out for food hungrily. He mixed the cod liver oil, minced meat, bin powder, and more together before molding them into the shape of worms. Then he dangled the food from the top of the box. He had cooked the mixture before serving, so it should definitely taste better. Ningf deliberately lifted the food higher to train Little Falcon if it wanted to eat. It would have to work hard and stand up to eat. A little down could be seen peeking out of little falcon's skin. When it fell from the magical tree, it should have been in the process of shedding its skin. Birds grew up really fast, and eagles would have to learn how to take flight before they turned two months old. Certainly, eagles did have a harsher life as they grew up. A few days after an eagle chick was born. The mother would bring its chick to higher ground. It would then throw the baby down a tree or cliff. During this process, the chick would sustain fractures to its wings and severe pain. Nonetheless, it still had to struggle to fly. Otherwise, it would die. Vigorous flapping of its wings would help to stop the bleeding, and it would recover in a short time. The healed wings would become as tough and strong as steel. As for Nymph's baby falcon, it was most likely less than ten days old. It should be able to stand. I should get a cage, Nymph thought to himself. Claws were a weapon and tool for eagles. A baby falcon should never stand on flat ground as its claws would soften. Therefore, Ningf went to a family in the village who specialized in birds to purchase a bird cage. After he bought it, he tore off the wires around it. Next, he tried to get Little Falcon to stand on a small swaying log inside the cage. At first, Little Falcon couldn't do it, but after a short while, it succeeded in standing. Other than its hairless skin, Little Falcon looked bright and active. Ningf didn't start his webcast at night. Dot. Over at the Battling Birds webcast platform's IT department. When the head of the IT department, Lin Long, saw the statistics, he was in disbelief. A new webcaster had achieved a viewership count of 200,000 in two days. He had attracted 5,000 subscribers and more than 30% of the viewers had commented, with 80% of his viewers watching his every webcast. Lin Long got his colleague to analyze and check the statistics. In the end, Nothing was amiss. What kind of joke was this? A new webcaster had retained 80% of his viewers. The top webcaster at Battling Birds that year had never achieved anything like that. Webcasts were unpredictable, and usually, only experienced webcasters would have a pool of regular and loyal viewers and supporters. For new webcasters, it was common for most of their viewers to leave. Yet, an outdoor webcaster had managed to achieve such a terrifying and amazing record. They were in luck. What is management doing? Why aren't they getting him on board? Lin Long exclaimed after noticing that this webcaster hadn't signed a contract with them. Director Lin, the other party has received a contract. But he didn't reply, a subordinate hastily said. What contract was he being offered? I think it's grade B. At these words, Lin Long erupted in a rage. Fook, how could we offer him a B grade contract? Thank God our rivals can't access our data. Otherwise, 
he would have been stolen, I'm going to talk to old Jang, he picked up a document and strode purposefully out, dot. At night, Ning Fu received another phone call from Battling Birds webcast platform, Mr. Ning, good evening, I'm the PR manager of Battling Birds webcast platform, my name is Xu Sheng, spoke the man politely, hello. Ning Fu had a hunch that it would be about a contract, may I ask if you have read the contract offered by Battling Birds webcast platform, I've read it, but I don't intend to accept due to the terms, after discussion amongst the management team, we are willing to offer you a new contract, what grade, A, Xu Sheng replied politely, grade A, Ning Fu frowned, and then his expression changed again, a greater contract was indeed a really good one, rarely would new webcasters be able to land such a good offer, a new webcaster would usually start from grade D and slowly work his or her way up after gaining experience, how about the specifics, such as annual salary, the earnings, and contract expiry, Ningf probed on, the annual salary is 1,200,000 yuan 1. You will get 65% of the earnings, and the contract will last 5 years, Xu Sheng answered. Ning frowned again at this answer. 5 years was indeed a long time. In reality, the contracts that webcast companies had offered were usually harsh and rigid. They had to in order to prevent their webcasters from being poached. In addition, some webcast platforms thrived on the compensation that these webcasters had given. Five years is too long. Ning Fu shook his head. Mr. Ning, this offer is the best I've ever seen in my years in this industry. Other than those grade S webcasters, yours is the best. I feel that you should accept. I'm fine with a lower annual salary and smaller portion of the earnings, but I want the contract to last for a year, Ning Fu replied firmly. All right. I got it. I will discuss this with my superiors. Xu Sheng heard Ning Fu and nodded before he hung up. I wonder what's on his mind to decline a greater contract. Xu Sheng shook his head helplessly. Did he think that he could be promoted to a grade S webcaster in a year? The span of the contract also meant that the progression was restricted. If Ning Fu were to sign a contract with Battling Birds for five years, even if he were to gain popularity worldwide, all the terms and clauses would still be the same as per contract. That was what the contract was about. If he wanted to end it, he would have to give a hefty sum as compensation. That was why many webcasters had fallen out with their platforms. Despite the abilities and skills of the popular webcasters, the platforms didn't provide the remuneration and treatment they deserved, and that was why those webcasters would be eager to break off the contract. The webcast platforms had one simple method, it would continue to suck the blood from the webcasters, if not, they would have to compensate the platform to leave, either way, the platform wouldn't be on the losing end, if a popular webcaster were to leave, there would have still been plenty of others waiting to seize the throne, it's so troublesome, but this affects my future, so I should be careful, Ning Fu sighed to himself, he didn't like such trouble, but he knew when he should tread cautiously, the next day, Ning Fu packed his equipment and started his webcast on time. I'm the first, good morning, host, you're finally here. Why didn't you do the live stream yesterday? Host, what style are you wearing today? Many of his avid supporters swarmed into this webcast room. They were curious about Ning Fu's style. Ning Fu carried a gigantic backpack with all sorts of tools hanging out from the sides. There were hammers, axes, fishing lines, and more. Hello. Viewers, today, I'm going into the mountain to earn some quick bucks. Chapter 18, Picking Lingzi in the Mountains. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ning first fed Little Falcon before he took out a can of dog food to feed Sunny. He woke up even earlier today to tend to his vegetable garden. After completing his chores, he locked the door and strode on the road towards the mountain. On his way, he had to pass by Chan Village where he met Uncle Wang's and Uncle Lee's ducks, this time, it was Uncle Lee's ducks who waited, ha ha, these little ducks are waiting for their friends again, I'm new here, may I know what's up with these ducks, a flock of ducks waiting for another flock of ducks to have fun, this sounds weird, two flocks of ducks, playing, stabbing with swords in flocks, stop that, I don't want to visualize it, let me off, 
this bus isn't going to the kindergarten. All sorts of random comments appeared. Ningf walked past the village and continued his way deep into a jungle. The drone flew closely overhead. Dear viewers, I'm at the edge of the Chan village. If I continue to walk in, we won't be seeing people anymore. Ningf stopped by the road and announced casually to the screen, the jungle is more dangerous, but I have lived here all my life, so there shouldn't be a problem. Of course, we will be heading to the edge of the jungle today. The real danger lies in the depths of the jungle, where the wild beasts roam. Today, my mission is to pick wild lingzi one, bamboo shoot, and other plants to earn some money. Ningf spoke to his viewers. As the saying went, the mountain dweller lived off the mountain. People who lived near a mountain would find some stuff to sell. And if Lady Luck was on their side, they could sometimes earn up to several thousand. Host, are you going to search for ginseng? Many asked. Yeah. What type of plant is profitable? Are there a lot of ginseng? I also want to go. Ningf grinned as he explained. I'm not looking for ginseng. This mountain is near the rivers. Ginseng is commonly found in the northeast mountains. Over there, those who collect ginseng are named mountain collectors. Everyone, don't belittle this. Before they do anything, they have to do some rituals to pay respects to the mountains. It would take a minimum of a dozen days to months for this process. These collectors would have to gather a great amount of necessities and prepare their equipment. The collectors will travel in a row and would be 3 meters apart from each other. They would then look out for ginseng in that manner. The first person to discover ginseng is named, eye opener. And if they do so, they have to yell something specific. As Ningf explained, his viewers unconsciously fell into a trance. They realized that Ningf was very knowledgeable and could narrate clearly. Host, you're knowledgeable and very detailed, someone with a shiny golden VIP account commented. For Battling Birds webcast platform, those who were waiting to fork out sums of money would be given exclusive treatment. This person's name was Master Jiang. His appearance caused a commotion. Oh my gosh, it's Master Jiang. He's here. Master Jiang, who is he? You don't know him? He is the young master of Vessel Medicine Pharmacy. He is Jiang Feng. Jiang Cheng's son, Vessel Medicine Pharmacy, the biggest traditional medicine chain in China? Yes, it's him. It's rumored they are worth dozens of billions. He is a true big shot. Wow, so impressive. All the supporters had a heated discussion. Ningf hadn't noticed anything as he was focused on the mountain. The biggest difference between Ningf's webcast and the others was that the drone could give the audience a third party's viewpoint. It allowed them to have a real time and full view of Ningf's current situation. This brand new way of live streaming was indeed favorable. Today, I am collecting Lingzi. This will depend on my luck as it's not easy to find. Ningf added, Lingzi is also named the divine medicinal herb or even magical grass. It has a good deal of medicinal properties. It mainly lives near the roots of decaying trees. So if you want to collect Lingzi, you have to find a spot where a lot of trees are gathered near each other. Ningf strode ahead as he talked. The drone was a compact one and could even detect a person, so it was able to keep close to Ningf at this time. Jiang Feng was sitting in a vintage looking study as he watched Ningf's webcast with interest. He was the young master of Vessel Medicine Pharmacy and a prime example of an extremely wealthy second generation. He was also a learned man, especially in the areas of traditional medicine. He enjoyed watching webcasts, mainly outdoor and gaming ones. Today, he had discovered and unearthed a talented webcaster. It was naturally Ningf. His room was named Light Breeze Temple Webcast Room. The name itself had expressed an indescribable feeling and intrigued Jiang Feng. He came from a traditional and conventional family. Vessel Medicine Pharmacy had opened its doors during the final years of the Qing Dynasty. Generation after generation, the legacy had been passed down, and the business had expanded. Nevertheless, it had preserved its original traditions and style. He was very sensitive about things regarding Chinese culture and traditions. And he had found both qualities in Ningf. As Ningf's eyes wandered everywhere, he began to talk. Let me fill you in on the difference between a wild Lingzi and an artificial Lingzi. Wild Lingzi grows on rotten, decaying trees in the depths of the forests and jungles. Surrounding it would be weeds and rocks. Lingzi comes in many types colors, and shapes. Artificial Lingzi tends to imitate the real thing intentionally, 
but it would appear uniform in terms of color and shape. Lingzi also comes in various sizes, and every Lingzi plant has a unique characteristic. An artificial Lingzi is manufactured identically in terms of color and shape. Next, let's talk about the wild Lingzi. This Lingzi would definitely be attacked by insects, so the bottom part of the plant would have holes. For artificial Lingzi that is planted by people, there would be pesticides sprayed to eliminate the pests. Besides, the taste of a wild lingzi is bitter. The more bitter it is, the more effective it is. As the saying goes, good medicine tastes bitter, and some have claimed that the saying is derived from the lingzi. Lastly, you have to look at the stem of the lingzi. Wild lingzi grows in the wild, and there would be weeds in its environment. Inevitably, you would find weeds tangled up with the lingzi plant. Nymph spoke professionally and the viewers got drunk on his voice. Who can tell me more about what the host is rambling about? It's weird, but I've increased my knowledge. Host, we can't afford to buy Ling Si, no matter how much you promote it. Host, is everything you said true? Zoom. Suddenly, the resounding sound of a rocket was heard as it appeared and shot upwards from the bottom of the screen. A super rocket. Someone had rewarded Ningf with a super rocket. And the person was none other than Master Jiang. Boss is indeed generous. Ha ha. Boss is mighty. Young Master Jiang is the best. The comments came in furiously. Jiang Feng sat in front of his laptop as he nodded his head. Ningf was indeed a webcaster with real knowledge in his head. He had watched many live streams, and at a glance, he would be able to tell whether they were merely trying to please the viewers. After a short while, Jiang Feng had discovered that Ningf was the real deal. He reminisced about how he had accompanied his family to pick herbs. He also recalled how he had learned about plants and medicine, and he suddenly turned melancholic. Thus, he had sent a super rocket. At this time, Ningf had noticed the huge reward. He took a look at the name and grinned happily. Thank you, Master Jiang for the super rocket. Thank you. Ningf was overjoyed. A super rocket was worth 2000 yuan one. He would receive 800 yuan out of that. It was indeed an easy way to earn money. But he also understood that it was time he decided on a contract with the platform. After all, he would get better benefits with a contract. At this time, Ningf seemed to have caught sight of something. He exclaimed aloud, there it is. At Ningf's expression, the viewers were all lured to the site. Chapter 19, Lotus Wood and White Jade Lingzi. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf marched a few steps to a tree. Under this tree, there was a fallen decay tree that lay at a spot that sunlight couldn't reach. There was moss growing around it, and it was already turning black. Everyone, look, there is Lingzi right there. Ningf knelt down and moved his phone closer to the Lingzi. Everyone, you have to take note of the difference between Lingzi and some poisonous fungi. Similarly, you have to be aware of poisonous snakes and insects and act cautiously. There will be many dangerous beasts around the mountain and snakes lingering around the vicinity. Ning finched closer as he explained, and his viewers didn't even dare to breathe loudly. But this Lingzi can't be used any longer. Look at the bottom of the Lingzi. It has been badly eaten by bugs. What a pity. Ningf shook his head, looking a little sad. Although the viewers couldn't understand the full picture, they were nonetheless a little regretful when they heard Ningf. Ningf carefully used a long stick to check the Lingzi's surroundings. The stick had a gentle light emitting from it and didn't look ordinary. Host, what is this stick? Someone asked curiously. It's made of fragrance wood. It's nothing valuable, Ningf replied casually when he glanced at the screen. What? Fragrance wood? His nonchalance caused a wave of commotion. What do you mean by that? Fragrance wood has a high value right now. I heard that too, as this wood has a natural fragrance. Humans can't smell it, but it drives the insects away. This wood can slow down pests and insects, so insects hate this wood. I heard that fragrance wood is made from the heart of trees that are at least a century old. Host. Your stick is such a big one. I'm afraid it won't come cheap. It's about 500 yuan. Some of the viewers were rather knowledgeable despite being ordinary working people. They could contribute to the discussion with their opinions. And so, everyone chimed in one after another, and the value of Ningf's wooden stick came to light. His fragrance wood stick really cost about 500 yuan. 
fragrance wood was indeed a good quality material. It wouldn't rot even after a century if the workmanship was good. According to his master, his fragrance wood stick was passed down generations ago. It had become an asset of the Light Breeze Temple. He could use this fragrance wood stick for these journeys, and it would prevent insects and pests, some of which lurked in the darkness, from attacking him suddenly. Jiang Feng studied the fragrance wood stick from the screen and confirmed that it was genuine. He also noticed something that the others didn't. He could see a few faint red lines in the fragrance wood stick that would have gone unnoticed easily. Fragrance wood came from trees that were at least a century old, and this particular fragrance wood stick was of even greater quality. The fragrance wood stick in Ningf's hand had been from a tree that was at least a thousand years old. Fragrance wood was beneficial to a person's health as it helped by improving blood circulation, improving the quality of sleep, and strengthening the mind. In fact, Ningf's antique bed was made from dozens of blocks of fragrance wood. If his stick was made from fragrance wood of at least a thousand years old, its value wouldn't be merely 50,000 yuan one. It would be ten times more. 500,000 yuan. This fellow looked poor and shabby on the surface, yet he had casually whipped out a stick that was worth 500,000 yuan. This was interesting. Jiang Feng soon realized that this webcaster's live stream was indeed illuminating. He would wait until Ningf had found the Lingzi. It wouldn't be too late to reward him then. Ningf continued to use his stick to lift up the stalks of Lingzi. A Lingzi that had been bitten by pests was barely of any value. Such a pity. Ningf sighed aloud as he stowed his stick away. He then continued to trudge deeper into the mountain. Guys, if we continue deeper, all sorts of animals could come out. The most common ones are the black bears and boars. Ningf continued marching on as he took sips of water. Honestly speaking, outdoor webcasters like him who would go on an expedition to the wilderness were rare. This adventure was a real one, and certainly, it had sparked the viewer's interest. It was hardly a surprise that his webcast room was growing steadily in popularity. And in no time, he reached 300,000 viewers. Boars are not scary as they don't attack people easily. It's the black bears that are terrifying. Everyone, don't belittle their speed as they can run fast. Ordinary people wouldn't be a match explained Ningf. Ningf walked cautiously as his eyes darted everywhere. He had gone past the edge of the jungle and ventured deeper. Few people would come here. Lotus wood? Ningf's eyes lit up. A short distance away, there were four massive trees that looked as though they had been connected together. Their trunks were very close to each other. Brothers, look here. We have four trees growing together. Ningf used his finger to point ahead as he explained. These trees will fight to survive and therefore, they will extend themselves upward in search of sunlight. In doing so, the area between these trunks wouldn't get any sunlight over the years. And thus, Lingzi would be able to grow easily. Let's go take a look if I'm in luck today, Ningf said. The viewers also got curious and intrigued by him. They stared at the trees intently. Ningf went nearer and everyone couldn't help but become nervous. These connected trees were indeed hard to come by. Ningf was really in luck today. He trod carefully and slowly toward them as he examined their trunks, which resembled four walls. The trunks had formed an enclosed space. Ningf peered inside and spotted a white lingzi, looking dainty and lonely. Wow, it's a white lingzi. Surprise and delight rushed through Ningf. Lingzi was a kind of bacteria, and the brighter the color was, the more poisonous it would be. Also, the purer the color, the better it was. This breed of Lingzi looked exceptionally fine. At the sight of it, comments rushed in. A white Lingzi? What's that? Experts, please expound. It looks rare. White Lingzi is one of the best and rarest Lingzi one can find. It only grows in the wild and needs strict conditions to grow. You're right. White Lingzi demands a specific temperature and moisture. I can't imagine that a white Lingzi would grow in this place. Brothers, tell me how much it's worth. I deduce it would be worth around 30,000 yuan one. Master Jiang added a comment. That isn't an ordinary white Lingzi as its size would be as big as a palm. This Lingzi is as big as a clock's face, 
so I reckon that it's probably a white jade lingzi. What? White jade lingzi? White jade lingzi required even more specific conditions. Due to the temperature and moisture level, white jade lingzi would stop growing at a certain size. However, its quality wouldn't stop evolving, and therefore, its medicinal worth was invaluable. Dear viewers, I think I might be raking in a fortune this time. After Ningf examined the white lingzi, his expression turned delightful. This white lingzi was most likely the white jade variety, and judging from the color, it should be of premium quality. Ningf took out the fragrance would stick to surveil the surroundings. At this time, a green snake slithered out from underneath the weeds near the lingzi. Everyone was watching the lingzi intently, and the abrupt appearance of the snake took them by shock. Ah! Many shrieked and screamed in horror and some even threw their phones away. Ying Ting was one of them. She was enjoying the live stream when the snake seemingly materialized out of thin air. She then hurled her phone away in fright. She picked up the phone a moment later and spluttered, Oh my lord, it's a snake. Little brother, are you alright? Please don't be disfigured. Chapter 20 The Value of the White Jade Lingzi This chapter is updated by Novels.pl the abrupt appearance of the snake had taken everyone by shock. That snake was simply too fast. Ningf wanted to feature the Lingzi closely, so he was using the phone for the live stream. The viewers felt as though they were there as well. When everyone got over the initial fright and shock, they realized that the snake had landed somewhere else. Ningf looked perfectly fine and composed, without a tinge of fear. The drone then took over the filming. It turned out that when the green snake had slithered out, Ningf had used the fragrance wood stick to fling it away. It was a daunting experience, but without any mishaps. Hello, everyone. It's natural to see insects and snakes around here, so I was already prepared just now, Ningf spoke calmly to the drone. The viewers felt relieved and calmed down after his explanation. Webcaster, you're the best. Exciting. Too damn exciting. Gave me such a shock. Host. You have to compensate me for my phone. I almost peed in my pants. Host, and you claim that you don't know martial arts. His screen was littered with comments, and everyone expressed how shocked and terrified they were about what had just happened. Many also sent him rewards. Host, is that snake trying to protect the white jade lingzi? Someone asked. Ningf cracked a smile at the screen. No, it wasn't. To humans, lingzi is useful. But to snakes? It's just another oddly shaped mushroom. Snakes naturally seek places that are cool. This area is shaded and dark all year round, and that was why the snake had been hiding here. Ningf was already prying the weeds around the white jade lingzi with the fragrance wood stick as he explained. He had to be patient during this process. Impatience and haste were taboos during such expeditions. If an ordinary person were to spot a priceless white jade lingzi, he or she would have jumped in to pluck it but they would have also been exposed to the danger of being bitten by poisonous snakes in the grass. Snakes are commonly seen in the mountains. I fended myself against snakes since I was a boy. Besides, most snakes wouldn't attack someone without a reason. But this situation is an exception. Ning fadded, Jiang Feng sent Ning for another super rocket along with their message. Webcaster, are you selling this white jade lingzi? I want to buy it. Ningf hadn't had the time to notice the messages and comments. He was focused on tidying up the surroundings around the white jade lingzi. He rummaged for a shovel in his backpack before he carefully dug out the lingzi. He took out a small brush and poured some water from a bottle to clean the surface of the lingzi. Everyone, if you find lingzi, the first thing you have to do is to clean off the mud and dirt on it. Once the dirt has dried up, it won't be easy to remove. Ningf's concentration was fully on the lingzi as he spoke, this is indeed a white jade lingzi. Snakes slither around it frequently, and that's why it remains protected from pests. Ningf zoomed in on the white jade lingzi again so as to allow the viewers to have a clear view of the lingzi. This white jade lingzi was indeed beautiful. It was light white in color, and from a first glance, it wasn't anything ordinary. Is that really white jade lingzi? Someone questioned again. In that case, this webcaster is going to have a windfall. I heard that the price for a white jade lingzi can go beyond 100,000 yuan won. What? 100,000 yuan? That is just the minimum value. Other than strengthening the body and cleansing the lungs, 
it also offers protection to the whole heart. Besides that, it increases and improves blood circulation and strengthens the myocardium. Are you for it? In a nutshell, this is for the wealthy. They are willing to fork out a fortune for a tiger's penis, so it is understandable that they are willing to part with the same amount of money for a white jade lingzi. Many had privately messaged Ning to offer to buy his Lingzi. I want this. Name your price. 50,000 yuan. I want it. Webcaster, please sell it to me. The price is negotiable. After Ning had finished cleaning the white jade Lingzi, he checked the webcast system for messages. Many were offering to buy the Lingzi. Ning was exhilarated. The purpose of his trip today was to sell the Lingzi he would find. The one with the highest bid was indeed Master Jiang. Master Jiang typed, Webcaster, sell me this white jade lingzi. Judging from its color, it's around 10 years old. My offer of 100,000 yuan is reasonable. Ningf accepted and replied with a confirmation to Master Jiang's message. He then announced to the webcast room, Bosses, so sorry. I've sold the white jade lingzi, and I won't be accepting any more offers. Ningf didn't reveal the identity of the buyer to ensure his privacy. Lingzi would need at least six months to fully mature. Only in the wild, would one come across a Lingzi that was ten years old or even a century old. This white jade Lingzi had thrived in a special place and gone unnoticed for a decade. It could be considered a miracle. Ningf sounded firm and decisive and it stopped the businessmen and buyers who wanted to get their hands on the Lingzi from trying their luck again. Jiang Feng was impressed by Ningf's ability and found his character admirable. Thus, he sent him 50 more rockets. Ningf was in a jubilant mood with 100,000 yuan in his pocket. He would have money to pay for his living expenses now. The temple was also in ruins, and if he wanted to reconstruct it, he would need a huge sum of money. It was afternoon by this time. As the paths in the jungle weren't easy to navigate, with Ningf searching for Lingzi, he had spent quite some time in there. Viewers and friends, wild Lingzi is rare, and most of the time, we would go home empty handed. Today, Lady Luck was on my side. Ningf found a flat rock and took out his lunch. He had a bottle of water, two buns, a braised egg and a sausage. Webcaster, this is your lunch, no. It's so pitiful. You have just pocketed 100,000 yuan. Shouldn't you be eating something else? Ha ha ha, what is this situation? The viewers joked and bantered. Ningf grinned at the comments with a chuckle. Friends, my sole purpose is to find Lingzi today. This place is far from the temple, and I have to get back before night time, so time is of the essence. Next time. I will do a live stream of how I cook in the wilderness. Everyone finally understood after Ningf clarified. He just wanted to have a quick and convenient lunch. After all, he was inside a dangerous jungle, and time was precious. All he needed was something to satisfy his hunger. After a few minutes, he finished his lunch and gulped down his water. He continued to trudge deep into the forest. Few come here, so the probability of both danger and treasure are equally higher. Ningf talked as he strode briskly. At this time, something near the trees suddenly made a rustling sound. The twigs on the ground were also shifting slightly. What is happening? Everyone was jittery. They had never ventured to a place like this before and had no idea what was inside. Ningf looked rather wary and solemn as well. He studied the movements amongst the trees and deduced that it was something big. As expected, the leaves parted and a fully grown wild boar barged its way through the trees. A wild boar. At the sight of the boar, comments surged in. Webcaster, run. Oh my god, it's a wild boar. It's so horrifying. At this time, Ningf hadn't moved as he eyed the boar intently. He stealthily took out a sharp shovel. The boar had noticed Ningf, and it was evidently terrified. It turned on its heel and sprinted away in a heartbeat. Ningf let out a sigh of relief after it was gone. Viewers. Wild boars are commonly sighted in the mountains, but they don't attack for no reason unless the boars are the giant and exceptionally strong ones, with a violent nature, Ningf clarified. He didn't add on that, in the past, there weren't regulations or laws to stop the poaching of wild boars. Many poachers or hunters would venture up the mountains to hunt for these boars. The flesh of a boar was chewy and delicious although it was slightly sour. But there were fewer hunters now. Ningf consciously remembered that he had gone deeper in today. The jungle was huge, 
and he could only cover a tiny area during his search. He raised his head to peer at the sky before he glanced at the map on his phone. He muttered to himself, I should be nearing the in apostrophe one side of the mountain, where I'm most likely to find Lingzi. Ningf had studied the ancient beliefs and traditions, and read about the rules and order in nature. A mountain's yin side referred to the side of the mountain that had been facing dark and negative energy. A mountain's yang side faced bright and positive energy. On this mountain, there was only one side of the mountain that had been facing the yin side. Lingzi was most likely found in such places. Ningf had to locate the yin area before he could search for the Lingzi. It should be that jagged cliff. Ningf gazed ahead as he thought. Chapter 21 Dendrobium. No, it's a Dendrobium devonanum. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf draped purposefully towards the cliff. He weaved through the trees, clad in his armor and battle shoes. He had a straw hat on and looked like an explorer from head to toe. It was worth mentioning that he only wore his priest clothes during his morning studies and his training. He would always wear whatever he wanted at other times. To him, following his heart was the most important philosophy. Being a pious and devout follower of the religion wasn't just about the clothes but also the heart. Advancing forward was way harder than he had imagined. There were no pavements in the jungle, and the ground was covered with twisting vines. Ningf had to use his tools to clear the path ahead of him several times. During this journey, the live stream carried on capturing everything. These images and situations were hardly ever seen. No one would ever venture into the depths of such an ancient jungle. On the one hand, no one was skilled or professional enough. It would be dangerous, and one would be risking his or her life every second. If one weren't careful enough, injuries were bound to happen. On the other hand, it was also because they weren't sufficiently equipped. Someone had to follow and record the process, and then, they had to edit the video before it would be ready. As for Ningf, his webcast was live. In this era, there would be 5G connection everywhere on his planet. As long as one could glimpse at the sky overhead, one would be connected easily. Unless it was somewhere being blocked or prescribed, otherwise, the phone should have a Wi-Fi connection. As Ningf strode further in, he felt the temperature dipping. He shivered from the cold. Spring was ending, and it was afternoon right now. The day should be warm now, but as the trees had cast a shade and blocked the skies, he felt strangely cold. This was the coldness emitted from a mountain, and this was also the perfect place where Lingzi would thrive in abundance. It was literally a natural breeding ground for Lingzi. It was the first time that Ningf had stepped foot here, and he had traveled a long way today. As he marched forward relentlessly, his viewers had increased exponentially, 300,000, 400,000 and then 500,000. As a new webcaster, his viewership had actually shot past 500,000. He had broken the official webcast record of Battling Birds webcast platform. Ningf turned around to glance at the drone as he announced, Dear viewers, I can't go any further. The way ahead was completely blocked by huge lush trees. The trees around him were still considered a little apart from each other, but if there wasn't a sufficient gap between the trees, he would be too vulnerable to poisonous insects and dangerous animals that roam this mountain. Ningf was here to search for plants, he had no wish to become their next meal. Thus, he began to look amongst the trunks for traces of Lingzi. Ningf studied and examined the tree trunks, but he only managed to find two ordinary Lingzi. One didn't look too good. The viewers couldn't help but mock him. Webcaster, didn't you claim that this is where Lingzi grows? Why haven't we seen any? Ha! Huh. The host's luck is used up. These Lingzi wouldn't fetch much. Seems like there isn't anything on this mountain. Forget it. The host has found a white jade Lingzi that is worth 100,000 yuan. How many of you can earn that in a day? That awesome. Ningf certainly had no time to focus on the comments. He merely glimpsed into the depths of the darkness. Behind the trees and jungle was the real yin side of the mountain. However, he didn't have the skills nor the expertise to recklessly go in. This can be considered as the outer barrier of the mountain. I wonder how the view is like inside the mountain. At the thought of this, Ningf could only ponder quietly. There was nothing he could do about this barrier. At this time, 
Ningf suddenly noticed something on the slope. There was a rock that looked weather-beaten over decades. Ningf came to the rock and studied the plant on it. He suddenly laughed. Viewers, my streak of luck isn't broken yet. At Ningf's excitement, everyone sat up eagerly. Host, what did you find? What treasure is that? I can't see anything. I only see a clump of weeds. The viewers typed away furiously. At this time, Another VIP account commented, Young Master Xuan Yuan typed, It's a dendrobium, and a wild one. It should be a dendrobium of Isinal. Many leached on quickly to his comment. Wow, another expert, how do I read that word? Is it a rock? A dendrobium. I thought it wasn't expensive. It depends on the species. There are many kinds of dendrobium. The dendrobium is the title of king of the medicinal herbs. It's also commonly referred to as the golden plant. I guess all of you can have a better idea now. A good quality dendrobium is worth more than 10,000 yuan per half kilogram. As everyone discussed enthusiastically, Master Jiang spoke up. Master Jiang typed, A wild dendrobium has a low ability to reproduce and it demands a specific level of conditions for it to grow. If it's indeed a wild dendrobium, Vessel Medicine Pharmacy quotes a price of 100,000 yuan per half kilogram. He also added, I'm afraid that this isn't dendrobium of Isinal. What? It isn't dendrobium of Isinal? Since the expert from Vessel Medicine Pharmacy had already spoken up, Everyone heaved a sigh of relief. If an ordinary looking weed were to fetch a price of 100,000 yuan, no one would be able to believe it. This is why I say that this webcaster's luck has defied God. How can he be this damn lucky? Ditto. This isn't just luck. He took a risk and ventured into such a deep jungle alone. It's dangerous. I agree. I remembered seeing some documentary about a death area in some part of an ocean. A fisherman can earn more than 100,000 US dollars per trip. But the thing is, they have to come back alive. The amount you earn is the amount of risk you take. Everyone began to debate when Master Jiang commented once more, Everyone, you're mistaken. That isn't Dendrobium of Isinal. It's Dendrobium Devonanum, a more valuable and premium plant. His declaration caused another wild storm of comments. Dendrobium. Devonanum, it sounds even more valuable. Fook, it's even more prized. Is it really that valuable? Those who had mocked and jeered at Ningf were left feeling jealous. It had never occurred to them that the weed in front of Ningf was the prized and expensive Dendrobium Devonanum. Was this even possible? Was this even legal? At that moment, Ningf scanned the incoming comments and chuckled lightly. This is indeed Dendrobium Devonanum. Although I don't have much knowledge about Dendrobium. I have seen some with my master when I was younger. Dendrobium has other names such as the immortal plant and soul returning plant. It's a plant as well as a medicinal herb. Most likely, this Dendrobium devonanum plant has just matured. Everyone, look at this. The stem is slightly purplish, but it's not purple. Dendrobium devonanum grows in the cracks of cliffs and it absorbs nutrients from the rocks in the mountains. There are too many traces of metal elements in the mountain, so the Dendrobium Devonanum will find ways to expel them. Gradually, it will turn purple. Ningf was examining the Dendrobium Devonanum as he explained. Without hesitation, he took out a sharp knife and began to pry at the rock. Then, he dug out the entire Dendrobium Devonanum plant. If this Dendrobium Devonanum were to be mashed into powder, it would weigh around half a kilogram. At this time, the rich and generous Jiang Feng offered to buy Ningf Stendrobium Devonanum. No one would be able to surpass Vessel Medicine Pharmacy in terms of the utilization of herbs and medicinal plants as ingredients. It was the biggest pharmacy chain in China and had even expanded to other parts of the world. Jiang Feng was aware of how rare and precious these medicinal plants were. These were rare commodities that were worth hoarding. Sometimes. They couldn't even be measured in monetary terms. When Jiang Feng sent him a private message along with a super rocket, Ningf accepted it readily. Your dendrobium devonanum is worth about 260,000 yuan in the market. I shall offer 300,000 yuan as a friendship price. Jiang Feng was a fair and just man, and so were the principles of Vessel Medicine Pharmacy. Ningf naturally agreed to Jiang Feng's offer. At this time, the sky was gradually turning dark and Ningf began to pack his equipment. He then hurriedly retraced his steps back to the temple, 
Chapter 22, New Lucky Draw and New Skills This chapter is updated by Novels.pl It was much faster to get back. Ningf had to clearly watch for danger on his journey into the forest while searching for the precious plants. As for the return journey, all he had to do was to go back the same way he had come. He had merely explored the boundaries of Chan this time. He wasn't prepared to venture deeper. At least I've found the inside of the mountain. I should be better equipped and prepared the next time to explore that area, Ningf muttered to himself. That area was covered all year round and was warm and moist. Lingzi and other valuable plants would grow in abundance there. As he circled the boundaries, he had already found precious medicinal plants such as the dendrobium and several lingzi. If he were to go deeper, there would be more treasure. As Ning rushed back to the temple, it was already evening, so he ended the live stream. First, he contacted Master Jiang to confirm the details for the collection. They had decided on the Vessel Medicine Pharmacy located in the nearest city below Chan village. Vessel Medicine Pharmacy had numerous chains all over the country. Jiang Feng told him to bring the goods with him, and he would get paid in return. Jiang Feng was a businessman and thus wouldn't stupidly transfer 400,000 yuan to Ningf without the goods. He would have to verify the goods during the transaction. As for Ningf, he went along with it. To Ningf, 400,000 yuan was a huge amount of money. He had no idea that he would reap such a bountiful harvest today in the mountain. What a streak of absurd luck. When Ningf got back to the temple, he first fed Little Falcon with a good meal. Little Falcon had been starving, and it instantly opened its mouth and made a shrill sound at Ningf's appearance. Ningf fed it with six worms that were made with minced meat. It gobbled them up heartily before it fell into a deep sleep. Ningf thought that he should get the money as soon as he could, so he hailed a taxi to go down the mountain. The people living in the mountains would hail for a special taxi that cost a to you on. The journey would take an hour. Ningf, why are you going down the mountain at this time? Are you looking for some entertainment? The taxi driver, who had been driving a taxi for nearly eight years, was already familiar with everyone. I'm going to Vessel Medicine Pharmacy, Master Liu. Ningf smiled warmly at him. Vessel Medicine Pharmacy. Why are you going there? Is it because of Aunt Wang's illness? Everyone was privy to each other's well-being and news on the mountain. So naturally, Liu Bo was aware of her health condition. Not this time. Ningf, it's boring for you to stay on the mountain. Let me introduce you to a place. You can go there to unwind. What do you think? What place is that? Just to unwind? Ningf had a really exhausting day after the long trip. That place is totally ideal as the girls have many ways. Let me give you some suggestions. You can take the 698 yuan package. Others such as the 1,298 yuan package are too expensive. Yubo entered a dreamy reverie as he rattled on. Ningf understood what he was saying and quickly waved his hands. Master Liu. Please focus on the roads. Then both of them fell silent. They reached Vessel Medicine Pharmacy at half past seven. Vessel Medicine Pharmacy wasn't just a traditional pharmacy. It consisted of both Chinese and Western departments, and the hospitals under them were all major and well known in their cities. This proved how prestigious Vessel Medicine Pharmacy was. Ningf walked inside and found an old man waiting for him. At the sight of him, the old man leapt to his feet and said hastily, Hi, mister. My young master has already instructed me to pass you the money once I've inspected the goods. His politeness left Ningf slightly awkward. The old man verified that both the white jade lingzi and dendrobium devanalum were in good condition. He immediately transferred 400,000 yuan to Ningf's account. In the blink of an eye, Ningf had turned into a slightly wealthy man. It feels good to be rich. Ningf strode out of the shop, feeling thrilled and happy. He gazed at the traffic for some time. He remembered that he hadn't completed his training, and so, he called for Master Liu to send him back home. It was nearly ten when he returned to the temple. Little Falcon was fast asleep, and there was no sight of Sunny. The distance between lamp posts was very far apart here, so the temple did look shadowed and dim in between two of them. The sky overhead was littered with stars, and the village in the night was quiet. The city's traffic, noise, 
and voices posed a stark contrast to the mountain's peace and also lack of entertainment. Ning freely enjoyed the quiet. Although he was exhausted, he took out his beech wooden sword and began to practice. He was dancing with his sword in the moonlight, with the stars as his companion. Little Falcon opened its eyes to glance at Ning before it drifted back to sleep a second later. Dot. That felt good. After his practice, he was drenched in perspiration. He took off his clothes and placed them in a basket. He took a shower and changed into a pair of shorts and a singlet. Then he sat down in the courtyard. There was a tiny lamp there. Ningf wanted to check his statistics again, so he clicked on the Battling Birds webcast platform app. He had 120,000 fans, and his rewards amounted to 40,000 yuan. He had hit 510,000 viewers today and 120,000 viewers had subscribed to his webcast. This was a really scary record. Many viewers didn't particularly like to subscribe to a webcast even if they really liked them. These figures didn't pose any meaning to Ningf. He was more concerned about the system's data as he also checked it. The name of the host is Ningf. Strength is 13.5. An ordinary person's level of strength was 10. Agility is 13.5. An ordinary person's level of agility was 10. Endurance is 12.5. An ordinary person's level of endurance was 10. Current popularity level is 140,000 points. You have used up 16,000 points. You have 124,00 points remaining. Skills available are the skill of angling, an encyclopedia on fishes the skill of bird taming, and the ultimate skill of slicing. Ningf's eyes widened when he heard the system. He had gained 140,000 popularity points in a day. That was far too exaggerated. This occurrence had happened for two reasons. The webcaster was good looking, and he had embarked on a real adventure outdoors. He attracted both the gals and guys, and who wouldn't like his webcast. Besides, he had found the white jade lingzi and the dendrobium devonanum. How could anyone ignore that? Ningfa pondered for a moment before he said firmly, System, I want to play the gold lucky draw ten times. Wasn't the delight of this system all about the lucky draws? The gold lucky draw would require 10,000 popularity points per play. Ding. Host has chosen to play the gold lucky draw 10 times. Host will have an extra complimentary lucky draw. Spinning for prizes now. The system announced promptly, the advantage of the gold lucky draw was that there would definitely be a desirable and premium item. Ningf wondered sometimes whether the system had been created by some cyber company. Ding. Congratulations to host on getting the following items. One carbon fishing rod with excellent flexibility. One sack of B-grade fertile magical black soil. It can increase harvest by 15% and if mixed together with the basic grade fertile magical black soil, the soil mixture will become B grade. 5 packets of B grade feed for birds. It will help to slightly increase the aggressiveness of the bird. 5 clear water orchid seeds. These orchids bloom in ponds and are suitable for admiring purposes. 3 B grade strengthening pills for the body. It helps to improve host's health. The limit is 20. Ding. Congratulations to host on getting the following items. One time use card that allows host to go without breathing for 10 minutes. Vigorous activity might shorten the time. Ding. Congratulations to host on getting the following items. An encyclopedia on plants that allows host to understand and read all about a plant's attributes and properties. Basic grade fighting skills that will improve host's combat skills announced the voice systematically. He had obtained five different items, one piece of equipment, and two sets of skills. Two skills. Ningf was exhilarated at the announcements. Skills were the hardest to obtain, and the probability of getting one from the silver lucky draw was close to zero. The chances weren't that high either. From the gold lucky draw, to think he had won two sets of skills. Ningf quickly swallowed the strengthening pills first. His strength agility, and endurance levels grew by one point. As for the others, they were better than nothing. He had the money now, so he could purchase a better fishing rod if he wanted. As for the fertile magical black soil, he placed them in his garden, along with the three sacks he had planted in the plot of land. It covered an estimated nine square meters of land in his 100 square meter garden. He could use the bird feed to feed little falcon. As for the card of holding breath, 
it would be useful if he decided to explore underwater. The longest official time recorded on the system for holding one's breath was 12 minutes and 42 seconds. After professional training, most people would be able to hold their breath for four to five minutes. He had a bountiful harvest today. Ever since he got the system, his life had undergone a tremendous and earth-shattering change. Ning fell into a deep, contented sleep that night. The next morning, the sun rose, and a brand new day of webcasting awaited. Chapter 23, Professional Outdoor Expedition Gear. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. At dawn, before Ning started his webcast, he received another call from Battling Birds webcast platform. It was Xu Sheng. Ningf's viewership data yesterday had shocked the company's management. He had broken several records. For example, he was the fastest to hit 500,000 viewers. He also retained the greatest percentage of his viewers and was the webcaster with the highest number of subscribers. The management of Battling Birds webcast platform had immediately decided that they would agree to any condition set by the webcaster. They had to sign a contract with him. My annual salary will be 1 million yuan, and I want 70% of the earnings. This contract will be valid for one year. Ningf set out his terms. He felt that he wasn't being unreasonable. He only wanted to commit to one year. Xu Sheng contemplated for a while before he finally agreed. Ningf's results had been too astounding, and if they didn't sign him on now, he would be poached by their competitors. Xu Sheng had gotten news that at least 20 other webcast companies had offered Ningf a contract. Ningf, you're really confident. Xu Sheng concluded, Xu Sheng understood that Ningf was a smart man. If he could really become a grade S webcaster within a year, then this contract would undoubtedly be advantageous to him. But if he couldn't achieve that, then the platform might not even renew his contract for the second year. I don't like to be bound for so long, answered Ningf calmly. That was what he had thought. Five years were indeed too long. To be frank, one year was too long too. But he had no choice. He hadn't heard of any contract that only stipulated half a year. That was quite ridiculous. Who knew what would happen in one year? Perhaps he could become a grade S webcaster, who could then demand better treatment. Or perhaps he could reach grade SS and become the top webcaster who everyone revered and was in awe of. Or perhaps he could even become the first grade SSS webcaster in history. Then, all the webcast platforms might even broadcast his live stream at the same time to the whole world. Of course, it was still too early for predictions. No other webcaster had been given grade SSS before. A famous webcaster named Faker had managed to get a webcast platform in both China and another country to broadcast his live stream at the same time. And so, the terms of the contract were confirmed. An attorney would be meeting Ningf regarding the contract. It was currently 9 a.m. in the morning. Ningf started his webcast. Good morning, hubby. Good morning, host. Good morning. Ningf received many warm welcome greetings the moment he began. They were all from his fans, which he had accumulated over the span of two days. The more knowledgeable a webcast there was, the more viewers would return. Good morning, everyone. Ningf waved at the screen. Host, what is the content today? Are you going to look for Lingzi again? How much did you earn yesterday? I want to meet those ducks. Host, let's go fishing again. Many people began to ask about the webcast's content. Ha ha. Everyone, please be patient. We won't be going to the mountain today. Instead, I'm going to buy some equipment for the expedition in a few days time. Ningf grinned at the screen. A mountain expedition? Are you going to test your survival skills in the wild? Gosh, host, are you going to the mountain again? The viewers replied frantically. Indeed, before I go to the mountains, I need to do some preparations. If not, I am likely to die. Ningf then walked out of the temple. Before he left, he fed little falcon with some food including the bird feed he had won yesterday. Ningf was hoping that little falcon would grow up quickly. Every time Ningf was about to leave, he would lock the bird cage securely. He was worried that little falcon might escape. Rather, he was afraid that a weasel might take it away. Weasels were infamous for eating rats and chicks. They also liked to bite little chicks to death. There was once when a weasel had sneaked into a house. It caught a chick and bit the rest to death. Ningf was worried that a weasel might enter the temple to take little falcon away, and so, 
He locked the cage. I will see everyone in the afternoon then. Ningf informed his viewers before he switched off the live stream. He typed a message in the webcast room before he left, host is leaving to get some equipment. The webcast will start at 3p.m sharp. In that way, the viewers would know where he went. Ningf hailed a taxi and left the mountain. He was thinking of buying a car. He had 400,000 yuan now, and this was a huge sum of money. If the temple were to undergo renovation, this sum wouldn't be enough. Ningf muttered to himself, I also have to buy equipment. In that case, I need to shelve my plan of buying a car. Ningf traveled to an outdoor adventure club. Ningf was acquainted with the club manager. He had been classmates with his son, Wang Xiaoshan, at high school, and they had been rather close. He would also go to his house to play. But after they went to different universities, both of them didn't keep in contact. Ningf's results were good. So he got into an educational institution in the capital city. Wang Xiaoshan didn't do well and had to go to a small school in town. Nonetheless, Ningf would always come back to visit him. Fei Fei, it's been so long. Why are you here today? Wang Hong, his friend's father, saw Ningf and smiled at him. Uncle Wang, I need a set of equipment for an outdoor expedition. The really professional kind. Ningf cut to the chase. Professional equipment? Wang Hong was taken aback momentarily. Are you really going on an expedition with the equipment? Besides, professional equipment is expensive. Where did you get the money? Professional equipment consisted of more items. There were special tents for camping in the mountain, backpacks, ground sheets, sleeping bags, climbing ropes, mountain lights, safety harnesses, and more. Other than these, one would also need special spectacles for viewing on mountains binoculars, windbreaker outfits, cooking utensils, a compass, a multifunctional kettle, and more. Not to mention a water purifier among others. A set of equipment would cost about 58,000 yuan won. Ningf replied casually, Uncle Wang, are you afraid that I won't pay up? To his question, Wang Hong didn't reply. He simply went to his storeroom and dragged two huge suitcases out. And the following scene looked like it was from a spy movie. There were layers of black sponge inside the suitcases. On the sponge were neatly lined equipment and tools. Everything was for an outdoor expedition. Everything was black and reflected a faint glow as though it was all made of metal. It was so cool. Ningf's eyes lit up, and without hesitation, he whipped out his phone and paid by having his QR code scanned. Wang Hong saw how quickly he had paid and asked out of curiosity, What outdoor expedition team did you join? Care to tell me? I might know. He was running an outdoor expedition club, so he knew many teams. Ningf waved his hands and shrugged. I'm just exploring on my own. Wang Hong added with concern. Ningf, outdoor expeditions are very dangerous. You should get a companion to go with you. Don't go alone. Ningf reassured him before he turned to leave. Chapter 24, The Pandas Are Here Again. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf placed his expedition equipment in Wang Hong's store. Other than equipment, there was something just as important. It was a watch. The price range for a watch could start from 10 yuan to branded watches that cost millions of yuan. It depended on the user's needs. For Ningf, he required a watch that could detect pressure, altitude, temperature, and position. It should also be waterproof to a depth of at least 100 meters and be luminous at night for convenience. A shop that specialized in branded and exclusive watches was on the street next to the club. So Ningf decided to pop by to have a look. Ningf was good looking, and the moment he stepped foot into the shop, a saleswoman rushed toward him. Hello, may I help you? The saleswoman was a young girl in her twenties. As it was the summer vacation, she was most likely a university student working part time. As she gazed at Ningf, her eyes seemed to sparkle. She had seen a variety of customers at the shop but had hardly ever met such a handsome young man who was also lean and built. The girl was sweet and pretty, and was considered the school bell in her faculty. I need a watch for outdoors, Ningf said gently as he told her his requirements. The girl kept staring at him before suddenly realizing that she had been ogling him blatantly. She hastily averted her gaze. Sure. The watches that fulfill your requirements are these. The sales girl hurriedly brought out three watches for Ningf, 
He examined and scrutinized each one before he bought the most expensive one. It cost him 80,000 yuan won. The average cost of the shop's watches was around several thousand yuan. An outdoor watch that cost 80,000 yuan was considered a premium one of the highest quality. Ningf knew that he couldn't scrimp on this. A watch was of utmost importance for an expedition. Every yuan of the watch determined how accurate and precise it was, and these watches would have to be carefully designed and made. For an outdoor expedition, a single mistake could cause huge trouble. When the sales girl saw how nonchalantly Ningf had spent 80,000 yuan on the watch, her heart began to race. You're a major customer. Would you be able to leave your contact? The sales girl knew that she had to seize an opportunity when it was presented to her. Contact number? Ningf was perplexed. You can call me Xiaojuan. You're our VIP customer as you've spent 80,000 yuan. She rattled on. Xiaojuan was pretty and sweet, and she was considered a beauty. Her intentions were also displayed clearly for anyone to see. Ningf had understood this as he had been hit on by girls frequently. Sorry, but there isn't a need. Ningf shrugged before he left the shop. Xiaojuan stared at his figure forlornly. Ningf went to the mall to buy some comfortable sports outfits. After he had purchased everything and grabbed a bite, he called Master Liu. He collected his equipment from Uncle Wang's store and went back to the temple. At 3 p.m., he started the live stream. As expected, many of his supporters rushed to watch his webcast. Host, where did you go just now? I missed you. Finally, you're here. I've waited for so long. Ha ha, I can see my hubby again. Host, I want to see Sunny. The comments rushed in swiftly. Ningf sat before a desk that had two metal suitcases on it. One of the viewers asked, Host, what is inside? Ningf adjusted his phone before he said, This is the equipment I've bought for the expedition. Let me show you guys. Ningf opened the suitcases. Then, the high-tech equipment met the viewer's eyes. Gosh. Host, what are you planning to do? This is too much. It's like you're a spy. It does seem as though it's for some secret agent. Host, you have some fine treasures here. So professional. Awesome. Ningf was pleased with their comments. He took out the equipment one by one to show the viewers. Jiang Feng was also watching Ningf's webcast. When he had watched Ningf's webcast for the first time, he felt that the fellow was extremely lucky to have found the white jade lingzi and the dendrobium devonanum. After seeing how prepared Ningf was, he realized how much of a skilled and professional outdoor explorer he was. This priest is indeed skilled. Jiang Feng thought quietly to himself. In the afternoon, Ningf introduced how he would be preparing for his outdoor expedition. The city dwellers were all curious when they saw the equipment. Oh, one more thing to mention, if I want to rear a falcon. I have to apply for a license from the National Wildlife Protection Agency. I've done the submission, and I should receive news soon, Ningf said. You need a license for little falcon? Someone asked. Ningf grinned and said, falcons are the second class of animals that are under the protection of the country. It's illegal to own one privately. If anyone were to sell or buy one, he or she would face a jail sentence. Someone added, oh, I remembered something. Someone had tried to sell bird eggs and he was sentenced to jail for 10 years. I think he was selling peregrine falcons. I called the agency the night I found Little Falcon. That's why I could continue to take care of it. Tomorrow, I'm going to the mountains, so I'll bring Little Falcon with me. Ningf held Little Falcon tenderly with a hand and showed it to the viewers. Little Falcon was growing quickly, and its white down was sprouting so its pink skin could hardly be seen anymore. Ningf didn't know if this was because of its diet. Ningf was in the midst of organizing his equipment when someone suddenly knocked on the back door. Ningf knitted his eyebrows at the sound. There were hills behind the back door, and the villagers would normally use the front door. No one had used the back door before. Ningf rose to his feet to take a look through a gap. He saw something white and black holding out its paws. It was bumping the back door gently. Here again, Ningf chuckled helplessly. The inky cloud bamboo was almost ripe, and its scent was unique and sweet. This fragrance was light, and it refreshed one's spirits. Pandas were especially sensitive to this scent. When the viewers saw that, they were intrigued. Ningf explained casually, it's two huge pandas who are here for my inky cloud bamboo. What? Pandas? Host, 
bring them in, I want to see the pandas, I want to see them, signing a petition for us to see the pandas, a flurry of comments came, and rewards filled the screen, Jiang Feng couldn't help but to send two rockets, Ningf had painstakingly tended to the bamboo forest, but for the sake of the webcast, he opened the door, two black and white furry giants ambled in, they went directly to the inky cloud bamboo forest and began to feast happily, Ningf gazed at the pandas and shook his head helplessly, he turned the screen to face the pandas, while he busied himself with other tasks, chapter 25, venturing deep into the mountains, this chapter is updated by novels.pl, that night, Ningf officially signed a contract with Battling Birds webcast platform. As a new webcaster who had obtained grade A, Ningf had gotten the attention of many. What? He became grader in three days. Some less popular webcasters who had gotten wind of the news went to visit Ningf's webcast room. They wanted to see who he was to have received such prestigious treatment and drank. At night, Ningf sat in his courtyard as he tried and tested all the expedition equipment, there wasn't anything special, what, grade A, he must have some sort of deal with the management, he used his looks to get that grade A, isn't it, fiddling with some lame equipment, what's that to see, I thought it was something special, the webcasters were really jealous, some of them had been doing live streams for a year and were still at grade D, Ningf had merely started three days ago, but there were more cheers than jeers, congratulations, host, for joining battling birds, may you prosper, webcaster, be better and become the best, congratulations, host, for getting that contract, the Battling Birds family welcomes you. There was a huge difference between the webcasters who had signed a contract and those who hadn't. Thus, after the viewers found out that Ningf had signed one, they sent him their blessings. Dot along with a rush of rewards. The most generous was still Master Jiang, who gave ten super rockets. Jiang Feng had become Ningf's number one supporter in his webcast room. Boss is indeed generous. Boss is the best. After Jiang Feng sent the rockets, many chimed in to pander to him. Along with the extraordinary number of rockets, Ningf's webcast room increased in viewers substantially, and in no time, he reached one million viewers. Many of the viewers had joined the webcast because of the crowd and the hype. In reality, Ningf's popularity hadn't reached that level. The new viewers all clamored to ask, Why is this webcaster so special? He looks ordinary. Ordinary? his looks are ordinary, I mean, there isn't anything special, the host is a real outdoor explorer, his drone films everything live, in the afternoon just now, he fed two pandas, and he has a falcon, are you serious, pandas, just sit back and watch, he is truly a gem, tomorrow, he will be going into the jungle for an expedition, he is preparing his equipment tonight, his equipment is indeed professional, it's worth looking forward to, everyone was discussing heavily about Ningf and his equipment while he was unpacking, going on an expedition was something interesting, once he came back from one, he would often want to take a long break, yet, he wouldn't be able to resist making another trip once again after his time off, after he ensured that everything was in order, Ningf smiled at everyone and said, Dear viewers, I'm going to rest early tonight. See you in the morning. This time, I will bring everyone to the inside of the mountain to have a good look. There is bound to be treasure there. Even though everyone was still reluctant to bid him goodbye, Ningf chose to end the live stream. Dot. It was the dawn of the following day. The sun was shining brightly, and the weather was optimal, Ningf checked the weather forecast, it mentioned that it wouldn't rain for the upcoming week, it was perfect for an expedition, Ningf began to pack his stuff, he wore a pair of army green pants with plenty of pockets, he placed a swiss army knife in each of the side pockets, he had many of the items necessary for survival in the jungle in his backpack, but the most important thing was, a first aid box that included serum to clear snake venom. The inside of the mountain was dark, gloomy, and wet, with the most dangerous animals being the venomous snakes. Other than the serum, there were disinfectants, medicine to reduce inflammation, pills, bandages, diarrhea pills, and other required medicine. Ningf had once gone deep into the jungle with his master when he was young, so he had a good amount of knowledge on it. Other than that, Ning also made a nest for little falcon on his shoulder as he planned to bring it along, after everything was ready, 
he began the webcast at 9 a.m. sharp. When it began, many familiar usernames entered the webcast room. At the sight of Ningf in his professional attire, everyone exclaimed about how suave he looked. Ningf had selected his equipment and tools with weight as a major priority. His backpack was also light, as he would be searching for plants in the mountains. He didn't want to tire himself out with unnecessary weight. Viewers, today we will be going deep into the jungle for an expedition. Thank you everyone for watching. Ningf set off without further ado after his message. He carried his bag and trekked on a path. This time, he was much faster. He had slowed down the previous time because he was looking for Lingzi. This time, he had only the inside of the mountain in mind. So it only took him two hours to get there. Ningf adjusted the angle of the drone before he pointed in a direction and said, Everyone, look there. That is the wettest and darkest part of the mountain. There is no sunlight all year round, and it's a heaven for Lingzi. I will slow down to explore carefully. The viewers directed their vision towards the area that Ningf had pointed. There were two precipices there. With a glance, everywhere was lush and green and covered with towering trees. It was a magnificent sight, and the viewers couldn't help but be astonished by the beauty. It's so beautiful. The scenery in the mountain is the best. Amazing. Everyone was in awe. Ningf began his preparations for the expedition. Everyone, please take note that the beasts are not the most terrifying part in an expedition. It's actually the insects. Fortunately, I have a unique insect repelling incense. So far, I haven't been bitten by any insects on the mountains, and that's why I'm still unharmed. Ningf explained as he strode briskly. For this live stream, he took out the insect repelling incense from his bag, which he had removed from the Hall of Purity. He was in a concentrated area of clustered trees and often had to think of ways to make his way past them. More viewers joined the live stream. Ningf's webcast show was indeed authentic. At this time, there were several twisted trees that blocked Ningf's path entirely. Ningf first studied the barrier before he increased his speed. With a leap, he stepped on the branch with his left foot and lifted himself up. His other foot landed on another branch, and with another leap, he landed on the ground again. The viewers were all dumbfounded by his actions. What was that? Martial arts. He was way too good. Ningf had excellent leaping skills. During his daily training, he trained himself to be as light as a swallow. He would coordinate his movements and train his actions to be precise and accurate. After years of practicing with a sword, Ningf had naturally gained some skills. Thus, his leaps had astonished everyone. On the screen, many showered him with praise. Chapter 26 Doing a webcast leisurely. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Spirited Sky Horse Union was Battling Birds webcast platform's most well known union for its outdoor webcasts. If one often watched Battling Birds webcast platform's webcasts, it would be easy to spot many webcasters having Spirited Sky Horse next to their usernames. For instance, Spirited Sky Horse, Outdoor Brother Dragon, Ningf, who was a new webcaster had accumulated millions of viewers in the span of just a few days. He had crushed several spirited Sky Horse Union's webcasters. Without a doubt, Ningf had become a common enemy to them. The top webcaster in Spirited Sky Horse Union was flying outdoors. And the thing that infuriated Spirited Sky Horse Union most was that Master Jiang was previously one of the major supporters of flying outdoors. However, he hadn't watched Flying Outdoors live stream in days. And he had been supporting Light Breeze Temple webcast room. They couldn't accept it. Therefore, Spirited Sky Horse Union hired an army of anti-fans to bring down and smear Ningf's name. Oh, this is that grader webcaster? Is he strolling in the jungle? Rubbish webcaster relying on his looks. He is a fraud. A gigolo carrying a bag and walking. Is this really an outdoor live stream? And they continued to spam the screen. This was a common tactic used in the webcast world where someone would hire anti-fans to bring down a certain webcaster. Some of the new webcasters weren't mentally prepared or strong enough. When they saw people berating them, they couldn't take it. The psychological stress caused by online violence was much more devastating than imagined. For instance, the disappearance of Godf, the former League of Legends player, Shen, also known as Godf, 
had been influential. He was like a godly general who had commanded the entire game. He was a rare talent and famous for his fierce style of play. Everyone claimed that he was invincible, and he did have a grand time. In the end, he was criticized and was forced to leave. Even a brilliant genius had gone down in this manner. For some new webcasters, they caved into criticism after days and stopped doing webcasts. Webcaster you have anti-fans. He must have offended someone. Why is there a sudden rush of anti-fans? Many viewers were rational and continued to defend Ningf. There were also new viewers who got irritated with these comments and left Ningf's live stream. At this time, a unique comment box had appeared in Ningf's webcast room. A suggestion for webcaster to ensure a harmonious atmosphere in the webcast room. You can block these anti-fans who have gone overboard. You have been targeted. It was the management officer. The management officer had spoken. The management officer had the right to inspect and check on all webcast rooms. The management officer had to oversee and supervise many webcast rooms. She would only interact with some of the major webcasters. Her username was Flower Cloud. Many fans abandoned their composure at the sight of her. It's the goddess, Flower Cloud. Oh my gosh, it's Flower Cloud. Even Flower Cloud is here to defend the host. He is really something. I think she likes the webcaster. Flower Cloud is mine. And the fans caused a hubbub online. Flower Cloud was known for her beauty and for being the niece of Battling Birds webcast platform's president. She enjoyed watching webcasts and became part of the management. She was also nicknamed Goddess because of her sweet looks. Ningf had noticed the comments by now and he began to read them intently. Then he understood what had happened. He had never thought that the management officer would speak up for him despite his three-day experience. He couldn't help but furrow his eyebrows at the criticism. He clicked on the screen and blocked a few of the culprits. But he couldn't keep doing that as it would delay his expedition's progress. Thus, Ningf selected his top 10 fans on the ranking and bestowed them with the power to manage his webcast room. Ningf addressed his audience. Everyone, please help me to block these people who have intentionally criticized me. I have no idea who I have offended. I only want to show you the progress of my expedition. If you enjoy watching, please continue. Thank you. Soon enough, most of the anti-fans vanished. When Spirited Sky Horse Union saw Flower Cloud speaking up, their manager got his subordinates to exercise restraint. After all, the people above all webcasters were the management officers. If any webcaster offended an officer, she could shut down the webcast room. Ningf continued to focus on his expedition. He had journeyed a long way. It was a hot summer day, and insects and birds were everywhere. The sounds they made were rather annoying. Ningf was surveying his surroundings. Dear viewers, the most urgent thing is to find a resting spot for tonight. Ningf said aloud to the drone. I have some bread and dried meat for today. After that, I will have to think of ways to find food. Ningf's eyes swept the area as he searched for a good spot to pitch a tent. A jungle is full of danger everywhere. That's why I have to find a flat spot for my tent. There shouldn't be any branches or shrubbery nearby. Danger often lurks in hidden and concealed areas. The viewers were all full of awe and praise for Ningf. This webcaster is really knowledgeable. It does seem thrilling. Ningf ventured even deeper. Any signs of human habitation near this area were at least 20 kilometers away. He raised his head and caught a glimpse of a cliff. If he continued straight, he would come to the area where sunlight wouldn't reach. At this time, Ning finally spotted a flat piece of ground. There was grass but no trees or shrubbery within 10 meters of the surroundings. It was the ideal place to pitch a tent. Look there, it's ideal to camp there. In movies or TV shows, many explorers would choose to sleep in trees, but in actual fact, that is a mistake. Trees are everywhere in jungles and forests. So basically, a lot of the animals that live here can climb trees. Most commonly, they would be snakes. So if you choose to sleep in a tree, you're courting death. Some of you may be worried about boars and bears, but they usually don't attack humans when they don't see us. We will be safe inside a tent. Ning rummaged for the tent inside his bag and began to pitch it. The tent was of fine quality being able to block out the wind and rain completely. Ningf also took out his sleeping bag and placed it inside the tent. It was worth mentioning that the nights in summer here were rather chilly. After everything was prepared and ready, 
Ningth went to look for firewood. He wanted to light a fire before darkness arrived. Using a branch and some wood pieces, he set up a simple structure to hang a teapot. Next, he poured water into the teapot and took out a packet of instant noodles. His series of actions left everyone surprised. They had assumed that the webcaster would have a miserable journey during this expedition. He would have to spend his nights exposed to the fluctuating weather changes. From the looks of it, why did he look completely at ease? Chapter 27 this webcaster is a food connoisseur as well. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. After he fixed the structure, Ningf went to the trees, with the drone flying behind him. Ningf pointed to several mushrooms as he explained, Viewers, look over there. This is a wild glory mushroom. It's edible and tastes sweet and tender. He plucked one out. This is a silk butterfly mushroom and it's packed with nutrients. I recommend everyone to try it. This is a green dream mushroom. As the name suggests, it will cause serious hallucinations when ingested. The victim will lose control of his or her body and sway uncontrollably. Every year, numerous victims get sent to the hospital for this. Ning regaled the viewers with his knowledge as he plucked the edible ones. When he returned to the fire, the water was already boiling. He put the instant noodles inside and added the seasoning. He sliced the mushrooms and some canned meat, and then added some chili bits and cumin. Everyone watched the live stream with their jaws slightly open. This is practically a culinary outdoor show. I'm hungry. Stop saying that. I'm sick of instant noodles, but I'm suddenly hungry after watching how the host has cooked his. Wow truly a boss. The viewers clamored to comment. Someone said that instant noodles were best eaten when cooked properly and that it also depended on the place. In a deserted spot in the jungle, with a tent, a campfire, and a teapot boiling away while held up by pieces of wood. This scene was peaceful and harmonious. The water bubbled merrily and noisily as it splashed about. The city dwellers all felt nature's peace and quiet. Many more viewers had joined the live stream. Lee was one of them. He was an office worker and led a busy lifestyle. He ended work at 9 p.m. every day. Today, his manager had left early, so all his colleagues seemed to have gained their freedom. Everyone flew out of the office. He was no exception. For city dwellers, the time after work was truly what belonged to them. Liu didn't like games, and when he was bored, he would watch movies. In this bustling and hectic city, he didn't even have the patience to watch TV shows, so he preferred live streams. Today, he clicked into Battling Birds webcast platform and wanted to check if there were any pretty ladies doing sexy dances. The management officers were getting stricter these days so there wasn't any explicit stuff. The female webcasters could only skirt the lines occasionally, but that was enough for him. At this time, he noticed a suggestion that popped up on his screen. Light Breeze Temple Outdoor Expedition. Outdoor Expedition? Without hesitation, he clicked into it. People were attracted to opposites. For city dwellers like him, they were attracted to the scenery in villages and outdoor sites. In a way, they were able to have a taste of an entirely different lifestyle. On the screen, Liu saw that night had almost fallen. There was a vast stretch of land, and a young man sat in front of a tent. He was using a teapot to cook instant noodles. The man was handsome. The sight was pleasing to the eyes. Liu was hooked. Interesting, he muttered as he felt strangely refreshed. The drone would shift its angle occasionally to take in different views. For the best effects, Ningf navigated the drone, and it flew up to show a larger view. The overlooking scenery from the top was real and exciting. The viewers could see Ningf clearly as he sat alone in the vast jungle. The teapot was boiling over the fire. It was as though there was an island in the middle of an ocean. So beautiful. This feeling is marvelous. Is this what nature looks like? It's beautiful indeed. The viewers gasped with wonder. When the noodles were ready. Ningf picked up the teapot and poured the soup and noodles into a plastic bowl. When the viewers caught sight of the delicious looking noodles, everyone gulped unconsciously. Ningf had only eaten bread and dried meat for lunch. He was now getting hungry, and at the sight of the piping hot noodles, his appetite was whetted. He began to gobble the noodles. Sometimes, a meal also depended on the mood and place. Instant noodles were nothing fascinating, but when they were cooked in a chilly jungle, the bowl of hot noodles became something precious. At this time, 
Everyone in the webcast room had been transported to the spot where Ningf was. As they watched Ningf eat, hunger began to strike everyone, and Liu as well. Suddenly, he became hungry and was craving instant noodles, but it had to be properly cooked. Despite his laziness, he decided to use the stove that he hadn't used in months. He took out a pot, but the next moment, he stowed it away. He found a teapot instead, as he had a water dispenser at home. He hadn't used a teapot in ages. He put a packet of noodles inside. He added seasonings and slices of ham. When the water in the teapot began to gurgle noisily, his meal was ready. He enjoyed it very much. He wasn't the only one. Many who were watching Ningf's webcast were suddenly hit with cravings. Instant noodles? Xuya's husband had requested it abruptly, and she was baffled. Why do you want to eat that now? I just want to eat that. You have to add ham. Her husband reminded her aloud. All right. Xuya nodded. Cooking instant noodles was so much easier, but she couldn't fathom why her husband would suddenly crave that. Jiang Feng, who had sworn off instant noodles after his first taste, was also craving for the taste again after watching Ningf's live stream. Ningf had a satisfying meal. He had finished every single drop of the soup too. He put the teapot and utensils outside the tent. It isn't easy to do the dishes unless I can find a river or stream. The first thing I have to do tomorrow is to find a stream. Otherwise, I will run out of drinking water soon. Ningf spoke to the screen. Everyone, please enjoy the scenery. I'll be back. Ning fumbled away from the frame. The viewers sat upright at Ningf's words. Webcaster. What are you doing? Why did you leave? Is this a trick? I want to see you. Why did you leave? Everyone typed away frantically. Unfortunately, he had a drone that possessed artificial intelligence. The drone turned around and captured Ningf once again. Ningf was standing with his back to the drone a distance away. He had placed both hands on a tree, and when the drone went slightly lower, it showed him doing something indescribable. The viewers were speechless, this, the first outdoor webcaster to pee during a live stream. Flower Cloud was watching too, and she blushed crimson. She instantly clicked on the option to block the screen. Webcaster was caught flouting rules, and webcast shall be calibrated. These words appeared on the screen. Management officers had the power and authority to stop the webcast. However, the viewers could still hear the sounds. Flower Cloud was the only person who could watch Ningf's live stream now. The drone zoomed in on Ningf. After Ningf had finished relieving himself and adjusted his pants, he turned to walk back. At the sight, a blushing Flower Cloud cleared her throat before she resumed the webcast. Chapter 28 Study of Constellations at Night This chapter is updated by Novels.pl After Ningf had relieved himself, he realized that the comments had exploded in the webcast room. Host, we all saw that. All of you are too much. Why can't our dear host take a stroll? Ha ha ha. Our management officer Flower Cloud had to shut down the screen. Does that mean Goddess is the only one who saw everything? She was watching a bird alone. That's not fair. We want to as well. Everyone bantered and joked cheerfully. This was a secluded jungle and Ningf would be adding fertilizer to the trees and plants and benefiting them by taking a leak. As for everyone's teasing, Ningf hadn't minded. Men had to be more magnanimous. Humans have to answer the call of nature. Please excuse me, Ningf stated as he peered at the screen. Viewers loved webcasters who could handle jokes. Only then would the atmosphere of the webcast be livelier and more casual. This would also result in an increase in Ningf's viewers. The night turned deeper and along came gusts of chilly winds. While the days in summer were hot, the heat would slowly dissipate after the day was gone. Ningf lay on the grass as he gazed at the night sky. He used his phone to show the viewers the starry night. Millions of stars were scattered across the sky. The camera in Ningf's phone was of excellent quality and everyone could see the stars clearly. The city dwellers had long forgotten to raise their heads to gaze at the stars. In the west, they derived the zodiac signs from the stars. In China, we use the 28 constellations of Chinese astronomy and astrology. Ancient astronomers had observed the days, months, and motion of the planets before they created the 28 constellations. They also observed the positions of the five visible planets. The 28 constellations were divided into Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Black Tortoise, 
and Vermilion Bird, every constellation consisted of seven members. In Taoist belief, this is called the four divinities in four directions. Everyone, look over there. The first member of the Vermilion Bird is Jingwood, the second is Ghost Golden Sheep and the third is the Willow Deer. Ningf pointed to the sky as he explained to the viewers. At Ningf's explanation, the viewers were speechless with astonishment. Host, you're so talented. Incredible. I assumed that this webcaster could threaten me with his looks, but it looks as if he can compete with me in terms of talent. The one in front, stay right there. I've a pot of good stuff that I've been simmering for three hours. I want to cross swords with you. I don't understand, but it seems like this host is awesome. As an astronomy enthusiast, the webcaster is entirely correct. But this is the first time I've witnessed and listened to something so clearly. Thank you, host. Ningf's fans typed furiously away and sent him praise. There were also several notifications. Arrogant Master sent a rocket. Read Communist sent a rocket. Energetic Class sent a rocket. Three major fans sent Ningf rewards. Ningf was grateful as he spoke to the screen. Thank you, Arrogant Master. Read Communist and energetic lass, the generous bosses for sending the rockets. Thank you. Ningf was very sincere towards his viewers. These people were all rich bosses. Ningf was also feeding Little Falcon. Little Falcon was nestled in a pocket on Ningf's shoulder and seemed fine despite the jolts and bumps. It looked excited and lively as it chirped continuously while swiveling its head. Ningf entered his tent when darkness had enveloped the surroundings. The tent was compact and sturdy. Dear viewers, this tent is solid and sturdy, and wild animals shouldn't be able to spot this tent. Even if they do, they wouldn't attack for no reason. We will be safe here. Ningf chatted with the viewers as he looked at the screen. After a while, when Ningf was about to end the live stream and retire for the night, host, don't do that. Let us watch the live stream. Yeah, it's still a live stream even when you sleep. We will sleep after a while later. At their requests, Ning felt helpless. You want to watch me sleep? Yeah, host. Are you only pretending to be on an expedition and travel to some other place to sleep? Someone asked. Many people shared the same sentiment. Very few outdoor webcasts were authentic and real. For instance, some webcasters would end the live stream before driving a car to the destination, despite their so-called exploration on foot. For instance, some had already prepared the crabs and fish in advance before they fished. These webcasts would only fool a small fraction of the viewers, and the majority were way too smart. But Ningf's webcast was different. He chuckled as he read the comments. He explained some other place? Where can I go? I've made such a long journey climbing mountains to reach this spot. Cars wouldn't be able to come in. Even if I go back now, I would need two hours, and I'll be doing the webcast in the morning. That would take me another two hours. Don't you think that would be torture for me? The viewers were suddenly enlightened. He is right. Where else can he possibly go? Sorry, we were wrong. Ning pondered for a moment before he said, I need to charge my phone. So I'm ending the webcast now. See you all at 7 in the morning. Ning waved goodbye and ended the live stream. A glance at the system told him that he had 720,000 popularity points. He had been gaining viewers rapidly, and his popularity points hovered around 1,200,000 points. The actual number of viewers he had was 200,000. He had 200,000 viewers and 720,000 points currently. These results were great. After he took away the 16,000 points he had spent, he still had around 700,000 points. The platinum lucky draw cost 100,000 points each time. I shall try that lucky draw if I hit 1 million. Ningf promised himself. Ningf slid into his sleeping bag, adjusted his sleeping position, and fell into a deep sleep. Ningf was woken up by the alarm on his phone. It was 7 a.m. in the morning. The summer mornings were hotter than expected. He exited the tent and stretched himself to dispel the stiffness and lethargy from his body. He had a good sleep as the sleeping bag was well insulated, and no warmth escaped. Ningf went to the trees to answer the call of nature before he started the webcast. There were few who watched the live stream in the mornings. 
He currently had 40,000 viewers. Host, you're up early. Host, we meet again. Some loyal fans greeted him as usual. Ning waved cheerfully before he turned to put away some of the stuff. Ning froze as he spoke. I'm not going to tear down the tent as it'll be our campsite. My gear will be lighter in this case. The most pressing thing now is to find a stream. He left his bag but brought a knife, fishing wire, rope, and some tools. He brought Little Falcon too. The cliffs were right ahead, and there would usually be streams nearby. Ning found one after a few minutes. Everyone look. I'm in luck today. There is a stream right over there. Ning pointed to the stream with a smile. With water, he would have fewer difficulties. He could use the stream water to drink and wash his utensils. He didn't have detergent with him, so Ning found a special leaf that had the same function. The leaf had a scent and it could erase stains too. All he had to do was to squeeze the leaf and rub it hard. After he had settled everything, Ningf set off for the mountains towards the Yin side. The real expedition had just begun now. Chapter 29, An Encounter with a Black Bear and the Blood Jade Lingzi. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Look there, guys. After we entered the Yin side of the mountain, the quantity of the Lingzi has increased. Ningf pointed to the Lingzi at the base of a tree trunk as he stated. However, these were just ordinary wild Lingzi. Although it had high nutritional value, it wasn't worth much. Everyone, do take note. Your own safety is the most important thing to remember when you are on an expedition. Of course, it's not that common to meet danger. We can take note of signs to avoid danger. For instance, if you see a pool of urine or a huge pile of animal feces near the trees, you have to be on alert. That would indicate the presence of large wild animals, Ningf said aloud. His voice was manly, and he spoke neither too fast nor too slow. It was an enjoyment to listen to his clear pronunciation. Webcaster, you're indeed multi-talented. You're handsome and smart. How will the rest of us live? Ha ha. No wonder the webcaster hasn't met any danger ever since he entered the jungle. Many fans replied and discussed avidly. At this time, it was around 10 a.m., and the viewers had rolled in steadily and reached 450,000 in number. Ningf halted his footsteps at this time. He had seen something that wasn't good. Would it be so coincidental? Ningf muttered to himself before he prayed quickly. He strode forward and peered at the area around a tree. There was a huge pile of animal feces on the ground. The drone had flown closer to Ningf and hovered at a height above his head. Viewers, please look at this pile of feces. It's most likely a large wild animal. This feces hasn't hardened, and that tells us that the animal is still around here. We have to leave this place right away in such a situation. Ningf was still talking and was completely oblivious to the fact that something had already happened. Lily was a university student having her vacation now. She was sprawled on her bed, watching Ningf's webcast. Ningf was handsome, gentle, and refined. He also had a pair of bright eyes that sparkled and glowed. So she had been supporting Ningf's webcast enthusiastically these few days. She snuggled under her blankets as she continued to admire the nature and scenery that greeted her eyes on the screen. Lush green color filled everywhere, and the sunlight shone down from the gaps between the leaves. There was a handsome young man in the frame too and this scene was pleasing and delightful. She noticed that Ningf's expression had turned somber as he bent down near a tree. He was pointing to the tree as he spoke grimly. Lily became nervous when she heard him, and her heart stopped beating the next second. Right behind Ningf was a huge figure. The drone was hovering in front of Ningf, so everyone had a clear view of the thing behind him. There was a bear. Ah! Lily let out a shriek and shot upright on her bed. Hubby! run now. She realized that Ningf couldn't hear, and her fingers flew across her phone. Run. Other than her, the screen had exploded. Run. Host, behind you. Look behind you. Everyone was shouting frantically. Ningf heard the sounds of movement behind him, so he turned around and caught sight of the bear that towered over him. It was strolling leisurely a distance away. A black bear. Ningf's eyes narrowed in fright. What bad luck. Ningf calmed down and knew what he had to do. Black bears could run at 30 miles per hour. To put it simply, the bear was faster than an Olympic sprinter. If Ningf were to turn on his heel and flee, he would just be inviting the bear to chase him. This was a black bear. The internet suggestions were for the human to play dead. Fine normal bears, that might have worked, 
but black bears would immediately attack humans who pretended to be dead. Some suggested climbing a tree if one were to meet a black bear, but that was also equivalent to waiting for death. There was only one way. He had to retreat slowly. All the viewers were glued to their screen. It was too exciting. The viewers broke out in cold sweat as they clenched their fists. Many girls had covered their mouths to stop themselves from screaming. Ningf moved backward slowly, step by step. Fortunately, the black bear didn't pursue him. He couldn't afford to be impatient now. He could only retreat cautiously. Ningth's eyes had never left the black bear. When he finally reached a spot where the black bear couldn't see him, he turned around and fled for his life. Everyone's racing hearts calmed down, and they breathed a sigh of relief. Viewers, that was a really close and scary shave. Ningth mopped the beads of perspiration off his face as he panted. Host, you're brilliant. Too thrilling. That beast was too terrifying. Host, you shouldn't be afraid. Bring it down like a man. Yeah? Teach it a good lesson. It's just a bear. I had once killed a tiger with a shovel. The comments became light-hearted and playful when Ningf was safe. At the same time, the rewards came whizzing in. Ningf peered at the screen. Ocean Maggot sent a rocket. An image of a gigantic rocket flew up, and Ningf said, Thank you, Ocean Maggot, for the rocket. He frowned at the weirdness of the name. He shrugged it off and continued his expedition to look for treasures. He thought that he should obtain some skills before embarking on his next expedition. He should at least be able to deal with such dangerous situations. At this time, Ningf's eyes lit up, and delight flashed past his face. He widened his eyes as he marched forward. When the viewers noticed Ningf's expression, they were intrigued. Had Ningf found something? Are you serious? Ningf took a few more steps before he knelt down beside a huge rock. Host, tell us what you found. Yeah, what's that? Ha ha. Host must have had a major discovery. He wore that exact expression when he saw the white jade lingzi. Everyone pressed on relentlessly with questions. At this time, Ningf finally spoke up, guys. That saying is right. One is destined for good fortune after surviving a disaster. I may have found a true gem. This should be a blood lingzi. To be precise, it's the blood jade lingzi. Everyone's eyes widened at Ningf's proclamation. Chapter 30 Live Estream Auction and a Sky High Price. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Blood jade lingzi, and true enough. Ningth's proclamation had resulted in a flurry of comments. What's that? Are you serious? Is it some sort of jade grade lingzi? Experts, please enlighten us. Ahem, let me fill everyone in. Any kind of jade lingzi means that it's at least 50 years old. 50 years? No way. Blood lingzi is more common in the market, and it's valued at 3000 to 5000 yuan per 500 grams. But for blood jade lingzi, it's different. It's a luxury item for the rich. A conservative value would be 500,000 yuan. 500,000 yuan? Are you kidding? For one lingzi, poverty has restricted my imagination. I'm jealous. I feel like I've just bitten into a lemon. The viewers started an intense discussion. Ningf shifted a little before he switched to his phone for the live stream. That way, the viewers would be able to have a clearer look at the lingzi under the rock. There was a clump of some black algae looking plant, on top of that was a sparkling red lingzi, nestled quietly in the leaves. This blood lingzi was different from the ones found in the market. The common blood lingzi was red as well, but the color would be lackluster, and they would all seem rather crude. However, this blood lingzi was a delicate and dainty specimen with clear markings. If one were to look closely, he or she would discover that the surface was almost translucent. The color had come from the veins inside the lingzi. The viewers, with renewed energy and seriousness, took a close and careful look at this priceless plant. Jiang Feng was watching the live stream too. When he heard the plant being identified as a blood jade lingzi, he seemed to be shaken, and his expression changed. It was no secret that Vessel Medicine Pharmacy, that renowned company in China, had been consistently purchasing blood jade lingzi. So Jiang Feng rewarded Ningf with a super rocket and sent him a private message. I'm buying this lingzi. Ningf hadn't noticed the screen yet as he was too engrossed in admiring the lingzi. Suddenly, he realized that something wasn't right. He frowned to himself as he muttered, something isn't right. The drone had taken over the filming, 
and the viewers noticed the hesitation and confusion in Ningf's expression. Webcaster, what's wrong? Isn't this blood jade Lingzi? Judging from his expression, he must have been wrong. I agree. How could anyone chance upon such a gem that easily? Ha ha ha. In that case, I feel better. The viewers gloated in his misery. Ningf took out his fragrance wood stick as he gently lifted the Lingzi. When he saw the underneath of the plant, he announced solemnly, this is indeed blood jade Lingzi, but it's not the ordinary kind. It was not an ordinary blood jade Lingzi. The viewers were taken aback. What had he meant by that? This blood jade Lingzi has solidified beads of blood. This is a curded blood Lingzi. Ningth spluttered in disbelief. What? Curded blood Lingzi. What the fuck? Curded blood Lingzi. Solidified blood? Curded blood Lingzi blooms only once a century and it only does so under extreme conditions. How many are there? The comments flooded the screen at Ningf's luck. Curded blood Lingzi. Curded blood Lingzi took a century to bloom. What sorcery was this? This was a truly priceless treasure. This would definitely be a treasure of the highest quality. Ningf switched the view to that of the curded blood Lingzi. Using the stick, he carefully lifted it once again and pointed to the roots as he said, Everyone, look at that. There are two beads of blood underneath and that was why I didn't spot it immediately. But this has proven that it's indeed a curded blood Lingzi and one that possesses two beads of blood. Lady Luck is certainly on my side. Ningf was right. This treasure would only grow deep in the mountains and in secluded areas. It would never bloom in artificial settings. In other words, this plant was priceless. Any kind of blood Lingzi was precious and rare. It could boost immunity, resist signs of aging, lower blood pressure, protect the liver and heart amongst other miraculous functions. Curded blood Lingzi was the rarest of them all. After all, it had been consolidating its essence for a century. According to its estimated market value, this curded blood Lingzi should be worth at least 2 million yuan. After determining that there wasn't any danger in the surroundings, Ningf plucked the Lingzi carefully. This Lingzi looked as exquisite and fine as a piece of art, except for the two clots of tumor-like clumps near its roots. But that was the true value of the Lingzi. So this is the curded blood Lingzi. I smell cash. Oh dear, this is worth millions of yuans. Are you pulling my leg? Is this fake? I can't believe I have the chance to witness a real precious plant that's worth millions of yuan. Medicine trader wrote. Host, I will buy it from you for 1 million yuan 1. Outdoor man countered. Host, I offer 1 million 500 thousand yuan. Old crane typed, 1 million 600 thousand yuan. Medicine trader commented again. Host, I will buy it from you for 1 million 700 thousand yuan. At this time, several rich bosses had begun to send rockets along with messages. Their offers increased as they outbid each other. In minutes, the live stream became a competition arena for the rich. The screen was littered with flying rockets, and the viewers were all bewildered. What was happening? Had these bosses gone mad? Ningf was also taken aback by such a situation. He knew that the curded blood Lingzi's market value was estimated to be 2 million yuan. He would be lucky if he could sell it for 1 million 700 thousand yuan. He was about to accept the highest bid when, suddenly, something unexpected happened. Master Jiang sent 10 super rockets and a message. I want this curded blood Lingzi. 3 million yuan. Jiang Feng's words stirred up a wild storm. Fook. 3 million yuan. Was he joking? Was this the world of the rich, outdoor man, old crane, and medicine trader all clammed up when they saw the message? Medicine trader typed, ahem, I wanted to sell it to Vessel Medicine Pharmacy, but since Master Jiang is here, I shall not cause trouble. Medicine trader seemed to be privy to some inside story but he didn't reveal it. Ningf was also shocked by Jiang Feng's generosity. He had offered 3 million yuan. This offer was irresistible. All right, I accept, Ningf nodded as he replied. At the headquarters of Vessel Medicine Pharmacy, Jiang Feng was staring nervously at the screen. If anyone were to outbid his offer of 3 million yuan, he would then have offered 5 million yuan, and he was willing to go up to 10 million yuan. Jiang Feng had an ironclad reason for getting this curded blood Lingzi, and he heaved a sigh of relief when he heard Ningf. He was worried that Ningf might regret it, 
so he immediately transferred 3 million yuan to his account. He sent Ning for private message. I've sent the money. Looking forward to receiving the item soon. Ning hadn't expected Jiang Feng to do that. He sensed that Jiang Feng had an unexplainable desire for this curded blood lingzi. Why would he be so obsessed with this curded blood lingzi? However, Ning didn't dwell on it too much. Chapter 31 Nature has the best workmanship. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf's webcast room was trending. Some passionate fans, or as they were commonly referred to as, natural organic water, were the ones who promoted their favorite webcaster willingly. This was often seen in real life too. For instance, someone had watched a really good movie or heard a song. That person would naturally recommend it to their friends or promote it on their social media platform. Thus, on popular social media platforms such as Douyin or Weibo, many of Ningf's supporters had edited his live streams into videos and circulated them online. Webcaster unearthing a 3, 000 yuan blood lingzi. Such a good looking webcaster doing a menial chore. 3, 000 yuan daily income. The attraction of outdoor expeditions. Witness a rare plant that only blooms every 100 years. Outdoor webcaster met a black bear and made a swift escape. Ningf's video clips were being circulated extensively by his supporters and some of the media. There was an intense debate online. A handful of them were skeptical. All that money? A lingzi for 3 million yuan? It has to be a joke. Although they didn't believe it, they still watched it. After watching the first one, they couldn't resist and continued watching the rest. In their hearts, they came to a conclusion. Fook. It's real. These video clips trended, and their comments exceeded 10,000 in number in an hour. For it, that plant is worth 3 million yuan? Where is that place? I want to go to. Forget it. You can only go there on foot, and it takes at least a few hours. Normal people who tried that either have a death wish or like tempting fate. This webcaster knows so much about plants. Very professional, so good looking and cute. If you're handsome, anything you do is right. Feelings of envy, jealousy, astonishment awe, and admiration were all cast at Ningf. Ningf gathered some wild mushrooms and fruits and then returned to the tent. He began to train his pet. The usual method was to use food. The trainer had to eliminate the bird's fear of humans before using food to lure them. But Ningf had no intention of doing that. He wanted Little Falcon to grow up on its own. Ningf held Little Falcon in his hand as it peered at Ningf with its head tilted. At the next moment, Ning flung Little Falcon up into the air. Little Falcon was flustered as it screeched and squawked. It flapped its wings with all its might as it tried to make use of the buoyancy effect produced by the circulating air to fight gravity. However, it was just too tiny and young. Its feathers were newly grown, so it couldn't quite fly yet. As it was becoming anxious and desperate, Ningf caught it when it fell. Little Falcon was angry as it screeched noisily at Ningf, but the next second, Ningf had thrown it up into the air once again. Training and toughening a chick needed time. This webcaster is cruel. Little Falcon is so small. Why is he forcing it to fly? Look at how unwilling Little Falcon is. Little Falcon is too young. How could you do that? Many people began to berate Ningf for his actions. Ningf did not answer nor reply. Now that Little Falcon was growing, it was the perfect time to train it. Ningf didn't reply to the comments and continued to train Little Falcon. Then he rewarded it with some food. Little Falcon gobbled up the food instantly. Perhaps it was because of the bird feed he had obtained from the lucky draw that Little Falcon had grown quickly. Ningf attempted to make another trip to search for treasure. This time, he made a beeline toward the center of a canyon. This place has truly been untouched by humans for at least for one or two centuries. Ningf surveyed his surroundings as he said. There was no sunlight here. The thick leaves above him had blocked out the sky. There was a natural protective barrier formed by the two sides of the canyon. Unlike with the usual canyons that went diagonally upward, the sides here were perfectly straight. Ningf couldn't help but gasp in amazement at the canyon. Nature was indeed the most magical and amazing designer. What is this place? What terrain is that? I thought canyons were formed by two mountains. Why does this resemble two doors? Nature has the best workmanship. Thank you, host. 
for allowing me to see this. This webcast is such an eye opener. Light Drunk Breeze has sent a rocket. Demolishing Brother has sent a rocket. Ninth trudged on ahead, but he gasped in shock when he came to the middle of the canyon. There was an oval shaped upright rock right in the middle. It was more than 20 meters tall as it rivaled the height of an eight story building. What is that? The viewers were also astonished. Fook, is this a giant seal? How could such a huge rock be hidden in the center of the canyon? It's getting more magical by the minute. Does anything like that exist in reality? Ningf was also stunned and dumbfounded at the sight. Master had once said that the world was full of surprises and wonders. Humans hadn't even seen a fraction of them. He truly believed that now. This rock was too formidable and unbelievable. The rock was oval and burrowed into the ground. It was grayish in color yet it was bright. Ningf carefully walked towards it. He seemed so tiny in front of the rock. The sight was indeed shocking. The towering rock looked as though it was a seal meant to fend off the monsters and demons in a martial arts novel. At any moment, an ancient divine spirit might materialize from it. Ningf suddenly thought of a saying from a novel, when yin and yang reverse the chaos. I will taint the sky with devil's blood. He took a few cautious steps forward. He was worried that the rock might suddenly collapse on him. If that happened, there was no way he could escape. Nevertheless, Ninth still persevered and came up to the rock. I can't believe that I'm seeing such a massive rock here. The rock itself should be an ordinary one. But I wonder how many decades of rain and sun it must have taken to mold the shape of this rock. Ninth couldn't help but sigh in wonder again. The viewers were equally awestruck too. I feel like I've been transported to the world of cultivation. This rock is too breathtaking. Host. You're a gem. I love this. I can ogle at our handsome host while admiring nature. Does this thing really exist in real life? Ningf extended his hand to stroke the rock's surface. The rock was smooth and slightly moist to the touch. Ningf raised his head to study the rock as a thought formed in it. How can I bring this back to the temple? Chapter 32 the incredibly lucky webcaster. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. It had certainly exceeded Ninth's expectation to see such a wonder. If this rock were to be sold, its value would be unimaginable. However, there wasn't any way to shift this rock. It's a good thing that no one was able to do anything to it before. That's why it could still be here after years or even centuries. Ninth thought quietly to himself. For a rock collector, this rock would definitely be a gem if they were to add it to their collection. For mountain rocks, it wasn't worth much unless it was shaped well. Valuable rocks were all buried beneath the ground. After nature's crustal movements and nature had done its work, only then would it become valuable. I reckon this rock is worth one million yuan. Ningf mumbled to himself. An oval rock that towered at more than 20 meters. It would be one of a kind and to collectors, the price would definitely be worth it. If a painting could fetch up to a billion yuan, it shouldn't be so unbelievable for a rock to be worth so much. Ningf hadn't continued to examine the rock, but instead, he went around the canyon walls to seek out mountain goods. The drone flew up slowly as it captured the entire view from the top. The canyon was surrounded by steep, majestic-looking cliffs, a mysterious giant rock a jungle whose boundaries couldn't be glimpsed. A person was searching for medicinal herbs along the canyon's walls. This image gave everyone an illusion of heaven on earth. Ningf looked as though he had been transported to an ancient realm where no technology or machines existed. He was searching and exploring to his heart's content. The scene simply jolted one's senses. No one knew how to express their feelings or thoughts when they saw the scene. In that moment, I thought I'd arrived in a magical fantasy land. Indeed. Me too, Fook. I thought I was the only one to think that the webcaster has gone to another world. It really does look as if he has traveled through time. Ha ha. This webcaster is invincible. I can't believe that a place like this exists on Earth. The viewers were all excited as they typed away, and in no time. Ningf's webcast room began to bustle with noise. Little Falcon was placed on Ningf's shoulder. The little fellow could perch upright, and occasionally, 
it could flop and flap its wings as it tried to stay in the air. The drone circled the cliff once before it landed to focus on Ningf. I've overestimated the quantity of the Lingzi in this jungle. As Lingzi is a kind of fungus, it leaches off the nutrients of the tree's roots. These cliffs and this canyon won't support the growth of any Lingzi. After exploring for a while, Ningf was disappointed that he hadn't found any Lingzi. Ha ha. What a pity. It's nevertheless a nice sight. Brothers and sisters. Let's all type the same thing. Host, don't despair. You already have a three million curded blood lingzi. Indeed. How could he possess such a continuous streak of luck? The viewers were all gloating, rather than witnessing how a person had earned a fortune. They would rather enjoy witnessing their misfortune. Dot especially Ningf, who had earned a fortune. Many viewers rejoiced when he didn't find anything. At this time, Ningf's expression had changed abruptly. To his loyal fans, they knew that something was up. Fook. That same expression again. This was what he looked like when he saw the Jade Lingzi. Another discovery? You must be mistaken. The webcaster is just grinning. How could there be so many gems? A heated discussion was underway. True enough, Ningf chuckled as he announced, Viewers, I may have chanced upon something good again. The viewers were speechless. It's not Lingzi but Orchids. DSK, it's just Orchids. Everyone exhaled aloud. So it's just a few stalks of flowers. Then I can breathe easy. Orchids aren't worth much. Ningf made the drone fly down and took out his phone at the same time. Everyone was looking from the view of the drone now. The drone rose and captured the view of the cliff. There were several golden flowers blooming on the sides. The flowers were a dark golden color. It looked as though it was gold. What is that? The viewers widened their eyes in disbelief. It hadn't occurred to them that they would see such odd flowers. Ningf's voice traveled from the phone, and he explained to the viewers, with the drone capturing the sight, viewers, I think those are golden orchids. Ningf couldn't be completely sure of the type of orchid from the drone's image capture. The viewers were also mystified by Ningf's words. Golden orchids? I haven't heard of it. It doesn't sound cheap. Webcaster, are you lying? I work in a nursery, and I've never heard of these orchids before. Oh, here comes an expert. This webcaster's lies will be exposed. Golden Orchids. Such a tacky name. Is he spinning nonsense now? A majority of the viewers lectured him. Ningf was still examining the orchids through his phone. He nodded and pressed on solemnly. It should be Golden Orchids. I had no idea we would be seeing them here. Golden Orchids are one of the most expensive flowers in the world. It can only be found on the Kinabalu Mountains and takes 15 years to bloom. It's extremely expensive and I think its price is 50,000 per stalk. All of you can research and type Kinabalu Mountains Golden Orchids in your search engine. Many of the viewers refused to believe Ningf, so some decided to confirm it. Soon, they returned. What the fuck? It's true. Kinabalu Mountains Golden Orchids are ranked fifth amongst the most expensive flowers. Oh my lord, they look exactly the same. Who claimed that the webcaster was lying? Own up now. Who pretended to be an expert? I almost misunderstood our dear host. Webcaster, you're amazing. It's really 50,000 yuan per stalk. Incredible. Everyone was shocked. More people went to read up on that, and they compared the photos to the image that was displayed on the screen. And true enough. They were Kina Blue Mountain's golden orchids. Ningf was right. Everyone was consumed by shock and astonishment. This webcaster was amazing. His luck was incredible and had even gone beyond the divine. Chapter 33, Climbing a Cliff with Bare Hands to Pluck the Golden Orchids. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. The golden orchids were found at least 15 meters away from the ground, and this height made it almost impossible for anyone to pluck them. For an indoor rock climbing wall, the height was usually about 5 to 6 meters. However, these golden orchids were situated at least three times higher than that. The cliff was also really steep at nearly a 90 degree angle. Any indoor rock climbing would have a rope harnessed from the top as a safety measure. For a steep cliff like this, there was no way any safety measures could be done. Ha <laughs> ha, so what if he has discovered the golden orchids? He can only look at them. With this height, what a pity. This is practically treasure. It's the worst feeling when you can see it without having it. These orchids are so beautiful. It really looks splendid and expensive. Host, as the saying goes, let nature take its own course. Cheer up. Some gloated, 
some consoled him, while the rest pitied him in the comments. But everyone was certain that there was no way anyone could reach the golden orchids. At the next moment, Ningf shocked everyone with his actions. He began to remove his clothes. To be specific, he was removing his bag and some tools that he didn't need. Only then would he be able to ensure that he was carrying the lightest weight. The viewers were all stumped for words. What was he trying to do? Could he? Ningf proved them right seconds later. He began to scale the cliff. He had no harness nor rope and only used his bare hands. Everyone froze like statues. Fook. Was this webcaster suicidal? Was he really going to do that? The drone flew above Ningf as it captured him and the cliff entirely within frame. The viewers could all see that Ningf was truly climbing the cliff. At this moment, everyone only had a word on their minds. Fook. Ningf was wearing gloves and a short-sleeved shirt that revealed muscular and well-defined arms. He really looked fit and strong. Although the cliff was steep, there were many little jutting stones that he could find a footing on. He checked the stability of the stones by pulling at them with all his might. After confirming that the stones would hold him, he lifted himself up after finding a firm footing. Step by step, Ningf continued to climb. It was thrilling and exciting. As the viewers watched him, they couldn't help but clench their fists. This webcaster was unbelievable. The rewards in the webcast room came flying in endlessly. A boss who had seen him instantly sent him 10 super rockets. These 10 super rockets had trended on the Battling Birds webcast platform, and other viewers who had glimpsed that headline entered Ningf's webcast room. Which rich boss is sending rockets again? Let me see how good this really is. I'm here only for the treasure. Many new viewers entered noisily as they typed away. Seconds later, the same word flashed past their minds. Fook. Was he climbing a cliff with his bare hands? Such a steep cliff to boot. With bare hands? Exclamation mark. Was he for real? This was way too shocking. The drone was capturing the entire view of the cliff. Trees dotted the entire land and the cliff appeared to stretch into the clouds. A tiny human was climbing this cliff. What was that? Some sort of extreme sport. The drone was highly intelligent as it adjusted its angle and distance. It also captured Ningf's face clearly and displayed him on the screen. It flew nearer before going away to display a high aerial view for the viewers. This webcaster is so cute. Gosh. He is too manly. His manliness is off the record. So handsome. Damn handsome. I'm new here. Can anyone explain? Dot. Golden orchids. One stalk is worth 50,000 yuan? Did you just say that he had previously sold a Lingzi for 3 million yuan? The new viewers were shocked beyond their imagination. What were they rambling about? Were these numbers in the Zimbabwe currency? But they had no time to focus on what had happened earlier on. Right now. Ningf had already climbed 12 meters. This was a truly scary height. When the drone filmed him from the top, the viewers who had a fear of heights all felt giddy. It was too terrifying. Ningf had paused for a while to regulate his breathing. The only reason he had dared to climb the cliff was because he had grown up in the mountains. He had often climbed trees and scaled mountains. When he was in university, he had joined many outdoor rock climbing programs too. Furthermore, he was the champion of the outdoor rock climbing competition in the capital city. So, he wasn't really overestimating his ability when it came to climbing. Ningf was agile, strong, and sharp. And step by step, he reached the golden orchids without any mishaps. Now, the hardest task was on hand plucking them. Flowers that grew in such dangerous and impossibly high places weren't that easy to reach. Ningf had to use both hands to balance himself. He knew that the only reason he hadn't fallen from the cliff was because he had a firm hold on the stones. Host, be careful. Host, your life is more important. Ah, this is so nerve-wracking. I can't see this. This is far too exaggerated. Be careful. Everyone was praying hard for Ningf. No one was gloating any longer, and instead, they became worried. Little Falcon had stayed on Ningf's shoulders, and throughout the journey, it had held on tightly to Ningf's clothes. Ningf began to pluck the flowers. With a hand supporting his weight, he used the other to grab the roots of the golden orchids. Then he began to pull slowly. He couldn't afford to be hasty or impatient. If he were to exert too much force, he might fly off the cliff wall if he didn't control his strength well. Ningf plucked out the stalk of a golden orchid, with the roots and stalk still intact. The drone zoomed in during this process. 
and the viewers' hearts were almost in their mouths. As Nymph held the golden orchid in his hand, it really looked beautiful and magnificent. Next, Ning flung the golden orchid down. The viewers had mixed feelings about this action. How could he just fling such a precious thing away? But Ning was right. A flower was light, and there wouldn't be any damage even if it fell from a great height. If Ning insisted on bringing these orchids along with him during the descent, that would be a problem. Ning slowly plucked out orchid by orchid before he threw them downward. 50,000 yuan. 100,000 yuan. When the viewers saw how the precious orchids were being thrown so carelessly, they were speechless. Chapter 34, Time for the Webcaster to Give Rewards. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. After he had plucked all the golden orchids, Ningf began his descent. It was much harder than his ascent. He had to constantly check his footing on the stones. One wrong move and he would plunge to his death. Luckily, Ningf had excellent climbing skills. The viewers watched as he climbed down step by step. Finally, he landed safely. Host, you're the best. Brilliant. You are damn awesome. The coolest webcaster I've ever seen. My palms are perspiring. So exciting. The viewers' praise and admiration had flooded the entire screen. Everyone was won over by Ningf's stunt of climbing a cliff with his bare hands and there were all kinds of rewards sent to him. And on Ningf's rewards ranking, many VIPs and bosses appeared. Master Jiang Feng was still ranked at the top. He had also been shocked by Ningf's determination. He was someone born with a silver spoon in his mouth and had enjoyed the best and most exclusive urban lifestyle. It was hard for him to imagine that someone would dare to climb a cliff with his bare hands. Ningf was panting hard by now and beads of perspiration rolled down from his forehead. His clothes were covered with dust and dirt, and he looked rather battered. However, with his good looks, he looked very manly and seemed to be exploding with male hormones. Many infatuated young girls all claimed that he was their hubby. The second one on the rewards ranking was a wealthy socialite. She had sent several messages asking for Nymph's contact info. No one knew what she was up to. The cliff adventure was exhausting. Ning felt that he had overexerted his limbs this time and was feeling weak and tired. Indeed. He had tired himself out completely. He then picked up the golden orchids on the ground. They were all intact and fine. However, if the roots of the golden orchids were to be exposed for a long time, there might be some damage after all. The more precious a plant was, the more fragile it was. If not, it wouldn't be that rare. He had a two hour journey ahead of him to get back to his tent and the golden orchids might wilt any time during this period. Even the wild flowers by the roadside would wilt quickly after being plucked, and these golden orchids were no exception. Ningf decided to remove his shirt. In seconds, his sculpted chest and muscular biceps were revealed. At this sight, the viewers were all speechless. Was this some kind of reward? Ning fused his shirt to make a vase-like shape. Then he took some soil from the bottom of the cliff as the nutrients would be suitable for the golden orchids. After he had packed his shirt with soil, he buried the roots of the golden orchids within. In that way, he would have a much better chance of ensuring the golden orchids survival. The screen was littered with a rush of comments as he was busying himself with the task. What the? He stripped wordlessly. Isn't the management officer going to do anything? I remember that Battling Birds webcast platform has rules against going nude. I remember this popular webcaster named Big Rack going topless during her live stream. After that, she was forced to wear a shirt. There are strict rules regarding webcasts. Anyone topless would be slapped with a warning. Shut up you all. Isn't his figure worth it? He has a great bod, and his muscles are well defined, yet he doesn't look intimidating. I second that. I think I've only seen such muscles or physique on a national swimmer. The viewers were astonished. The management officer, Flower Cloud, had entered a daze as she watched Ningf's webcast. By rights, he should be given a warning for stripping. The webcast platform had been implementing higher and stricter standards to eradicate vulgar and crude webcasts. Thus, she had the duty as a management officer to uphold these rules and standards. But Ningf's webcast, Flower Cloud gulped. 
The platform had banned nudity to prevent obscene and vulgar webcasts. But Ningf's webcast wasn't crude nor vulgar, and he had fulfilled the webcast's requirements. Rules were set by the management, but she should look at the objective. Flower Cloud thought to herself, and that was why Ningf's webcast escaped unscathed. Ningf noticed the disappearing light, so he picked up the orchids and his bag. With his top half naked, he walked with hasty strides. It was almost 4 p.m. when he checked his watch. The temperature was 26 degrees, and the humidity was 57 percent. Everything was good, putting Ningf in a really good mood. The drone tailed him quietly, showing little falcon sitting on Ningf's shoulders. It used its claws to hold on to Ningf, but he only felt a tiny tickling sensation. This scene reminded some people of a poem. A man had just found some chrysanthemums under the eastern fence. When he raised his head, he chanced upon the southern mountains. At a university girl's dormitory, Lee Kinking was watching her phone with a besotted expression and a smile on her face. She wasn't even blinking. Kinking. What are you watching? You look like you're falling in love. Her roommate noticed her expression and scurried over. Yeah? You didn't even look that happy when you were looking at your idols. Can you control your saliva? It's dripping to the table. Several of her dorm mates came over curiously. It was Nymph's webcast. Light Breeze Temple webcast room. Wow. He has a good figure. Look at his chest. I feel like touching him. How could he be so good looking? Who is he? Why don't I recognize him? Her dorm mate chatted enthusiastically. Stop those thoughts right now. He is my hubby. He even found a lingzi that's worth 3 million yuan, and then in the afternoon, he climbed a cliff to pick golden orchids. Do you have any idea how hot he is? Lee Kinking spoke with pride. What? 3 million yuan? Tell us. Everyone's interest was piqued instantly. Nothing much happened on Ningf's way back to his tent. The mountains were vast, and although there were beasts roaming everywhere, Encounters were rare, the most commonly seen were the wild boars and civets, which weren't dangerous to humans. Ningf changed into a new shirt. The sun was setting, and Ningf's stomach began to rumble. He placed his equipment, the golden orchids, and the curded bloodlings inside the tent. He took a lighter and some seasoning before he left the tent. Host, are you simply going to leave the million new uncurded bloodlings inside the tent? They were all shocked by Ningf. Ningf didn't explain. He was deep in the jungle, and there were no signs of human life. The tent was sturdy, and beasts wouldn't attack it for no reason. Any other man would definitely be eager to rush back to sell the curded bloodlings. See? But Ningf was aware that night time was the most dangerous in the jungle. He certainly wouldn't rush back hastily. Ningf headed towards the stream and then followed it to find its source. The stream was shallow, barely covering his ankles, but as he ventured upslope, he noticed the stream getting wider and deeper. The drone was still trailing behind Ningf. Ningf saw a slope ahead and was struck with an idea. He controlled the drone to fly higher as he wanted to see if he could find a deeper spot to take a bath and to fish for food. When the drone flew high up, Ningf gasped in surprise at the scene showing on his phone. Ningf's viewers also widened their eyes in surprise. Chapter 35 Catching fishes in the lake in the moonlight. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. It was a lake. It was past seven, and the moon was hanging high up in the night sky. At this very moment, a gentle breeze was blowing, and moonlight was shining splendidly across the entire lake, making the lake seem like a giant jewel. A phrase appeared in Ningf's mind shining, gleaming, shimmering waves. This was way too beautiful. The viewers also gasped in surprise. Dear me, what did I see? It's too beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Nature is simply too magical. The scenic lake and the pure autumn moon. The surface is just like a mirror, untouched and spotless. Excellent words. That's the advantage of being educated and cultured. We can only curse. Brother, you're right. The webcast room was booming with comments. The drone continued to film the lake. The lake was on top of a slope, with two creeks flowing towards the lake. It looked as though the stream of water from the top of the mountain had flowed down and reached a hollow area. And over time, it had turned into a lake. A lake was great. It was much more convenient than a river or stream. Ningf hastened his footsteps towards the lake. No one had imagined that a lake would be found in the depths of the mountains, 
miles away from human habitation. Most of the viewers were envious of the webcaster. Ning had encountered and experienced something they might never do so in a lifetime, true, unspoiled nature. Ning took off his shirt and removed everything on him. He then bundled Little Falcon with his shirt. Little Falcon, wait here. Little Falcon nodded in response. Little Falcon was very smart as it lay quietly in the shirt screeching softly in contentment. Ningf was topless once again. He had half the idea to remove his pants, but after some contemplation, he didn't as he was being filmed. He had planned to even remove his underwear, but it was certainly a terrible idea. He could already imagine the various headlines tomorrow, mysterious man swimming naked during webcast. Besides, there might be piranhas lurking beneath the surface or some other danger. However, Ningf was quite confident that this lake was safe as the water came from the top of the mountain. If a lake was surrounded by hot springs or volcano rocks, then it might be dangerous. Ningf dove into the lake bravely. He wasn't a professional swimmer, but he had been swimming since he was a young boy. Thus, he was pretty good at it. He had been climbing the whole day and was drenched in perspiration. He would definitely feel better after a swim. Look at his swimming pool. I used to admire the private pools that belonged to the rich. But now, I am even more jealous of this host's pool. The water looks so clear and sparkling. The cleanest spring water. Taking a bath in a lake of spring water? No one can compare to that. The viewers exclaimed with surprise. Most people had only seen a lake in parks, and those lakes were dirty. And the only thing they could do was to look at it or, at most, take a boat across it. Those who had seen the Chaka Salt Lake would know how spectacular and beautiful a natural lake could be. A lake in the midst of a jungle was gentler. This lake by the light of the moon and stars had fish occasionally diving out from the smooth lake's surface, their wiggling tails producing pretty and loud splashes. Ningf swam in the water leisurely as he tried to touch the fishes. The water was cold, but he didn't feel it. The drone ascended up to take in the entire lake that resembled a mirror. Ningf was swimming in it, looking relaxed and content. It was a pleasing sight for the viewers. How delightful! The viewers exclaimed. At this moment, they felt as if they had been transported by Ningf, as he swam with enjoyment. At an ancient mansion furnished with antique furniture, Jiang Feng knocked on the door with a bowl of medicine. A sweet voice answered from the room. Brother, it was a cold night. So after Jiang Feng put the bowl on the table, he went to shut the windows. At this time, a young girl ambled out. The delicate, lovely girl should be around 18 or 19 years old. She wore a pale pink traditional Chinese dress. She was graceful and gentle, and had a pair of bright, beautiful eyes that resembled a sparkling spring. Her skin was soft, and she had a sharp, tiny nose. This young lady was extraordinarily beautiful and seemed poised and regal. She looked as though she was a pretty maiden who had just walked out from an ancient painting. If she had been born in ancient times, her beauty would have incited wars between kings who fought over her. The girl looked rather pale, and seemed fragile and tired. She lifted a fair hand to raise the bitter medicine to her lips and drained it in one gulp. This girl was the young mistress of Vessel Medicine Pharmacy. She was Jiang's, Jiang Feng's sister. She was Vessel Medicine Pharmacy's unsolved complication. As a corporation that was renowned for its medicine and treatments, no one could treat Jiang's mysterious illness, despite the numerous talented physicians who tried. How do you feel today? Jiang Feng smiled gently at his sister. Brother, I feel much better. Don't worry. Jiang's gave a lovely smile. Jiang Feng's spirits lifted at the sight of her smile. Why are you so happy today? Did you find a dress that you like? Jiang Feng asked gently. I got the designer from the Chinese Cultural Association to design several more dresses for you. All of them will definitely be beautiful. Jiang's loved wearing dresses with traditional elements and designs. Jiang Feng would spare no expense to fulfill his sister's wishes. Brother, I'm watching a live stream. Jiang's whipped out her phone as she beamed at him. Live stream. Jiang Feng frowned in confusion. He glanced at Jiang's phone and immediately recognized the man to be Ningf. Ningf had just caught a huge fish as he hugged the squirming fish to his chest. He looked as though he was wrestling with it. Oh, that priest. I saw that you bought the curded blood lingzi for me. Jiang's nodded. His webcast is so interesting. I've always wanted to experience all of that. 
Jiang's remarked with envy, I feel so much better and happier after watching his live stream. Brother, can you help me to link my credit card to my account? At the sight of Jiang's excitement, Jiang Feng was taken aback. It had been a long time since his sister looked so happy. There was delight in Jiang's eyes and expression. Jiang Feng had no idea how he should thank Ning. F sure, I'll do it now. You can reward him any amount you fancy. Chapter 36 an unexpected substantial reward. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. This is a wild base, so its size is larger. A base like this has lived its entire life in this lake, so its flesh should be tender and extremely fresh. Let's roast the fish today. Ningf emerged from the lake and then searched for what he needed, this black rock. It was flat and smooth on one side, and looked like a chopping board. Ning washed the rock before placing the wild base on it. With a few lightning flashes of his knife, he had removed the scales and cleaned it. Seriously, this host's skill with the knife is damn good. Holy cow, that's amazing. Haven't you watched him carve melons before? Carving? You can search for it on social media platforms such as Baidu, Weibo, or Duian. This webcaster's knife skills are really awesome. After cleaning it thoroughly, Ningf surveyed the surroundings. Guys, hold on a minute. I think I saw the leaves of a summery tree. Ningf strode to a tree and plucked off a few leaves the size of his palm. The leaf of a summery tree can withstand high heat and can even ensure the heat is evenly distributed. It also possesses a natural scent. It's therefore ideal for roasting fish. Now, I'm going to slice the fish. Ningf picked up the wild base and the knife in his hand seemed to come alive. He had transformed into a carving artist as the knife danced agilely with every cut. His movements were accurate and graceful as he sliced the fish. He first sliced the fish in half and then used the knife to remove the bones. His skills had left his audience awestruck. If you want to roast a fish, it's better if you can ensure that the flesh of the fish is even. Only then would the taste be good. I didn't prepare any seasoning today. The fish would taste so much better if it was marinated. For example, skewered lamb kebabs would never taste as good as an entire roasted lamb. Do you know why? That's because before a lamb is roasted, it would be marinated for a long time, and the flavor would have seeped through and been absorbed fully. As Ningf explained, his viewers were salivating. He should be a food connoisseur webcaster instead. Ning found a few stones to construct a simple and crude stove, with a hole below for firewood. The black rock was placed on top. Everyone, do take note that you have to minimize the gaps in the structure. Otherwise, the heat will escape. Therefore, we need to seal the gaps. Look, I've sealed the back as well. Now, what we need to do is to insert the firewood from the front. Ning found some dry branches and returned. He lit a fire with the dry leaves and branches, and used his hands to block the stove's entrance. In no time, smoke was rising in spirals, and the fire was lit. Next, Ning put the summery tree leaves on the black rock before spreading the dish on it. He had a few bottles of condiments and began to sprinkle some on the fish. The best part of roasting a fish is that the temperature will be evenly distributed. This will guarantee that every part of the flesh will be evenly cooked. Not only can the summery tree leaves eliminate the fish's odor, they will also add a faint natural fragrance to the flesh. Ning rattled on as he added more branches to the fire and little falcon was beside him as it jumped excitedly. Ningf was fully absorbed as he watched the fire. He was fully focused and gave off an image of steadiness and seriousness. A man was the most charming when he worked hard. Many of the viewers agreed that Ningf was even more handsome right now. With another look at the fish being roasted on the rock, everyone's appetite was whetted. It looks so yummy. Huh? Why did I click and enter? I'm supposed to be on a diet. I've decided that I'm going to order fish for my food delivery. Arg, I can't take it anymore. I'm drooling. Host, go over to the food webcasts. You will definitely be popular. The viewers clamored to comment. The rock took some time to become heated. And after it was heated, the fish became cooked in minutes. I can smell the fish now. Looks like my roasted fish is a success. Ningf shifted the branches as he inhaled deeply in enjoyment. Little falcon's eyes were peeled on the fish on the rock, and it bounced on Ningf's shoulder. Host, you're too much. Yeah, you're boasting. The viewers began to jeer. Ningf read the comments gleefully. Suddenly, someone rewarded him. 
The girl who buried flowers has sent a super rocket. The girl who buried flowers has sent a super rocket. Dot. A super rocket cost 2000 yuan one, and this fan had even sent a few consecutively. Thank you, the girl who buried flowers, for sending these super rockets. Thank you. Ningf naturally mentioned the name of those who had sent him rockets. Then, something absurd that shocked everyone happened. The girl who buried flowers had initially sent 10 super rockets, then 20, 30, and 40. It was as though these rockets were free. They kept flying across the screen, and it blurred everyone's eyes. What is happening? Is he being kept by a mistress? Damn it. She sent more than 50. Ningf was initially overjoyed when someone sent him rockets. Gradually, he got worried when he noticed the number of rockets. Evidently, he hadn't gotten used to this. Besides, there had been news of rewards that had violated the rules, such as some accountant having embezzled money from his company or a kid using her parents' money to send rewards. Naturally, he had no wish to be embroiled in such scandals. In hindsight, this girl's name was weird. The girl who buried flowers. He couldn't help but detect a tinge of sorrow and misery. Ningf hastily said, Hi, thank you for the numerous super rockets. I hope to convey happiness through my webcast, and I would be delighted if my supporters can send me rewards occasionally. But I would feel pressured if it was too much. Ningf smiled helplessly as he added, Thank you for supporting me. If you like me, just watch my webcast. When Ningf finished speaking, she stopped sending the super rockets. The girl who buried flowers had sent a total of 60 super rockets. She had planned to send 100 rockets, which would have cost 200,000 yuan. Frankly speaking, this amount was merely an insignificant amount. There was once a fan who had enjoyed an author's novel so much that she had rewarded him with 1 million yuan. There was also another reader who had given several hundred thousand yuan to an author in a day and didn't even bat his eyes. It's hard for normal people to put themselves in the shoes of the wealthy. The girl who buried flowers was naturally Jiang's. This amount was literally spare change to her or the equivalent of 20 yuan to an ordinary man. But Jiang's had ceased her rewards at Ningf's request. The fragrance of the roasted fish became stronger, and it lured Ningf's attention to it. Chapter 37, A Green Hat. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf plucked out two slim twigs and peeled off the outer layers before using them as a pair of chopsticks. He picked up a piece of fish and cooled it by blowing on it. Before he could put it inside his mouth, Little Falcon jumped impatiently to Ningf's arm with the intention of snatching the food. Ningf tapped its head to make it retreat. It was natural for animals to snatch food, but as a pet. He had to train it not to snatch food. Little Falcon was puzzled by Ningf's action and watched him from the ground. Ningf popped the fish into his mouth. The taste of the roasted fish was good, and Ningf nodded in approval. After that, he picked up a piece of fish to feed Little Falcon. Little Falcon seemed to understand as it gobbled that piece of fish. Then it began to squawk. Ning lowered his hand to allow Little Falcon to jump onto his arm. Then he picked up another piece of fish with the other hand. He ate a piece before feeding Little Falcon again. Little Falcon was smart and observant. It watched Ning quietly, and when it was its turn, it opened its mouth excitedly. The audience was amazed and impressed by Little Falcon's behavior. This bird was really smart. Ningf's roasted fish smelled, looked, and tasted good. There were chili bits, salt, and cumin on the fish as steam rose in spirals from it. The viewers were all envious when they saw that. The drone circled the air and offered various views. When it flew further away, the viewers all gasped in admiration. The scene was too beautiful. The sky was like a quilt. The ground was the bed, and the stars were the clothes. The lake was as beautiful as a giant piece of jade, with a man, a falcon, and a fire nearby. The mountains, water, and smoke complemented the view. I think this can be a portrait. Every single thing is so beautiful. The looks of the webcaster is the most important. I had no idea we could see such an outdoor webcast. This is wonderful. The viewers expressed their astonishment. The drone zoomed in. The human and bird had almost demolished the entire fish. The ingredients were not enough. There are many ways to cook a fish and many types of ingredients and spices. For example, we could have added egg whites to improve the flavor. If we had anise, 
fennel seeds, nutmeg, red roots, cassa bark, and others, it would be fantastic. Ningf simply felt that the taste could be much better, but this was the wilderness, and he didn't have the luxury to bring everything. Nonetheless, he had caused all the viewers to fall into a trance. How could this webcaster know so much? A majority of the viewers had never heard of these herbs or spices before. Ningf stood up as darkness began to fall. The lake was beautiful, and Ningf was reluctant to go. But he knew he had to. He first put out the fire before demolishing the stone stove. After he made sure that everything was fine, only then did he leave. Ningf loved this mountain, and naturally, he would do anything to protect it. Ningf returned to the tent and checked it over again. He then scattered some ralga powder before entering the tent. The drone descended to the ground. After a tiring day, Ningf bade the viewers goodbye and ended the live stream. After he ended the live stream, many of his viewers were still longing to see him. They said goodbye reluctantly. Ningf checked his popularity points and saw that it had reached 1,200,000. The rate at which his popularity was increasing was amazing. The first few days were the days when the growth in viewers would be the fastest. Soon, it would become stable, and it would be hard to see a huge, significant increase. For the top, most popular webcasters, their viewers usually stayed at around 4 million viewers unless they had some explosive content that day. Ningf had spent 116,000 popularity points so he still had more than one million points left. Ningf suddenly felt nervous. With a million popularity points, he could select the Platinum a Lucky Draw system, I want 10 tries at the Platinum a Lucky Draw. Ding! Host has chosen to play the Platinum a Lucky Draw 10 times. Spinning for prizes now. Ding! Congratulations to host on getting the following items. A green cooling hat which can greatly reduce harmful UV rays and radiation from entering host's body. It can also ensure the coolness of the body. A pair of magical binoculars with the latest technology. Host will be able to adjust the lens. Three premium grade body strengthening pills. It will strengthen host's body significantly. Another five premium grade body strengthening pills. Ten premium grade packs of bird feed. It will increase the bird's intelligence and aggressiveness. Five bags of premium grade silver fertilizer. It will substantially increase the plant's rate of growth, without any side effects. One magical bin from a mysterious magical world. It can compress chemical compounds and allow the food to be slowly digested in the stomach. Once ingested, one won't feel hungry for three days. It also heals external wounds. Ding! Congratulations to host on getting the following items. Five animal friendship cards that will enable the user to forge a bond with an animal. It will also greatly diminish the aggressiveness of large animals. Ding! Congratulations to host on getting the following skills. Special driving skills that will allow the user to drive various vehicles, such as excavators, trucks, and bulldozers, architectural skills that will allow host to design buildings and infrastructure, acupuncture skills that require practice beforehand, it comes with a set of ancient manuals and some real magical medical skills, it will allow the user to adjust the yin and yang flow and also to unblock nerves and arteries, the announcements rang in Ningf's head, the longer Ningf listened, the more nervous he became, under normal circumstances, the system would start with the items, followed by skills, and the highest value was certainly the skills. Thus, when Ningf heard about the eight items, he couldn't help but be delighted. Three skills. It was truly the platinum lucky draw. The probability was accurate. The special driving and architectural skills were perfect for a man who lived in a village and a mountain. And he had even obtained acupuncture skills. But the practice part puzzled Ningf. He decided to consult the system and try to understand what it meant. As acupuncture skills were a premium skill the user wouldn't be able to immediately possess it. He or she would need time and practice to absorb the skill. That is, he would need an hour a day over a span of 10 days. China had many traditional secrets and methods, such as the art of landscape painting or the ancient study of change in human life. Many people who had studied all their life might not even understand anything beyond superficial knowledge. Acupuncture skills were considered one of them. As for this skill, Ningf was extremely pleased with it. He really needed medical skills. At the thought of Grandma Wang's illness, 
he began to feel more hopeful. Ning took out the cooling hat and the magical binoculars. As the sun was blazing in the afternoon, he really needed this cooling hat. However, Ning couldn't help but frown at the cooling hat. This hat is green one, chapter 38 fired up the internet. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf was torn between laughing and crying at the sight of the green hat. One. The hat could prevent the UV rays from entering his skin while keeping him cool at the same time. But this color wasn't very auspicious. Green. It was identical to the color of grass. If he were to wear this hat during his webcast, he would be labeled as the man who was cuckolded forever. Ningf pondered for a while. Although this might just be a saying, he was someone who listened to his heart. Therefore, he couldn't wear this hat. Instead, he left the hat in the jungle on the following day. Many years later, someone would chance upon this place and take a photo of a magical sight, a monkey wearing a green hat. And according to the witness, the monkey who wore the hat acted as though he was the leader. However, Many viewers suspected that the man had deliberately put the hat on the monkey, and it caused quite a commotion online. Of course, no one had thought that many years ago, it was an outdoor webcaster who had left the green hat behind. At night, Ning swallowed all the five premium grade body strengthening pills. Every pill allowed him to improve his strength, agility, and endurance level by 0.5. Currently, his strength was 18.5. His agility was 18.5, and his endurance was 17.5. His body had far exceeded that of an ordinary man. Ningf practiced his acupuncture skills for an hour before he fell into a deep sleep. On the following day, he woke up feeling dizzy and dazed. The acupuncture skills were indeed complicated. He had tried to cram all the knowledge about the various acupuncture points in a human's body. Thus, he had a headache now. He shook his head and stretched himself. Ningf started his webcast before he began to tear down the tent that had droplets of dew. He had found the curded bloodlingsy and the golden orchids during this trip. He had made a fortune and was planning to return to the temple. At this time, Ningf noticed something incredible. On his way here, he had packed everything neatly. Now that it was time to return, he realized that he had too much stuff and couldn't pack everything in. So. He had to unpack everything once again before he could return. Due to the premium grade body strengthening pills, he was feeling stronger and more agile. Therefore, he didn't feel tired at all despite the load on his back. In fact, he strode with light footsteps. More supporters entered his live stream to greet him. At this time, Xu Sheng, the manager of Battling Birds webcast platform, was watching Ningf's webcast room statistics with a look of disbelief and surprise. A new webcaster who had started days ago had achieved such amazing results. It had been a total eye-opener. Yesterday, he received more than 700,000 yuan of rewards. Currently, he is number one on the income ranking. Xu Sheng muttered as he found this hard to believe. Unless there were some special situations such as the appearance of a famous actor, there wouldn't be a case of a webcaster receiving an income of more than 1 million yuan a day. The best webcasters could only achieve 500,000 yuan. Yesterday, Ning earned more than 700,000 yuan, and he had started barely a week ago. Exaggerated wasn't the word to describe this. Other than that, he is trending on social media platforms and is first amongst all Battling Birds webcast platforms webcasters, Li Jian. The representative from the PR department, interjected. What? Xu Sheng was shocked. The PR team was in charge of Battling Birds webcast platforms webcasters public opinion and information. Sometimes, it would also defend a webcaster. To put it simply, it was defending its own soldiers. Webcast platforms thrived on profits, and competition was intense. Naturally, it needed to protect its own webcasters and eliminate its rivals. At the same time, the PR team was also responsible for monitoring the popularity of the webcasts. Since the start of yesterday, headlines such as webcaster meeting a black bear, webcaster climbing a cliff with bare hands, and the 3 million yuan curded bloodlingsy's appearance had created a commotion online. Webcaster climbing a cliff with bare hands and curded bloodlings he had trended on live time Weibo searches. Ningf had exploded in popularity and fired up the entire internet. This was unprecedented. This webcaster is amazing. 
Li Jian praised. Xu Sheng had no idea that this would happen. He has indeed exceeded my expectations. I thought that it would simply be a novelty as he was from a village. There shouldn't have been much traction in terms of viewership growth. Now it seems that I've belittled this light breeze temple webcaster. Xu Sheng was regretful. If he had been more persuasive during the signing of the contract, Ning might have been bound to them for a few more years. But he was glad that at least, he had managed to retain this awesome webcaster with Battling Birds webcast platform. It was an achievement. At the same time, the internet was abuzz with comments about Ningf. At first, there was a surge of doubts and suspicions as they read the headlines, and many even jeered and mocked him. Scaling a cliff with bare hands? Some kind of a joke. It must be fake. Why would anyone believe this? Who has bought the trending spot? Just watch. Without believing, after clicking on the videos, they were left with a word, Fook. The drone flew and moved around to take different angles. There wasn't any editing done, and everything was taken in a frame. Ningf had climbed from the bottom, step by step, and the viewers witnessed his arduous journey. From afar, they only saw how tall the cliffs were and didn't see any ropes on Ningf. This webcaster was courageous and fearless indeed. Everyone agreed on that. After the incident of the curded bloodling, see? Many viewers had criticized and bashed him for trying to hype up an item. How could a plant cost millions of yuan? Some time later, a biology professor from the capital city's university cleared the air personally. There are two droplets of blood in that curded bloodling, see? So it has to be at least two centuries old. It's therefore reasonable for it to be worth at least two million yuan regardless of it being a medicinal plant or a plant to be kept for collection. Many agreed with his opinion and it also trended. And after that, the mysterious rock and the most beautiful lake in the mountains also garnered a massive number of viewers. With Ningf's good looks, he attracted countless new fans. Chapter 39 Vessel Medicine Pharmacy's Transaction This chapter is updated by Novels.pl Right now, Ningf was taking a ride headed towards Vessel Medicine Pharmacy. Master Jiang had transferred 3 million yuan to him, so without a doubt, he would keep his promise to deliver the curded blood lingzi. What was unexpected was that Jiang Feng was there to receive him personally at the VIP lounge. Hello, I'm Jiang Feng. Jiang Feng smiled as he extended his hand. Hello, the curded blood lingzi is here. After a handshake, Ningf passed the goods to him. Jiang Feng was the young master of vessel medicine pharmacy and the owner of the Jiang Corporation. He was worth tens of billions yuan and was a well-known man in China. Jiang Feng was wearing a plain grey suit with no branded labels. Nonetheless, he looked refined and well-groomed. Of course, he had a good image too. Ningf just hadn't expected that Jiang Feng would appear here. Jiang Feng was in fact his number one supporter. Under such circumstances, it could be considered a private meetup between a fan and a webcaster. And there were all sorts of scandals and rumors about how female webcasters would meet up with their fans. He couldn't be thinking of that, right? Jiang Feng opened the lid to check the curded blood lingzi before he closed it with a satisfied smile. Your webcast is interesting, and my sister and I enjoy watching it. Jiang Feng passed the box to his staff before he turned to talk to Ningf. Thank you replied Ningf politely. Perhaps I could trouble you to cook once again. Jiang Feng looked rather awkward due to his abrupt request. You want me to cook? Yes. My sister had a craving for roasted fish after watching your webcast, so I would like you to cook again. The price is negotiable. How about 100,000 yuan? Just for cooking a fish, was money worth nothing to the rich at all? It might not be considered much compared to the fees commanded by Michelin chefs but it was certainly a hefty sum for local chefs, but to Jiang Feng, 100,000 yuan was indeed negligible. Jiang's didn't like to eat meat, and Jiang Feng knew that this was bad for her health. Jiang's required the protein and nutrition from meat for her illness. Yesterday, Jiang's had suddenly remarked that she wanted to eat roasted fish and specifically asked for the one Ningf had made. Thus, he had rushed down from the capital city to invite Ningf personally. Jiang Feng would do anything for Jiang's. I'm not really a chef. Ningf shook his head to reject Jiang Feng. Hey, listen to me first. Jiang Feng hastily stopped Ningf after seeing how firm he was. 
he could tell that Ningf wasn't someone who could be bribed by money. Ningf stared quietly at him. Jiang Feng explained everything about Jiang's, and Ning finally comprehended the situation. All right then. If that was the truth, Ning had no reason to reject him. Let's go to the airport now. Then I can go home before tonight, said Ning. I have a private plane. It would be much faster. Ning was speechless. This was indeed the fastest trip Ning had taken to the capital city. A huge amount of time was usually wasted on waiting and boarding. Taking a private plane solved all that. On the way, Ning suddenly thought of something. For the sake of his sister, Jiang Feng invited me to fly there personally. His sister seems to be a glutton. Nowadays, the rich were often greedy and loved rich food. Could she be overweight? I have never heard of the young mistress of the Jiang Corporation. Anyway, he didn't dwell on these questions for too long as he would only be there to cook a meal. The private plane landed in Jiang Feng's courtyard. His mansion was huge and luxurious. It resembled a manor. The structure was rather unique with modern rooms in the house and an antique-looking garden outside the mansion. There were a few pavilions too. My sister doesn't meet people often, both of them were walking side by side as Jiang Feng spoke softly. Ningf had no idea how he should reply, so he merely gave a faint smile. Ningf was composed and relaxed during the trip. He hadn't had much interest in anything else other than cooking this meal. The ingredients were already prepared. In the garden, there were a few tables with all kinds of live fish. There were also the seasonings and herbs he had used yesterday, along with others. This had exceeded Ningf's imagination. This is too much for a roasted fish. Ningf shook his head helplessly as he thought of the waste. Since my sister wants to eat, I decided to prepare more, answered Jiang Feng casually. Your sister. Ningf was about to say something when a sweet and soft voice interjected. Brother. The voice was melodious and sweet, and she sounded like a charming young girl. As Ningf turned around, his eyes fell on a young girl dressed in a white and pink traditional dress. At the same time, Jiang's eyes met Ningf's. Both of them gazed at each other. One second. Two seconds. Three seconds. Ahem. Jiang Feng coughed softly. Chapter 40 a real expert at removing scales and deboning. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Brother, Jiang said softly, didn't you say that you wanted to eat the roasted fish? I invited him here, Jiang Feng said with a gentle smile. Ningf was composed on the surface, but he was astonished deep inside. Jiang Feng's sister was really pretty. He was surprised. It was as though she had walked out from an ancient painting. She was so pure and innocent, and looked like a flower ready to bloom. According to Jiang Feng, this girl was being plagued by an illness and might not be able to live long. Without further consideration, he decided to focus his efforts on cooking the fish. At this time, Ningf noticed a chef in white. He was also quick and observant enough to spot the golden label on his chest. All professional chefs in China would go for tests to receive their certificates. These certifications were categorized by levels from basic, medium, high, expert, to advanced expert. Fang who was a well-known chef from the culinary association invited here by Jiang Feng. He was the one in charge of Jiang Feng's meals and was very responsible. When he heard that someone would be cooking for Jiang's, he had come for two purposes. The first was to inspect him, and the second was to supervise. In fact, Fang who hadn't believed that an outdoor webcaster would be able to whip up something decent. However, he respected Jiang Feng, and so, he didn't say anything. This was especially so when Fang Hu saw that Ningf was a young and good-looking man. In his heart, he was feeling slightly contemptuous. All real chefs should be fat and strong. This had some truth to it. Firstly, a chef needed strength in both his wrists and arms, and during their job, they would have to train their strength. Chefs also constantly tried and tasted new food, so naturally, they would gain weight. Therefore, once an experienced chef had taken a look at another chef's arms and wrist, he would be able to know how good he was. Another glance at Ningf confirmed that he was merely a pretty vase. He was lean and trim and didn't look strong at all. Miss Jiang had probably taken a liking to his looks, and that was why she had invited him. Fang Hu pressed his lips grimly at the thought. Good-looking men wouldn't know how to cook, 
and men who cooked weren't good looking. That was what he believed. Ningfu had already begun. The first thing he did was to wash the fish. Jiang Feng had selected fish of the highest quality, which seemed to be fed with a special diet. The you are. Ningfu chose a fish in the tank with a satisfied smile. I didn't think that you would be able to find a wild split belly fish as it only grows in the icy rivers in the King High Plateau. Its flesh is sweet and tender, and a wild split belly fish cost a fortune. Excellent. Normal people might not think much when they heard Ningfu, but Fang who had widened his eyes at this. Ningfu was right as it was indeed a wild split belly fish. A wild split belly fish was smaller than those reared on a farm. It was also more agile and active, so their flesh was much better. He hadn't expected that Ningfu would be able to recognize a split belly fish, and he even knew that it was a wild one. He did indeed possess some knowledge. But perhaps, this was something he had seen before. Next. Ningth scraped off the scales and cleaned the fish. His knife moved swiftly, and the onlookers were dazzled by his movements. That knife seemed to be dancing wildly in his hand. Jiangs didn't dare to watch Ningth killing the fish. She had turned around, while Jiang Feng continued watching, impressed with his skills. Fang Hu had gone speechless as he widened his eyes. Was he scraping the scales? He is actually scraping. He gasped aloud. Usually, people merely scraped off some scales before cooking. Fish scales affected the taste of the fish and the texture of the flesh. But Ningf's skills had left Fang Hu dumbstruck. He had used his knife to remove the scales by slicing a thin layer off. In that way, he had deftly removed all the scales cleanly. Although that sounded simple, it was very hard to execute. One had to be precise with one's strength accuracy, and direction. Not many chefs could remove fish scales in such a clean manner. Master Jiang, where did you find him? Who was his master? Fang who couldn't help but question Jiang Feng. At this time, all traces of contempt had vanished. Instead, he looked excited. Even he could not display such excellent skills when removing a fish's scales. Jiang Feng chuckled and replied, you can ask him later. Fang Hu nodded before reverting his attention back to Ningf. At this time, Ningf had lightly waved his knife in a few motions before he deboned the entire fish as a single piece. He moved at lightning speed and left everyone speechless when the bone slid out from the stomach. Deboning? Fang Hu's jaws dropped, and his eyes were round and wide. Disbelief was etched on his face. How could this man display this long lost skill of shaving a fish's bones? The traditional cooking skills had been passed down centuries ago. As time went by, many brilliant methods and skills had been lost in the process. And the skill of deboning a fish using the shaving method had long been lost. Fang Hu had heard from his master that there was once an expert who could slice a fish to remove the bones and leave the entire fish intact. By doing so, the aesthetic look of the fish would be presented perfectly. He had assumed that it was some myth or story passed down from generation to generation. It was even likely that the story had been exaggerated. However, now that he had witnessed it with his own eyes, he had gotten a huge shock. This young man was such an expert. Chapter 41 the Ancient Chinese Secret Technique. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Scaling and bone shaving, done in one go. Then, take salt, cumin, cooking wine, vinegar, sesame oil, and some green onions and ginger, mix them in proportion, mix them well, and completely put the belly split fish in to marinate. After marinating, the grilled fish would be even more delicious when barbecued. The longer the marinating time, the better. The fish meat is easy to marinate. It takes about 15 minutes to get the flavor. Then, Ningf brushed some oil on the stone slab to ensure that the temperature on the stone slab was even. While the fish was being marinated, Fang Hu stepped forward and asked, Brother, your knife skills are so good. May I ask which family did you learn from? Fang Hu's attitude was very kind and polite. The change in his attitude surprised the people around him. Just a moment ago, he said that the streamers were all showy and couldn't cook any good dishes. Why was he being polite now? In Fang Hu's eyes, if one's culinary skills were good, then they deserved respect. Just now, it was just a matter of fact. Jiang's situation was special, so many things couldn't be eaten. Now that he saw Ningf's ability, 
Fang Hu was full of admiration in his heart. I don't have any teachers. Cooking is just a hobby of mine, Ning Fan said casually. A hobby, just a hobby and he was able to use such amazing cutting skills as scaling and bone shaving, and he had such a deep understanding of fish. In Fang Hu's eyes, Ning Fu was definitely a hermit expert who did not appear in the world. Fang Hu was a first class chef in the country but he knew that experts were among the people. There were many hidden culinary experts among the people. They usually did not show their skills, but they had all kinds of unique cooking skills. However, since Fang Hu was unwilling to tell him, he did not ask further. After Jiang saw Fang Hu's change in attitude, she looked at Ning Fu with her beautiful eyes in surprise. A glimmer of light flashed across her pretty face as if she had seen something very interesting. Jiang Feng also nodded secretly. As expected, this Taoist priest was unfathomable. Fifteen minutes later, the time was just right. There were warm tree leaves prepared on the table. Ning washed a few of the warm tree leaves and cut the salted belly fish into two halves and spread them out. Then, Ning beat a few eggs into a bowl and used chopsticks to pick out all the egg yolks. This move made Jiang Feng could not help but shout awesome. There were many ways to separate the egg white and egg yolk. For example, there was an egg yolk separator, or one could just make a small hole in the egg and then slowly pour out the egg white. However, Ningf's method was undoubtedly the fastest. Some experts could directly use chopsticks to pick out the yolk. However, it required a lot of skill to break a few eggs in and then pick them out one by one. Ningf evenly poured the egg white on one side of the fish and placed ginger slices under the fish. Then, he evenly placed some seasonings such as cardamom, seaweed, and cloves on the fish. After everything was arranged properly, he carefully placed the grilled fish on the stone slab. The most important part of grilling the fish on the stone slab was the preparation before grilling the fish. The process of grilling the fish was not so tricky. The fish was evenly spread out, and not long after, wisps of steam rose from the body of the grilled fish. The fragrance spread out in all directions. When Jiang smelled this fragrance, she immediately felt a sense of hunger in her abdomen. She could not help but say, it smells so good. Seeing Jiang's appearance, Jiang Feng smiled happily. The square pot also repeatedly praised her. From knife skills to ingredients to this barbecue skill, Ningf's cooking skills were definitely at the professional level. To have such cooking skills at such a young age, it was really like the new waves of the Yangtze River pushing the new waves ahead. After about half an hour, Ningf took out a long plate and placed the warm leaves and grilled fish on it. Instantly, the grilled fish was completed. Boss Jiang, the fish is ready. After Ningf placed the grilled fish on the table, he said, Okay, thank you for your hard work. Jiang Feng nodded and said politely, Xuea, try it quickly. Okay. Jiang had not had such an appetite for a long time. She nodded her head and then sat in front of the table to pick up some grilled fish and put it into her mouth gently. For a moment, she felt a burning sensation in her mouth. Then, she chewed slowly a few times. The fresh and tender fish meat was accompanied by light spices. Other than being refreshing, there was also a hint of sweetness. Jiang's lively eyes smiled like crescent moons. She said, Brother, it's very delicious. Seeing her, Jiang Feng was genuinely happy. He said, If it's delicious, you should eat more. Ning had already completed his task. He felt that there was no need to stay. So he greeted Jiang Feng and planned to leave. Abby Dean Ning, thank you so much for today. Jiang Feng came to his side and said gratefully, It's nothing. It's my duty. I still want to broadcast for a while tonight, so I have to go. Okay, I'll ask my driver to send you back. Anyway, it's a fast flight to Kin City. Upon hearing Jiang Feng's words, Ning felt that this person was not bad. Although he was a person of the upper class. He did not put on airs when interacting with others. Ningf was not a meddlesome person and did not have the heart to help the world. However, Jiang Feng's request for a private jet to send him back made Ningf change his mind. Be kind to others, and be kind to yourself. Jiang Feng would never have thought that the arrangement he made to express his feelings would bring about another change in Jiang's life. Boss Jiang, your sister seems to be unwell. She seems to have insufficient qi and blood and there is something wrong with her kidney and spleen, Ningf said as he looked at Jiang's, who was happily eating fish, 
Upon hearing this, a hint of desolation flashed across Jiang Feng's face. Yes, it's a congenital illness. Both traditional Chinese and Western medicine have seen it before. It can't be cured. Lack of qi and blood, lack of biochemical source of human blood, external use of blood beads and ganoderma, and other supplements can only treat the symptoms, but not the root cause. If you want to cure root cause, you have to start from the inside and stimulate the activity of her internal organs. Only then can you cure root cause. Hearing Ningf's words, Jiang Feng's eyes widened even more. He was the young master of Xuanu Medical Center, and he had many famous doctors under him. Western medicine had concluded that Jiang's illness was due to the congenital failure of her organs. There were too many organs involved and she was unable to perform surgery. She could only use nutrient fluids to maintain her vital signs. This method was rejected by Jiang's. She would rather die than lie on the bed and get an four drip all day long to her. Flowers should bloom to their heart's content under the sun at the most beautiful moment. The conclusion of the traditional Chinese medicine was the same as nymphs. The external use of natural treasures was to supplement the external use while the internal use was to find ways to regulate the activity of the organs. Jiang Feng had an old traditional Chinese medicine doctor under his command. His name was Han Chengtsai, and he was known as Han Bangxian. This person had genuine abilities and Jiang's current condition was thanks to his miraculous hands. However, Han Chengtsai was also unable to completely cure Jiang's illness, so Jiang Feng was almost in despair. Abi Din Ning, you are right. Is there any way to cure this disease? Jiang Feng smiled bitterly and asked casually. The Jiang family had been disappointed by Jiang's disease so many times that they had lost hope. Yes, to Jiang Feng's surprise. Ningf's answer was full of determination. Hearing this word, Jiang Feng felt as if something exploded in his mind. What did you say? Jiang Feng asked in disbelief. Stimulating organ activity. There is a secret technique in China that is feasible, and that is acupuncture. Ningf's expression was calm as he said in a steady voice. The content that he had learned the night before, apart from the human body's acupuncture points, was also the Chinese medicine Wang in Wang Wen Wen Che as well as a large amount of pharmacology knowledge. Acupuncture was indeed a top-notch skill of the system. Although its name was simple and unadorned, it was indeed a godly skill. Acupuncture. Upon hearing Ningf's words, the hope that had risen on Jiang Feng's face gradually dimmed. Do you think it won't work? Ningf asked back. Abi Dean Ning, it's not that it won't work. My family runs a hospital. There's an elder in my family called Han Cheng Tsai who is extremely good at Chinese medicine. What he said is the same as you. If you want to cure Xuea's illness, only acupuncture can do it. Hearing Jiang Feng's explanation, a hint of surprise flashed across Ningf's eyes. He did not expect that there were so many hidden talents in Huexia that there was actually someone who could see how Jiang's illness should be treated. However, the real acupuncture has long been lost, and most of what has been passed down is just the tip of the iceberg. We've searched for many years but still haven't found the ability to raise the dead and the living. To tell you the truth, we have looked for all the famous traditional Chinese medicine practitioners in Huaxia, including some famous doctors from small places. However, none of them can meet the requirements. Jiang Feng said helplessly, his tone full of disappointment. Jiang Feng was right. Acupuncture was an ancient secret art in Huaxia, and it once had endless glory. However, just like landscape studies and Zuyi, it had fallen to the point where people could only peek at one or two of them. There were very few people who could truly grasp it. The human body was a treasure trove in itself. Acupuncture was like the key to developing this treasure trove. At this moment, Ningf looked at Jiang Feng and said seriously. What if I can find someone who knows acupuncture? Chapter 42 Hand-drawn drawings, shocking design This chapter is updated by novels.pl What did you say? I said I can find someone who knows acupuncture. Faced with Jiang Feng's question, Ning Fa answered calmly. Really? Where is he? Jiang Feng said anxiously. His eyes instantly turned red. Give me some time, about ten days. Ningf said after thinking for a while. He had no choice. After all, according to the system's requirements, 
Acupuncture needed nine days to learn. If this person really knows acupuncture, I'm willing to pay any price, Jiang Feng quickly said. Okay, then it's a deal. Ning waved his hand and left without looking back. Jiang Feng's bodyguards and private pilot hurriedly followed him and arranged for him to board the plane and leave. After Ning left, Jiang Feng's heart was suddenly filled with mixed feelings. Was what Ning said true? Did China really exist for people who knew acupuncture? He sighed. Perhaps he had been disappointed too much in the past, but his heart did not have too many ups and downs. However, Ning was full of mystery, which gave him a little more hope in his heart. Back in the yard, Jiang's had already eaten half of the grilled fish. This was the biggest meal for her brother. Did that priest leave? Jiang's asked with a smile. Yes, he left. He said he would broadcast tonight, Jiang Feng nodded and said gently. He is so awesome, Jiang smiled and looked much more cheerful. Jiang Feng agreed and praised. Yeah, it's my first time meeting such a person. On the other side, when Ning Fu returned to the Taoist temple, it was already seven o'clock in the evening. He recalled the experience of that day and could not help but shake his head. The life of this rich man was really simple and unflashy. The reward of 100,000 yuan and a private plane to pick him up was just for a meal of stone slab grilled fish. After that, Ning fed the little falcon some food. The little falcon had been hungry since the day he was away. Ning realized that ever since he fed the little falcon the bird feed from the platinum raffle, the little falcon had developed very quickly. It could now flap its wings and stop in midair for a short while. At this moment, Ning turned on the live stream again. As soon as the stream started, many old fans flooded in. First, second, ha ha, Abby Dean. We finally started the live stream. We missed you so much. I thought we weren't going to broadcast today. I didn't expect that to be a surprise. It's still that familiar Taos temple. The netizens commented on the bullet screen one after another. Because of the popularity of the short video, Ningf's live stream room had many more subscribers. Many newcomers also came to the live stream room one after another. This channel looks so shabby. The host is very handsome. Can I add him on WeChat? Is this the expert who climbed with his bare hands? He looks so ordinary. There were all kinds of bullet comments. At this moment, in the long corridor under the eaves, Ningf sat on the ground. There was an ancient table in front of him. On the table, there was a cup of tea a few pieces of rice paper, and a few pencils. There was a lamp above his head, and it just happened to shine on him. Hello, everyone. The Taoist temple is relatively old. I used to plan to renovate the Taoist temple with master, but after all, I'm short of money. Now that I've earned some money, I plan to renovate the Taoist temple next. Tonight, I plan to draw a sketch first. Ningf picked up the paper and pen and said to the camera on his phone. His new skill, master architect, gave him a very strong ability to construct buildings. He had been thinking about what the Taoist temple should look like. Only when he drew it would he know. First was the blue stone tile wall, which had an ancient flavor. The door had to be a wooden door, preferably dark red paint. The Sanking Hall had to be built to be more majestic. The house next to it had to be built into a two-story classical attic, with six rooms, two halls and two bathrooms. Then there was the backyard. One was a bamboo forest, one was a vegetable garden, and one could even open up a small fish pond. In the spare space, there could even be some rockery and gardens. Ningf drew wherever he thought of. His strokes were brilliant, and it didn't take long for him to draw an aerial view of the Taos temple. The netizens watched the entire process. They only saw that Ningf used a pencil to sketch on the paper. In less than 20 minutes, the sketch of the Taoist temple was drawn by him. Looking at the sketch, it was vivid and lifelike. Although it was just a pencil drawing, many details could be seen clearly. The Taoist temple in the drawing looked exceptionally exquisite. When Ningf drew this sketch, it really stunned the netizens. DMN. Isn't this drawing too good? This streamer is invincible.
he can draw so well, the seven-year-old art student expressed that the streamer is really a god, the new Taos temple is so beautiful, talented people, comparing people is so infuriating, why do I feel that the Abbey Dean is so outstanding in all aspects, the bullet comments flooded in once again, the design of architecture and landscape requires many auxiliary means, the common auxiliary means are hand-drawn, hand-made models, and the use of software, in general, software is the most important tool, but hand painting can also express the architect's design ideas, Ningf explained, after the sketch of the Taos temple was drawn, he took out a piece of paper, then took out a ruler and a pencil, and began to draw the structural drawings of the Taos temple, 112 story small building, 12 Sanking hall, 13 garden design, 14 vegetable fields, 15 fish ponds, 1 6 gates and walls. Ningf directly divided the Taos temple in the sketch into several parts, and then part by part of the design size. Now he knew the Taos temple's data, which room is how big, length, width, height, water and electricity from which to go, and so on. After all, he grew up in this courtyard. Ningf's design was very serious. His operation was solid and shocked everyone. They thought he was an outdoor adventure host, but he was also a gourmet host. They thought he was a gourmet host, but they didn't expect him to be so good at drawing. Now, he was actually doing architectural design again. This was ridiculous. The netizens didn't know what to say. Ningf had the skill, architecture master and he had long been proficient in architectural design, he drew the design drawings by hand one by one, using a ruler to draw the structural drawings and mark the data, the netizens expressed that although they couldn't understand it, they felt that it was very impressive, damn, the host actually drew the design drawings by hand, this is amazing, a student from the school of architecture said, Ningf explained as he drew, in architectural design, the graphic design is usually used by AutoCAD software, which is more clearly marked. I'm not very proficient in the operation of software, so I drew it by hand. It can't be compared to high tech. In fact, it's just marking some data. There's no need for everyone to be surprised. Hearing Ningf's explanation, the audience came to a sudden realization. So it was just marking data. That shouldn't be difficult. The student from the School of Architecture said, Host, don't joke, the difficulty of drawing a design by hand and using a computer to make a design are not on the same level, without professional knowledge, it is impossible to draw a design by hand, those who can draw by hand are all true design masters, those who saw this were once again surprised by Ningf's ability, however, after all, he did not know much and did not cause too much of a stir, after drawing the design blueprint, Ningf turned off the live broadcast and went back to his room to sleep. His room was still a little dilapidated with a brick and soil structure. It was very cold in winter, and the master and disciple usually relied on an electric heater to survive the entire winter. The Taos temple was indeed very dilapidated. Some of the courtyard walls were supported by wood and sticks, as if they would collapse at any time. On the bed. Ningf closed his eyes and continued to study acupuncture for the second time. After he finished studying, he fell into a deep sleep. The next day, the sun rose as usual and once again lit up the somewhat dilapidated Taoist temple. This time, the Taoist temple would undergo drastic changes. Chapter 43, Enter the City, Talk About Construction, and Buy a Car. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. In the morning, after Ningf got up, the first thing he did was to contact a gold and silver jewelry store in Kin City. Naturally, he was not buying jewelry, but silver needles. He made a detailed Excel form of the specifications, size, length, and number of each silver needle, which was equivalent to a custom-made one. The owner of the jewelry store was very strange. Many customers came here to order a set of jewelry. It was also the first time he had seen someone like Ning order a set of silver needles. However, after discussing the price, the boss agreed readily. The needles used for acupuncture in traditional Chinese medicine were all disposable sterile needles. They were convenient and affordable. Most of them were made of stainless steel. The better ones were naturally the gold and silver needles because the needles made of these two metals were straight and smooth. They could withstand high temperature and rust, 
and were not easy to be corroded by chemicals. As for the steel, copper, and iron needles, they were easy to rust. Their elasticity, toughness, and firmness were all relatively poor, so they were not considered. The prices of gold and silver had always been so expensive. They steadily had the attribute of money, which was inseparable from their characteristics. After ordering the silver needles, Ningf contacted the construction team on the mountain. There were a lot of projects on the mountain, whether it was the government's project or the private construction of houses. Therefore, many people were engaged in occupations such as water and electricity, carpentry, and masons. There were also a few construction teams. In the morning, Ningf turned on the live broadcast and made a phone call, then went to talk to the construction team about the construction. As the saying goes, the seller compares the seller with the seller. An average person would definitely have to compare several companies to find a project, then contact the construction party to buy construction materials. Those who had done construction knew that the profits from the construction were not much. The real profits were all in the materials. The reason why the contractors paid so much to the leaders who made the decision for most of the public buildings was because there were many ways to make money from a project. No matter how strict the investigation was, it was impossible to find out the kickbacks from the materials. Simply put, even if the construction projects with 5 million yuan were built strictly according to the standard, they could still get a kickback of around 700,000 yuan. This was the reality. Of course, Ningf was also a smart person. The construction team he found was a construction team from Kin City including construction materials and other projects. They had everything. Hello, Uncle Yu, I'm here. The office on the second floor, right? Okay, I'll be right up. Ningf came to the downstairs of the Hay renovation project, put down the phone, and went to the second floor. Ha ha, long time no see, Ningf. After entering the office on the second floor, Liu Hui stood up and smiled at Ningf. Liu Hui was considered a legendary figure in Kinshan village. His parents died early, and he became an orphan early on. His house in Kinshan village was only the shabbiest kind of earthen house. His family did not raise any poultry or livestock, only a bit of land. He grew up eating a hundred kinds of food, and the one who took care of him the most was Ningf's master. Later, when he was thirteen years old, he went down to Kin City to work. Although child labor was not allowed by law, he could hire a person who worked well for 200 yuan a month. Naturally, many people fought to hire him. At first, he worked on the construction site and moved bricks the most. Because bricks were calculated by number, he could earn the most. Then, he started to dry mud tiles, water and electricity. He slowly worked his way up. Now, he was the boss of a renovation company. He had suffered more than others had imagined. Such a ruthless person who had no worries and nothing to lose could always make a name for himself. Liu Hui was also a very righteous person. Every year during the festival, he would go to the few families that had helped him send gifts, especially King Feng Temple. Every year during the new year, he would send pigs, sheep, fruits, and drinks box by box. Ningf was still young at that time. Every year, he would look forward to Liu Hui coming over to send gifts during the festival. That way, he could eat well for the next few days. Uncle Liu, it's like this. I'm planning to renovate the Taoist temple, so I came to look for you. Ningf also smiled and went straight to the point. Renovate the Taoist temple? How are you planning to do it? Do you want to build a new gate or a water tower? Liu Hui put down the cigarette in his hand and asked, other than the Sanking Hall, which was a historical site, Kingfing Temple had a real history. The rest of the buildings were made of bricks and mud. They couldn't hold on much longer. Other than the Sanking Hall, the rest of the buildings will be pushed. Ningf naturally sat opposite Liu Hui's desk, took out the drawing and handed it over. Push? Liu Hui was stunned. He took the drawing and looked at it. At first, he saw the first sketch of the whole Taoist temple drawn by Ningf. Liu Hui smiled helplessly. He thought that Ningf was still too naive. He wanted to complete the project with just a drawing. To build a project, one must first examine it and then consult the user's needs. Then, they would find a professional to design the drawing, take the water and electricity, 
and then carry out the construction. It was not enough to just draw a rough outline. However, Ningf's drawing was indeed pretty good. Even Liu Hui felt that this Taoist temple was really beautiful after looking at it. There was a garden, a fish pond, a field, a two-story small building, the Sanking Hall in the middle, and a row of bungalows next to it were grocery rooms. It was simply a perfect design. Liu Hui was quite interested and wanted to see what else Ningf had drawn. He took away the first sketch and when he saw the second drawing, his expression changed. He immediately frowned. This was a very professional design drawing. The drawing was square and the data on it was clearly marked. Those who knew could tell at a glance that it was designed by an expert. Then, the second and third drawing. After looking at it for a long time, Liu Hui put down the stack of drawings solemnly and asked, Ningf, which design institute designed this drawing? The standard is quite high. It's much better than the designers under me, Uncle Liu. Don't ask. Can you contract the construction? Give me a price, Ningf said again. Okay, I'll ask my men to make the budget. Don't worry, I can't reduce the labor fee for the construction of Kingfing Temple. After all, the workers need to eat. I'll give you the cost of the materials at the factory price, which is at least 50% lower than the market price. Thank you so much, Uncle Liu. Since they had settled the deal, Ningf stood up and prepared to leave. By the way, Ningf, I heard Master Bei left the Taoist temple. Is there any news about him? Before he left, Liu Hu asked with concern. Uncle Liu, don't worry. My master is fine. Ningf looked very calm and did not say where his master had gone. That's good. Liu Hu nodded and said. Then, Ningf left Hei for the renovation. After Liu Hu worked out the budget for the renovation of the Taoist temple, both parties signed the contract and the Taoist temple could start construction. When they were discussing the contract, Ningf turned off the live broadcast. After he left Hei for the renovation, he turned on the live broadcast. The drone followed behind him. It was not a rare thing now. At most, some people would take a curious look at it once in a while. Abidin, where are you going? Wow, it's Kin City. I'm from your hometown. Where is Kin City? Under the curious gazes of the audience. Ningf walked straight into a Fors shop. So it's to buy a car. The Blood Pearl Ganoderma has been sold for so much money. It's time to buy a car. I want to see the Abbey Dean's taste. I heard that the cars in Kin City are very famous. There are several cars made here. Ningf had just entered the Fors shop when the sales lady quickly walked up to him with a smile on her face. She asked, Hello, sir. What kind of car would you like to see? Off-road. Ningf said straightforwardly. Okay, this way please, sir. The sales lady stretched out her hand to lead the way. Her service attitude was very good. She could see that Ningf really wanted to buy a car. A salesperson could see everything from all directions. When they saw the customer's expression, they could roughly guess what the other party was thinking. For example, some people were hesitant. With one look, it was obvious that they felt that the price was high. Then. The salesperson would recommend a car with a lower price and say a few benefits. Basically, the other party would buy it. The sales lady led Ningf to the SUV area. Ningf's attention was immediately attracted by one of the cars. It was his favorite model, Jeep Wrangler. Since its birth, Wrangler has been the ultimate desire of the world's off-road enthusiasts. It symbolizes freedom and passion, as well as the pursuit of a more pure lifestyle. From a young age, Ningf like two kinds of cars, one is a sports car, and the other is an off-road vehicle. The former represents the prosperity of the city, and the latter represents the ambition of conquest. Although he was penniless at that time, he still had to daydream, whether it could be realized or not. The key was that daydreaming was comfortable. He did not have much money now, and the demand for off-road vehicles was greater. Therefore, he bought an off-road vehicle this time. Sir, you have a good eye. This is the latest 2020 Wrangler, the sales lady immediately said. The Wrangler's image had always been domineering. The eternal 7-hole air intake grille, the wide front bumper, the external engine cover lock, the exposed door hinge, the trapezoid wheel eyebrows, and so on, were all its unique representatives. A good car, Ningf praised. He already had the intention to buy it. Chapter 44 
Life is a journey. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf was looking at the car when a middle-aged man in casual clothes walked over with a smile. This man looked very friendly. Little brother, buying a car. Do you like horse wranglers too? The man smiled and greeted him. Yes, I plan to buy one. Ningf nodded and replied. It's rare for a young man like you to buy a horse wrangler. With this budget, many people choose high-end cars or sports cars like small steel cannons. The man said again. I prefer wranglers. Ha ha, I can tell. Hello, I'm the owner of this force shop. My name is Li Yang. I'm also a wrangler enthusiast. Oh, which model do you drive? Ningf asked curiously. 14-year-old. Longton Classic Edition number 16, Li Yang said with a bit of self-satisfaction. Ningf knew about the Longton Classic Edition. In the 14th year of the Jingdong e-commerce war, 18 out-of-print collectible wranglers were updated. The overall design was integrated with the Huexia Dragon as the core design concept, and the oriental ideas were integrated into the design of the cars, the wheels, headlights, dashboard, seats, interior and so on were all bold colors of nouveau riche gold, representing luxury and nobleness. At that time, Jingdong's boss, Milk Tea East, had preemptively booked the number 001 Horse Wrangler's Soaring Dragon Classic Edition. The publicity effect was explosive, and it didn't take long for the other numbers to sell out. However, Ningf believed that the Horse Wrangler, as an off-road vehicle, was meant to conquer nature. It was not that important to hide it as a collection. Oh, I know. Jingdong's model. That car is very beautiful, Ningf nodded and said. Many people were also discussing on the bullet screen, what's the Dragon Soaring Classics Edition? Isn't the Wrangler a foreign brand? The boss is a powerful figure. Ordinary people can't buy that kind of car. It seems to be a model from Jingdong. The first 18 are relatively rare and the last 1000 were sold. It's not that rare anymore. Damn, he's awesome. Am I the only one who cares about the host? Li Yang heard Ningf's words and knew that he was an expert. He smiled and asked, what do you think of this model? Ningf took a look at the one on display and said, the 2020 new Wrangler Jungle Heroceries, four-wheel drive, rock track structure. It can maintain a strong torque even at low speeds. It can pass through boulders and logs under extreme off-road conditions. The matching engine is the 3.6 Pentest of 6, one of the top 10 engines in the world. A non-load bearing car body, strong torque resistance, and very high safety. The interior is very unique. The front door can be removed, and the floor is equipped with a drain plug. The seat can be directly washed with water. The netizens watched the live broadcast and were all surprised when they heard Ningth's words. The host is amazing. Isn't buying a car just as good as looking good? Who said that? Buying a car will definitely require comparing all sorts of data to decide which model to buy. Yeah. I just feel that the Lamborghini's fuel consumption is too high. The Bugatti Veyron is a little too long, right? So is the GTR. It's too loud. I've been hesitating too. On one hand, it's the Porsche that has reduced the price by more than 100,000 yuan. On the other hand, the shared electric car has launched the 10 yuan monthly card package. I'm at a loss as to which one to buy. I just like to see you guys not bragging at all. The netizens were in an uproar. Li Yang did not expect Ningf to be so knowledgeable. He praised. Amazing. Ningf sighed. It would be great if it were a limited edition. I prefer the limited edition style. It's less angular, but still domineering. Hearing his words, Li Yang was amused. He said, little brother, you've come to the right place. I just got into three limited edition Jungle Heroes series. I was planning to promote it in the group of car friends, but I didn't expect to meet you. Hearing that. Ningf was also quite interested. Li Yang was the boss of the Fours shop. The boss usually came out to do real business. After all, he had to make some reputation and accumulate some popularity. For a big customer like Ningf, Li Yang had to entertain him well. Then, Li Yang brought Ningf to a garage behind the exhibition hall. As Li Yang said, three domineering wranglers were parked side by side. Ningf immediately took a fancy to one of the silver wranglers. This one is the best. How much is it? Ningf pointed at the white wrangler and asked. 620,000 yuan. No bargaining, Li Yang said with a smile. Okay, I'll buy it. 
Ning was very straightforward. Seeing how forthright he was, Li Yang also laughed. The price of the Wrangler Jungle Hero was originally around 560,000 yuan. With the limited edition plus the top quality car, this price was very reasonable. Seeing how straightforward Ning was, the netizens also gave him their blessings. The host is so domineering, the way a man buys a car is so handsome, it's good to be rich. Many people on the VIP list also left messages. Young Master Jiang, sends a super rocket, congratulations to Abby D. Ning for buying a car. Herb Merchant, sends a super rocket, I hope the host can pick more spiritual herbs. Idle Cloud Wild Crane, sends a super rocket, congratulations. Man on a Journey, sends a super rocket. Congratulations, Abidin. The live broadcast room was very lively for a moment. Ningf had unknowingly gained many sincere fans. Following that, Ningf and Chen Yang signed the car purchase contract, and the rest of the matters were left to the shop. This silver Wrangler was prepared by Li Yang for high end customers. It was originally a top quality car, so it was much more convenient. As long as it had a license plate, it could be driven away. This would take some time and the service at the Fours shop was also very considerate. After knowing that Ningf had signed the contract, the saleswoman had been by his side the whole time. Ningf said that he wanted to be alone for a while before the saleswoman left. It couldn't be helped. Ningf's beauty was already high, and he was so generous. Naturally, there would be people who would fall for him. This was also why so many men rented luxury cars to flirt with girls. After driving a luxury car, some materialistic women would be very active and willing to be cheated. Of course, most women were still very rational. Then, Ningf started chatting with the netizens in the live broadcast room. The netizens would ask Ningf, how is the host Harvard H5? Is a Chevrolet sedan better in a 100,000 speed car? Recommend a civilian sports car and so on. Ningf was in high spirits. So he told everyone his opinion. Ningf liked cars very much, and he also had some research on cars, so he was able to objectively and fairly evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of various cars, which also won frequent applause from everyone. Kin City was not a very big city, unlike first tier cities, where there was a lottery for the license plate, and there were limited numbers for the road. Therefore, the Wrangler's sign was displayed very quickly. At two o'clock in the afternoon, the formalities were basically completed. Before he left, Ning thoroughly checked the model, interior, and skeleton of the engine. After confirming that it was a new car and there wasn't a single problem, he took the keys and got into the car. Little brother, don't worry. The cars that got out of my hands weren't refurbished. They were all pure imported, Li Yang assured him while patting his chest. However, there was no harm in being cautious when dealing with businessmen. Thank you, boss. This car is not bad. Ningf thanked him. Then, he ignited the car, started the engine, and after a roar, the Silver Horse Wrangler was finally about to begin its car life journey. The drone was stored in the car. Ningf did not know what the maximum speed of the drone was, but it definitely could not be as fast as the car. Then, Ningf bought some snacks and items in Kin City and went straight to the Taoist Temple. Those who had bought a car knew that when they first bought a car, they were the happiest and most comfortable. They felt that the road in the world belonged to their father and they did not feel tired after a day of driving. After a few years, they would rather take a taxi than drive. At this time, Ningf was indeed in a good mood. His driving skills were very skilled under the enhancement of his driving expertise. He was like an experienced driver when it came to driving. When he went up the mountain, Ningf opened the window and enjoyed the pure natural mountain breeze. The Silver Wrangler was like a horse galloping on the prairie, full of wildness and freedom. Life is such a journey. Chapter 45, Night Running accompanied by a cool breeze. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. That night, Liu Hui made an offer. The entire Taoist temple would cost a total of 1.4 million yuan, including the decoration and materials. This price was very reasonable. Normally, to build such a large courtyard, including the garden and the design of Sanking Hall, it would cost at least 2 million yuan. Liu Hui still took care of a lot of the Taoist temple. Ningf also agreed readily. That night, 
Ning took out the beechwood sword after packing up the things in the house. He changed into a light set of clothes and began to dance with the sword. This was his unique way of relaxing. The starlight sprinkled on his body. His sword was sometimes slow and sometimes rapid. His movements were very standard. Sometimes, he would suddenly leap into the air looking particularly elegant. His old fans were very excited when they saw this scene. The Abbey Dean is finally dancing his sword again. Ha ha ha, I watched the Abbey Dean dance his sword into the pit at that time. He is really graceful. He is much more pleasing to the eye than those masters on the internet. The new fans were also amazed. He is so handsome, no wonder he is the Abbey Dean of the King Fing Temple. The host's sword dance really shocked me. At this moment, Jiang's with the Hanging Kettle Medical Center was also watching Ningf's live broadcast. Ningf's every move was elegant and comfortable. In this impetuous world, there was a rare sense of leisure. Jiang's was fascinated for a moment. That was the life she yearned for the most. Although she often took a stroll in the garden of the manor and villa, the natural landscape of the manor was only so big after all. Outside was a city full of tall buildings. What Ningf had was an entire mountain. After the sword dance ended, Ningf still felt that he was not very happy and did not fully exercise. He glanced at the little falcon who was tilting its head in the bird cage and suddenly laughed. Little falcon, come here, Ningf shouted. As soon as he finished speaking, the little falcon flapped its wings and flew directly from the bird cage to Ningf's shoulder. After coming back from the mountain, the little falcon had already flown for a short distance. It had grown very fast. Now that it was standing on Ningf's palm, it was almost longer than Ningf's palm. Let's go and run at night. Ningf decided to run on the mountain road at night, just like how he used to live in the Taoist temple. He had just walked out of the Taoist temple when he found that Big Huang was not far away. Ningf smiled and called out again, Big Huang, it's time to run. Big Huang seemed to understand his words. It jogged all the way over and stopped at Ningf's feet. Seeing this scene, the netizens praised one after another. Little Falcon and Big Huang are so smart. They can understand the Abbey Dean's words. Ha ha, don't delay the two children's school. Some animals are really intelligent. At this time, Ningf had already started to run. In the summer, at night, on the concrete road of the mountain, there were lush trees on both sides, and a cool breeze blew in. Ningf ran leisurely. The little falcon flew on his shoulder and Big Huang followed closely behind. The drone recorded the scene from the sky in real time, and then transmitted the scene to the live broadcast room. Look at the people running at night, breathing in the pure air of nature. With the little falcon and Big Huang accompanying them, it's really infuriating to compare people. Yeah, there's no place to go out and run now. There are cars and pedestrians everywhere. It's very inconvenient. It's very uncomfortable to run on the treadmill. I keep feeling uncomfortable. I can't follow the rhythm I want. I'm okay in school, except for the occasional football flying over. Don't mention it. The school track is even messier. I feel like they're all here for a walk. It's impossible to run properly. Some night runners and fitness enthusiasts began to discuss. Although the mountain path was relatively dark, there was a street lamp every once in a while, so there was no danger. Rhubarb's physical strength was very good. After all, it had grown up in the mountains, and it had run like this with Ningf before. The little falcon had just learned to fly, so it did not have such strong physical strength. However, Ningf deliberately trained it. When the little falcon was tired, it stopped on Ningf's shoulder for a while and then immediately spread its wings to fly high again. Just like that, Ningf ran at a constant speed, and at the same time, he kept a record with keep. 5 kilometers, 6 kilometers, 7 kilometers. The longer he ran, the more surprised the netizens became. Host, what great stamina. When Ningf ran 5 kilometers, it took him about 25 minutes. He maintained a pace of 5 minutes and 1 kilometer. This speed was not fast. When it came to running, he just needed to find something that suited his pace. This way, he could run very comfortably. Sometimes, for example, during the assessment, if he increased his speed in order to get results, he would feel very tired and uncomfortable while running. However, 
Ningf was a long distance runner. To be able to run for such a long time was already very impressive. There was no need to worry about true bub. It was said that the physical strength of large dogs was generally not bad, especially those who had lived in the mountains since they were young. Normally, running 20 kilometers like this was not a problem. When Ningf reached 8 kilometers, he began his return journey. The netizens were all stunned. The host's stamina is too good, isn't it? He's been running for almost 40 minutes already. From the looks of it, he still wants to run back. DMN, awesome. At this moment, I'm eating spicy sticks and drinking coke. Seeing the host so tired, I feel really good. My heart aches for Rubub. I think Rubub is still okay. It seems to overtake the streamer from time to time. I'll turn around and take a look. Right, right, I saw it too. Rubub looked as if it was saying, hurry up. What are you doing? Ha ha ha, dog talk level 10. It's too graphic. The netizens were very good at finding a source of happiness on the internet. They would often say shocking things and receive praise and laughter. Just like that, Ning ran all the way back, still maintaining his previous pace. He ran to relax his body and mind. With his current endurance, he could actually run much faster. But it was too tiring and unnecessary. As he ran, he was getting closer and closer to the Taoist temple. At this time, the attentive netizens noticed that Ningf would glance at Rubab from time to time, and Rubab would glance at Ningf from time to time. It seemed that there was something fishy going on between the two of them. What was going on? The netizens became curious for a moment. Then, about 150 meters away from the Taoist temple, after Ningf and Big Huang passed by a crooked tree, the man and the dog suddenly accelerated. Little Falcon did not react in time and was directly left behind on Ningf's shoulder. The netizens were stunned. Fook, is the host going to race with Big Huang? When Ningf was running in the past, he always liked to sprint back at the last part. Big Huang followed him and gradually got used to it. It sprinted after running past the crooked tree, and later on, they even competed in speed. When a dog really sprinted, its speed was very fast. For example, a horse dog that was often used as a police dog. When it ran, its speed was like the wind. The criminal did not have time to react before the horse dog pounced on it. After all, it had four legs and was accelerating. Ningf was sprinting with all his might. His current speed was extremely fast. However, Rubab was even faster. The man and the dog were running side by side. Seeing this scene, the netizens were also inexplicably excited. Go, Rubab, go, Abidin, hurry up and speed up. We have high hopes for you. I bet a rocket on Rubab. Ha ha ha, what fun. 6,666,666. The entire screen was filled with sixes. The originally quiet atmosphere of a night run suddenly became tense and exciting. I'm a newcomer. I want to ask. Is this streamer so wild? A newcomer typed and asked. I can only say that Abby D. Ning's live broadcast is full of surprises. Ha ha ha, how exciting. We didn't expect this. Just get used to it. At this time, Ning Fan and Big Huang were almost at the foot of the stairs of the Taoist temple. The final result was that Big Huang was faster. Woof woof woof. Big Huang was the first to arrive at the entrance of the Taoist temple. After slowing down. It wagged its tail and came in front of Ningf and cried out. Ningf stopped at the entrance of the Taoist temple. He was panting heavily and smiled helplessly. He was still not as fast as this guy. His speed was really fast. He was indeed the dog king of the village. The bullet comments were filled with joy. Humans are inferior to dogs. Go streamer, Big Huang is invincible and so on. Many people were happily complaining. After running, one needed to walk quietly for a while to relax. Ningf and Rubab took a walk in front of the Taoist temple again. At this time, the little falcon flew back while swearing. Dot. Chapter 46. Education is the key to disputes. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. The next day, Hey's renovation team arrived. The speed was much faster than Ningf had expected. A whole project like King Fing Temple was considered a relatively large project. It would take at least one and a half months to complete, and this was under the condition that the workers worked overtime. Ningf, you can stay at Aunt Wang's place during this period of time. It will probably be messy all the time. 
Liu Hui came to inspect the project personally. After signing the contract with Ningf, he suggested, you can come and supervise the project every day. Yes, I have other plans for this period of time. By the way, Uncle Liu, the Sanking Hall will be demolished at the end. I've put some of the things from the Taoist Temple inside. Okay, no problem. According to the blueprint, the wooden structure of the Sanking Hall takes up a large proportion. It's best to start construction at the end. It was only the first day that Liu Hui came over. The rest of the work was left to the company's project manager. Liu Hui and the others had checked the almanac and found that today was a good day to start construction, so they also hoped that they could finish demolishing the house in one day. This was not considered superstition, but the people who worked on the renovation believed in this very much just for luck. For example, there was an ancient tree that needed to be moved away from the site of the construction. The person in charge of the construction team would definitely burn a few incense sticks to the ancient tree before moving it, and they would also invite specialized people to pray, they would also need to move the ancient tree to a specific place to ensure its survival. Only in this way would the construction work be smooth sailing. Otherwise, there would be a lot of trouble. There was also the renovation of the kitchen. When it was demolished and after it was built, firecrackers would be set off in order to ask for the kitchen God's blessing. This was a particular principle. It was the same principle as having to cut the ribbon and set off firecrackers for the opening ceremony. Today, the Taoist temple was disturbed. Liu Hui had also made preparations. The construction team took out two trigrams of red firecrackers and hung them up to light. The sound of firecrackers could be considered a simple opening ceremony. Then, a big truck pulled the excavator up. Ningf, did you buy a new car? It looks pretty good. Liu Hui handed Ningf a Chinese flower. Ningf waved his hand indicating that he did not smoke. He lit it himself and took a puff in satisfaction. Yes, I bought it yesterday. It's not bad. Ningf took a look at the silver angler. The more he looked at it, the more he liked it. You just graduated, right? You have the money to build a Taoist temple and buy a car. You are really promising. Liu Hui praised. When you were young, the people in the village said that the young Taoist priest was so smart that he would definitely be promising when he grew up. Now I see that it's true. I was lucky. I went into the mountains and found some treasures and sold them for some money, Ningf said calmly. That's also a skill. When I was young, I often ran into the mountains. When I was hungry, I gnawed on wild grass and tree bark. I also didn't find any valuable treasures, Liu Hui said with a smile. At this time, Ningf saw that it was almost time, so he turned on the live broadcast. The drone hovered above. Liu Hui looked at it curiously and said, What does this drone do? Oh, I've been doing a live broadcast recently. I think it's very interesting. Liu Hui smiled. Well, it's that self-media thing, right? You young people are smart enough to play with these things. At this time, the netizens also poured into Ningf's live broadcast room one after another. Hello. Abidine, Abidine, what are you broadcasting today? Wow, is that an excavator? Damn, an excavator. The netizens were surprised to find that there was a large truck parked beside the Taoist temple, and an excavator was pulling it. At this moment, Liu Hui received a call and chatted for a while. After hanging up the phone, his expression did not look good. Uncle Liu, what's wrong? Ningf saw his expression and asked curiously. It's the excavator, Master Chen. He insisted on eating wild mushrooms in the morning. Now that the wild mushrooms have been poisoned, he has just been sent to the emergency room. Liu Hui sighed helplessly. This guy, even the excavator has been pulled up by him. He can't come up on his own. Today is an auspicious day to start construction. If it continues, it will take a week before there is a suitable time to start construction. I will contact the other masters. At this time, it will probably take some time to come up. I might not be able to finish it today. Hearing his words, Ningf said directly, Uncle Liu, I know how to drive this thing. Why don't you contact the other masters first and I will drive it for this period of time. You know how to drive it? 
Ningf's words made Liu Hu in not know whether to laugh or cry. This thing should be professional, don't join in the fun. The netizens who were watching the live broadcast heard their conversation the entire time. 66,666. The host wants to operate an excavator. How can an excavator be so easy to operate? That would require many years of study and a professional certificate. What if the host graduated from Brewster University in Shandong province? Brewster? Blue Sheet? Lanxian? Ha ha ha, it's possible. Now that you mention it, the host is doing a good job of cooking. Maybe he graduated from New Oriental? Ha ha. Then wouldn't the host and I become schoolmates? The netizens started discussing Ningf's education again. Uncle Liu, it's fine, I've opened this thing before. Don't worry. Ningf waved his hand and smiled. Liu Hui looked at him suspiciously. There was no small matter in the construction. He could not just act recklessly. If anything went wrong, he could not bear it. How about this, I'll operate it first. You watch. Seeing that he did not believe him, Ningf said again. Liu Hui did not say anything more. Then, Ningf did not forget about the audience in the live broadcast room. He smiled and said, Audience friends, today we will broadcast the excavation of the excavator and the demolition of the Taoist temple. At this moment, Ningf saw that many people in the live broadcast room were asking him if he had graduated from Langxiang. In response to this, Ningf smiled helplessly and explained. I graduated from Huaking University. His words instantly stirred up thousands of waves. One had to know that Huaking University was the best university in Huaxia. It was famous throughout the world and was the dream of countless students when they were young. Very few people could get into Huaking University. Ha <laughs> ha, I believe everything the Abbey Dean said. This sentence sounds like a pretense. A graduate of Huaking University is doing a live broadcast. There's a limit to how much bragging the host can do, okay? Host. I originally thought that you were quite real. Why are you being a little hypocritical now? Fook, you're from Huaking University. I sheet upside down. All of a sudden, the bullet comments flooded in crazily with all kinds of ridicule. Ningf also saw these bullet comments and could not help but feel a little confused. He had only said an objective fact, but somehow it had touched some people's nerves. One of the netizens called, Bloodwing Eagle Chopper, was the most aggressive. He kept repeating the sentence, why is the host pretending to be cool? You deserve to be in Huaking University too. The live broadcast room had always been a mix of fish and dragons. Some people were very hostile. Why are you pretending to be a streamer? You deserve to be in Huaking University as well. Seeing this sentence, Ning frowned. He didn't want to explain too much. It didn't matter to him whether the netizens believed it or not. But this sentence made him a little unhappy. How about this, you guys buy the Huaking University's level 16 campus bell and then come back to comment. Ningf said in a deep voice. Huaking University's level 16 campus bell? It was now the year 2020, and 16 years was the year Ningf first entered the university. Many people actually did that. In the office of the president of fancy fashion in Kyoto City. Su Ying was watching Ningf's live broadcast. When Ningf said that he graduated from Huaking University, those suspicious bullet screams made Su Ying angry. She was Ningf's university classmate. Now that she saw Ningf doing well in the live broadcast, she also silently followed Ningf. When Ningf said that everyone should look into it, Su Ying couldn't help but laugh again. She still remembered that time. At that time. Quaking University's draft list was in an uproar. Su Ying was attracted by the bright boy on the list at that time. In the hanging pot clinic, Jiang's logged out of the live stream to the main screen. She opened her browser and started to search for Quaking University's grade 16 campus bell on Baidu. There was no other way. With the commotion in the live stream room, the audience's appetite was instantly piqued. After searching, the first thing that entered their eyes was the picture of Ningf in the library, in front of the reading desk. A new student wearing a white shirt was focused on reading a book with headphones on. The gentle sunlight shone through the side window, shining on his body, his handsome face and eyes that contained spiritual energy, as well as the gentle temperament that radiated from him, could be clearly felt through the photo. In particular, his face was very calm, and there was a sense of abstinence 
which was a great attraction to girls. The nymph in the photo was really handsome. This picture was very popular at Huaking University at that time, and it was even popular on Weibo. When Jiang saw this picture, a ripple appeared in her clear eyes. Sometimes, one's heart was moved in an instant. There was no other way, this picture was too destructive. If you clicked on it again, you would also find a lot of information about Ningf. Although it was all a few years ago, there was no lack of proof. Ning freely graduated from Huaking University, and he was a level 16 campus spell of Huaking University. This time, the bullet screen became lively. After checking the messages, these people returned to the live broadcast room. When they saw Ning again, they were all extremely excited. Damn, the host really graduated from Huaking University. I told you he had such a great temperament. Ha ha, he's still a campus spell. He's too amazing. Who was the one who said the host was fake just now? He's a petty person. Host 6666. He's really an outstanding person. He's so outstanding no matter where he goes. Meanwhile, the viewer, Bloodwing Carving Knife, who had been spamming the screen just now curled his lips when he saw Ningf's message on Baidu. After all, it was on the internet, and trolls would never get it wrong. However, he still put his hands on the keyboard, because he knew there would soon be a lot of private messages from viewers asking about his parents. A parent defense battle was about to begin. Chapter 47, I Want to Climb the Highest Mountain. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf University's experience was exposed, and it really shocked the netizens. Hash Waking University's rookie graduation as a live streamer hash also quickly went on Weibo's hot searches. At first, many netizens looked down upon this title. I can't believe Waking University's people have also fallen. What host? It's really embarrassing for the university. The university trained you to build a society, not for you to show off. This was the true portrayal of most of the netizens. However, when they clicked on the trending search, they found out that this host of Waking University was the same one who had gone rock climbing with his bare hands a few days ago. That Taos Temple Master. It's him. It's all right then. The praise is immediately increased. In this society, especially on the internet, people who were good looking were given preferential treatment. The key point was that Ningf was really good looking. The netizens were in an uproar. Ningf had attracted countless fans because of those short videos recently. Now that it was revealed that he was a graduate of Quaking University, it was even more shocking. He thought that having so many abilities was already outstanding enough, but in the end, he was still a graduate of the most advanced university in Huaxia. It was really infuriating to compare people. Just as Weibo was in full swing, Ningf was already sitting on the excavator. Ningf really wanted to try the feeling of driving an excavator. He now had the skill driving specialty and could skillfully drive the excavator. The excavator was like a big toy to a man. If it was just for novelty, he would always want to play with it. The first thing Ningf had to do now was to drive the excavator down from the truck. This step was very difficult. One had to know that climbing up and down the ladder was a very difficult move for the excavator. The driver had to skillfully master the thrust points of the excavator's arms and arms, as well as the proper position of the excavator body on the truck. The windshield around the truck had been removed. Ningf started the excavator and drove forward. At this moment, there were many people around the Taos temple. Ginshan village was not very big to begin with. There were only a few hundred households, and there was not much excitement over the years. Now that the villagers knew that King Fing temple in the south of the village was going to be renovated, many people came over to watch. Ningf is really promising. He bought a car as soon as he came back and he even had to repair his house. Yeah, this child has been very smart since he was young. He always came first in every exam. I heard from my son that Ningf was always first in the grade when he was in the county's junior high school. He was also always first in the high school in the city. He's still working on the excavator now. He's really capable. The people in the village discussed animatedly. In the live broadcast room, when the audience saw that Ningf was really operating the excavator, they were all shocked. They saw that the crawler of the excavator began to rotate and drive down from the truck, because of the structure of the excavator. 
It was definitely impossible to drive down from the truck directly that would easily cause the excavator to flip forward and cause an accident. When one third of the track was exposed, Ningfo opened the arm in front of the excavator and supported the ground with the bucket to find balance. This was a crucial step. The experienced excavator driver could find the balance point of the excavator at the first moment. Ningfo also drove a little forward to find balance. Then, it was the second step. The body of the excavator turned 180 degrees, and the bucket was supported on the truck instead of the ground, with the support of the arm. The excavator was lifted into a slanted arc. Then, it continued to drive, like reversing, and the excavator fell down. At the same time, the strength of the arm was used to control the excavator so that it did not fall down. Finally, the excavator landed steadily on the ground. Ningf's operation made everyone dumbfounded. Even the excavator can operate. Abedin, what do you not know? Holy shit, what a god. To be honest, this is the first time I've seen such an omnipotent person. And I have a hunch that Abedin Ning has many abilities that we haven't seen yet. After watching Abedin Ning's live broadcast, I feel like I'm here to make up the numbers. I agree, host. Hurry up and do it. I want to see the demolition of the house. Demolition of the Taos Temple. I like it. At the same time, Liu Hui was also very surprised at this moment. He had never thought that Ningf had such an ability. Moreover, looking at Ningf's operation just now, it turned out that he was even more skilled than the excavator master that he often hired. This was just right, because Liu Hui had already contacted other excavator masters. The other party would still need two hours to come over. Don't underestimate these two hours. It would be difficult to start the construction after dark. If they couldn't finish it in one day, the construction period would drag on for another day. Moreover, this day was a very big project. They had to hire trucks to pull away the demolished ruins. They also had to hire excavators and workers which would greatly increase the budget. Then, Ningf personally operated the excavator to demolish Kingfing Temple. The current Kingfing Temple was indeed too shabby. Other than the three pure halls in the middle, the rest of the buildings were all made of low-quality miscellaneous bricks, mixed with soil and grass. If it weren't for the three pure halls being a little heavier, Kingfing Temple would have been like a dilapidated courtyard. Ningf and his master had also planned to rebuild Kingfing Temple. In the end, his master could only sigh helplessly. There was nothing he could do. He was poor. To build a Taos Temple would cost at least a few hundred thousand. No matter how difficult his master's life was, it was impossible for him to sell off the treasures passed down from the Taos Temples. Usually, he was just an ordinary mountain villager. It was very difficult for him to earn so much money. Not long after, the bungalow he usually lived in was demolished. The houses here were not sturdy to begin with. Ning fused the excavator to pull a few times, and even the houses and walls were turned into ruins. After a while, the excavator arrived. Ning had no choice but to get down from the excavator. He patted the dust off his body and left the rest of the work to the excavator. Ning, you're amazing. You're very professional. Liu Hui gave him a thumbs up. I just want to have some fun. Ningf said with a smile. Liu Hu, looking at the current state of the Taoist temple, Ningf was a little emotional. However, he had to go through this step. Where are you going next? Liu Hu asked again. I'm going to walk around the mountains, Ningf said as he looked at the endless mountains. Okay, I don't care about you. The house will take about a month and a half to build according to the blueprints, including the renovation, I'll try to finish it in two months. Liu Hui nodded and said, Okay, Uncle Liu, please work hard, Ningf said gratefully. The workers would definitely have to work overtime in the two months that Liu Hui said. Otherwise, they would not be able to build the house well at this time. However, there were often people building houses on the mountain. These workers were already familiar with this kind of work, so there wasn't much of a problem. Ningf left the Taos temple. Liu Hui's character wasn't bad. Many people in the village would look for him to build houses, so he didn't have to worry about the situation of shoddy construction. Next, I plan to make another trip into the mountain, Ningf said to the netizens in the live broadcast room. The Kinshan Mountains are very big, 
and the mountains rise and fall. The place where I went to Shanian last time could only be considered as the outer layer. Further in is the real mountain, the real no man's land. If you want to go there without a plane, you will have to walk for several days. This time, I plan to carry out a challenge. Ningf looked into the distance, then pointed to the depths of the mountain and said, I want to reach the top of the tallest mountain in the middle. Chapter 48, Field Challenge, Climbing to the Top. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. That afternoon, Ningf moved a lot of luggage to Grandma Wang's house. Ningf said that after the renovation of the Taoist Temple, he would also build a house for Grandma Wang. Grandma Wang directly refused, saying that she couldn't see clearly now and was already used to the current environment. It would be uncomfortable if she changed. Fei Ai Fai. The orchids you asked me to plant last time smell very good. If you meet them again on the mountain, help me pick some more. Grandma Wang said gently to Ningf. The orchids that Grandma Wang was talking about were the golden orchids that Ningf picked from the cliff. They were worth hundreds of thousands of yuan. But Ningf chose to plant them in Grandma Wang's yard. Everyone saw things with different values. Grandma Wang liked to plant flowers. Although her eyes couldn't see clearly. She could vaguely feel the color of the flowers, which made her feel good. She had a small garden with all kinds of wild flowers. When the flowers were in full bloom, all the flowers in the garden would bloom together, and the fragrance would be very pleasant. Ningf planted the golden orchid in the garden. Okay, if you see it again, I'll help you pick some. Ningf replied with a smile. Grandma Wang didn't know the value of the orchid and only thought it was an ordinary mountain flower. So she didn't think too much about it, and Ningf didn't explain. As long as the old man was happy, there were too few people who could recognize the golden orchid. When he first picked the golden orchid, even the boss of the flower market couldn't recognize it. Now that he had turned off the live broadcast, the netizens didn't know the existence of Grandma Wang either. Therefore, the golden orchid was very safe in Grandma Wang's home. Grandma Wang, I ordered a massage chair, furniture, and four piece sets at the foot of the mountain today. I also contacted the natural gas company to change the kitchen in the afternoon. It's very convenient to operate. In the future, you don't have to burn firewood to cook, Ningf said. He had already told them that the furniture company would send people to install the furniture and teach Grandma Wang how to use it. No, no, you have to return all these. I'm about to die. Why are you spending money on me? You're young now. And there are many things you have to spend money on, Grandma Wang quickly refused. It's okay, I'm not short of money now. Ningf chuckled. I'll leave the car with you. I might have to leave for a few days. Take care of your body and drink more hot tea. Don't worry. You'll be like this for the rest of your life. Ningf tidied up Grandma Wang's house again. When he saw the half bowl of cold porridge in the drawer. He felt very upset. Grandma Wang used to be a powerful figure in Kinshan village. Her cooking skills were especially good. Every family would have weddings, children, and banquets during the full moon. They would always invite Grandma Wang to be the head chef. Granny Wang liked the festive atmosphere very much, so she always did a good job. It was just that her eyes were not very good right now, and life was extremely inconvenient. Every day, she would just lie in the yard and bask in the sun, or chat with her neighbors. Therefore, Ningf was now eager to learn acupuncture and cure Granny Wang's eye disease. After cooking a meal for Granny Wang and tidying up everything, Ningf carried his full set of outdoor adventure equipment and planned to leave. Before leaving, Ningf took out a good lunch meat and fed it to Grandma Wang's dog. Xiaobei. Ning found that Xiaobei was still in good health and looked very strong. There was still half a ham sausage left in the basin. Grandma Wang was very good to Xiaobei. She would rather eat porridge by herself than let Xiaobei starve. However, Xiaobei was the same. He was very loyal to Grandma Wang and stayed by Grandma Wang's side all day long. There was a saying, it is better to eat without meat than to live without a dog. When people see poverty, they take a detour. When dogs see poverty, they stick together to the death. Little White, I'm leaving. Ningf stroked Little White's head. Little White wagged its tail and looked like it was enjoying it. After Ningf left, 
Little White glanced at him and immediately ran back. It lay by Grandma Wang's feet and continued to sit with her in the courtyard. Dot. On the way, Ningf met the village chief of Kinshan village, Kin Zheng. Kin Zheng seemed to be in a hurry. Ningf couldn't help but ask, village chief, what's so urgent? Old Liu's land in the north has been harmed by wild boars again. There are a few of them. I'm rushing to take a look. Qin Zheng said anxiously, these animals only ate crops. It seems that I have to contact the Forestry Bureau to deal with this situation. After listening to Qin Zheng's words, Ning finally understood. Right now, the ecology of Kinshan village was very good. The number of wild boars had increased again, and it had already become a flood. There was no other way. There were more than a dozen of these things in a nest. They grew quickly and were quite fierce making them very difficult to deal with. Some time ago, the Zheng government had specially set up a hunting team. They had even issued hunting certificates to some people in the village in order to eliminate the problem of wild boars. That year, when Ningf was a junior, he happened to come back during the summer vacation. He had loved to play with bows and arrows since he was young, so he even joined the hunting team and obtained a hunting certificate. Taoist priests went up the mountain to eliminate evil for the people. Village chief, do you need me to go over? Ningf also asked with concern. It's okay. Old Liu said that Hunter Lee has gone over. There are only three of them. I think they have all been cleaned up. I'm going to see old Liu's losses, said Qin Zheng. Qin Zheng was a good village chief. Everyone in the village believed him. Ningf didn't say anything more when he heard him say that. Then, Ningf continued on his journey. This time, his destination was the biggest mountain in the middle of the Qin mountain range. The ancient China was vast and had abundant resources. Rivers flowed freely and mountains and rivers stood tall. And the most important mountain range was the Qin mountain range. The Qin mountain range was the dividing line between the north and south of China. It was known as the Dragon Vein of China. There was a rumor that 800 miles of Qin River, 100,000 ancient tombs, from the emperor's mausoleum to the jingling mausoleum, from the nobles to the princes and ministers, it seemed that everyone believed in the legend of the dragon vein of China. Many places around the Qin mountain range were developed by humans, and there were traces of human activity. However, that was only less than 1% of the area. The Qin mountain range was even broader, and it was truly a pure natural forest. And this time, Ningf was going to go to the deep mountains from the Qin Mountain village. Dear viewers, from today onwards, I want to climb that high mountain on foot alone. That place is rarely visited all year round. I want to go up and take a look. The netizens were extremely excited when they heard Ningf's words. Abby Dean Ning, you're finally going into the mountains. I especially like watching you enter the mountains. Don't tell me there are things like Ganoderma and Dendrobium this time. Abbey Dean Ning, that's a no man's land. You must be careful. Yeah, the forest is too dangerous. The netizens were still very concerned about Ningf. Ningf, on the other hand, was very confident. Not to mention that he had grown up in the mountains, he also had tools like the Animal Friends card in his hands, so the danger was not very high. Just like that, Ningf brought the little falcon and slowly walked into the depths of the mountains. The little falcon could now fly. Along the way, it kept flying to the woods at the side, very active. At first, Ningf was worried that the little falcon would be snatched away by wild cats and the like. Later, when he thought that falcons were the natural kings of the sky, he relaxed a little. The drone was also circling behind them. The quality of the system's live broadcast drone was really good, and it was very quiet. It was a rare treasure. To climb the highest mountain, one did not need to conquer the top of the mountain. One only needed to follow the foot of the other mountains. Halfway up the mountain, there was a small river. Ning found that the river water was left from the direction of the highest mountain. So he planned to follow the river. Dear viewers, if we continue to speed up, we will reach the top of that mountain in about two days. However, having too strong a goal is not the meaning of the journey. The journey is important to the scenery on the road, just like life. We have to have a goal to strive for, and at the same time, we have to enjoy life. Ningf said to the audience in the live broadcast room, 
His words also made the audience gasp in admiration. We'll settle down here tonight. We'll talk about it after we solve the problem of dinner. Ning found a suitable open space not far from the river, which was just right for setting up a tent. The tent had to be set up as soon as possible. The mountains were not like the outside world. When the sky turned dark, it was very inconvenient to do anything. While Ningf was busy, our duo, the super manager of the live broadcast of bird fights, was contacting the management. Not long after, our duo gave Ningf a call. Hello, Abby Dean Ning, I'm our duo, the super manager of the live broadcast. A crisp female voice came from the other end of the phone. There was a gentle tone in her voice. It's like this. I contacted the management and wanted to arrange a column recommendation for you, so I informed you. Column recommendation? Ningf was a little surprised, and then he said, Okay, thank you. Your live broadcast is very good. Keep up the good work. Okay, don't worry. After hanging up the phone. Ningf opened the main screen of the live broadcast of bird fighting. Just as our duo said, there was a cover at the top of the live broadcast of bird fighting. On it was a photo of Ningf climbing with his bare hands. In this photo, Ningf was both handsome and masculine. He was very eye-catching. He seems to be a little more handsome. Ningf touched his chin and thought to himself. There was a caption on the cover. The caption read. Abby Dean Ning challenged him to climb to the top of a remote mountain alone. This line of words, coupled with the photo, was very attractive. Bird fight officials were very good at their job. Well done. Ningf secretly praised in his heart. The tent had already been set up. Ningf glanced at the already somewhat dark forest and did not rashly enter. He had always maintained a sense of reverence towards nature. Then, Ningf's gaze fell on the stream beside him. He shook his head and said, We are in a hurry tonight. We can only eat fish. Chapter 49 Mud Roasted Rabbit Delicacies in the Forest. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. The next day, Ningf packed up his luggage, tidied up his mood, and continued on his journey. The plan for the day lay in the morning, and it was even more so for the forest. The morning fog had yet to dissipate and the air was still somewhat damp and cold. Dew was condensing on the leaves, and a few crisp bird cries rang out. The entire forest experienced the baptism of the dark night, and it seemed as if it had come alive. The small falcon was becoming more and more active. The falcon-like eye, the top of the bird food chain, the natural king of the sky. Just like some people who were born with a fortune. The small falcon was destined to be the ruler of all the birds in nature. The falcon like I was one of the animals with the best eyesight in nature. It ate meat, and was a true bird of prey. The type of the small falcon was a white falcon. Its scientific name was the spear falcon, and its entire body was snow white. Its wings had white and black patterns, and its body length was 56-61 centimeters. In other words, when the little falcon grew up, it was almost as long as one of Ningf's arms. But the little falcon was still young. Good morning, Abby Dean. The air in the mountain looks so good. Well, as far as the eye can see, it's all green. It's very pleasing to the eye. Has the Abby Dean reached the foot of the mountain? It's still early. A new day begins with watching my husband's live broadcast. Who's fighting with me for my husband? The netizens kept pouring into the live broadcast room greeting Ningf in a lively manner. Ningf now had a large number of regular fans, and his popularity was very high. He had already broken into the top 10 of Daoniao's live broadcast popularity. Moreover, he was the only outdoor streamer among the top 10 streamers. For a newbie to have such popularity, the management of Daoniao live broadcast treated him like a treasure. Xu Sheng, who had signed him, had called him many times to invite him for a meal trying to build a good relationship with him. Ningf was indifferent to these things. On the other side, Ningf had set off from 8 o'clock in the morning. It was already close to noon, and he had already walked very far. At this moment, the small falcon suddenly let out a sharp cry. It flew up high, then dived down, gliding down at high speed. The habit of falcons to hunt, they liked to dive from high places. Ningf saw the small falcon's appearance and knew what it was going to do. Hunt. The small falcon's movements were extremely fast. Its two claws were downward like hooks, 
heading straight for a bush, Ning hurriedly followed. The netizens also saw this scene, and all of them stared at the live broadcast screen curiously. From the looks of it, what did the little falcon grab? Ning pushed aside the grass and immediately saw the little falcon on the ground. Under the sharp claws of the little falcon, there was a gray hair. The falcon-shaped prey was small mammals, such as hares and bamboo rats. Sometimes, they would also prey on other birds. Ningf grabbed the ears of the rabbit and grabbed it. It was a very fat rabbit. Because it was too fat, the little falcon could only grab it. It could not fly with the rabbit, so it froze on the ground. The rabbit was much bigger than the little falcon, but from the looks of it, the little falcon had completely suppressed the rabbit. The aura of a king was unmistakable. Friends in the audience, look. The little falcon has caught a big rabbit. This is its first time hunting. Fortunately, it's a hare from the mountains, so it's not very vigilant. If it's a hare from the prairie, there are many falcons circling in the sky every day. A hare this big can turn around and kick an adult falcon to death. There will be rabbit meat for lunch today. Ningf carried the hare and showed it to the audience in the live broadcast room. The little falcon flew on his shoulder and cried out proudly a few times. Ningf was right. The hare in the mountains could run faster, but its attack power was not strong. Like the hare in the grassland, it had been chased by eagles since it was young. To be able to grow so big, the strength of its hind legs was no joke. Little Falcon 6666. It was so handsome just now. Little Falcon is too amazing. This bird is really beautiful. He can hunt at such a young age. Is he a natural king? At first, the netizens were still praising the Little Falcon's prowess, but gradually, the style of the comment section changed. Abidine. Can you not eat rabbits? Rabbits are so cute. Rabbits are so cute. How can they be so delicious? Rabbits are so cute. Of course, I choose to heat them up. Save your words for Shibuchwan. It's said that they have to destroy 300 million rabbits a year. Cold eating rabbits, fresh fried rabbits, dry fried rabbits, jumping rabbits, tender corn rabbits, toilet rabbits, water dipped rabbits, fried rabbits boiled rabbits. I'm getting hungry. It's decided, I'll buy a hand-torn rabbit later. The more the netizens discussed, the more excited they became. At this moment, Ningf also said, there are few ingredients in the wild. The way to eat a rabbit is usually to roast the rabbit. However, this rabbit is so fat. I have other ways. Then, Ningf controlled the drone to film the natural scenery in the mountains. He put down his luggage and took out a pot to boil water. Then, he went to the riverside to clean up the rabbit's fur and internal organs. After the rabbit was completely washed, Ningf let the drone fly back and continued the live broadcast. Ningf first dug a hole in a small dirt slope, then took out a red hot wood to roast the hole, blackening and hardening the surrounding area. Then, Ningf took out a sealed seasoning jar from his luggage, took some seasoning and put it into the rabbit's stomach. After that, he found a few large warm tree leaves and washed them. After that, he used the leaves to completely wrap the rabbit and paste a layer of wet mud on the outside. Finally, he placed the roasted rabbit into the hole and lit the fire. What kind of roasting method is this? Many netizens could not help but ask curiously. Ningf slowly explained. This is mud roasting. It's different from open roasting. Mud roasting can restore the aroma of the ingredients themselves. It's more flavorful. Mud grilling is the art of earth and fire. It's a very traditional Chinese cooking method. This method is rarely seen in the outside world. After hearing Ningf's explanation, the netizens were full of praise. Many people had never seen mud grilling before. Many ancient and traditional things in China were gradually disappearing, although they would not die out they would become increasingly rare. The mud grilling took a long time, so Ningf started to wander around to see if there were any ingredients that could be used to make soup. A new pot of water was being prepared to boil. There are a lot of wild fungi in the mountains. Most of them grow under low shrubs or are pressed under leaves. If you don't look carefully, you won't be able to find them sometimes. Ningf held the scented incense tree and explored the mountains. He explained while picking mushrooms. Everyone, 
Look, this is a pine mushroom. It's very delicious. This is a stunningly beautiful mushroom. After eating it, your limbs will go numb and you'll have hallucinations. It's said that you can see beautiful women, but you can't eat it. Hey, there are also ground vegetables here. It's just right for soup. It's a fruity fruit with a astringent taste. It's a very common wild fruit. Wild black fungus. Black fungus is a good thing. It's smooth and delicious. Morals. It's a good thing. This is one of the king of fungi. It's a great tonic. You can buy it at about 1000 yuan per catty on the market. Dot. Ningf strolled around the surrounding mountains and forests, his hands full of all kinds of wild fungi. Listening to Ningf's explanation. The netizens were all speechless. Why did this streamer feel like he knew everything? Moreover, the fungi in his hands were not cheap, they were all top grade good stuff. Abby Dean Ning, I have a friend who wants to ask where the stunningly beautiful mushrooms are sold. What a coincidence. I have such a friend too. Ha ha ha, is the friend you are talking about yourself? I don't mean anything by it. I just want to experience the feeling of numbness in my limbs. Many people still complained happily. Then, they boiled the water and added seasonings. After stirring it with a wooden stick that had been peeled off the bark of the tree, a pot of fresh and thick wild vegetable soup was prepared. After that, it was almost time. He took out the mud to roast the wild rabbit. He knocked off the dried yellow mud on the outer layer and peeled off the leaves of the warm tree. A crispy and tender looking roasted rabbit appeared in the eyes of the audience. Damn, why did I order it in? It looks so delicious. Oh my god. I can't stand it. The netizens swallowed their saliva and said sourly. Then, Ning tore off a rabbit leg and threw it to the little falcon. The man and the bird began to feast on it in the forest. The taste was also very enjoyable. Chapter 50 Little Tigers Roaring Tigers This chapter is updated by novels.pl Look, everyone, that's the golden monkey from Mount Kin. Mount Kin has four treasures, giant pandas, golden monkeys antelopes, and crested ibises. They are commonly known as imprisoned beasts. If anyone dares to touch these precious animals, they will basically bid farewell to their freedom. Golden monkeys are still as beautiful as those in China. Their fur is golden yellow, and just by looking at them, one can tell that they are wealthy. There are also golden monkeys in Vietnam and Myanmar. The former only has light yellow limbs, while the latter has black fur all over its body. It's just that they belong to the same species as golden monkeys. So, China is still a vast land with abundant resources and outstanding people. Ningf pointed at a golden monkey on a tree in the distance and explained. The drone zoomed out and focused on the golden monkey sitting on a tree branch. The monkey was very cute. It was squatting on the branch and covered in golden fur. Its arms did not look long and its face was very small. To be honest, most of the monkeys in the scenic spots were ugly and had bad tempers. However, the golden snub-nosed monkeys were definitely the representatives of good looks in the field of monkeys. Each and every one of them was very good looking. Is this the golden snub-nosed monkey? It's so good looking. Abby Dean Ning is awesome. I feel like he can talk about anything with ease. Yeah. His knowledge is really outstanding. He's too awesome. Another knowledge point has been added. Awesome, awesome. Looking at the golden monkeys in the distance, Ning also felt very good. That was a treasure of nature. It was one of the magical species in China. It's just a pity. Suddenly, Ning shook his head again. Seeing his appearance, the netizens could not help but be curious. Host, why are you sighing all of a sudden? Yeah. What's wrong with the golden snub-nosed monkey? Ningf saw the bullet comments in the live broadcast room and explained to everyone gently. Everyone misunderstood. I'm not talking about the golden snub-nosed monkey. I just suddenly thought of the South China tiger. The South China tiger, also known as the Huexia tiger, only exists in China. It used to live in the Kinshan Mountains. Now that the experts have announced that the wild South China tiger has gone extinct, there are only about 60 left in the world. It takes about 100 or more to maintain a population. It is very likely that the South China tiger will become extinct within 50 years. The International Convention on Endangered Wildlife promulgated by the United Nations ranks the South China tiger as the number one endangered species and the top 10 endangered species in the world.
The netizens listened to Ningf's explanation and were momentarily mesmerized. Ningf's words, attitude, and actions just now all had an indescribable feeling. Some of the old fans felt that the feeling was the same as when he was wielding a sword. Perhaps that thing was the Tao. Everyone, look at the host's eyes. They're so sincere. What's with the feeling of being moved after listening to the host's explanation? There are some things that Abby D. Ning didn't mention. The extinction of the South China Tiger has a lot to do with the indiscriminate hunting and killing of humans. Is that so? That's really a sin. Ningf indeed had a special feeling for such a precious animal. The rarer the animal, the more precious it was. The rarer it was, the more people would cherish it. For example, the giant banda, a tribe of bears, would never become slaves. In the end, they could make a living by acting cute. Another example was the rabbit rabbit. It was obviously very cute, but it was so fertile. It didn't take long for the two rabbits to be everywhere on the grassland. There was no choice but to eat them. Ningf gathered his emotions and continued on his journey. It was already quite late. Taking advantage of the fact that the sky was still dark. Ningf set up a tent not far from the riverside. For dinner, Ningf planned to make fish soup. He went to the riverside and used a teapot to fetch some water from the stream. The water was very clear and cold. Ningf had been tired all day, so he picked up a handful of water and washed his face. The scene in the live broadcast was very beautiful. The drone looked down. The surrounding green grass was green and there was a clear stream. A handsome Taoist priest was washing his face by the stream. The water from the stream slid down his face. Everything looked so beautiful. Every frame of the scene could be used as a wallpaper. The host looks so relaxed. Yeah, there's no pressure at all. It feels so comfortable. This is the life I yearn for. Nature makes people feel relaxed and happy. However, at this moment, Ningf suddenly heard some movement from the embankment beside him. A hint of curiosity flashed across Ningf's brows. Water was the source of life. Many animals in the forest would come to the stream to drink water. This was very normal. What kind of animal could it be? The drone was very close to Ningf. Together with Ningf, they rushed forward. Look at the streamer's expression. She seems to have found something. Found something again? Wow. I suddenly became nervous. What on earth is it? Ningf passed through two big trees and looked out of the river bank. When he saw what kind of animal was by the river bank, Ningf could not help but widen his eyes. This is a little tiger. He was sure that he was not mistaken. At the river bank, there was a little tiger, about the same size as a small dog. At this moment, the little tiger was drinking water by the stream with its head lowered. It did not notice that there were humans watching it from behind. After the netizens in the live broadcast room saw the little tiger, the bullet comments also completely exploded. Damn, a living tiger. It's real, a tiger. Oh my god, how cute this little tiger is. Oh my god. The streamer actually met a tiger in the wild. I'm really impressed. The streamer is really a god. He even met one like this. Could it be that god has a plan for this? Ha ha ha. Abby D. Ning said this morning that it's a pity that the South China tiger is extinct. I didn't expect to meet one at night. The netizens were all very surprised. At the same time, Liu Huabao, a university student, was lying in bed watching Ningf's live broadcast. When he saw the little tiger, he suddenly sat up and hurriedly dialed his teacher's number. Teacher, quickly go and watch the live broadcast. Someone has met a wild South China tiger in the depths of Mount Kin. It's true. It's definitely not fake. Liu Huabao was extremely excited. Oh my god. The South China tiger in the wild had already been declared extinct by experts and now it had been encountered again. What did this mean? This meant that what the experts said was wrong. There were still wild South China tigers in China. Liu Huabao watched the live broadcast excitedly, afraid that he would miss out on something. There was a saying that the little tigers were really cute. That kind of cuteness was completely incomparable to cats and dogs. In fact, mammals were all very cute when they were young. When they grew up, they might have their own characteristics. Ningf looked around, but he did not see the big tiger. At first, he was a little worried, but when he saw the little tiger, he could not help but walk over. Damn, what is the host doing? That's a tiger. Be careful, the tigress is nearby. The netizens' comments never stopped. Ningf had also considered this point, but the temptation of cuddling a cat was too great. 
and it was still such a big cat he couldn't control himself at all. Besides, he had a trump card. Even if the big tiger came, he wouldn't be afraid. Ningf walked forward. The little tiger heard some movement behind him and suddenly turned around. He lowered his body and looked a little wary. He also shouted fiercely, Roar. However, this voice was childish and cute. So cute. The legendary roar of a fierce tiger. Ha ha ha. This little tiger is so cute. Get lost. Do tigers not care about their reputation? Can you all pretend to be afraid? I really want to touch it. Ningf took out a piece of lunch meat from his pocket, tore open the packaging, placed it in his hand, and gently stretched it forward. The little tiger smelled the fragrance of the lunch meat and hesitated a little, but he still could not control himself and slowly approached Ningf. What Ningf didn't notice was that behind him, a pair of sharp eyes were staring at him. Chapter 51 if you want to stroke the biggest cat, stroke the biggest cat. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf successfully stroked the little tiger. The little tiger was not afraid of humans. After eating the lunch meat, it let Ningf stroke it. The netizens were also helpless. After all, it was the king of all beasts. A single piece of lunch meat was bought over. Of course, this also had something to do with the fact that the tiger was still young. When animals were young, they were not that cautious to begin with. It was very easy to be bought over. There's no way to compare. I'm stroking a dragon Lee cat, and the host is stroking a South China tiger. Comparing people is infuriating. Oh my god, this is the first streamer I've seen stroking a tiger. This little tiger is too cute. I want to touch it too. It's so cute. 6,666,666. I'm so envious. The atmosphere in the live broadcast room was very good. The netizens were really envious and jealous. Each and every one of them felt as if they had eaten lemons and were extremely sour. However, at this moment, a sharp cry suddenly came from the sky. It was the little falcon. Nymph was very familiar with the little falcon's voice. He could immediately hear that the little falcon's voice carried a strong sense of wariness. Ningf realized something and hurriedly stood up to look back. As expected, a huge South China tiger slowly walked out from the dense forest behind them. At that moment, Ning felt the aura of a king from the South China tiger. It carried a thick pressure and made people tremble. How terrifying was an adult South China tiger? Although the South China tiger was one of the smallest subspecies of tigers. The male tiger was only 2.5 meters long and weighed about 150 kilograms. But its strong body and thick limbs showed its terrifying strength. Ningf had no doubt that the South China tiger could easily tear a cow into pieces. Someone once said on the internet, what's so scary about a tiger? With a slide shovel, I'll cut its stomach open and kill it. How could this thing slide a shovel? It was all charging straight at people. The thick front claws could hold people down at the first moment, and once the tiger came down, people would basically die. The drone was broadcasting this scene live. The netizens were collectively petrified. Oh my god, it's a big tiger. Streamer, run quickly. Abby Dean Ning, run quickly. Streamer, run. The netizens instantly became nervous. All of them widened their eyes in disbelief and covered their mouths. They couldn't bear to watch any longer. Jiang Feng. Jiangs, and the others were even more flustered. Encountering a big tiger in the wild was a disaster. Everyone thought that the next scene would be a human entering the tiger's mouth scene. Then, something unexpected happened. The adult South China tiger did not show any signs of aggression. Instead, it slowly walked towards Ningf. Abby Dean Ning, run. What are you standing there for? The netizens were shouting in their hearts. They were extremely excited. They felt an adrenaline rush and their bodies were trembling. Ningf did not move. He only slowly extended his hand. Then, the adult South China tiger stopped in front of Ningf. It touched Ningf's palm with its forehead. At this moment, the millions of netizens in the live broadcast room were collectively dumbfounded. Fook. What the fook is going on? Even fantasy novels didn't dare to write like this. Filming a movie. The netizens' hearts didn't relax at all. Their brains stopped working at this moment. An adult South China tiger allowed a human to touch its forehead. What was going on? At this moment, the scene froze. The drone was filming this scene in real time. A huge tiger took the initiative to let a human touch it as if it was acting coquettishly. Shock spread in everyone's hearts. At this moment, 
Ningf was also a little flustered. In that instant just now, Ningf had immediately used the system's animal friend card. This card was a consumable item unique to the system. It could greatly increase the wild animal's good impression of him. Ningf had even specially asked the system how long this card would last. The system's answer was that as long as the host did not do anything that would anger the wild animals, such as hurting, abusing, or stealing the cubs, then the good impression would continue to exist. It was because of this card that the South China Tiger did not show any hostility towards Ningf. Instead, it became very docile. Ningf rubbed the South China Tiger's head. His entire body was still slightly cold. In that moment just now, his whole body was covered in cold sweat. There was nothing he could do. The aura of the South China Tiger was too strong. This thing did not seem scary on TV. But now that they really met face to face, they would realize how terrifying it was. Ningf now even suspected how Wu Song could kill such a terrifying creature. The king of beasts was not called for nothing. Moreover, tigers lived alone and lived on their own. In this way, nothing in the forest dared to provoke it. When Ningf was stroking the tiger, the entire live broadcast room was in an uproar. What did I see? Can anyone tell me what's going on? The host seems to have subdued a South China tiger. Is a wild South China tiger so docile? I suspect that this tiger is fake, but it doesn't look fake. The tiger is definitely real, but this is too unbelievable. Abby Dean Ning, I'm impressed. I'm so impressed. Fook. I'm dumbfounded. I was scared to death just now. Who would have thought that it would be like this? All of a sudden, countless bullet comments flooded in, and all kinds of gifts never stopped. A young master Jiang, rewarded Super Rocket 10, Abby Dean Ning, you really impressed me. Herb Merchant, has gifted a Super Rocket 10, I've never admired anyone from so many outdoor streamers. Abby Dean Ning, you're the first one, brother anglers, has gifted a Super Rocket 5, Wild South China Tiger, the number one person to stroke a tiger. This scene was too shocking. That was a tiger. A wild adult tiger. A wild adult tiger that could tear apart a cow. At this moment, Ningf was stroking the fur on its chin. The head of the tiger was as big as Ningf's chest and more than three times the size of a human head. How could he let others touch it so easily? Was this the charm of Abby Dean Ning? The little falcon flew in the sky and screeched sharply, afraid that the tiger would hurt Ningf. Just as it was about to fly down, Huan Anu raised his head and roared at him. Roar. This roar was undoubtedly a king's aura as if it was exploding in the depths of one's soul. It was extremely terrifying. The netizens watching the live broadcast felt their hearts tremble and their hands and feet turn cold when they heard this voice. The little falcon was the king of the sky, and the tiger was the king of the forest. However, at this moment, the little falcon was completely suppressed by the South China tiger's aura. Little falcon, I'm fine. Ningf hurriedly shouted at the little falcon. He was also worried. He had the animal friend card. The South China tiger had a good impression of him, but it did not have a good impression of the little falcon. After all, the tiger was a big cat. It had the same personality as a cat. It also liked to eat birds. If the little falcon flew down and was eaten by the tiger, who would he be able to reason with? The little falcon seemed to understand. It barked a few more times and circled above Ningf's head. Dear viewers, it seems that because I fed the little tiger lunch meat just now, this South China tiger doesn't have any hostility toward me, Ningf explained to the viewers in the live broadcast room. It might also be because I've been cultivating in the mountains for a long time, so the South China tiger doesn't think I'm a threat. Of course, it's more likely that this South China tiger has already eaten its fill. Ningf could only explain it this way. He couldn't say, Dear viewers, I used an animal friend card just now to gain the South China tiger's favor. If that was the case, the netizens would probably think that he was crazy. However, at this moment, Ningf realized that the South China tiger seemed to be begging him for something. There was a hint of sadness in its eyes. Chapter 52, Rhythm or head. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. At this moment, Ningf's live broadcast had already reached the top of the search engines. Hash Outdoor Streamer discovers Wild South China Tiger Hash. More than 10 million real-time views, 5 million plus views, 
1 million likes plus. This matter was of great significance to China. South China tiger was a rare species that only existed in China, representing China's vast land and resources. When the netizens saw the short video of Ningfu meeting the South China tiger, they were extremely excited. I didn't expect to see a living, wild South China tiger. That's great. What's this streamer's name? I've seen his short video before. I quite like him. His full name is Ningf. He's a graduate of Huaqing University, the Abbey Dean of Kingfing Temple. Abbey Dean Ning's live stream is full of surprises. Yeah, I felt my scalp go numb when I saw the scene of touching the tiger's head just now. It was too shocking. As expected of the number one outdoor streamer. Everyone, hurry up and watch. He's still live streaming now. The internet was in an uproar. The scene of Huan Anu being touched by Ningf was destined to blow up the entire internet tonight. Therefore, countless people poured into Ningf's live stream room. On the other side, the Tanjun Union. As the saying goes, coincidences don't make the book. This afternoon, the Tanjun Union was plotting a big plan. As it turned out, as the big union that had almost monopolized all the outdoor streamers on the live broadcast of Battlebird and had taken countless shares, Ningf had completely overshadowed the limelight in the past few days. This was because within a few days of the live broadcast, Ningf had quickly become the number one person in the outdoor area of the live broadcast of Battlebird. Moreover, many big shots went to Ningf's live broadcast room to give him some rewards. This was simply a slap to the face of the Heavenly Horse Union. This union was filled with crouching tigers and hidden dragons, yet it couldn't be compared to a newcomer. Hence, in the afternoon, a group of big shots from the Heavenly Horse Union gathered on Yi Voice platform and opened a Heavenly Horse family room. They called many big shots in preparing to start tonight and destroy Ningf's live broadcast room. This time, it wasn't the troll army, because the super manager in charge of the outdoor area, Arduo, had banned the troll army from attacking the live broadcast platform, Arduo had a very high level of authority. He could view the troll army's backstage ID and receive a large number of titles, even the Heavenly Horse Union couldn't withstand this pressure. This time, the Heavenly Horse Union planned to send a big shot to lead the pace. The so-called big shot was the bird fighting emperor. The emperor was similar to QQ members and IKEA VIP, but it cost 180,000 Huexia dollars a month. 180,000 to open a member was just for the identity and some privileges. Of course, ordinary people couldn't imagine these privileges. Other than rebates and no gag, the emperor talked about those small streamers accurately. Of course, the average person would not open the emperor. Someone had specifically calculated it. Basically, more than 80% of the people were official members of the bird fighting live broadcast, as well as some rich big unions. The rich did not account for much. The emperors of the official members were just there to show their support and stimulate consumption. After the event, the squire's money would be returned and the common people's money would be split 30-70. Today, the Tanjun Union gathered 15 Emperor bigwigs. These people were all famous tycoons in the outdoor live broadcast area. Ten of them were really tycoons, and five of them were the upper echelons of the Tanjun Union. Boss King, I'll have to trouble all of you. That newbie streamer has connections with the platform, and he's even scrolling through data. Our brothers have long disliked him. The manager of the Tanjun Union, Li He, fanned the flames in the channel. He's just a small streamer that has been live streaming for a few days. Is there a need to be like this? Wang Qiang was a business tycoon. When he was bored, he would watch the outdoor live broadcast. He had given a large sum of money to several streamers of the Tanjun Union, and he was treated as a distinguished guest by the Tanjun Union. Ha <laughs> ha, but things like tempo are quite interesting. Another tycoon called President Yan laughed. Let's go and take a look. I hate streamers who don't have the ability to grind date to the most. Kaoyang Yuanzu also said. Li He chatted with the big shots in the group and kept bad mouthing Ningf. He hoped that these big shots would give Ningf a good blow tonight. More than a dozen emperors went to the live broadcast room to insult him. 
which streamer could withstand that. The key point was that the Emperor could not silence him. Even supermanagers did not have the right to do so. The other party spent more than a hundred thousand dollars a month to host an Emperor. The platform would not not even allow people to scold him, right? Seeing so many Emperors scolding him, there would definitely be a lot of trolls who could not help but come in as well. Ningf's live broadcast room would definitely be filled with a foul atmosphere. Then, big brothers, let's start at 7 pm tonight. Lee he said in a fawning and respectful manner. Those few tycoons also nodded. After all, they could be considered acquaintances. Seeing such a lineup, Lee he laughed in his heart. A newbie. Fighting Birds live broadcast for you to open a column. Let's see what you can do this time. Wang Qiang thought it was very interesting. The Tanjun Union actually took the initiative to ask him to go to a newbie's live broadcast room to lead the rhythm. Under normal circumstances, he did not want to do such a thing. Unlike Director Yan and Zhaoyang Yuanzu, who were all second generation rich, young people were also more ruthless. He was the CEO of a company. So he watched the outdoor live broadcast for novelty. Thinking of this, at 6.50, he turned on his computer, ready to take a look at Ningf's live broadcast room. As soon as he entered the software, he found a title board that read, Abby Dean Ning challenges to climb to the top of a remote mountain alone. Abby Dean Ning? It seems to be that newbie streamer. Wanky and shook his head. Climbing to the top of a remote mountain, such a live broadcast should be meaningless. Thinking of this, he clicked into the live broadcast room. But at first glance, he was stunned, thinking that he had clicked on a movie. Because in the live broadcast, there was a huge tiger. What the fuck? A tiger. Wang Qiang was dumbfounded. He had watched the outdoor live broadcast for so many years, but he had never seen such a scene. He looked at the bullet screen again. Many people were saying things like Abby D. Ning is mighty, the number one tiger owner. He came from Weibo. The Abbey Dean is so handsome, the atmosphere in the live broadcast room was very good. Wang Qiang swallowed his saliva. He looked at the screen of Ningf's live broadcast room. It was a handsome young man with spiritual energy in his eyes. Next to him was an adult and a young South China tiger. It was particularly comfortable. He opened another live broadcast that he often watched, Tanjun Brother Long. At this moment, Brother Long was performing with a group of people in a big pot of fish stew. In the wild, more than 20 big fish and small fish were put into a large pot to be fried. Brother Long took a large spatula and shouted as he fried the fish, Brothers, more than 20 live fish are being stir fried. This is a rare scene. Relatives, please pay a little attention. When you look outside, just focus on your Brother Long's live stream room. There was also a large stereo beside Brother Long's feet and very exciting music was playing. Hello, DJ, don't stop this rhythm. The Emperor had a special sign when he entered the live broadcast room. Brother Long's assistant gave him a hint. Brother Long hurriedly laughed and said, Brother Qiang is here. Brother Qiang, what do you think of the fried fish today? Wang Qiang suddenly felt a little awkward. The difference was too far. When he watched Brother Long fish, catch bamboo rats, and catch pheasants in the past, he felt that this kind of life of a country person was quite interesting. However, after watching Ningf's live broadcast, he felt that what kind of things were these? Thinking about this, Wang Qiang immediately turned off the live broadcast of Tanjun Brother Long. When Brother Long saw Wang Qiang leave, he smiled proudly. He knew that his union was going to blow up Ningf's live broadcast room tonight. So he guessed that Wang Qiang should have gone to Ningf's live broadcast room to bring the rhythm. Wang Qiang looked at Ningf's live broadcast room and saw that in the live broadcast screen, Ningf was holding a small tiger and walking side by side with the adult South China tiger. That small tiger was really cute. If it wasn't for this thing eating people, who wouldn't want to raise such a big cat? The more Wang Qiang watched. The more he liked it, he even went to Weibo to search for short videos about Ningf Boulder, Blood Ganoderma, Barehanded Rock Climbing, a graduate of Huaking University, South China Tiger taking the initiative to get close to. Dot. Wang Qiang was immediately attracted by Ningf's live broadcast room. This was what an outdoor streamer should be like. Thinking of this, Wang Qiang couldn't help himself. Golden Spear Iron Horse. Presence host Super Rocket X10.
The live broadcast room screen suddenly flashed with gifts, countless bullet screens surged from the right, boss is generous, thank you boss, boss 66666. The atmosphere in the live broadcast room was very good, and people cheered. Wang Qing was also very happy, only a live broadcast like this would be interesting. At the same time, a few rich people who were ready to lead the tempo also poured into the live broadcast room. When they came in and found that Wang Qian had sent Ning Ten super rockets, they were also a little strange. After watching Ningf's live broadcast, not long after, President Yan, presence host Super Rocket X10, Kao Yang Yu Zhu, presence host Super Rocket X10. The netizens were cheering incessantly in their hearts. They were still wondering what was going on. Why were there so many nouveau riche gathering together to present gifts to Abbey Dean Ning? Other than the five emperors who were originally from the Tanjun Union, the rest of the emperors were all nouveau riche at the top of society. They cared about their own pleasures and would not care about whether they were from a union or not. Now that they had seen Huan Anu in Ning's live broadcast, how could they have any rhythm? Moreover, the other party's live broadcast was really good. For a moment, these nouveau riche immediately switched sides. When the manager of the Tanjun Union, Li He, saw this scene, he was stunned on the spot. Chapter 53, Saving the South China Tiger This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ding Mengshan was a professor of wildlife science at Northeastern Agricultural University. At this moment, with the recommendation of his students, he turned on Ningf's live stream and was immediately shocked because he could tell at a glance that it was really a wild South China tiger. Many experts thought that the wild South China tiger was extinct, but now it was encountered by an outdoor broadcaster. This was definitely a heavy bomb for the Nature Conservation Society. Now it seemed that the wild South China tiger did not take the initiative to attack this human. This was simply amazing. He immediately sent the live broadcast video to the leader of the Nature Conservation Association. At the same time, Ningf was carrying the little tiger and walking side by side with the South China tiger. The South China tiger looked a little gloomy and not very energetic. This was a male tiger. The male tiger's territorial awareness was very strong. He would usually live together with the female tiger and her cubs. If there was an intruder, the male tiger would kill him without hesitation. But now, the male tiger took the initiative to bring Ningf into his territory. Although the little tiger was very small, it was surprisingly strong. It was not obedient in Ningf's arms. Where is Abby D. Ning going with the South China Tiger? It seems that the South China Tiger is leading Abby D. Ning forward. They are not going for that kind of thing, are they? It's a male tiger, okay? The netizens were also very curious. During this period, the people of the Heavenly Horse Union wanted to mock Ning for leading the pace, but they couldn't find any suitable opportunity after watching for a long time. Ning finally arrived at the destination with the South China Tiger. They saw an injured adult tiger lying on the ground. It should be the tiger's spouse. When the female tiger saw Ning appear, she immediately roared. Roar. Ning immediately used the animal friend card to gain the female tiger's favor. As expected, after using the card, the female tiger immediately became docile. Ningf approached the female tiger and squatted down to take a closer look. He saw that there was a very long wound on the female tiger's abdomen. The wound was filled with dark red blood. Dear viewers, this South China tiger is injured. From the looks of the wound, it must have been caused by the antelope. Ningf explained. The antelope is also a precious animal of Mount Kin. It lives in groups and is also a national first class protected animal. It has a rough temperament and a strong body. If nothing goes wrong, this South China tiger was attacked by a herd of antelope when it was hunting the antelope. The wound is not very deep because the antelope's horns are very short. Fortunately, this South China tiger's life is not in danger. Ding Mengshan was a professor of wildlife science. When he heard Ningf's words, he nodded repeatedly. I am a professor at Northeast Forestry University. The host is right. The South China tiger's wound was indeed caused by the antelopes. Ding Mengshan immediately posted a bullet screen. When the netizens saw this bullet screen, they were even more impressed with Ningf. Abby Dean Ning knows so much. Abby Dean Ning, please save this South China tiger. Yeah, the South China tiger looks so pitiful. At this moment, 
Ninth suddenly realized that something was not right, because the female tiger looked like she was on her last breath and was in great pain. According to the tiger's physical fitness, under normal circumstances, this little injury would not be so serious. Ninth carefully looked at the female tiger's wound. When he saw that it was not serious, his brows immediately furrowed. When the netizens saw Ninth's expression, they also became very nervous. What's going on? The host's expression is not right. Did something happen again? Ding Mengshan was also fully focused on the tiger's wound. He was a professor of wildlife science and was also very obsessed with this kind of rare wild animals. Now that the tiger was injured, he was naturally very concerned. Ningf's expression was solemn as he looked at the South China tiger's wound and said, the South China tiger's injury is more serious than I thought. If I'm not mistaken, the antelope's horn might have been broken in the South China tiger's stomach. What? When the netizens heard this, they were all a little anxious. Then what should we do? Go and find the Wildlife a Protection Organization, or call a veterinarian over. Are you kidding me? This is a deserted forest and cars can't get in. It'll take at least two days for an ordinary person to get in. Moreover, it's not that easy to treat a tiger. You have to have a professional doctor, and you have to apply anesthetic first to prevent the tiger from hurting people. Yeah, you can't even touch a tiger's buttocks, let alone treat a tiger. Oh my god, then what should we do? The South China tiger looks very painful. At this moment, Ningf only hesitated for a moment before he resolutely came to the side of the female tiger and pulled out a Swiss army knife from his calf. This was his professional exploration equipment. I'll help you take out the antelope horns. Don't be afraid, Ningf did not care whether the female tiger understood him or not and said as modestly as possible. Ningf tried to approach the female tiger's wound. He found that the other party didn't seem to show any hostility, which made him feel relieved. After all, this was really dangerous. No one would dare to save the South China tiger in the wild barehanded. After all, a small life was the most important thing. It was really a pleasant surprise for Ningf to meet a wild animal like the South China tiger, which was almost extinct. Now that he saw the female tiger on the verge of death, he naturally could not leave her to die. If the antelope horn cannot be pulled out, this South China tiger will not live for long. Ding Mengshan sent another bullet screen with a strong sense of regret. The South China tiger must have been hit by the antelope horn during the process of hunting and then used its tiger claws to break the injury caused by the antelope horn. At this moment, everyone's attention was on Ningf. He was holding a dagger and was about to take out the antelope's horn from the South China tiger's wound. This was no different from pulling out a tooth from a tiger's mouth. This scene was enough to shock everyone. The male tiger and the little tiger were lying on the ground and looking at him. Abby Dean Ning is really courageous. Although it is important to save a tiger, it is worth it to save a tiger. Is it worth it? If Abby Dean Ning thinks it is worth it, it is. Some things are dangerous, but someone is destined to do it. Praise for Abby Dean Ning. Ning fused the Swiss Army knife to gently open the tiger's wound. The antelope horn was clearly visible and had already pierced into the South China tiger's flesh. Ning took out the bandage to stop the bleeding from his pocket again. Fortunately, he had brought enough things with him this time. Otherwise, this kind of situation would not be easy to handle. Then, he held the antelope horn with his hand and pulled it out bit by bit. If this kind of penetrating wound were to run through the blood vessels, if it was pulled out rashly, it might cause excessive blood loss, resulting in shock and death. Fortunately, the antelope horns were not inserted too deeply, so Ningf managed to pull them all out safely. After pulling out the antelope horns, Ningf let out a long breath. He used a bandage to stop the bleeding and pressed it on the South China tiger's wound. He also used his free hand to gently stroke the South China tiger's fur. As he spoke, the tiger fur felt really smooth. Seeing that Ningf had successfully saved the tiger, the netizens all let out a long breath. The streamer is awesome. I like it. I'm more and more impressed with Abby Dean Ning.
He's really benevolent and righteous, as expected of the Abbey Dean of the Taras Temple. Phew, it's finally out. I'm so scared watching it. Abbey Dean Ning's live broadcast always gives people unexpected surprises. The rewards in the live broadcast room never stopped. Jiang Feng witnessed the whole scene. He was so impressed with Ning that he prostrated himself on the ground. He had posted a lot of super popular posts in a row. Jiang's was the same. She had given a lot of tips. There were also the those emperors that the Heavenly Horse Union had called over. They had originally come to bring Ning for long, but they had become engrossed in watching Ningf's live broadcast. Now that they saw that Ningf had saved a South China tiger, they were even more in awe. Usually, those outdoor streamers would give tips when they caught a fish or a snake. Now that they had saved a South China tiger, they had never stopped giving tips. The netizens were stunned. Ningf's live broadcast room had been flying for an entire night with a super rocket, which made people's eyes go blurry. This record of gifts was almost as good as the rewards given by the club owners when the world champion entered the resident fighting bird live broadcast. However, Ningf also deserved such glory. To meet a wild South China tiger and save an injured South China tiger, who in the entire outdoor area could do it. Ningf pressed on the female tiger's wound for a while more. Only when the bleeding was almost stopped did he remove the bleeding bandage from the female tiger's body. It's a pity that we didn't bring a needle and thread for surgery. Otherwise, we would have been able to suture the wound. Ningf sighed and said. Even so. The South China Tiger had completely escaped from life-threatening danger. With the strength of the South China Tiger's body, this kind of injury would heal in a few days. The female tiger no longer howled in pain. Instead, she lay on the ground and became very calm. Ningf's appearance saved her. The body structure of an animal was sometimes like this. A wildebeest horn that was inserted into its abdomen could not be removed by the tiger. If the wound could not heal it would die. Ningf had only done a small thing, but he had saved the life of the female tiger. The male tiger was very concerned about his spouse. He circled around the female tiger a few times and looked much better. The little tiger still looked carefree. Ningf felt that the little tiger was too cute. He could not help but sit down and hold the little tiger in his arms again. He played with it and played with it. Seeing this scene, the netizens were both happy and envious. The host is really a winner in life. Stroking the little tiger in front of the big tiger, I'm impressed. I'm so jealous. I really want to touch the tiger. Yeah, this little tiger is really cute. The Rajdal cat in his hand instantly lost its scent. Ningf's live broadcast room became lively again. Chapter 54, The New Lucky Draw. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. That night. Ningf made the headlines. His story of saving the South China Tiger was reported by the local satellite TV's evening news. There were also Douyin, Weibo, Tiber, and other online platforms. Discussions about Ningf were everywhere. The discovery of a wild South China Tiger in the Qinshan Mountains once again proved that there were still wild South China Tigers in China. This was of great significance to the Wildlife Conservation Association the Nature Conservation Association, and the Wildlife Research Institute. Furthermore, Ningf had helped one of the South China tigers heal its wounds. This fearless spirit truly shocked everyone. That night, Ningf played with the three tigers for a while before reluctantly leaving the South China tiger's territory. Dear viewers, this hill should be the territory of the two tigers. Tigers live alone and have a strong sense of territory. This is the reason why one mountain cannot accommodate two tigers. Moreover, male tigers are usually very irresponsible. They leave seeds everywhere and basically run away after having sex with the female tigers. The young tigers that are born are raised by the female tigers alone. Maybe it's because the number of South China tigers on the mountain is rare. Or maybe it's because the male tiger is really monogamous. That's why we can meet three tigers this time. These South China tigers are growing very well here. I hope that no one will disturb their lives. As Ningf walked, he talked to the netizens. At this time, the little falcon flew back to Ningf's shoulder. It seemed that the incident just now had scared it. It kept cursing as if it was complaining about something. Ningf returned to the vicinity of his tent. He was so hungry that his intestines were rumbling. Previously, he was preparing to fetch water to cook. However, when he met the South China tiger, he was delayed for a period of time. However, 
he was in a good mood. That was the South China tiger, a rare species in China. To be able to meet the South China tiger and stroke the little tiger for so long, Ningf was already exceptionally satisfied. It's a pity that the law says that we can't raise such a large carnivore. Otherwise, it would be great to raise a South China tiger, Ningf thought to himself. Then, Ningf caught a few fish from the river, washed them clean, cut them into pieces, and added mushrooms, fungi, and other plants to make a pot of fragrant and delicious fish soup. The delicious fish soup also made the netizens envious. After that, Ning flogged off and lay in the tent to rest. That night, the incident of Ning encountering the South China tiger continued to ferment on the internet. The Wildlife Protection Association thought that Ning's discovery was of great significance. The association's president immediately discussed with other high-level officials to reward Ning with a sum of money as a reward for his discovery of the wild South China tiger. It was a total of 10,000 yuan. Of course, it was more important than courtesy. What was important was the kindness of the Conservation Association. In addition, the program team of Man and Nature also contacted him, hoping to commission him to shoot a video of the South China Tiger. This request was rejected by Ningf. What he liked more was the appearance of animals in nature. There was no man-made interference no entanglement of interests. The South China tiger was just an ordinary wild animal. It was fate that they met. Whether or not they could meet again depended on luck. If he were to take photos of the South China tiger every day with a camera, he would lose the fun of exploring nature. That night, Ning lay in the tent and looked at his popularity value. It was not a big deal when he saw it. He was stunned. His popularity value had reached a terrifying 4.4 million. One had to know that his popularity value had only been 1.2 million previously. He did not expect that after saving Huan Anu, his popularity value would rise so quickly. As a streamer, the growth of his popularity value in the later stages was usually relatively slow. This was because there was always a threshold value in the live streaming industry and this threshold value was not easy to surpass. No matter how big a streamer was, their popularity value could only remain within a certain range when their popularity value was at its highest. However, for Ningf to be able to obtain such high popularity so quickly, it truly shocked everyone. In reality, it was normal. After all, the wild South China tiger was a treasure of China. After the Chinese netizens saw the video of him saving the South China tiger, it was difficult for them not to feel admiration and affection for him. Therefore, more and more people became his fans. 4.4 million popularity points. He had used 1.2 million, leaving 3.2 million. Ning felt a little itchy in his heart. 1 million once in a diamond lucky draw could get better items, but the probability of getting rare items and skills was not high. Just like playing a card game. The single draw was always very tricky. Ten consecutive draws were the way to go. Or ten consecutive single draws could also be done. Forget it, system, let's do another ten platinum draws. Ning resisted the urge in his heart. He really wanted to do a diamond draw, but in the end, he decided to praise the popularity value again. When it reached ten million, he would do another 10 diamond draws. That would be the best. Now, he would first spend 1 million popularity value and enjoy 10 platinum draws. Ding. Host has chosen platinum 10 raffle draws. Lucky draw. Congratulations, host has obtained an item. Cool hat. White, 1. A hat that greatly reduces ultraviolet radiation, and can keep the body cool. External injury ointment 5. A miraculous external injury ointment can greatly accelerate the recovery rate of external injuries. Body strengthening pill, advanced RRB5, greatly increases the attributes of the body. Upper limit 50. Mountaineering boots 1. Mountaineering boots made of a special material can greatly reduce the physical consumption of mountaineering. Sumu bow, a well made bow and arrow, extremely powerful. Tricolored flower seed 10 a magical species that can bear tricolored flower petals, has great ornamental value. Bird feed, advanced, 10, a feed suitable for birds, increasing the intelligence and attack power of birds. Beast feed, advanced RRB 10, a feed suitable for beasts, 
increasing the intelligence and attack power of beasts. Congratulations to the host for obtaining skills, fishing skill, advanced, greatly enhances the host's fishing ability. Fishing skill, low level, has been automatically replaced. Looking sneeze martial arts, advanced Chine sneeze martial arts, extensive and profound, Abtai Chine sneeze martial arts fighting technique combat and skill kill, low level, has been automatically replaced. Beast Tamer, advanced, obtained beast taming ability, able to tame wild animals. The difficulty of taming is directly proportional to the age of the wild animals. A series of notification sounds rang out. Ningf had obtained quite a number of good things. The skill has a high level logo which means that this skill still has room for growth. I reckon that it will be best achieved in the later stages of the diamond lucky draw. Three skills, all very practical. The hat is finally not green. These boots are not bad, they are quite comfortable to wear. There are five more body strengthening pills, these things are treasures. I've made a huge profit from this lucky draw. Ningf was like a rich man who was counting treasures. He looked at the items in the system and smiled happily. He ate the body strengthening pills and immediately felt a wave of heat coming from his body. It was exceptionally comfortable. His strength and agility had both increased to 21. His endurance had reached 20, which was more than double that of an ordinary person. The cool cap was the style of a cap. It would look good on a hot day. The hiking boots were a pair of pitch black boots made of an unknown material. They did not feel heavy when worn on the feet, and the quality was surprisingly good. The shape of the Sumu Bao was even more elegant, and it was equipped with five sharp Sumu arrows. Ningf was a person who loved bows, so he was very satisfied with this weapon. It feels so good to draw a lottery. Ningf smiled contentedly. Then, he remembered that he still had an hour to learn acupuncture, so he closed his eyes and continued to learn this secret technique. Dot. The next morning, Ningf woke up early. It was a new day. The days in the forest were indeed very leisurely, if the living conditions were not taken into account. The morning was the most beautiful time in the forest. He came out this time to enjoy the scenery of the deep mountains. He came to the stream and washed up. It was the middle of summer now and the water in the stream was very cool in the morning. Washing his face and brushing his teeth seemed very carefree. Ningf stretched his back and suddenly thought of the three South China tigers from last night. Everything is from the heart. Since I miss them, I'll go and see them. Cool and unrestrained is the real thing. It's decided, today, play South China tiger for a day. Chapter 55 the number one person in Luhu. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. The live stream started, and the popularity of the live stream room soared. The name of the live stream room of the Abbey Dean of Kingfing Abbey could be considered as a signboard for the live broadcast of bird fighting. At around 9 a.m., Ningf traveled lightly and rushed to the place where the South China Tiger lived yesterday. The system told him that after using the animal friend card, the animals would always have a favorable impression of Ningf unless he did something to anger the South China Tiger. Therefore, Ningf was not too worried. In fact, Ningf's physical fitness was already very strong, and he had Chinese martial arts with him. The South China Tiger was a small tiger. After Ningf's lucky draw last night, it should not be a problem for him to defeat a South China Tiger in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Abby Dean Ning. What are you going to do this time? Picklingsy. This seems to be the way back from last night. Is the streamer going to play with the South China Tiger again? The netizens speculated one after another and could not help but become excited. No matter how they watched a live broadcast like Tiger Lu, they would never get tired of it. For people who loved animals, the attraction of big cats was fatal. For example, there were many rich people in Arabia who raised leopards and tigers. Ningf naturally did the same. When they arrived at the place where the tigress had rested yesterday, the tigress was still there. However, she looked much better and was able to get up. Waho! At this moment, the little tiger rushed out from behind the tigress and growled at Ningf in a baby voice. So cute. The netizens were all very excited. This voice was even better than when first love called you brother. Abby Dean Ning. Give Little Tiger a name. Let's call him Little Tiger. Little Tiger, 2200. Are you looking down on me, Tiger 80,000? The Tiger of Spring, 
the tiger of summer's younger brother. The netizens started discussing excitedly. Many people from the esports circle started talking about professional players in Ningf's live stream. Little tiger has the word wang on his head. Let's call him little wang. Little B starred to think you can think of something like that. Ha ha ha, little B starred. Big brother. Don't be so funny. Then what do you guys call it? The tiger's English name is Tiger. Let's call it Tagor. Tagor. I'm even Shelley. 66,666. They're all cultured people. At this moment, Ningf had already started stroking the little tiger. The female tiger did not stop him. The male tiger was not here, and no one knew where he had gone. Ningf hugged the front paws of the little tiger, and started his own narration in a gentle and elegant manner. Tigers had many nicknames in ancient times, such as Big Worm, Ruthless Insect, Spot, White Forehead, and so on. But the more pleasant names were Mountain Lord, Mountain King, and Mountain God Lord. In Shuan Tiger Tribe, it says, Tiger, the King of Mountain Beasts. That's why it regards the Tiger as the King of Mountain Beasts. In Pianya Shishu, it says, the King of Mountain. The Tiger. You have to know that in ancient times, only the emperor had the right to call him the king of mountain. The king of mountain meant the king of mountain. In King Dynasties Lee Quain's different names of things, beast beast tiger, it also said, tiger, western beast, the king of beasts, the king of mountain beasts, also known as the king of mountain beasts. The netizens were petrified when they heard Ninth's story. What was this streamer talking about? What, what beast? What king of beasts? This was too amazing. However, since ancient times, the netizens had produced talents. One of the netizens happened to be a graduate student in the Department of Ancient Literature. He couldn't help but say, the streamer is talking about the ancient books, Shuan Tiger Tribe, Pianya, releasing the head, and Lee Quain's book, The Beast of the Tiger. Seeing this bullet screen, the netizens came to a sudden realization. Oh, so it was these words. They didn't understand what Ningf was talking about just now. Immediately, they were all amazed. Abidin Ning always gave people unexpected surprises. Amazing. If they knew a little about the 300 Tang poems, who would know about these ancient books? A few people did not know what the word parallel meant. Some of Ningf's good-looking fans, especially female fans, were very excited at this moment. In their eyes, Ningf was like a handsome Taoist priest who had walked out of a novel. He was a little comfortable and full of ancient feelings. Now that they heard Ningf explain these ancient words, they really felt that he was gentle and elegant. His bearing was extraordinary, like a noble young master. Ningf did not pay too much attention to the bullet screen. He looked at Little Tiger and chuckled, from now on. I'll call you Xiao Feng. Xiao Kun? Why is it called Xiao Kun? Someone explain. Some netizens asked in puzzlement. Yeah, after saying so much just now, why is it called Xiao Kun again? It was the graduate student from the Department of Ancient Texts who knew more and said, the streamer's meaning should be Feng. Feng is the combination of Shan Jun, so it's called Xiao Feng. Of course. People can also call it Xiaoku. Seeing this bullet screen, the netizens came to a sudden realization. Then, they shook their heads helplessly. Sigh, watching the live stream of Abi Dean Ning, he was embarrassed to say that he was a fan without any academic qualifications. He felt his IQ being pressed down on the ground and rubbed. Then the big tiger is called Big Peak. Then the female tiger is called the female peak. Yes. Little Peak is indeed better sounding than Little Shan Jun. Dot Little Shan Jun. Dot it sounds like the name of the Japanese. The netizens started discussing enthusiastically once again. Ningf hugged Little Peak and stroked its head. The little guy was very strong. Its two claws hugged Ningf's forearm and opened its mouth to bite. In fact, it did not use much strength in its mouth. After all, it was his nature to be playful when he was young. The female tiger had been lying on the side and watching quietly. Occasionally, Ningf's movements were a little bigger, and the small hill would whimper in a baby voice. At this time, the female tiger would sit up, as if she was a little concerned. When the netizens saw this, they were all covered in cold sweat. Abby Dean Ning, you are too ambitious. Bullying his son in front of his mother, this is not giving Huan Anu any face. He is really the best at playing with tigers. Then, 
Ning Fu remembered the external wound ointment he got from the lucky draw yesterday. He took out one and walked to the side of the female tiger and stuck it on her wound. How awesome was this scene? The drone was broadcasting live on it. The netizens saw Ning Fu suddenly take out a dog skin ointment from his pocket, walked to Huan Anu's side and patted his stomach. At that time, Huan Anu's body trembled, and so did the netizens' buddies. Fu Q. This streamer really doesn't want to live. Putting a dog skin plaster on Huan Anu. Other than being awesome, the netizens couldn't think of any other adjectives. It's awesome. It scared me so much that I broke out in cold sweat. Yeah, I feel like I'm treating my dog the same way. That's the South China Tiger, the king of all beasts. He's so cowardly. South China Tiger, wake up. Where's your dignity? This streamer really wants to cultivate immortality. 666,666,666. Ningf was very calm. The ointment had very good effects on external injuries. Although it was quite valuable, it could help a precious animal in China recover as quickly as possible. A little medical cost was nothing. At this moment, the roar of a male tiger came from the depths of the forest. The voice was filled with a strong overlord aura making people's hearts tremble. This voice was so terrifying. What's going on? Ningf looked in the direction of the voice and became curious. Chapter 56, Hunting, A Tiger Pouncing on Its Prey. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Everyone, look, the South China Tiger is hunting. Ningf half squatted on a tree branch, looking at the South China Tiger lurking in the grass on the ground, and explained to the audience. The drone flew beside him, and the live broadcast was the scene of the South China Tiger. A tiger's hunting usually finds cover and slowly sneaks in. When the prey is within attack range, it suddenly jumps up and attacks the back of the prey. A tiger will bite off the spine of its prey. This is the most typical attack method of a large cat. Ningf explained in a soft voice. Although his voice was not loud, his words were clear and it sounded very comfortable. This scene was much more exciting than watching a tiger or a lion hunt on the television program Man and Nature. The difference between the two was like watching a live broadcast of a competition or watching a rebroadcast of a competition. The feeling was completely different. You didn't know what would happen next. Every moment was a new challenge. This feeling was exciting. The South China tiger crouched down and slowly pushed forward. If one didn't look at its size, it would look exactly the same as when the kitten attacked. Its prey was a fat wild boar. At this time, it could be seen that this was an era that looked at beauty, including animals. If it was a cheetah hunting a young antelope, many people would say things like, Why do you want to eat to antelope? Young antelope, run. Young antelope, run. And so on. But now that the South China tiger was hunting a wild boar, the former was handsome, majestic, and domineering the king of all beasts, while the latter was black and covered in hard fur, like a fool. Therefore, the bullet comments were all, South China Tiger, hurry up, eat it, come on, how exciting. The most realistic hunting scene, live broadcast, this feeling is really great. Ha ha, streamer, hurry down and join us. The netizens cheered for the South China Tiger, each and every one of them extremely excited. At this time, the South China Tiger had already hidden itself in a sufficient range of attack. In the next second, its movements were truly shocking to everyone. The South China Tiger suddenly leapt up, its two strong tiger claws clawing towards the back of the wild boar. At the same time, with a fierce roar, it opened its bloody mouth and bit down. This scene was extremely shocking. This was also the reason why the tiger was known as the king of all beasts. The wild boar reacted and seemed to want to escape. However, the two huge tiger claws collided with it and directly knocked it to the ground. Such a fat wild boar could not withstand a tiger claw at all. It was enough to show how powerful the tiger's attack was. Then, the tiger bit off the wild boar's spine with one bite. The wild boar hissed a few times and then stopped moving. Everything happened in an instant. The footage of the South China tiger hunting made the netizens truly feel the fear of facing a wild beast. Oh my god, it's too scary. Looking at the live streamer's interaction with the South China tiger yesterday, I thought that the South China tiger had a very docile personality. After all, 
It's a wild tiger. A hungry tiger pouncing on its prey is no joke. It scared me to death. It scared me to the point that I broke out in a cold sweat. Now that I've realized that the live streamer really has something. Why didn't the South China tiger attack him? Could it be that he really is a cultivator? It's very possible. We've gone too far, brothers. The netizens were discussing animatedly. Then, they saw Huen and Hu start dragging the wild boar towards the female tiger bit by bit. He's a good male tiger who cares about his family. Men should be as responsible as Huen and Hu. Why do I remember that the streamer said that male tigers always run after sex and have affairs with many female tigers? It's not a secret that tigers are horny. Ha ha ha, aren't all men like this? Sigh, brother, I'm not like this. Dot. Ningf came down from the tree. Huan and Tiger heard the movement and glanced at him. However, he only let out a low roar before continuing to drag the prey in his mouth. It seemed that Huan and Tiger had tacitly allowed Ningf to move around in his territory. The tiger's territorial awareness was very strong. If any large animals dared to invade, they would be killed by the tiger without any hesitation. Ningf was moving around the tiger's territory unscrupulously. There were still quite a few wildlife experts who did not understand the reason. This animal friend card is really good stuff. It's a pity that there are only three cards left. Ningf thought to himself. Dear viewers, after seeing the tigers hunting wild boars, I'm a little hungry too. That's why I'm eating wild boar meat today. Let me explain here. Due to the relatively good ecological recovery in the Kinshan Mountains in recent years, wild boars have become a flood. Many farmers' crops have been destroyed by wild boars. At the eastern end of the village, Uncle Lee planted 20 acres of sweet potatoes. Wild boars like sweet potatoes and peanuts, which have sweet roots. So last year, Uncle Lee's sweet potatoes were all ruined by wild boars. In the end, he had to rely on the relief provided by the village to survive. In order to deal with the problem of wild boars, the forestry department established the first agriculture protection and hunting team in the province in accordance with the law. They hired more than 20 experienced hunters and equipped them with hunting guns to carry out hunting operations for wild boars according to the law. At the same time, they also issued hunting licenses to some hunters in the villages. In the end, although the hunting had achieved certain results, wild boars were too fertile. There were more than a dozen of them in a litter and two in a year. Their reproductive ability was terrifying. When I returned last year during the summer vacation of my junior year, I also obtained a hunting license, so hunting wild boars was legal. It's better to hunt under the law. By the way, it's worth mentioning that Uncle Lee is now the most famous hunter in Kinshan village. He makes a living by buying wild boars and bacon. Ningf spoke to the audience in the live broadcast room. Everyone thought that it was very interesting. The policies of the higher authorities would be adjusted according to the actual situation. For example, if the wild boars did not have any impact on the lives of farmers, then hunting would be banned. If the wild boars were overrun, they would send out hunting teams to protect the interests of the common people. Ningf also had a hunting license because he was a good archer at that time. Let me also explain here. My hunting license only allows me to hunt wild boars and rabbits in the area south of Mount Kin, and I am not allowed to hold a hunting gun. To hold a gun? You must have a gun license. That thing is not approved by ordinary people. The famous hunters in the village usually use animal traps and electric nets to hunt, but this thing is also very dangerous. Hunters must be careful to prevent hurting people. Today, we're going to hunt a wild boar. Ningf's words made the netizens in the live broadcast room very excited. Was the live broadcast of the hunt so exciting? This was much more interesting than fishing. However, there were also some netizens who had never seen a scene of hunting since they were young, so they couldn't bear to watch. This was also normal. There were many people who liked to eat meat, but they couldn't bear to watch the killing. For example, mutton was delicious, but the method of killing sheep was often cruel. At this time, it was good to imagine that humans were at the top of the food chain in nature. Just like tigers, in order to survive, they had to kill their prey. Humans were the best of everything so it was normal for them to hunt reasonably, Ningf said, I'll go get my bow, I especially brought a bow this time, Ningf did bring a bow, after all, it was an outdoor adventure, 
so he had to deal with the unexpected. Ning usually put the bow on the top of his backpack and wore it in a cloth bag. The netizens could tell what it was. Bow and arrow, so primitive. Ha ha ha, Ning Guan said that he didn't use the electric fence and animal trap. I thought he used some high-tech equipment, but it turned out to be a bow and arrow. Is the streamer joking? Don't you have any common sense? Do you know how thick the skin of wild boars is? As someone with a hunting license, I can tell you that ordinary large caliber hunting guns cannot penetrate the skin of wild boars even if they are far away. This streamer actually wants to use bows and arrows to kill wild boars. You're thinking too much. I see, ha ha ha, then wouldn't Abby Dean Ning be crying? Just wait and see. It's going to be embarrassing. Wild boars aren't easy to kill. Otherwise, they wouldn't be so rampant. Bows and arrows are usually used to hunt wild rabbits. It's already the 21st century, and they still use this kind of weapon. It's not expensive to buy a mechanical crossbow. Mechanical crossbows seem to be a prohibited item. Sigh, let's go. It's probably just for show. Using a bow and crossbow to hunt wild boars is just a joke. It's just a gimmick. Why do I feel that Abby D. Ning is not such a person? The netizens started to discuss animatedly, especially a few people who called themselves senior hunters. They started to lead the discussion in a crazy manner. One had to know that there was no lack of people who felt superior on the internet. These people especially like to pretend to gain the approval of others. Taking reference from a certain someone's annual salary of one million, just got off the plane. Do Ian's how did I get my own villa before the age of 23, and a certain bar's 10 year old fan told you. They didn't know whether it was true or not, but they had come to a conclusion based on their own one sided knowledge, so they would pretend to be a big shot and say this conclusion. Bound arrow hunting wild boar, if you can do it, I'll do a handstand in front of everyone, afraid that others wouldn't believe it, these people even made a ruthless vow, on the other side, Ning Fu returned to the tent, but he didn't take down the bow he made, instead, he took out the sumu bow that he had won in the lottery yesterday, the netizens could not see the scene in the tent, and the bow had been wrapped in cloth, they did not know what the bow looked like, therefore, when Ningf walked out with the band arrow, the netizens let out a wave of exclamations. Chapter 57, The Bow is Like a Bolt of Lightning. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. The bow was entirely brown in color. It was decorated with dragon patterns and decorated with copper hoops and jade horns. It looked very domineering. The bowstring was pitch black in color. It was impossible to tell what material it was made of. When the netizens saw the bow, they couldn't help but exclaim in admiration. This was really a good bow. This bow is so beautiful. Yeah. It's very nice. Where did you buy this? I want to buy one too. It's too cool. It'll definitely look good as a collectible. Host, please give me a link. At the same time, Jiang Feng was in his office. He had just finished looking at the company's financial statements. When he opened Ningf's live broadcast room and saw the bow in Ningf's hand, he couldn't help but squint his eyes. This brown pattern, this exquisite dragon shaped wood carving. It should be the Sumu bow without a doubt. One had to know that Sumu was the best raw material for zither and bow, and it had to be the authentic Brazilian Sumu. There had been many Asian Sumu appearing recently, but that was only because of the name Sumu, and it didn't have the characteristics of Sumu at all. In the country, generally, zither, bow, and the like were made with sandalwood. This color should be more than 500 years old. Jiang Feng looked at the bow and arrow in Ningf's hand in surprise. He did not have a bow, but his sister Jiang's had a zither. The entire body was made of 100 year old wood, so he knew this kind of wood very well. Who is this guy? Why do I sometimes feel that he is richer than me? Jiang Feng thought to himself. Back then, when he bought Jiang's wigkin, he spent a lot of money to buy a 100 year old sumugkin. But now, Ningf casually took out a bow which was a Sumu bow, and according to his understanding, the Sumu used for this bow was at least 500 years old, or even more than 500 years old. Looking at his old Taoist temple, he doesn't look like a rich man. Jiang Feng felt that Ningf was becoming more and more mysterious. Ningf held the Sumu bow in his hand and felt that the entire body of the bow was cold. He pulled the bowstring and tried it. The tension of this bow was very high. Fortunately, 
He had enough strength. At this moment, he had an arrow barrel at his waist, which contained five long arrows of the same color as the Sumu Bao. The Bao was the most powerful weapon in the era of cold weapons. At that time, its status was no less than that of today's intercontinental missiles. In the ancient army, the people who drew the Bao and shot the arrows the best were the people with the highest status in the army. Moreover, the movements of drawing the band shooting the arrows with this kind of band arrow were wide open and wide. It was not like a competition event in a sports meeting, so the posture of drawing the bow was not attractive enough. Ningth came to the mountain and walked forward. There were many wild boars in the Kinshan Mountains. Wild boars were the most active in the early morning and evening. They usually stayed in the cave and rarely came out. Ningth was lucky. Not long after, he saw a wild boar in the distance, carrying a pile of wild vegetables. This wild boar was completely black and had bristles on its back. It had two long tusks and looked very fierce. If one was not a hunter, most people would run away when they encountered such a thing. After all, they grew up in the mountains and wild boars were usually very ferocious. Wild boars that were bold even dared to bump into tigers. Dear viewers, you can see that there is a wild boar over there. That is our food for today. Ningf looked at the wild boar and said in a low voice. Seeing this, the netizens were still puzzled. Abidin Ning, this wild boar looks very ferocious. Why don't we forget about it? Yeah. The wild boar's defense is really high. Even a bow and arrow might not be able to break through its defense. The key is that if it's not done properly, the wild boar might turn around and attack humans. Everyone, don't underestimate the wild boar's offensive power. If it really comes at us, we won't be able to hold on at all. We might even lose our lives. The host is scared. He he, I told you he couldn't do it. Our lives are more important. Let's run. Stop pretending. Using a broken bow to impress the public is just showing off. There were haters in every streaming room and Ningf's streaming room was no exception. Mayu was one of the haters that the Heavenly Steed Union had planted in Ningf's streaming room. Of course, he was a high-level hater. He wasn't a brainless hatter. He only occasionally brought along a rhythm. However, the effect of this rhythm was very good. Many netizens felt that Ningf was pretending. It was already the 21st century, yet he still used a bound arrow to hunt. If he wasn't pretending, then what was? However, in the next second, a scene that stunned everyone appeared. They saw Ningf take out an arrow from the quiver and place it on the bow. Then, he held the bow with one hand and pulled the bowstring with the other. He directly pulled out the shape of a full moon. How cool was this scene? Ningf's expression was resolute, but it also carried a hint of heroism. His right forearm, which was pulling the bow, was filled with explosive power. His movements had a sense of violent aesthetics which made people's blood boil. Cool. This was a real man. The netizens were amazed once again. However, before the netizens could react, Ningf had already let go of his hand. The entire action happened in a flash. In just a few seconds, Ningf had completed the action of shooting the arrow. Glang. The intense sound of metal produced by the vibration of the bowstring rang out, shocking the hearts of many netizens. The ancient poem immediately surfaced in their minds. The bow is like a thunderbolt, the bowstring is startled. So this poem was real. The sound of the bowstring could really be like a thunderbolt. The scene of Ningf pulling the bow and shooting arrows was too shocking. The bow opened like the autumn moon traversing the sky, and the arrow flew like a meteor falling to the ground. All of this was being broadcasted live by the drone. The next second, the drone looked in the direction of the wild boar. The netizens found that the wild boar had already fallen to the ground. It was very obvious that Ningf had succeeded. Good bow. Ningf could not help but praise in a low voice. Abidin Ning is amazing. 66,666,666. Ha ha ha, who was mocking me just now? Why didn't you say anything? I was stunned. At this moment, Countless 66,666 swarmed over from the right side of the bullet screen. Everyone was cheering for Ningf's superb skills. Nowadays, 
the traditional archery skills had almost declined, only some powerful hunters on the grassland could do it. The hunters in the mountains had all kinds of equipment to hunt. There were very few people who used bows and arrows. They felt that these things were destined to be obsolete. Ning had liked bows and arrows since he was young. He had also made a few bows himself. He had no choice. He was poor when he was young. The children in the city could play with toy cars, play with remote controlled airplanes, and go to amusement parks since he was young. His fun was either to take a sword made of iron pieces and go to the wild to cut tall weeds, pretending to be a martial arts expert, or he could make a broken bow with a rubber band and find some branches to shoot arrows. Until now, he still liked swords and arrows. Ninth came to the side of the wild boar and saw that the long arrow was nailed to the trunk of the tree and the entire arrow head had sunk into it. In other words, Ningf's arrow had directly pierced through the wild boar. What a terrifying power. The netizens who had previously mocked Ningf were also stunned speechless when they saw this scene. Fook, this streamer could not be provoked. He was simply a god. Ningf did not broadcast the following scene. After all, he had to do something like slaughtering a butcher. He let the drone hover and broadcast the magnificent scenery of the Kin Mountain Range. Ningf was very thoughtful. The wild boar was very heavy. Under normal circumstances, at least two adults would be needed to lift it. However, Ningf did not intend to move the wild boar. He only took out the Swiss Army knife, took the whole piece of wild boar meat from a few good parts, and put it in a bag that he carried with him. Fortunately, the tent was not far from this place, and the stream was not far from this place. Ningf washed the wild boar meat by the river. At this time, the drone circled back and continued to broadcast live for the netizens. Ningf looked at the live broadcast lens and smiled gently. Dear viewers, it's time for everyone's favorite food segment again. Chapter 58, Bamboo Tube Roast Meat, A Real Gourmet Host. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Now soak the bamboo leaves in ginger water, and then take two bamboo leaves and put them at the bottom of the bamboo tube. This is called medicinal primer. If you use rose petals, it's the best. The taste is more delicious. Ningf explained as he prepared to roast meat. Bamboo was everywhere in the forest, especially in such deep mountains, where there were even more green bamboos. And because no one had ever set foot in the forest before, the bamboo here was growing very well. It was just right for making bamboo tube barbecued meat. Although the taste of ordinary barbecued meat is good, it is very easy to produce a large number of carcinogens, such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, heterocyclic amines, and so on. Therefore, I suggest that everyone not eat too much. Eating it once every few days will not be a problem. The characteristic of bamboo tube barbecued meat is that it tastes delicious and has a high impact value. Moreover, bamboo itself is a good thing. It has the effects of clearing heat, reducing phlegm, and stopping cough. It can also clear the lungs, and reduce fire, and calm the fetus. The bamboo tube roast meat with Chinese medicine, such as gastroduilata, Codenopsis pilosula, ginseng, and angelica, has a better effect. It's a pity that there are no such ingredients nearby. Ningf explained as he prepared. He looked relaxed and comfortable. Abidin Ning, please stop. I'm hungry from watching. Why do I feel that something tastes so good in your hands? Is this a food streamer? I'm in love with him. His craftsmanship is unparalleled. The netizens could not help but swallow their saliva and said. Next is the seasoning. Take a small bowl and put in some sesame seeds, cumin, message, refined salt, and chili. Take out the cut meat strips and put them into it to stir. Everyone should pay attention here. It's best not to add water. The fat of the meat itself just happens to be able to absorb the spices. If there's water flowing out, it will be diluted and the taste will be much lighter. On this expedition, Ningf prepared a seasoning box, which contained all kinds of daily seasoning. He placed the meat strips in a bowl and used wooden chopsticks to stir the meat strips in the seasoning evenly. Just this skill alone made the netizens in the live broadcast room praise him endlessly. This was what barbecued meat should look like. Then, Ningfa put some wild mushrooms and mushrooms into the bamboo tubes and put the meat strips in one by one. For a person who was proficient in cooking, 
The ingredients seemed to dance in his hands as they were arranged neatly into the pot. Ningf prepared four bamboo tubes, all filled with meat strips and ingredients. The bonfire beside them had already been lit. It had to be mentioned here that every time Ningf lit a bonfire, he would explain it to the netizens. He would first use a shovel to shovel out a piece of soil to ensure that the bonfire was isolated from combustibles such as grass and trees. Then, he would use the soil to form a circle before he could light the fire without worry. The four bamboo canisters were placed on the bonfire. The temperature was evenly distributed among them, and soon, a fragrance filled the air. There was also a natural bamboo fragrance in the fragrance, which made people feel relaxed and happy. Ever since the little falcon could fly, it became more and more active. There was often no sign of birds. But now, it seemed to have smelled the fragrance. It flew back and landed on Nymph's shoulder. It stared at the bamboo tubes, looking very eager. Ha ha, the little falcon has finally flown back. He must have smelled the fragrance of meat. Well, the roast meat made by Abby Dean Ning looks delicious. The bamboo tube roast meat will have a unique bamboo fragrance, which is much more delicious than ordinary roast meat. Where can I get such a delicious taste? Same question. The netizens began to chat animatedly. Many people began to expose their city and invited people from the same city to eat the bamboo tube roast together. Do you have one from Jingdu? There's one at Wuduaku. Let's go together. We can even go to a bar at night. It's time to gather at the mountain city. I know one that's especially delicious. It's for me. There are already three people from Pudong coming here. Who wants to have a barbecue together? From Chengzu, come and register with me. The atmosphere in the live broadcast room was very good. To the host. The live broadcast room was like his own home. This was not something that could be casually said. If the live broadcast room was filled with trolls who had been leading the rhythm, then many passers-by and fans would feel annoyed when they saw these bullet messages. But if the atmosphere in the live broadcast room was very good, then the fans would like Ningf even more. Unknowingly, it could also increase the cohesion of Ningf's fans. At this time, Ningf saw that it was almost time. So he took out the bamboo tube from the fire. As soon as he opened the round lid made of bamboo at the top, immediately, a visible fragrance floated out from the bamboo tube. Seeing this scene, the netizens could not help but swallow their saliva. Ning fused wooden chopsticks to pick out a piece of roasted meat. At this moment, the roasted meat was already fully cooked, and the seasoning on it had completely blended into the roasted meat. It looked exceptionally delicious. Xiao Xiao was staring at the barbecued meat at the side. He looked very excited and kept shaking his body. Ningf took a bite first. MMM, it's delicious, Ningf said proudly, his expression full of satisfaction. Host, you've gone too far. Why did I open the live broadcast? This expression is so infuriating. Tens of thousands of people denounce Abidin Ning for eating barbecued meat without making a sound. The bamboo tube roasted meat was indeed much more delicious than the traditional roasted meat, which was why Ningf was so satisfied with it. Moreover, the taste of the wild boar meat was very similar to that of the pork, but it was more chewy. Ningf picked up a piece of roasted meat and raised it up. The little falcon's movements were extremely fast. It suddenly flew up and swallowed the roasted meat. Its movements were so elegant that it made people's eyes light up. Although the little falcon had not grown up yet, its black and white feathers had covered its entire body, making it look exceptionally beautiful. The man and the bird began to eat the barbecued meat quietly again. Ningf sat on a large rock beside him. There was the sound of flowing water, making him appear particularly relaxed and at ease. The amount of wild boar meat was very large. After the man and the bird finished eating, they both felt very satisfied. It's comfortable, Ningf said leisurely. After eating his fill, Ningf began to stroke the bird again. The little falcon had just grown to the size of Ningf's palm. Ningf stretched out his left hand and opened his palm. The little falcon obediently flew to Ningf's palm and then lay down, with its legs facing the sky. This scene made the netizens click their tongues in wonder. Then, Ningf gently clenched his fingers and used his thumb to stroke the white fur on the little falcon's chest. Oh my god! 
the little falcon is so obedient, lying flat and letting me touch it, this falcon is not very serious, it should be the Abidine who is not serious, how could he treat the little falcon like this, Abidine Ning, let the little bird go, I'll lie there instead, pa, if you want to lie down, I'll lie down too, exclamation mark. Ningf took some time to look at the bullet screen, when he saw the messages sent by everyone, he found it very interesting, little falcon is much smarter than you think, Ningf said to everyone, if you don't believe me, take a look, little falcon, stand up, as soon as Ningf gave the order, little falcon obediently stood up on Ningf's hand, turn around, little falcon jumped around 360 degrees on the spot and continued to look at Ningf, somersault, little falcon stood on two legs and then pressed his head down, he turned his entire body over and turned into a position with his two legs facing the sky, let out a cry, get, let's fly for a circle, the little falcon flew into the air, flew for a circle, and then landed steadily in Ningf's palm, seeing this, the netizens were dumbfounded, holy sheet, what kind of divine bird is this, it can actually understand Ningf's words, it must be known that many of the audience had watched the little falcon grow up from being adopted by Ningf to its current appearance, they had never expected Xiao Xiao to be so powerful, this, Xiao Xiao is too smart, really, Abidin Ning, how did you teach Xiao Xiao, how old is he, he's already like this, is Abidin Ning a god, I'm impressed, after the netizens saw Xiao Xiao's performance, they were shocked, then, something even more unexpected happened, little falcon stood on Ningf's left palm, Ningf suddenly made a pistol pose with his right hand, then, he pointed at little falcon and made a shooting gesture, the audience was still wondering what Ningf was doing, but little falcon swayed and fell on Ningf's palm, it actually closed its eyes, it was playing dead, it was playing dead, it was playing dead with Ningf, what the fuck, was this a bird, the netizens only felt 10,000 grass mud horses galloping through their minds, trampling on their knowledge unscrupulously, chapter 59, quiet time in the afternoon, this chapter is updated by novels.pl, the interaction between Ningf and the little falcon really surprised the netizens, the little falcon's performance was too amazing, how did he raise this bird, Ningf teased the little falcon for a while and began to pack his things, he put out the bonfire completely and made sure that there was no risk of a fire, only then did he get up and return to the tent, everyone, I'm a little sleepy after eating and drinking, I'd like to take a nap in the afternoon, the sun was still hot, Ningf took out a blanket and blanket from the tent and basked them in the sun, this is the South China Tigers territory, there are usually no large carnivores in the South China Tigers territory, so it's not dangerous for us to sleep in the wild, Ningf came to a lawn, the lawn was very low, and there were three trees growing together, forming a huge shade, this place is very suitable, if the grass is high, there will be more bugs, it's very annoying, if the grass is too low, I won't be able to sleep well, in fact, Ningf still had the insect repellent fragrance in his pocket, this thing was a rare treasure for forest exploration, the smell of the insect repellent fragrance would make the bugs stay away from it, for people with insect phobia, it was priceless, Ningf was full and felt a little tired, the weather was also a little hot, as he lay under the shade of the trees, he suddenly felt cool all over, the heat of the Kin mountain range was similar to the heat of the north, the heat of the north was more closely described as sunburn, it was very uncomfortable to stand in the open air under the sun, but as long as it was in a cool place, it would immediately cool down, the heat in the south was more stuffy, not to mention hiding under the shade of a tree, even if he hid at home, as long as he did not turn on the air conditioner, he would immediately be covered in sweat. After Ning flayed down, the little falcon jumped a few times on his chest, then immediately retracted its legs and lay down. This bird was actually accompanying Ning on his lunch break. This scene was particularly leisurely. There was a saying that went well, a handsome person would do anything right, Ningf placed his hands under the back of his head and made a comfortable pose, he felt a wave of sleepiness sweep over him and actually fell asleep, just like that, the netizens were helpless, this was really, casual, live broadcast sleep, infuriating host, online infuriating host, he's actually live broadcasting his lunch break, don't tell me, 
I actually enjoyed watching this scene. I'm a man. As expected, being handsome doesn't matter what you do. All of you, be quiet. Don't disturb my husband's sleep. Ditto. Quietly admiring my husband's good looks. It would be even better if he wore a Taoist robe. Yeah, yeah, I also really like the way he looks in a Taoist robe. It was strange to say that. Logically speaking, a live broadcast of sleeping was no different from a live broadcast. The popularity would be much lower. Of course, the sleep mentioned here was a normal sleep for one person and not a fight sleep for two people. If it was that kind of sleep, then the popularity would definitely soar. Ningth's live broadcast of sleeping, on the other hand, was still very popular. The live broadcast showed Ningf as a whole. The netizens could clearly see his calm face. The little falcon was nestled on Ningf's abdominal muscles. It moved up and down with Ningf's breathing and actually fell asleep as well. Some netizens realized that it was really strange. Every time they watched Ningf's live broadcast, no matter what Ningf did, they would always feel relaxed and comfortable. That feeling could not be faked. It was like a person's temperament, following like a shadow. Many female fans even placed the live broadcast interface on the side and busied themselves with other things. From time to time, they would look at Ningf and feel exceptionally satisfied. For them, the biggest difference between watching a live broadcast and watching wallpaper was that they could know what Ningf was doing at the same time. If they imagined it this way, it would be very immersive. In the afternoon, the sun was blazing. Ningf just lay on the grass and slept leisurely. Lebo was an office worker. During his lunch break, he was watching Duyan. Moreover, he had more than once seen the short video of Ningf's live broadcast made by netizens. The video of Ningf touching the South China Tiger had been liked more than 3.5 million times. There were also more than 200,000 discussions. It was the most popular video in the past few days. Li Bo saw the first video of Ningf's short video, and he couldn't help but download a live stream of bird fighting. As soon as he clicked on it, he saw a huge title. On it was the image of Ningf climbing a rock. It was full of violent beauty. Lebo clicked on it. He saw that in the live stream room, Ningf was lying on the grass and sleeping. There was a white bird lying on his chest. Sleeping? This was the first time Lebo had seen such a live broadcast, and he was a little stunned. Then, he realized that the situation didn't seem right. At this time, the drone also sensed the strange movements in the surroundings and quietly rose into the air, switching to the perspective. When Li Bo saw clearly what had happened, his heart suddenly jumped into his throat, and he felt his whole body tremble. Because, there were two huge South China tigers slowly approaching Ningf. Ningf was still sleeping, and not far from him was the South China tiger. Was this streamer crazy? Did he not care about his life? Sleeping in the wilderness in broad daylight, feeding wild beasts. Lebo was very nervous. Not only him, but the netizens in the live broadcast room were also very nervous. Although Ningf had a very friendly interaction with the South China Tiger before, it was still the South China Tiger after all. Now that a living person was sleeping in front of the South China Tiger, this was the real human entering the tiger's mouth. The male tiger had already silently arrived beside Ningf, just a step away from Ningf. At this moment, the bullet comments exploded once again. The netizens all nervously covered their mouths. Some girls even closed their eyes and couldn't bear to look anymore. Then, the male tiger bent down and stretched out its tongue with barbs, but the barbs didn't stand up. It gently licked Ningf's face. Tiger, licking his face? The tiger actually licked the host's face so gently while he was asleep. Lebo only felt that his cognition had been impacted. The netizens shouted 666,666 in unison. This was too unbelievable. The entire screen was filled with words like awesome and fook. Ningf was having a beautiful dream when he suddenly felt that his face was sticky. He opened his eyes and saw the huge tiger head of the male tiger. One had to know that a tiger's head was at least three times bigger than a human's head. Ningf sat up with a jolt of his body. He was no longer sleepy. He only heaved a sigh of relief when he found out that it was the South China tiger. However, 
the netizens saw Ningf's embarrassment. Ha 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 ha, Abby Dean Ning was also shocked. Screenshots have been taken. Sisters who need images are asking for me. What do you mean, brothers? Don't you care? For the images, I can be your sister. The netizens were happy again. Ningf touched Huan Anu's head and found that the tigress was able to move freely at this time. It seemed that the external wound ointment had worked. After all, it was something that was drawn from the platinum lottery, so there was no need to mention its efficacy. It could be seen that the two tigers were very grateful to him. Animals had intelligence, and the bigger the animal, the more so. The South China tiger, the king of the wild, naturally knew what gratitude was. It felt that Ningf was kind to them. Xiao Feng, come here. When Ningf saw the little South China tiger, he was immediately delighted. There was no other way. The little tiger was much cuter than the big tiger. Ningf stroked the little tiger, causing Xiao Feng to roar at him in his angry baby voice. In the end, he looked even more adorable. The netizens like to watch such scenes. Ha ha ha, Xiao Feng, don't struggle anymore. Your parents don't care about you. Your parents listen to Abby Dean Ning let alone you. I like this little tiger so much. We have to educate everyone here. Tigers are very wild and fierce. It's best to keep a distance. After all, not everyone has the charm of Abby Dean Ning. Well, to be honest, I'm afraid of the big tiger just by looking at it. Abby Dean Ning is actually so calm. Amazing. Abby Dean Ning's charm is unrivaled. I want to explore with Abby Dean Ning now. Who wouldn't want to? Dot. In the afternoon. Ningf's life was just as ordinary as playing with the three wild South China tigers. Chapter 60, Picking Bamboo Shoots, King of Bamboo Shoots. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. In the afternoon, Ningf was by the stream, staring at the sky with the three tigers in a daze. Xiao Feng would occasionally run to the river to play in the water, looking very happy. The remaining three parents were all looking at him with doting faces. Ningf saw that it was almost time. So he stretched and took a look at the live broadcast room. He originally thought that the popularity of the live broadcast room would definitely be very low. After all, there wasn't any real content this time. In the end, his popularity remained high in the outdoor area. He was firmly in first place and even far surpassed the second place by a lot. Everyone loved watching the live broadcast of South China Tiger, even if he didn't do anything. Dear viewers, I've waited for a long time. It's time for me to make dinner, Ningf said to the netizens in the live broadcast room. During the process of making bamboo skewers at noon today, I discovered that the bamboo shoots in the deep mountains are growing surprisingly well. The timing of the bamboo shoots usually varies with the climate. For example, the bamboo forests around the mountain village may only have more bamboo shoots in spring and winter. Seeing the bamboo shoots here, I suddenly feel like eating fried bamboo shoots. So now I plan to pick some bamboo shoots. I'll also take a look at the nearby mountain goods to see if there are any better ones. The netizens were all very excited when they heard Ningf's words. It's the exciting part of picking mountain goods again. The streamer's luck in this aspect is simply heavenifying. What treasure can he pick this time? I've only eaten bamboo shoots before. I've really never seen how bamboo shoots are dug out. Watching Abby Dean Ning's live broadcast. I'll gain a little knowledge every day. After saying goodbye to Huan Anu, Huan Anu seemed to really understand Ningf's words. He called for a small hill and the three tigers left into the depths of the dense forest once again. After Huan Anu left, Ningf returned to his tent. He took out an engineer shovel and a bag, then walked up the mountain. Digging bamboo shoots is very simple. The villagers in the mountain basically know how to do it. Bamboo shoots grow around adult bamboo. If you find green or green bamboo whips, the bamboo shoots grow on or around the bamboo whips. Everyone, look, there are many here. As Ningf explained, he opened up the bamboo forest. The netizens could clearly see the bamboo shoots emerging from the soil. Bamboo shoots are mostly spring and winter bamboo shoots. There are also summer bamboo shoots but there are fewer. This should be the summer bamboo shoots. Ning fused a shovel to scoop out the bamboo shoots completely. The bamboo shoots in the mountains look pretty good. Everyone, remember, the bamboo shoots must be ready made to taste good. As long as they are picked for more than half a day, 
the taste of the bamboo shoots will change and become a little sour. The bamboo shoots have the effect of appetizing the stomach and strengthening the spleen. It can also strengthen the body's immunity. It is a rare good thing. It is especially suitable for obese and constipated people to eat. Everyone, look at this bamboo shoot. Its shape is a little strange and its body is twisted. However, the weirder the bamboo shoot, the better the taste. Nymph spoke slowly as he picked the bamboo shoots. His confident tone and cool temperament made the netizens click their tongues in admiration. Nymph was exploring the bamboo forest when his eyes suddenly lit up and a hint of joy surged into his expression. He's here. Abby D. Ning has the same expression again. Ha ha ha, every time he finds something good, Abby D. Ning's expression is so cute. Yes, his eyes seem to have light in them just like a landlord seeing a treasure. We're all old fans. You can even see that. Ha ha, Abby Dean Ning, tell everyone what you've found. Ning took two steps forward, opened up a few bamboos, and shoveled them with a the shovel. After confirming, he said, Dear viewers, I may have found a king bamboo shoot. Look here, everyone. With such a big head popping out. This bamboo shoot can't be small. Looks like I'm in luck tonight. Ning fused the shovel to shovel the soil around the bamboo shoot. As their depth increased, the appearance of the bamboo shoot became clearer and clearer. It was indeed a big bamboo shoot. This bamboo shoot was almost as big as Ning's calf and could not be held with one hand. When Ning took it out, the netizens were shocked. There was actually such a big bamboo shoot. Good bamboo shoot. It's almost as big as a certain part of me. A netizen could not help but say. 6,666,666. The netizens were instantly amused by his rhythm. Those in front, don't run. I finally found a fated person the same size as me. What are you guys talking about? Why can't I understand? Even elephants aren't that big. I've always wanted to ask you guys a question. How do you usually place that part of your body? Do you place it up, down, or like me, coiled around your waist? I usually wrap it around my thigh. I usually put it in my sleeve. 666,666. They're all gods. Nymph did not expect that the netizens would be so excited just by picking a king bamboo shoot. After almost picking the bamboo shoot, Nymph started to pick wild mushrooms again. I didn't expect there to be pine mushrooms here. Ningf said in surprise when he saw a few white fungus plants under the pine forest. Pine mushrooms? What's that? Is it expensive? Annette is asked. Wild pine mushrooms are about 350 yuan per catty. 350 yuan? That's expensive? Everyone only saw pine mushrooms. If I'm not mistaken, the few fungi that were picked just now were boltus mushrooms, which are even more valuable, including the bamboo shoot king. The mountain goods in Abbey Dean Ning's hands are probably worth about 1,200 yuan. It's fake, right? Just a few mushrooms? You didn't realize that Abbey Dean Ning's eyesight is really not something that ordinary people can compare to. He only picks good and valuable mountain goods. Yes, I sell mountain goods. The streamer is an expert, so the things he picks are especially expensive. After hearing these people's explanations, the netizens realized that Ningf was actually picking the goods even though he seemed to be casually picking mushrooms. No wonder there were mushrooms under his feet sometimes and Ningf didn't pick them. It turned out that they were not of good quality. In fact, the netizens had really misunderstood Ningf on this point. What he picked from the mountains was the nutritional value and taste. Of course, the higher the nutritional value and the better the taste of the mushrooms the higher the economic value. That's all I can pick. After busying himself for a while, Ningf wiped his sweat and said, barely. Ningf carried a big bag of mountain goods and returned to the tent with satisfaction. With this look, he had finished all the food for the night. Tonight, we'll have a big meal. In the forest, it's most comfortable to drink a bowl of hot soup. Then, Ningf found some dry wood, lit a fire, and set up a pot. When Ningf bought the outdoor suit, he had a full set of outdoor cookers. But this time, for convenience, Ningf only brought a small pot. Ningf first surrounded the city with a few stones to build a simple stove, which was just enough to set up the pot. Then, he put firewood on the bottom, leaving a gap. Then, he used a ignition stick made of magnesium rods to light the firewood. This ignition stick was completely black, 
and it was also a type of outdoor exploration equipment. When the fire was a little bigger, Ningf pressed the firewood a little more tightly and put the small pot on top. Then, Ningf cut the bamboo shoots at the side. His knife skills were once again highlighted. The bamboo shoots quickly became a pile of bamboo shoots in a regular shape. Ningf cut out a few more pieces of the remaining wild boar meat. He watched the temperature in the pot rise. He brushed with oil and added ingredients. A fresh bamboo shoot stir-fried meat was made just like that. However, this dish could only be considered an appetizer. Then, Ningf took the pot down again. He fetched some water from the stream and placed it on the fire. When the netizens saw the bamboo shoot stir-fried meat, they felt their appetites increase. Now that they saw Ningf set up a pot of water, they became even more curious. The bamboo shoots stir-fried with meat was emitting steam. Ningf picked up a piece of bamboo shoot and put it in his mouth. He only felt that it was smooth and delicious, which made him especially hungry. Ningf was eating the bamboo shoots stir-fried with meat. Not long after, the water in the pot was also emitting steam. Seeing this, Ningf hurriedly cut up all the mushrooms that he had picked today. After washing them clean, he put them all into the pot. At the same time, there were still a few pieces of ribs left from the wild boar meat, which he also put in. Wild mushroom pork ribs soup is the real delicacy of the world. The fresh air of mushrooms and the meat and oil will blend perfectly together. You can see that there are some colorful meat and oil around the mushrooms, which are brought by the pork. Then, scallions, message, chili, cumin, and Ningf took out several condiments from the condiment box and added them one after another. If the stir-fried meat with bamboo shoots just now only made people feel a little appetites, then this pot of wild mushroom pork ribs soup really aroused people's appetite. It made people salivate after looking at it. In that pot of soup, the ingredients were all valuable wild mushrooms. Smoke rose from the kitchen, and steam rose up. Ningf was at the side like a poet who lived in seclusion in the mountains in ancient times. After a long time, Ningf saw that the mushroom pork ribs soup was almost done, so he brought the whole pot down. After it was cold for a while, he ate the pork ribs and drank the mushroom soup. Awesome! After drinking a mouthful of the hot soup, his whole body became warm, and Ningf could not help but say this. When the netizens heard this, they wanted to crawl into the screen and snatch the mushroom soup from Ningf's hands. Dot. The next day, Ningf packed his luggage again and set off. This time, his goal was the tallest mountain. Chapter 61 Have you offended the monkey mountain? Daoist. Where do you think you're going? This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf walked to the foot of the mountain and looked for a suitable path to climb. The vegetation on the mountain had always been complicated. For example, on the sunny side, the trees were very dense. Basically, one tree was next to another. If one wanted to climb up the mountain from such a place, one had to use a machete to carve out a blood path bit by bit. This kind of climbing method consumed a lot of energy. Even if Huang Bo cut from the southern heavenly gate to the eastern road of Penglai, he might not be so tired. Ningf started to walk around the foot of the mountain to find a suitable climbing path. This would also take some time. The foot of the mountain was very big. One might not even be able to go around it once in a day. However, the scenery at the foot of the mountain was also very beautiful. Ningf was also enjoying it. When they reached the part near the ridge, Ningf looked up and saw that there were obviously fewer trees. There were a lot of huge rocks exposed on the high side of the mountain and it looked very suitable for climbing. Dear viewers, this is the route I chose to climb this time. There are fewer trees here. Although there are some steep places, it's not a big deal. Try to climb up today. Set up a tent on the top and rest well. Tomorrow, we'll use a day to climb to the top. At this moment, it was almost one o'clock in the afternoon. Ningf had been circling around the foot of the mountain to find a suitable path. It had to be said that his physical strength was indeed very good. He walked for more than five hours with a luggage weighing 20-30 jin on his back. He still looked energetic. Ningf did not rest and began to climb the mountain directly. The netizens were all impressed by Ningf's endurance at this time. It's already been five hours, but Abby D. Ning still doesn't feel tired. This sentence sounds a bit ambiguous. I admire his endurance. After all, 
he is a martial arts practitioner. Isn't this too fierce? Is it made of iron? Ningf walked up the side of the mountain ridge. The distance between the trees on this mountain road was very large. There were many weeds in the middle, so his speed was not slow. Everyone, look, there are mountain grapes here. The taste of this grape is slightly bitter and a little astringent but it is still delicious. That forest over there is full of mountain apricot trees. The taste is also very good. Look here. This thing is called mobberies. It is sour and sweet. It is very delicious. The one in front should be a hazelnut fruit. There seem to be a few other kinds of wild fruits. I can't see them clearly. There are obviously more fruit trees on this mountain. Ningf walked all the way and actually found many wild fruits. He picked many to satisfy his hunger but he also felt that they were very sweet and delicious. After walking for another afternoon, he was almost halfway up the mountain. Ning found a suitable place to set up his tent and finally stopped to rest. Ning looked up and saw that the mountain was still very high. Ning estimated that from his position to the top of the mountain, it was about 1,500 meters high. I should be able to reach the top of the mountain in one day tomorrow. That is the highest mountain in this area. There will definitely be something different. Ningf wiped the sweat off his head, full of pride. Of course, at this time, he still did not know what he was going to face. That night, he went to find a small river to take a shower. He made an appointment with the netizens for the next day's live broadcast and fell asleep. Dot. The next day, at 8 o'clock in the morning, Ningf changed into another clean windbreaker. The weather was hot now, so he basically washed his clothes in the river and left them outside the tent for an afternoon to dry. He wore hiking shoes and a cool hat, with a machete, Swiss army knife, ignition stick, climbing rope, and so on. He officially began to climb the mountain. This time, he traveled light, so his speed was obviously much faster and his body also became somewhat agile. The popularity of the live broadcast room gradually increased. In such deep mountains and forests, there must be many wonderful places. The road was a little difficult to walk, but Ningf's body was light and agile, making him look relaxed and at ease. At this moment, Ningf suddenly saw a stone-like object hurtling towards him from the right. Ningf was shocked but he quickly reacted and dodged the stone's attack. What was going on? A hint of confusion flashed across Ningf's brows. The netizens were also stunned. They saw the pebble flying towards them, but they did not expect Ningf's body to be so agile and able to react in such a short amount of time. Ningf looked in the direction of the pebble and saw a little monkey with golden fur squatting on a tree not far away. So it's a golden monkey. Ningf was relieved. The golden monkey was an endangered species, a national first class protected animal, on the same level as the giant panda. Abidin Ning has met the golden monkey again. This monkey even knows how to hit people with pebbles. The golden monkey is supposed to be docile. Why would it attack humans? Maybe it's a little monkey. It's a bit naughty. Ningf continued to climb the mountain, but the golden monkey was moving rapidly among the trees seemingly following him closely. It even threw down wild fruits and pine nuts from time to time. Ningf glanced at the golden monkey and suddenly had a bad premonition. This isn't a monkey mountain, right? As soon as Ningf finished speaking, he looked up and saw more and more monkey shadows swaying in the dense forest. If one looked carefully, they were all golden monkeys. At this moment, seeing so many level 1 protected animals jumping up and down, Ningf didn't know whether to be happy or distressed. It seemed that he was the target of these golden monkeys. Dear viewers, I didn't expect this road to pass through the territory of the golden monkeys. Monkeys also have a strong sense of territory. There are no tigers in the mountains. This is the reason why monkeys call themselves kings. If there are no beasts that can scare the monkeys, they will often rule over a large area. This is actually a monkey mountain. Hearing Ningf's explanation. The netizens found it particularly interesting. A golden monkey that was rarely seen on normal days was unexpectedly everywhere in Ningf's live stream room. Ha ha ha, does this scene look like the scene of Planet Tai by coming to Huaga Mountain to persuade Sun Wukong to surrender? That's right, this is not a monkey mountain, this is simply a Huaga Mountain. Don't tell me, it really smells like that? They're all monkey soldiers from the Flower and Fruit Mountain. Abidine. 
run quickly, or you'll be captured by these demonic monkeys and sent to the water curtain cave. The netizens were already very excited when they saw the golden monkey. With the explanation of the netizens, they were immediately excited. The golden monkey could be considered the most handsome monkey. It was covered in golden fur and looked very agile. However, something unexpected happened next. A monkey picked a wild fruit from a wild fruit tree and threw it at Ninf. Not long after, the other golden monkeys followed suit. Damn it, trap your monkey. Seeing this, Ninf quickly ran away. He sped up and ran wildly in the forest. Behind him, in the forest, a group of monkeys ran around and danced on the branches. This scene made the netizens in the live broadcast room extremely happy. Ha ha ha, Abby Dean, where are you running to? Stop right there, you stinky Taoist priest, how dare you invade my Kishin Great Sage's territory. Little ones, charge. This is the first time I've seen Abby Dean Ning like this, I'm so happy. Ha ha ha, the well-known streamer is being chased by a group of golden monkeys. It's trending. Golden monkeys were not carnivores and were not aggressive, so Ningf was not in any real danger. However, throwing wild fruits was indeed a bit despicable, so Ningf could only dodge. The atmosphere in the live broadcast room was very happy. Jiangs had just drunk a bowl of swallow's nest and lotus seed soup. Looking at Ningf in the live broadcast, she was laughing so hard that her flowers were shaking and she felt exceptionally happy. In Huan Kai Fashion's CEO's office, after Su Ying saw Ningf's appearance, a trace of a smile appeared on her cold and elegant face. If her subordinates saw this, their jaws would definitely drop in shock. At this moment, Ningf let the little falcon fly into the air and told the little falcon not to come down, because golden monkeys usually eat bamboo shoots, tree bark, wild fruits, and other plants. They also eat insects eggs, and birds. Ningf was worried that the little falcon would be killed by the monkeys. Being chased by a group of first-class protected animals, only Ningf for this kind of treatment. However, Ningf turned around to look at the group of monkeys on the tree, but there was no trace of panic in his eyes. It's just a group of monkeys. As he said this, Ningf actually increased his speed. His current physical fitness was already very strong. With this kind of acceleration, not to mention the monkeys, even the netizens were shocked. For example, while Ningf was sprinting, there was a thicket in front of him. Ningf exerted force with his feet, and with a turn in the air, he flipped over. That posture was actually like Parker. He ran like a tiger, and his movements were extremely agile. The drone was filming from high up in the air, and the netizens could only see a figure running madly. Oh my god. The netizens were stunned with their mouths wide open. They did not know what to say for a moment. Chapter 62 The Scenery at the Top of the Mountain This chapter is updated by Novels.pl Ningf ran wildly for a while. When he turned around, he could no longer see the group of golden monkeys. In front of him, his line of sight suddenly widened as he passed through the dense forest. In front of him was a huge rocky area. The little falcon flew back to Ningf's shoulder and chirped a few times. It seemed that it was also worried about what had happened just now. Ningf took a few deep breaths and adjusted his breathing before walking up the mountain again. At this moment, the netizens were all stunned. What had happened just now? Under the camera lens of the drone. The netizens could only see Ningf's figure through the gaps between the leaves. He was like a cheetah, shuttling through the dense forest. Is this King Gong? The host's physique is different from ordinary people. I was shocked just now. What a fast speed. The netizens exclaimed one after another. At this time, some netizens also noticed the place where Ningf was. There were many huge rocks exposed outside. These rocks had flat surfaces and were arranged in an irregular manner. Why are there so many huge rocks on the mountain? Someone asked doubtfully. Ningf squatted down and touched the rocks under his feet. He muttered. These rocks look old. It should be because of the movement of the Earth's crust that they were pushed from underground to here. Upon hearing Ningf's words, Many netizens were very surprised and retorted. Underground? This mountain is at least two to three thousand meters high. How could it be pushed up? Yeah, that's too exaggerated. It must have formed slowly at the top of the mountain. I know that. The rocks on the mountain will grow. That's why they became so big. Ningf saw these bullet messages and calmly explained. 
the movement of the Earth's crust is pressing against each other to form a high mountain. It's normal for the rocks underground to be pushed up. Scientists have once discovered the fossilized remains of marine creatures on a high mountain thousands of meters high. In other words, that high mountain used to be the ocean. These giant rocks are only exposed on the surface, but the actual parts are inside the mountain, all under my feet. We have no idea how big they are. Perhaps, a giant rock directly leads to the foot of the mountain. Nature is really full of magic. As he spoke, Ningf passed through the giant rock formation and continued to move forward. The netizens were immersed in the magical world that Ningf described. If every exposed giant rock had a giant rock that was over a thousand meters tall, dot, that would be too incredible. As expected, what Ningf showed them was a mystical world. Ningf continued to advance. The rocky road was obviously much easier to walk on. After walking for a while, there was no more road ahead. Instead, there was a steep cliff. Ningf stood at the bottom of the cliff and looked up. The height of the cliff was about 60 meters and the angle was close to 90 degrees. However, it could be seen that there was a certain incline. Phew, free solo again. Ningf began to move his body. Many netizens did not understand what Ningf said. Fortunately, since ancient times, the netizens had produced talents. A person who knew the ropes explained. I am the captain of the rock climbing youth training team. Let me explain. The so-called free solo refers to unprotected rock climbing. This is a very popular extreme sport overseas. Unprotected rock climbing sounds crazy, but in fact, such rock climbers are often rational, free-spirited, and calm rock climbers. This netizen had a string of credentials that indicated that he was the current captain of the Chinese rock climbing youth training team. After listening to his words, the netizens came to a sudden realization. So that was the case. Dear viewers, I'm going to do a section of unprotected rock climbing. I hope that everyone understands that the prerequisite for unprotected rock climbing is good rock climbing ability and strong physical fitness. Otherwise, I don't recommend that everyone do unprotected rock climbing. This year's Oscar Best documentary is about free hand rock climbing. If you're interested, you can go there and watch it. You're all true gods, Ningf said to the audience in the live broadcast room. Then, he climbed up the rock. Ningf's physical fitness was very strong now, and the difficulty of climbing this cliff was not high. So, Ningf also climbed up easily. When he climbed over the cliff, he finally saw the top of the mountain. The top of the mountain looked a little bare, looking a little desolate. He was about one kilometer away from the top of the mountain. The top of the mountain was a rugged mountain rock. The amount of vegetation was relatively sparse, and there was not even a single tree. So this is the top of the mountain. There doesn't seem to be anything. The netizens could not help but feel a little disappointed when they saw the full view of the top of the mountain. The most important thing to climb a mountain is to enjoy the process. The result is not important. You can see the mountains from the top of the mountain and have the feeling of being able to climb to the top. Ningf walked up the mountain, and the last part of the journey seemed much easier. However, at this moment, Ningf suddenly heard a strange sound. Boom, boom. Strange? A trace of doubt flashed across Ningf's face. It seems to be the sound of a waterfall. They were at the top of the mountain, and there were only various kinds of mountain rocks. How could there be a waterfall? Abidin Ning, did you hear wrong? What waterfall? Where did the waterfall come from? But I think I heard the sound of a waterfall too. It should be the sound of the wind. The wind is strong on the mountain. It's normal to hear such a sound. The netizens questioned. Ningf did not pay attention to these things. He just kept walking forward in search of the sound. Listen carefully. The rumbling sounds are dull and continuous. It must be the sound of water hitting the pool and rocks. Ningf continued. Moreover, there seems to be some echoes. The netizens still did not find anything unusual. Many people said with puzzled faces, Abidin Ning, are you hallucinating? What is the streamer doing? There seems to be a problem. Ningf continued to search. The closer he got, the stronger the rumbling sound became. I think I heard it too. It's real. It's the sound of a waterfall. This is unbelievable. The top of the mountain is bare. How can there be such a sound? At this moment, many netizens realized that what Ningf said was true. 
There really was the sound of a waterfall. Ninth continued to search. He lay on the ground and listened to the sound of the waterfall through the rocks. The sound traveled much faster in solid than in gas, so Ninth could hear it more clearly. It's in that direction. Ninth's expression changed slightly, and he immediately walked forward. He was very curious. The water on the mountain came from the top of the mountain, but this was the top of the mountain. If there really was a waterfall, then where was the source of the waterfall? Was there really such a strange thing in nature? At this moment, Ning finally found the place where the sound came from. It was a dark cave, right in the middle of a mountain rock. However, the mountain rock was facing away from Ning just now, so he couldn't see the location of the cave. Ning jumped down from the mountain rock and landed at the entrance of the cave. The sound of the waterfall was getting clearer and clearer. Ning felt a wave of moist air blowing against his face. It's the first time I've encountered such a thing in the waterfall in the cave. This is indeed beyond my expectations. Ning's eyes were filled with surprise. This was what he liked and pursued. The unique scenery, the precious animals the beautiful natural scenery. Dot. Oh my god, Abby D. Ning has encountered such a thing. I've really opened my eyes. This cave looks so dangerous. Yeah, there might be some wild beasts in such a big cave. Abby D. Ning, are you really going to go in? Ning looked at the entrance of the cave. It was very big, almost as tall as two people. It was pitch black inside, so he could not see what it looked like. Ningf took out a flashlight and held the Swiss Army knife. He said in high spirits, Since I'm here, of course I'll go in and have a look. Chapter 63, Stalactite Cave. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. When Ningf decided to explore the cave, the audience in the live broadcast room felt their hearts suddenly stop beating. Just looking at the pitch black entrance of the cave from the live broadcast, it gave people a terrifying pressure. Abby Dean Ning, why don't you not go? Curiosity killed the cat. That's how those cannon fodders in horror movies die. If you don't seek death, you won't die. I feel scared even looking at it through the screen, but Abby Dean Ning was there. You can imagine how much pressure he was under. When you stare at the abyss, the abyss is also staring at you. The netizens said with concern. Of course. A large number of people were eager for Ningf to go down as soon as possible. After all, it was exciting to explore the unknown world. Little Falcon, wait for me outside. Ningf said to Little Falcon, then took the flashlight and entered the cave. The cave was very big. The drone hovered behind Ningf, broadcasting Ningf's scene live. This scene was very similar to a horror movie and it was a first-person horror movie. A person was holding a flashlight, only the place illuminated by the flashlight could see clearly what was there, and the rest was darkness. There are no animal feces or bones on the outside of the cave or on the path of the cave. This means that the possibility of large wild animals in the cave is not high. Ningf walked very slowly at first. He paid special attention to the situation on the ground of the cave. There were only a few moss and gravel on the ground. There were no traces of other animals. The entire cave is going down and the slope is very steep. I'm going down rapidly. The temperature is dropping rapidly. The humidity in the air is getting higher and higher. Ningf looked at his watch. The humidity value on his watch was constantly increasing. Just like that, Ningf walked all the way down. He had already walked very, very deep. Logically speaking, there should have been no signal in the cave a long time ago. However, for some reason, the drone's live broadcast did not stop. The drone was still following closely behind Ningf. Suddenly, Ningf saw that there was a bit of empty space in front of him. When he carefully walked out and clearly saw the scene below, his expression was filled with shock. Not only him, the audience in the live broadcast room also had their mouths agape at this moment. Their faces were filled with disbelief. This is a natural stalactite cave. It's actually a stalactite cave. Where Ningf's flashlight shone, Rows of oddly shaped stalactites were arranged messily above the cave, looking very strange. The world inside the mountain was more like a foreign world. Looking at it, this world was entirely made of grey stalactites. It was purer and also more bizarre. 
Dear viewers, I didn't expect there to be a natural stalactite cave here. You must know that the formation of a stalactite usually takes tens of thousands of years. Ningf was amazed. The netizens were also stunned by the scene in front of them. Nature was indeed full of magic. In the stalactite cave, the sound of the waterfall was getting louder and louder. Ningf carefully walked down and saw an even more shocking scene. Below the stalactite cave, there was a small waterfall that was constantly hitting the rock wall on one side. When the flashlight shone down, one could see a huge pool of water about 10 meters below. Oh my god! The waterfall in the stalactite cave. There really is a waterfall and water flow? How is this possible? Abby Dean Ning's live broadcast room is really a pleasant surprise. The netizens felt that their understanding had been challenged. Ning looked at the pool below and was also amazed. It should be the surface water of the mountain. Before the water was connected to the mountain, the Kin Mountain village dug wells to draw water from places with high surface water content. The surface water resources on the mountain are also very rich. I don't know why the water in the mountain has permeated to this place and formed a small waterfall. What's that? At this moment, Ningf's flashlight shone down and his expression suddenly changed. What's the situation? The netizens were very curious when they saw the spot where the flashlight shone. They saw that there were some yellow and white things in the spot where Ningf's flashlight shone. These things were very similar to stalactites, but they were completely different from the materials of stalactites. It's stalactites. It's natural stalactites. At this moment, in the live broadcast room, Herb Merchant, spoke. Natural stalactites, what is that? Ning recognized the stalactites at this moment and said happily, Dear viewers, I think I found some natural stalactites. From the looks of it, they should belong to yin yin or stone flower varieties. Yin yin and stone flower were the scientific names of stalactite in traditional Chinese medicine. They had high medicinal value. There are many effects of stalactite. It can nourish the lungs, stop coughing and relieve asthma. But the most important effect is to strengthen the yang. For example, leeks are called yang strengthening grass, also known as grass stalactite. That's the reason. Ningf explained to the netizens again. He was very surprised. He did not expect to encounter such a natural treasure like stalactite in this place. Ha ha, so it's an aphrodisiac. I have a friend who wants to ask. How much is the stalactite? What a coincidence. I also have a friend who wants to ask. This is the first time I've heard that stalactite is a type of medicinal herb. I've learned a lot. There's actually such a thing. This place is really too mysterious. Is there any big shot who can explain how much these stalactites are worth? At this moment, medicinal herb merchant, spoke up. Medicinal herb merchant, natural stalactites. If it's really yin yin yin, it's priceless. That little bit might cost around 100,000 yuan. What? 100,000 yuan. Is stalactite that expensive? Really? It must be a lie. Old medicine doesn't usually lie. It has a lot of credibility. Looks like it's true. This streamer has made a fortune again. He can even find natural stalactite while climbing a mountain. He's really lucky. The net is in size widened, and they were all extremely jealous. That's not yin yin. At this moment, Another big shot posted a bullet screen. It was, young master Jiang. The netizens all knew that Jiang Feng was a member of the Hanging Kettle Clinic. He was from an aristocratic family of traditional Chinese medicine, so he definitely understood medicinal herbs very well. If, young master Jiang, said no, then this natural stalactite was naturally not yin yin. Ha ha ha, young master Jiang came out personally to refute the rumors. You gave me a scare. I told you that such a little thing could be so expensive. Streamer, you're getting excited for nothing. However, Jiang Feng's next sentence was, that's not yin yin, that's sun gong yin, a type of stalactite that has been formed for a longer time and has more stringent conditions. The Sun Gong Yin discovered by Abby Dean Ning seems to be around 3 tals. The total value depends on the quality. If it's purely natural and has been around for thousands of years, the total value is around 300,000. Hearing Jiang Feng's words, the netizens were all dumbfounded. Holy shit, that's it? 300,000, really? However, the other party was the young master of the Hanging Kettle Clinic. In terms of understanding of traditional Chinese medicine, 
perhaps no one in China could compare to the hanging kettle clinic. In this way, Ningf was really profiting. At this time, Ningf had already started to walk down. The surface of the stalactite was very slippery. He also carefully came down and took out a cloth bag, using a knife to pick off the stalactite bit by bit. The stalactite was not a liquid. When used medicinally, it would be ground into powder. The effect was very good. Ningf cut down the stalactite piece by piece. There was not much stalactite, so Ningf finished picking it in a few moments. The stalactite cave was very dark. Ningf looked down. The pool below seemed to be much deeper than he had imagined. Previously, he did not think it was very deep from the top because of the visual effect. What a magical place. The people from the Geological Bureau should come over in the future. I hope they can explore this place properly. The stalactite cave was very dark. There was not a single ray of light in this place. Only the strong flashlight in Ningf's hand lit up a light pillar. In the view of the netizens, Ningf seemed to be swallowed by the darkness, trapped in a pitch black darkness. Ningf stared at the pool, feeling his body getting colder and colder, and planned to leave. However, at this moment, a black shadow flashed past the light of the flashlight. At this moment, everyone's faces were filled with shock. Chapter 64, Became the Blessing Koi. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ah, many netizens could not help but scream. It was too scary. In the pitch black stalactite cave, a black shadow suddenly flew past the flashlight. This sudden excitement made many netizens break out in cold sweat. What is that? What happened just now? Fook. I was so scared that I threw away my cup. There are other creatures in this place. Can someone explain? Ningf was also shocked when the black shadow passed by, but he was very calm. He immediately used his flashlight to find the location of the black shadow, trying to see what it was. But the black shadow flashed past. He couldn't see it anymore. Strange, stalactite caves are generally a relatively closed environment. There is no light and they lack the energy that large creatures need to survive, so large animals don't usually exist. The only possible ones are rats, bats, and salamanders. They don't need to get biological energy from here. However, there's a pond under the stalactite cave, and it's running water. It's very likely that there are other creatures. Ningf listened carefully to the voices around him, and at the same time, he walked out carefully. Abby Dean Ning, let's go. This place is too weird. Yeah, I'm so scared right now. It's like playing with your phone at night and having a palm-sized bug fly onto your face. The netizens were all terrified. At this moment, Ningf suddenly felt a chill run down his spine. He felt as if he was being targeted by something. Ningf reacted and looked up. He saw more than ten pairs of green eyes blinking on the stalactite wall. Dot. The drone's camera could rotate up and down at 360 degrees. At this moment, the camera also turned up to take pictures of the top of the stalactite cave. When the netizens saw those eyes, they could not help but stand up from their chairs. Fook. Ning fused his flashlight to shine at one of the eyes. He could see that it was a gecko-like creature that was attached to the stalactite. When the flashlight shone on it, it fled as if it was flying. This creature was afraid of light. Does anyone know what that is? Could there be such a creature in the stalactite cave? It shouldn't be because of the stalactite cave, but the pond. In such a dark environment, there will be some blind fish living in the pond, just like deep sea fish. This kind of fish can provide biological energy for other animals to survive. That animal seems to be a type of lizard. It's too amazing. After Ningf saw the creature clearly. He continued to walk up. There were a total of 1.5 million kinds of animals in nature, and any animal could exist. Ningf was not very interested in these kinds of creatures. Moreover, he felt that it was getting colder and colder, so he headed back to the original path and left the cave. After coming out of the cave, Ningf felt that the temperature of his body gradually returned to normal. The temperature in the stalactite cave was very low, and the lower he went. The more obvious the feeling was. As soon as he came out, Ningf's expression changed again. At the end of the mountains, in the endless horizon, there was a red sunset that dyed the sky red. It was the sunset. It's already dusk, Ningf muttered as he looked at the sunset. In fact, he had walked down the cave for a long time, but because his attention was focused on his surroundings, he did not notice the passage of time. 
At this moment, the netizens also saw the sunset. It's so beautiful. Many people climb the mountain to see the sunrise. I found that the sunset on the mountain is also very spectacular. Yes, the entire cloud has been dyed red. From this angle, it looks like the clouds are burning. The magical landscape of nature. Thank you, Abby Dean Ning, for allowing me to see such a beautiful natural scenery. Bless my family. I hope that this year will be more and more successful for me. I hope that the heavens will treat me better this year. Bless. I'll be able to get into the civil service this year. I hope that I can get into the ideal university in this year's college entrance exam. I hope that Liu Ting Ting can be happy every day. I hope that my roommates can get into the golden class soon. Dot. After seeing the auspicious clouds, many people actually started to pray for blessings. Ningth's live stream instantly became a wishing room. More and more people started to send bullet screens in Ningth's live stream. At this time, Ningth also felt very good. No wonder the ancients could write such heroic poems as the hand can pluck the stars, the water of the yellow river comes from the sky, and raising a cup to invite the bright moon, because at a special moment, the magnificent natural scenery would make people feel a different mood. For example, right now, the light of the setting sun sprinkled on Ningf's body, causing his body to be covered with a layer of faint golden color. Ningf placed the cloth bag, Swiss knife, flashlight, and fire stick that contained the stalactite on the ground, causing his body to be completely empty. Then, he took the horse stance and formed his hands into palms actually making a starting gesture. Chinese martial arts, Taikai. Taikai used martial arts to practice the Tao. It emphasized on following the heavenly Tao and using force. True Taikai was a combination of hardness and softness. When it should be slow, it should be slow. When it should be fast, it should not only be fast, but it should also have explosive power. Many fake masters above compared Taikai to Kai Gong. With a light push with both hands the opponent would fly a few meters away. It was all nonsense. At this moment, the Tai Kai that Ningf was practicing was different from the Tai Kai that the old man in the park had used to strengthen his body. His movements were very fast and looked even more explosive. The camera of the drone zoomed out and zoomed out. The mountains spread, and the sun was setting. On the mountain peak, a Taoist priest was immersed in his moves. His movements were sometimes calm and steady sometimes domineering and fierce. Every pose was both standard and full of beauty, it made people feel particularly comfortable. This scene was indescribable. The netizens could clearly feel the mood that made people feel calm and fascinated. More and more netizens began to send bullet messages to pray for blessings. Many netizens didn't like to send bullet messages when watching live broadcasts. However, when they saw so many words to pray for blessings in such a pleasant live broadcast, they couldn't help but send blessings to their families. At this moment, Wang Hai, who was in charge of the technical department, saw a large amount of data suddenly surge into a live broadcast room, causing the live broadcast room's line to be full and the live broadcast room to freeze. What's going on? Such a large amount of data flow? Wang Hai was dumbstruck. He immediately checked and realized that it was Ningf's live broadcast room. The bullet screen retention rate had actually soared to more than 70%. One had to know that in normal live streams, only about 10% to 20% of the audience would speak. At most, when it was a famous scene, the comment rate could reach over 30%. Now, Ningf's live stream room had actually reached 70%. Damn. Is it that fierce? Hurry up and increase the bandwidth. Give him some more lines. Wang Hai immediately started operating and gave all the backup lines to Ningf. Only then did he manage to withstand the huge amount of bullet screens from the netizens. At this moment, Wang Hai was also very curious, so he clicked into Ningf's live broadcast room to take a look. The first thing was naturally the densely packed bullet comments, which almost covered the entire screen. Wang Hai blocked the bullet comments so that he could clearly see the specific content of the live broadcast room. Mountains, sunset, red clouds, martial arts. This scene was so beautiful that it was as if it was made out of special effects. DMN. The live broadcast room can even see this kind of scene. This has already reached the level of a movie production. 
Wang Hai exclaimed, one had to know that outdoor streamers usually broadcasted the situation in real life. The scenery of the countryside often looked a little shabby and would not be so grand. But now, Ningf was fine. The endless mountains formed a green ocean. He was practicing Tai Kai on the peak of the tallest mountain. This style was on a completely different level. Looking at the beautiful scene in the live broadcast room, Wang Hai could not help but send a bullet comment. I hope that I can make a fortune this year and become rich overnight. His bullet comment was mixed with countless bullet comments that prayed for blessings. It floated past Ningf's live broadcast room, chapter 65, The Injured White Fox. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. After a round of Tai Chi, Ningf sat on the peak of the mountain and quietly watched the setting sun in the distance. The little falcon landed on his shoulder. He did not want to do anything. He just wanted to enjoy the beautiful scenery of nature. The scenery was different from different heights. For example, now that the mountains were in sight, the setting sun looked even more spectacular. Ningf was born and raised in the secular world, so he could not avoid the smoke and dust, but he still yearned for such a leisurely life. The little falcon looked at him from the side and occasionally looked at the sunset in the distance. It did not understand why Ningf would have such a feeling. Abby Dean Ning, you look really comfortable. Yes, I've walked for so long on the mountain road just for this moment. I admire and admire this kind of casualness. Everyone makes different choices. Some people prefer the life in the city. That's right. I like watching others do this on the live broadcast. I really can't do it. After all, there are not many people who are as free and easy as Abby Dean Ning. After a long time, Ning felt that it was about time. If he did not go down the mountain, it would be very difficult to walk when the sky was completely dark. It was easy to go up the mountain, but difficult to go down the mountain. This meant that it was very easy to slip and cause danger during the process of going down the mountain. I'm comfortable now. Let's go down the mountain. Ningf stood up and patted the dust off his body. He picked up the backpack on the ground, put on a cool hat, and put on his trousers. He tidied up his luggage again and walked down the mountain. At that cliff. Ning fixed the climbing rope on top of it and climbed down along the rope. The little falcon had been on Ning's shoulder at that moment and did not fly anymore. Although falcons were the kings of the sky, their eyesight was very poor at night and they did not have the ability to see at night. Therefore, very few falcons would come out in the completely dark night. The night was the owl's world. One should not underestimate the owl. The owl looked very silly. At night, it would rely on its eyesight to hunt other birds' kicks, including falcons. There was a short video where mother falcons took care of two chicks in the nest. The owl went in unscrupulously and took one of the chicks away. Mother falcons could only scream helplessly because she couldn't see anything. Ningf came to the forest that was occupied by the golden monkey. After sunset, the golden monkey had almost rested. So Ningf walked in the dense forest without too much interference. The night was getting deeper and deeper. The night in the wilderness was completely different from the night in the city. Perhaps it was because the street lights, car lights, and building lights were all lit up at night, lighting up the entire city. People had already forgotten that darkness was the original color of the night. For example, now, when the sun completely set, the forest was pitch black. The netizens saw that the live broadcast room had quickly darkened. Super tube, can you turn on the lights? It's so dark in the forest. It looks a little scary. I keep feeling like something is about to jump out. High energy ahead. Be careful, streamer. The netizens reminded him with concern. However, Ningf was not too worried. In a place ruled by a monkey, there were usually no large birds of prey. There were even fewer snakes. After all, there could only be one ruler on the tree. However, just as Ningf was about to walk out of the dense forest, he suddenly heard a strange sound. Wah! The sound was very low, but it was very obvious. Ningf immediately stopped in his tracks. Then, the sound rang out again. Wah! This sound seemed to be whispering, but also seemed to be crying. It sounded a little sad and no one knew what animal it was from. What's that sound? The netizens were also shocked. Such a dark environment. It's a little scary. It can't be a monster, right? Why do I feel a chill on my body? It's so scary. Many netizens became nervous. They could only feel adrenaline surging in their bodies. Ningf turned on the flashlight, 
the reason why he didn't turn it on before was that he could still see the road clearly in the light. On the other hand, once he turned on the flashlight in the forest, countless moths would rush over. Ningf didn't like this feeling. Ningf looked towards the source of the sound. The source of the sound was right in front of him. This is looking at the situation in front of him. Ningf's face was filled with shock. In front of him was a white fox, a very small white fox. The white fox was curled up as if it was bowing to Ningf. It lay on the ground and screamed at Ningf. When the light shone on it, the white fox narrowed its eyes and looked very pitiful. The netizens were already in an uproar. Holy shit, white fox. We met a little white fox in the middle of the night. Don't tell me. It's a demon. Stop talking. You scared me so much that I almost peed. Really? That's so weird. I'm really afraid that the white fox will suddenly stand up and call out, Jiang Zia. 66666. We have a scene. The netizens' curiosity was piqued. They wanted to know what would happen next. When Ningf saw the white fox, he took two steps forward and half squatted down. The white fox did not seem to be afraid of him. Instead, it looked at him and called out softly a few more times. There seemed to be some grievance in its voice. The drone also flew down and gave a close-up of Ningf and the white fox. Dear viewers, this is not a white fox. White foxes usually grow on the ice plains of the Arctic Ocean. They like to nest in the hills and eat Arctic rabbits, fish, birds, etc. They also follow polar bears to pick up leftovers. Its breed seems to be a red fox. Hearing Ningf's explanation, the netizens looked at each other in dismay. Red fox. This snow white fox is a red fox. Ningf continued. The most common fox in China is a red fox especially a wild fox. This fox should have been born not long ago. And it's injured. When Ningf got closer, he realized that this fox had obvious bite marks on its hind legs. It looked like a new injury, and its blood had not completely scabbed. Strange, the natural enemies of a fox are wolves, lynx, and birds of prey. Wolves and foxes are incompatible because they are competitors. Wolves will kill a fox when they see one but they will not eat a fox. There shouldn't be a lynx on this mountain, and this wound doesn't look like it was caused by a bird of prey. Why does it look like it was bitten by another fox? Ningf took a closer look. The fox was very obedient and allowed him to inspect it. It even called out softly, looking very dependent on Ningf. The little falcon was unhappy on its shoulder. It called out twice. Judging from its appearance, it is definitely a red fox. Why is its fur all white? It looks like it has mutated. Ningf muttered. Red foxes were usually white from the chest down to the stomach. The fur on its back and face was orange red, and its tail and face were slightly black. Such pure white ones were very rare. Just like tigers, there were also white mutated tigers. There were always differences and particularities among species. In addition, there was a saying that this fox was really good looking, especially when Ningf squinted his eyes, he looked extremely cute. There were many people on the bullet screen saying, I can understand why kings ignored the government, who can withstand this. Even if this is a monster, I will accept it. How cute. At this moment, Ningf was also excited to see the hunt. He extended his hand to the white fox and said gently, from now on, you can follow me. Under the moonlight, there was a faint light. In the depths of the dark forest, a flashlight illuminated the man and the fox. The priest extended his hand, and the white fox looked up at him. The scene froze, like a dream scene. Then, the white fox touched the priest's hand with her forehead and let out a satisfied cry. Chapter 66 Bid farewell to the South China Tiger. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf did not expect to find a little fox on his way down the mountain. This fox seemed to have a spirit. It had been waiting for him on the road for a long time. When it saw him appear, it would cry out for help and rely on him. This scene was just like how Bei Susan had thrown away an oil paper umbrella in order to meet Xixian. The netizens who liked to fantasize had already imagined a delicate and moving fox demon turning into an injured fox in order to get close to the kind-hearted Taoist priest. This feeling was beautiful. In the tent, Ningf was cleaning the wounds of the white fox. He had already put the drone into the tent. At this moment, he was using his phone to broadcast live. From now on, you will be called Little Fox, 
Ning said as he carefully cleaned the wounds. Little fox Ning. The little fox looked like it was only two to three months old. Ning had now confirmed that the little fox was a mutated red fox. If I'm not wrong, the little fox's wound should have been bitten by other foxes. From the marks. The fox that bit it should be a bigger fox. Ning let out a long sigh. He had already thought of a possibility. That was because the little fox was a mutated fox, so it was not doted on by its parents. Its parents even bit it, telling it to stay away. The fox was a very smart animal. Otherwise, it would not be closely related to the word cunning. The red fox was more aggressive. In addition, Animals in nature believed in survival of the fittest. Perhaps the little fox's parents thought that it was not a fox suitable for survival. Seeing Nymph's gentleness toward the little fox, the little falcon cried out in dissatisfaction. Nymph glanced at the little falcon and said, Little falcon, you two will be brothers from now on. You have to get along well. At this point, Ningf thought of something. He grabbed the two front legs of the little fox and lifted it up. He glanced at a certain part of the little fox and changed his words, I'm wrong. It's brother and sister. The little fox is two months old, and you're not even a month old. But I asked you to be the big brother, and it will be the little sister. He did not know if the little falcon understood. It just blinked. The little fox, on the other hand, called out in a low voice, as if it was agreeing. The netizens mercilessly ridiculed Ningf's actions just now. The child is old. Leave some privacy for the child. Foxes would eat birds and dig out their eggs, but birds of prey were the natural enemies of foxes. Large birds of prey such as falcons, eagles, and eagles also hunted foxes for food. In the eyes of these birds of prey, Foxes were just larger rabbits. It should be mentioned here that many people thought that foxes had a strong smell, but in reality, they were not. Foxes themselves did not have a strong smell, but the smell of their excrement was stronger. In the next few days, Ning taught little fox to go outside to use the toilet, and this problem was solved perfectly. The next day, Ningf tidied up his tent and walked out of the mountain with satisfaction. This trip was originally intended to climb to the top of the mountain to take a look at the mountains and admire the scenery along the way. He did not expect to encounter such wonders as the South China Tiger, Golden Monkeys, Stalactite Cave, and White Fox. He really earned a lot. On the way, Ningf carried his backpack and carried the little fox. The little falcon hovered above his head and continued to conquer the sky that belonged to it. In the evening, Ningf came to the foot of the mountain where the South China Tiger was. This place was very suitable for setting up tents, so he chose to set up his tent here when he came back. After setting up his tent, Ningf carried the little fox and shouted at the top of the mountain, Xiao Feng, Xiao Gao. He just wanted to give it a try. Some of the new viewers could not help but ask. What is this streamer doing? He's called Xiao Gao, don't you know? Xiao Gao, what's that? A little South China tiger. He ran into the wild to call for a South China tiger. You must be joking. Many netizens were questioning, but at this moment, a majestic roar came from afar. Roar. The roar came from afar, causing the netizens to be shocked when they heard it. Fook. The new netizens could not help but exclaim. After all, the tiger was the king of the mountain forest. Its roar naturally carried an air of dominance. Ningf was originally trying, but when he heard the roar, he immediately laughed. Sure enough, not long after, Puananu's family of three ran over. The little fox looked very scared and went straight into Ningf's arms. Little fox, don't be afraid. Ningf comforted it. Tigers never at foxes. Although it was a fairy tale for a fox to use the tiger's power, it also meant that the two could coexist. The meat of a fox was very sour. Unless the tiger was so hungry, it would not do anything to the fox. When Xiaogo saw the little fox, he was a little excited. He looked like he wanted to play with the little fox. Ningf held Xiaohu and started to stroke the tiger's head. The feeling of stroking the big cat made him feel good. I'm going back tomorrow. Ningf didn't care if the South China tiger understood him or not. He said to them softly. In Ningf's eyes, these animals were much easier to get along with than humans. The South China tiger rubbed its head gently against him as if it was saying goodbye. Ningf glanced at Xiaozu again. To be honest, he really wanted to take this little tiger away, but there was nothing he could do. The tiger was a level 1 protected animal, 
on the same level as the panda, it was illegal to raise it privately. Moreover, tigers had always been the king of the wild. If they were kept as cats, they would lose the aura of a king. What is the host doing? Abidin Ning will go back tomorrow. He should be saying goodbye to the South China tiger. It's so touching. Haven't you noticed that many animals are very close to Abidin Ning? It seems like there's some kind of buff. Maybe it's because Abidin Ning cultivates Taoism all year round and is close to nature. It can only be said that all things have a spirit. Many animals can sense the characteristics of humans. However, in today's society, there are very few people like that. What you said makes sense. For example, if someone feeds a pigeon, the pigeon will be especially close to that person. The netizens were discussing excitedly. At this moment, Ningth did not know that he had already made it onto the hot searches. Hash outdoor streamer transformed into a koi hash. This hot search quickly climbed to the top of the Weiber hot search list. It turned out that someone had edited out the video of Ningth practicing martial arts on the mountaintop and posted it on the internet. This person was an expert at making videos. He added a little effect to make the sunset glow even thicker, covering the entire sky and making it look red. Sometimes. Videos needed artistic refinement. With this, the live broadcast scene became even more cool. The red sun, the sunset glow that filled the sky, and the cool voice. It was even more majestic than the scene of a Chinese special effects movie. In addition to the bullet screen of the wishes, the netizens all treated Ningf as a koi and made wishes under his video. Chinese people like to make wishes and pray for blessings. This was a custom that had been passed down since ancient times. These wishes represented people's hopes for a better life, their pursuit of the future, and their hopes for the future. Therefore, the popularity of this trending article remained high, and people kept coming to make wishes. Ningf naturally did not expect this. What he did not expect was that the live broadcast room had inexplicably received many huge rewards. It turned out that many people liked some incense money when making wishes, and they thought that this kind of wish would work. For example, during the new year, many temples had first incense, which was the first incense stick. In order to compete for the first incense stick, each family spared no expense. In the smaller villages, the first incense stick cost about 88,888,888. In those places with large business provinces and merchants, in addition to the famous temples, the price of an incense stick could reach hundreds of thousands or even more than a million. After making a wish, many people would go to return the wish, which was also very particular. For example, someone in Ningf's live broadcast room made a wish that he would be single this year. If he was really single this year, that person would come back to Ningf's live broadcast room to return the wish. This could be considered an unexpected surprise. After Ningf bid farewell to Huan Anu, he packed his things the next day and headed towards Kinshan village. This outdoor adventure could be considered a fruitful one. He didn't know how the Taoist temple had been built after walking for so many days. Chapter 67, Anti-Counterfeiting? That's it. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. In the afternoon, Ning finally returned to the Taoist temple. The Taoist temple was still under construction, surrounded by bricks, cement, and other construction facilities. If the Taoist temple wanted to become better, it had to go through this transformation. The main building had already been built into a prototype, and the insulation layer had been completed. Starting from tomorrow, it would be waterproof. If water and electricity were connected, it would basically be ready to be renovated. Hello, Mr. Ning. I'm the project manager for Hei River Renovation. My name is Chen Hong. Director Liu has already handed over the matters here to me. Don't worry about the construction. There will definitely be no problems. After Chen Hong saw Ning, he immediately greeted him with a smile. Yes, okay. I'll come over tomorrow to take a look. Thank you for your hard work, Ningf said. It was already afternoon. Ningf was already very tired from climbing the mountain, so he planned to rest. He was staying at Grandma Wang's house for the time being. Grandma Wang's house also had a small bungalow. It had all the facilities and was very convenient. It was unknown where Ubab had run off to, probably because of the renovation. It would not be near King Fing Temple for the time being. When he arrived at Grandma Wang's house, 
the things he had bought online had already arrived. Grandma Wang was lying on the massage chair at this moment. Massaging for an hour every day was exceptionally satisfying. Woof woof, when little white saw Ning Fenter, it wagged its tail at him in a familiar manner. Little Fox looked at Little White and seemed to be a little scared. It went straight into Ningf's arms. Little White had obviously put on a lot of weight over the past few days. Ningf had ordered a lot of canned pets for it. Now, this fellow's food had also come up. It was worth mentioning that every time Ningf returned to Grandma Wang's house, he would turn off the live broadcast. He did not want the old man to appear in the camera so as to prevent the netizens from making random comments. During this period of time, Ningf also took the opportunity to take care of Grandma Wang's courtyard. Many places that could be changed were replaced with new ones. He had already studied acupuncture for seven days, and there were three days left before he could completely master it. However, the things he had learned during these seven days, dealing with some common diseases that could be cured by acupuncture, were no longer a big problem. The next day, early in the morning, Ningf got up early and turned on the live broadcast, heading straight for the Taoist temple. The workers had already started to get busy. It had to be said that Liu Hu really took care of the Taoist temple and hired a lot of workers. This way, the construction speed would be much faster. China's construction was already world famous. With reference to the Fire God Mountain Hospital, such a large hospital was completed in just 10 days. This was enough to show the speed of China's construction. At the same time, at the Heavenly Horse Union, Ningf's live stream popularity was getting higher and higher. He had completely crushed the few big streamers of the Heavenly Horse Union. The benefits of the live stream industry were huge. With such a big cake being split by Ningf, the people of the Heavenly Horse Union had long been angered. For this reason, the Heavenly Horse Union's public relations team also held a meeting to suppress Ningf. One had to know that the upper echelons of the live broadcast industry belonged to the lucrative industry. Heavenly Handsome Union had never thought that there would be a newcomer who could display such powerful dominance in such a short period of time. Ningf relied on his real and outstanding live broadcast to attract countless fans. Are you ready? Heavenly Handsome Union's manager, Lee He asks in a low voice over the phone. Yes, let's begin. Thus, a campaign to suppress Ningf was once again organized by them. Not long after, Weibo, Tiber, Duyin, Headlines, Browsers, and other places, a large number of anti-fake posts about Ningf appeared. Well-known streamer suspected to be faking to deceive netizens. I thought it was a natural wonder, but I didn't expect it to be a staged scene. A famous streamer actually did such a thing for the sake of popularity. The stalactite cave is fake. The koi fish is also fake. It's just a scene. These posts, soft articles, and short videos were all directed at Ningf. There was only one core, and that was that Ningf's so-called discovery of the natural wonder of the stalactite cave was actually a setup in advance, in order to accumulate popularity. Once these articles were published, the direction of public opinion changed in an instant. So it's fake. I knew it wasn't that easy to discover the stalactite cave. The internet celebrities nowadays are so hypocritical. I knew it was fake a long time ago. There's a waterfall in the stalactite cave. Even a movie wouldn't dare to shoot like this. There's something wrong with this streamer's character. Ha ha. He's been faked. It's so embarrassing. Fakes can't be faked anymore. Online live streaming is just for fun. People really believe it. Netizens were easily incited, especially when they were labeled as immoral. Countless netizens would stand on the moral high ground to criticize them. Many netizens saw phrases like in order to accumulate popularity, the stream faked finding a stalactite cave. They immediately felt a sense of justice in their hearts. One after another, they picked up their keyboards to criticize this kind of improper behavior. On the battle notes, there was a well-known internet celebrity called Ah Long Fights Against Fakes. Usually, he fought against fake marketing products. In fact, he was also directing and acting with those sellers. He either threatened the sellers, blackmailed them if they didn't pay, or cooperated with the sellers and used money to help promote. However, he had a very large number of fans, around 2 million. This time, Along was hired by the Tanjun Union and also posted a video to fight against the fake well-known streamer. Everyone, look carefully at the replay. 
is that stalactite cave pitch black, only the light from the flashlight can see it. Why doesn't this streamer dare to show the entire picture to the netizens? What is he afraid of? Our Long's words were illogical. Even if Ningf wanted to illuminate the stalactite cave, there weren't that many torches. However, the netizens felt that Ningf was hiding something. I suspect that the mountain is fake too. It must be a special effect. Other than our Long, there were also quite a few internet trolls talking about this matter on the battle cry. Moreover, the marketing accounts liked to take advantage of the hot spots. Many people who were not internet trolls saw that this matter was causing a commotion online and joined the criticism team to accumulate popularity. This matter was actually getting more and more heated. Ningf's fans were very angry. The stalactite cave was fake. Then the South China tiger was also fake. The live broadcast had climbed the mountain for so long, and the rock climbing was also fake. The live broadcast had never stopped, so how could it be fake? Anyone with a brain would not say these doubtful words. But facts proved that under the rhythm of the marketing account and the troll army, many people did not use their brains. They only used their keyboards. In an instant, countless netizens came to Ningf's live broadcast room and began to mock him. Is this that fake live streamer? I'm in love. Ha ha ha. He looks pretty good. Why would he do such a thing? Internet fraud. He's so unscrupulous for fame. Countless bullet comments flooded in, and the atmosphere in the live broadcast room instantly took a sharp turn for the worse. Of course, Ningf's fans were also trying their best to protect him. At this time, Ningf was still in the Taoist temple inspecting the project. The super manager, our duo, gave him a call. Hello, Abby Dean Ning. Oh no. There are a lot of posts on the internet that are trying to defame you. You must have been defame. Our duo sounded very concerned. Defame me? Defame me for what? Ning frowned. The internet said that the stalactite cave that you found on the live stream was fake and prepared in advance. There is no stalactite cave on the mountain. A lot of people are talking about you on the internet now. Fake? That's it? Ningf smiled helplessly. Our duo, Ningf and our duo's conversation was also live streamed in the live stream room. When they saw Ningf's reaction, many of the trolls who heard the news were also stunned. What kind of reaction was this streamer? He was so calm after being discovered to be faking it. It's fine. Don't worry. Thank you for your concern. After Ningf and our duo said that, they hung up the phone. Immediately, Ningf took a look at his phone. As expected. There were a lot of bullet screens that were slandering him. Ningf looked at the camera. He said calmly, regarding the discovery of the stalactite cave, the people from the Geological Bureau will definitely develop and study it, whether it's true or not, we'll just wait for the people from the Geological Bureau to announce it. What are you guys doing here? After hearing Ningf's words, many netizens reacted. That's right. If it really was a stalactite cave then the people from the Geological Bureau would definitely intervene. Ningf's words really didn't have any black marks. For a time, there were fewer haters. However, there were still some haters who were born to hate people. They still led the rhythm in the live broadcast room. For such people, the administrators of Ningf's live broadcast room mercilessly banned them. At this moment, not far away, Village Chief Qin Zheng led three people straight to the Taoist temple, followed by several reporters. Looking at their appearance, they all looked like local civil servants. They're here. When Ningf saw them, he suddenly laughed. Chapter 68, This Dog Was Amazing. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. Ningf, these three are the leaders of the Bureau of Geology and the Bureau of Forestry. They came here specially to look for you. Qin Zheng walked over and said politely to Ningf, the Bureau of Geology and the Bureau of Forestry, Hello, Mr. Ning. I'm from the Bureau of Geology of Qin City, my name is Zumu. I'm here mainly to thank you for your great contribution in discovering the stalactite cave. Zumu happily extended his hand and took the initiative to shake Ningf's hand. Now, Ningf was the mascot of the Geological Bureau. The discovery of the stalactite cave in the Kin Mountain Range was a rare piece of good news for the Geological Bureau. If the government wanted to develop it later, how much money would the Geological Bureau receive? Exclamation mark these civil servants all had their backs hardened. It's just a coincidence.
Ning shook hands with him and said politely, You're too kind. This is the funds specially requested from the province. It's a reward for your outstanding contribution. It's a total of 50,000 yuan. Don't think it's too little. Also, this certificate was specially issued by the province. Zemu hurriedly took out a sign that said 50,000 yuan reward and a certificate and handed it to Ningf. You need to confirm later. The financial department will transfer the money directly to your card. Thank you. Ningf took the reward and took a few photos with Zemu. When local civil servants worked, they would usually take photos to promote their work. At this moment, the netizens looked at each other when they saw the situation especially those anti-fans. They didn't know what to say. Ha ha ha, the people from the Geological Bureau came out personally to refute the rumors. Hey, are those haters still showing off? Go away, haters. Don't lead the rhythm in Abby Dean Ning's live broadcast room. It's true. The atmosphere in the live broadcast room was so good. Ningf's fans instantly felt proud and said happily. Some haters were not reconciled and said tentatively, what if the people from the Forestry Bureau are also fake? It could be seen from this that some haters were really brainless. Those who pretended to be government officials in the live broadcast would not do such a thing if they had received compulsory education. They would be going to jail. However, there were really people who believed these words. Yeah, if the stalactite cave is fake, isn't it normal to fake the award ceremony? It must be fake. However, before these haters could celebrate, they were slapped in the face by the speed of light. It's on the news. Everyone, quickly go and watch it on the news. It's the headlines of all the major news apps. A moderator posted many of these bullet messages in a row. When the netizens saw this, they immediately opened the news apps that they usually didn't use. As expected, the most eye-catching news was, a famous anchor discovered a wild stalactite cave. It might become a great miracle in the geological world. The other news headlines were similar. Clicking on it, one could see that the people from the Kin City Geological Bureau had already found the stalactite cave and were exploring it. There were also some reporters taking photos. The photos were only for the purpose of publishing news. The people from the Geological Bureau immediately protected the scene. They respected nature and only did it for the sake of research. They would not destroy it. At this point, it was already completely certain that the stalactite cave that Ningf had discovered was real. So many news apps, including the official confirmation from Kin City, later on, all the major newspapers, media, and even the local news channels broadcast this matter. Moreover, that night, this matter was also on Huexia TV 1's 7 p.m. news broadcast. The introduction was, an outdoor anchor discovered a stalactite cave and made a significant contribution to Huexia's geological research. The program selected the scene of Ningf's exploration in the stalactite cave and broadcast it for a full two minutes. In the news broadcast of every inch of time is worth an inch of gold, this was already very impressive. This time, those marketing numbers and internet trolls were dumbfounded. The marketing numbers were fine. The soft articles didn't have much of an impact on them. But those anti-counterfeiting streamers on Douyin had become the target of the netizens' collective attack. Anti-counterfeiting Arlong was directly sprayed into a sieve by countless netizens, and the number of fans drastically decreased. The other streamers were similar. They were originally clamoring to fight counterfeiting, but just as they stirred up some waves, they were instantly filmed and dispersed. At this moment, the manager of the Tanjun Union, Li He, was so angry that he slammed the table in his office and roared, which idiot came up with this idea? Exclamation mark to think that they would fight the fakes. I wonder if the people from the Geological Bureau will verify it. The few members below did not dare to voice their anger. They thought to themselves. Wasn't it you who made the decision back then? You even said that this idea was too brilliant. Ningf, just wait for your death. The internet was in an uproar, but Ningf did not pay too much attention to this matter. After he finished taking photos with the people from the Geological Bureau, the people from the Forestry Bureau brought the people from the Wildlife Protection Bureau to thank him for discovering the South China Tiger. Mr. Ning, can I ask why the wild South China Tiger is so docile to you? The people from the Forestry Bureau could not help but ask. Ning freely did not explain this matter. He could only smile and say, maybe he thinks I'm more friendly. The few of them chatted for a while more before the civil servants left. After that, 
village chief Kinzheng especially thanked Ningf. Ningf was from Kinshan village. He discovered that the stalactite cave was a major geological miracle, and the village had also received praise from the city. After that, it was said that there were plans to develop Kinshan village's road repair and tourism projects. This made the village chief extremely happy. Ningf was really the village's lucky star. Ningf, come to my house for dinner tonight. I'll ask your aunt to stew a black chicken for you. You must come. The village chief clasped his small hands behind his back and left triumphantly. People were in high spirits when it came to happy events. The village chief had dedicated his entire life to the village. He was also a university student who had returned to the village and rose step by step from the village committee. He was very admired by the villagers of Kinshan village. Yes, village chief. Ningf said with a smile. When the netizens saw this, they could not help but exclaim, this village chief looks really good, really. Then, Ningf's gaze fell on three purity hall. In the entire Taoist temple, the oldest and most historic one was three purity hall. The courtyard walls and the place where they lived were all made up of very old bricks, mud, and grass roots. Only three purity hall was built with real fir wood. According to his master, the first abbey dean of the King Fing Temple spent more than ten years to build a Sanking Hall. He brought the cedar wood back from the depths of Mount Kin one by one and then spent a lot of effort to build it. This was the core of the King Fing Temple. Ningf never planned to demolish the Sanking Hall and rebuild it. Instead, he planned to slightly renovate the Sanking Hall, which was to paint the Sanking Hall and replace the roof with new tiles. Moreover, he only planned to do this work by himself. Therefore, from that day onwards, Ningf bought the paint, tiles, and other things. He carefully repaired Sanking Hall. When he encountered the rotten fir wood, Ningf went to the timber market and bought the best fir wood. Then, he carefully pieced it together, he wanted to ensure the integrity of Sanking Hall. Sanking Hall was not big. It only had one floor, but it was very imposing. It looked full of vicissitudes and a sense of heaviness. Ningf painted all the wood with a dark red paint. The tiles were all green tiles. With this decoration, the Sanking Temple gradually gained a new life. On this day, Ningf received a call. The silver needles that he had ordered had arrived at the east end of the village. Because of the high craftsmanship requirements, it took a long time to make the silver needles. The gold and silver store had just sent the express delivery. Because the villagers of Kinshan village lived too scattered. Only Shanfing was willing to come up and send them all to the supermarket next to the village committee. Big Huang, Ningf stood outside the Taoist temple and shouted, Woof! Big Huang rushed over. It had a strong body and looked majestic. Go get my express delivery, Ningf said. Hearing Ningf's words, Big Huang barked again and immediately ran out. Seeing this, the netizens were amused. What's going on? The host asked Big Huang to get the express delivery. Really? Are dogs that smart? Abby Dean Ning, is Big Huang really going to get the express delivery? You must be joking. It's very possible. Big Huang is very smart. The netizens said one after another. At this time, Ning also noticed everyone's bullet comments. So he set the drone to follow Big Huang and shoot. He said, I will ask Rubub to pick up the usual small packages. This is not a difficult thing. I will let the drone follow. Everyone can take a look personally. Ningf's operation could be said to be very considerate of the netizens, and for a moment, the live broadcast room became lively again. The drone flew high up, and one could see Rhubarb running vigorously on the cement road between the mountain villages. The drone followed behind it. Big Huang ran all the way to the village committee and then rushed into the supermarket next to the village committee. Woof woof. Big Huang barked twice. Big Huang. You're here to pick up Ningf's express delivery again, right? Wait a minute, I'll look for it for you. The owner of the supermarket, Aunt Jang, stood up and rummaged through a pile of express delivery. Big Huang sat quietly at the side and waited. Its obedient appearance amazed the netizens. Then, Aunt Jang found Ningf's express delivery and handed it to Rubub. Rubub held the express delivery in its mouth, raised its head and ran all the way to the Taoist temple. This operation really shocked the netizens. This dog is amazing. Chapter 69, Acupuncture. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. In the evening, 
Ningf was giving Grandma Wang acupuncture. Although acupuncture was magical, it did not mean that a few needles would immediately cure disease. It definitely needed time to recover. The effects of acupuncture were divided into unblocking the meridians, adjusting yin and yang, and strengthening the body to dispel evil. Grandma Wang's eyes were blocked by some of her own dirt because the meridians were blocked. Because Western medicine did not dare to do surgery even though she was old, she could only use acupuncture. There was a certain difference between traditional Chinese medicine and Western medicine. Traditional Chinese medicine was a circular theory that the sages had used thousands of years of clinical practice to create a closed theory of principle, method, prescription, and medicine. Western medicine was moving from the laboratory to the clinic. As science developed, it continued to refine and branch out. Both had their own advantages. For example, blood transfusion tests and surgical operations were better. However, Western medicine mainly used hormones and chemicals to treat fractures and inflammation. Traditional Chinese medicine applied traditional Chinese medicine, which caused less harm to the body. In the case of large-scale diseases, the difference between the two was even greater. Western medicine emphasized on using surgery to directly remove the diseased parts and then recuperate and recuperate the body. The drawback was that it would consume a lot of the body's energy. Traditional Chinese medicine slowly recuperated the body and gradually eliminated the harm of the disease. For example, Jiang's disease, because it involved many organs in the body, Western medicine could not treat it. The only thing they could rely on was acupuncture. Acupuncture treatment for her also required several courses of treatment. It would take at least half a year for her to slowly recover. Grandma Wang pay more attention to your eyes in the next few days. There might be some dirty things coming out. When the time comes, you can use this bottle of eye drops to wash them. Ningfa pulled out the silver needles from Grandma Wang's face and took out the eye drops. He said with a smile, Fei I Fi. Even the big hospitals in this eye city say that they can't cure it. Don't waste your time, Grandma Wang said with a kind smile. She no longer had hope for her own eyes. Instead, she was afraid of bringing trouble to Ningf. Grandma Wang, you'll see it clearly soon, I promise. Ningf smiled kindly. These days, Ningf had been renovating the Three Purities Hall. When he was free, he would play with Little Fox and touch Little Falcon. It was strange. Little Fox was usually cute and obedient, but she was only close to Ningf. When the other villagers saw how cute Little Fox was and wanted to pet her, Little Fox deftly ran away. It was only when she was in Ningf's arms that she became more obedient. This fox was very intelligent, as if she could understand human language. Ningf did not even use his beast taming technique much, so Little Fox was obedient. Big Huang and the Little Fox also got along very well. Ningf also specially went online and bought a luxurious pet house exclusively for pets. It was made of pure and was covered with cotton so that the Little Fox could live in it. Now, the Little Fox was gradually getting used to the life in the Taoist temple. Calculating the time, it was time to make an appointment with Jiang Feng. They had agreed to meet at the Hanging Kettle Clinic in Kin City. On this day, Ningf informed the netizens in advance that there would be no live broadcast today. Then, he drove the Wrangler and took about an hour to arrive at the Hanging Kettle Clinic. After entering, Jiang Feng had been waiting for a long time. In addition to Jiang Feng, there was also an old man with white hair and a youthful face. He was clearly over 70 years old but his eyes were exceptionally bright. People could not help but look at him a few more times. Abby Dean Ning, thank you for your hard work. Jiang Feng's expression was full of expectation and eagerness. He then introduced, this is an old Chinese medicine doctor from the Hanging Kettle Medical Center, Mr. Han Cheng. Uncle Han, this is the Abby Dean that I mentioned. Hello, Mr. Han. Ningf nodded and greeted him. Han Cheng smiled brightly and said, Abby Dean Ning, you don't have to be so polite. I have seen a lot of news about you on the internet recently. Blood Ling Si, South China Tiger, Stalactite, and so on. Abby Dean Ning is really a person with great luck. You flatter me. Abby Dean Ning, may I take the liberty to ask, do you know anyone who knows acupuncture? Do you know where this godly doctor is now? At this time, Jiang Feng could not wait to ask. Hearing this, Ningf smiled helplessly and then explained, Mr. Jiang, 
I can't tell you anything else, I can only say that I know acupuncture, I can cure your sister's illness, you? Hearing this, Jiang Feng was obviously stunned, even Han Cheng, who was beside him, was stunned. After all, Ningf was too young. At such a young age, he dared to say that he had mastered acupuncture, one of China's secret arts. This was impossible. Jiang Feng and Han Cheng did not believe it. They thought that Ningf must have learned something from somewhere and thought that he knew acupuncture. Abi Dean Ning, are you serious? Jiang Feng asked. Yes. Ningf nodded. I have studied acupuncture before. I want to ask you, Abi Dean Ning, how are you going to perform acupuncture? Han Cheng's expression had become somewhat cold. Hearing this, Ningf shrugged indifferently and then said indifferently, I only took a look at Jiang's illness last time. It should be because her innate organs are not very active, her body is weak, and her hematopoietic function is insufficient. Because of years of accumulation, if you want to cure her completely, you need at least three courses of treatment. The first course of treatment is acupuncture at the dumb men point, Feng Shi point, Tan's Hong point, Juk point, Guan Yuan point, Ki Hai point. Dot it takes about half an hour in total. After half an hour, acupuncture at the gate point, the head point, and the Xin Yu point. Dot the same half an hour. At the same time, the yin and yang in the body would be adjusted continuously, according to the opening and closing of the eyelids of the yang kiao and the yin kiao master, zahai, which was connected to the yin kiao, and shimai, which was connected to the yang kiao, would be taken for treatment. The first course of treatment was aimed at stimulating the activity of the patient's organs. According to the constant changes in the patient's body, the corresponding acupuncture would be applied, and each application would be different. There has never been a fixed template for acupuncture. It has to change according to the patient's body's changes. When Han Cheng heard Ningf's words, a deep shock appeared on his face. He was a well-known old Chinese doctor in China. He was extremely good at Chinese medicine, including pharmacology and matching. He even dabbled in acupuncture. He knew that what Ningf said was very profound but it was not wrong at all. It even contained the principle that Chinese medicine emphasized on treating the human body as a whole and treating it step by step. The first course of treatment requires acupuncture once a week. If it's fast, the body will have a lot of color in two months, but if it's slow, it might take more than three months. The second course of treatment is to consolidate the body and strengthen the body. It needs to continuously ensure that the meridians between the patient's organs are unblocked and endless. This is the way to cure root of the problem. However, how to apply acupuncture depends on the patient's physical condition. The third course of treatment is simple. It is nothing more than recuperating the body. It needs to be treated with Chinese medicine. I wonder if you are satisfied with what I have said. After Ning finished speaking, Jiang Feng stood at the side in a daze and could not speak. Although he had learned Chinese medicine since he was young and knew all kinds of herbs, what Ning said was completely beyond his understanding. Han Cheng hurriedly bowed respectfully to Ning and said, Abi Dean Ning? The acupuncture skill you mentioned is extremely profound. We have offended you just now, sorry. Ningf was very indifferent. He wanted to treat Jiang's illness, but when he cooked the stone slab grilled fish that time, he felt that this girl was not bad and should not live such a life at such an age. He did not have the heart to help the world, but he had to pursue his heart. That girl, he wanted to save her. Abi Dean Ning, can you really save my sister? Jiang Feng looked excited and full of expectation. I will try my best. At least I can make her body recover a lot. Oh, right. Ningf looked at Han Cheng and said, Mr. Han, you are good at recuperation. You are in a good mental and physical condition. You have also done a good job of balancing yin and yang. However, you have accumulated too many supplements in your meridians. When things become extreme, they will reverse. Your body should feel hot and dry from time to time. Abi Dean Ning is right. I have also noticed it, so I have reduced the supply of supplements. Han Cheng nodded and said. Hearing this, Ning also understood that Han Cheng was a capable person and was very clear about his body's condition. Acupuncture can greatly alleviate this problem. I can help you. Ning smiled kindly. In fact, for Ning, it was really a piece of cake. Just like cupping and scraping could remove the cold air in the human body, 
acupuncture could release the essence qi accumulated in Han Cheng's body. It was very simple. Of course, Ning Fu would not do it for free. Just for one acupuncture session for Han Cheng, Han Cheng had taken the initiative to pay him 100,000 yuan. Then, after Jiang Feng confirmed that Ning Fu could cure Jiang's illness, he directly transferred 10 million Huixia dollars into Ning Fu's account. Jiang Feng said that if Ning Fu could really cure Jiang's illness, he would transfer a large sum of money to Ning Fu's card in the future. Jiang Feng's family had a hospital to begin with, so he naturally knew that treating illnesses required money. Ning Fu didn't refuse. After giving Han Cheng acupuncture, Han Cheng completely believed that Ning Fu knew acupuncture. Uncle Han, do you think he can cure Xuea's illness? After Ning Fu walked into Jiang's bedroom, Jiang Feng looked at Ning Fu's back and asked seriously. Han Cheng nodded and said, when he performed acupuncture on me just now, his technique, strength, and accuracy were all impeccable. This person is unfathomable. Among the people who know acupuncture that I have come into contact with, there is no one who can compare to him. He might really be Jiang's hope. Hearing this, Jiang Feng also slowly nodded his head. On the other side, Ning Fu had already walked into Jiang's bedroom. At this moment, Jiang's was wearing a long blue dress. Her pretty face was covered with light makeup. Her figure was slim, her eyes were bright, and her teeth were white. She was exceptionally beautiful and moving. Jiang's had been watching Ning Fu's live broadcast every day. Now that she saw Ning Fu enter, her eyes were filled with a hint of excitement. Big brother just said that you want to perform acupuncture on me. Yes, Miss Jiang. Do you believe me? Call me Jiangs. Of course I believe you. Then, take off your clothes and lie on the bed. Chapter 70 There were only a few months of such days. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. When Jiangs heard Ningf's words, her face turned red. Jiangs, a doctor, is benevolent. I'm a doctor now, and you're a patient. I won't do anything to you. You can rest assured. Ningf looked straight at Jiangs and said sincerely. He could tell that this was a girl who had yet to experience the world. She was very smart and full of spiritual energy. Jiangs nodded. All of this was for her illness. Nothing was more important than treating her illness. She also believed in Ningf, but she always had some reservations in her heart. It was impossible to perform acupuncture with clothes on. Moreover, Jiang's first acupuncture session had to be performed throughout her entire body. Ningf turned around. On the other side, Jiang's had already begun to take off her clothes with a rustling sound. For Jiang's, taking off her clothes next to a strange man was a feeling of shame and nervousness that invaded her entire body. It made her adrenaline surge, and her entire body felt hot. She took off her long dress and lay on the bed. Abby Dean Ning, I'm done, Jiang's said in a low voice like a mosquito. Hearing this, Ning took a deep breath and turned around. At that moment, Jiang's was lying on the bed covering her face with her hands, as if she didn't dare to look at Ningf. She was only wearing two light pink underwear, and her slender snow-white legs were tightly closed. Her jade-like feet gently touched the bed with the tips of her feet, accentuating the lines of the bed. Her smooth back revealed a large patch of snow-white skin. It also revealed a great amount of spring sunshine. As she spoke, Jiang's skin was unusually fair and delicate. It was like the layer of crystal clear snow on the surface of the ground after the first winter snow. Jiang's, there are two needles on the back and two under the armpits. Therefore, you have to take off your top bra. Seeing this scene, Ning Fonli said calmly. Hearing this, Jiang's face turned even redder, and her heart pounded. However, she also knew that Ning Fu was treating her illness and had no other evil intentions. So she carefully unbuttoned her shirt and lay down on the bed, taking it off. Outside the screen, in the living room next door, Ning Fu was treating Jiang Su, while Jiang Feng and Han Cheng were waiting outside. Hearing Ning Fu's words, Han Cheng turned his head awkwardly. Jiang Feng's mouth twitched, but in order to treat her illness, these things could only be done in this way. Following that, Ning Fu prepared to perform acupuncture. Next. I will begin to perform acupuncture on you. The first time you perform acupuncture, your body will feel slightly hot and sweaty. This is a normal phenomenon. It is also normal that there will be some numbness in the back of your abdomen. You must remember, first, 
No matter what, do not turn around. Maintain your current position and do not move. If you feel uncomfortable, tell me first. I will adjust in time. Do you understand? Ningf's voice was still clear and somewhat magnetic. Upon hearing his words, Jiang's let out a low. Then, the acupuncture. Ningf had previously confirmed Jiang's illness. At the same time, he had also read the medical report provided by Jiang Feng. He had a very clear understanding of Jiang's illness. Therefore, in his mind, he had already planned out how to apply the acupuncture. He took out the silver needle box. The silver needles inside had been sterilized by high temperature. The acupuncture must be done in a sterile environment. Jiang's lay on her stomach with her hands crossed in front of her chest. She still felt extremely ashamed and her face was flushed. She could feel that Ningf was doing something on her body, but surprisingly, she did not feel any discomfort at all. In Jiang's original impression, she thought that acupuncture would be very painful, just like surgery in Western medicine. There would be all kinds of painful methods to treat the disease. But she did not feel uncomfortable. Ningf wore sterile gloves and applied needles through the air. He did not have any contact with Jiang's body. Hands, flatten. Ningf ordered in a low voice, his voice very steady. Although Jiang's was very shy, she still obediently took her hands out from her chest and placed them on both sides. Then, Jiang's felt her body getting hotter and hotter. This heat came from within her body. In just a short while, her body began to sweat profusely. It's normal for your body to sweat. Hang in there. It's good for your body. Ningf continued to speak softly. At this moment, Ningf was concentrating on treating Jiang's illness. Although Jiang's body could be said to be perfect, Ningf did not have the slightest bit of distracting thoughts during the treatment process. Jiang's illness was quite special. The first acupuncture was very particular and required a lot of silver needles. This scene, when people with dense phobias saw it, they would probably immediately feel terrified. After the acupuncture, Ningf waited by the side. At this moment, Jiang's face was getting redder and redder, because there was a man sitting next to her and it was a man she liked very much. Jiang's heart was beating wildly. Her brain was completely at a loss for what to think. Her attention was focused on the area where her sweat was concentrated, and her body was getting hotter and hotter. This kind of heat was very comfortable. After that, just as Ningf had said, there was a slight numbing sensation in her lower abdomen. She could not help but want to gently stroke it. Don't move. Ningf saw that her delicate hand wanted to move, so he scolded her in a low voice. Upon hearing this, Jiang's immediately lay down obediently and did not dare to move again. Why am I sweating so much? What should I do? What is he doing now? Could he be looking at me? Ah, my body is so hot. I really want to take a bath. While Jiang's thoughts were running wild, Ningf had already slowly pulled the silver needles out of Jiang's body one by one. The time was just right. It had only been half an hour. Jiang's wall so didn't expect time to pass so quickly. I've already pulled out the silver needles. You can move now. Ningf said gently. How do you feel now? Priest Ning, I feel a little hot. I want to take a bath. Jiang's said weakly as if she had been pardoned. Let's wait for a while. I'll go out first. You put on your coat. Next, we need to do acupuncture in front. Ningf said calmly. Then. He turned around and walked out of the bedroom. In. In front? Jiang's face was red when she heard that. She was stunned and didn't know what to say. Outside, in the living room. Abby Dean Ning, how is it? Jiang Feng asked hurriedly when he saw him come out. No problem. It's not that effective so quickly. We'll do acupuncture again in a while. Today's acupuncture will be over. We'll just come here once a week from now on. You have to take care of it when you go back. You can eat those supplements, but you have to eat less. Ningf wiped the sweat off his head and said, Thank you, thank you. Jiang Feng was a little excited. At this moment, Jiang's took out a towel and wiped the sweat off her body. Dot. Not long after, Ningf came in. Jiang's was already lying flat on the bed. Ningf noticed that the bed sheets had been changed, and it seemed like her underwear had also been changed. Acupuncture won't do anything to the body. When you see the silver needles later, don't be nervous. If you are nervous, 
try to close your eyes and don't look. Ningf comforted her in a low voice. He was worried that Jiang's would be afraid when she saw the needles on her body. However, Ningf didn't know that Jiang's mind was full of thoughts right now. She only felt that her mind was in a mess. Then, she applied the needles on the front. Just like before, after applying the needles for a short while, Jiang's body began to sweat profusely. Her collarbone, lower abdomen, shoulders, legs. Jiang's underwear was made of soft cloth, so it absorbed water better. Not long after, her underwear was obviously wet. Ningf did not seem to notice this at all. He continued to perform acupuncture on her with a calm expression. Jiang's was embarrassed. Occasionally, she raised one eye to look at Ningf. When she found that Ningf's expression was normal, she heaved a sigh of relief. However, at the same time, she also felt a little disappointed. Dot. That night, the moon was as deep as water. Ningf lay on the roof of Kingfing Temple. He hugged the little fox, stroked the little falcon, and looked at the moon. It was strange to say that when he was treating Jiang's during the day, Ningf was undistracted and focused on saving her. Now that he was free at night, all he could think about was the scene of the acupuncture during the day. Jiang's figure was truly unique. In the hanging kettle clinic, Jiang's was soaking in the flower petal bath. Every time she thought of the scene during the day, she could not help but feel her heart beat faster and her face flushed. It would still take a few months for such acupuncture. Chapter 71, Go Up the Mountain and Search for Dead Wood. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. Ningf turned on the live stream. The Taoist temple was changing very quickly. The living area next to it was already under renovation. It seemed that it was not far from completion. Under his renovation, the Three Purities Hall looked brand new and magnificent. Good morning, Abby Deaning. What's the live stream about today, streamer? The Three Purities Hall is so beautiful. Where's Little Falcon? Did he go out to play again? As soon as the live stream was turned on, the netizens' greetings came as promised. However, it could be seen that during this period of time, the popularity of Ningf's live stream room had decreased. Originally, the popularity of his live stream room was around 6 million. However, due to the renovation of Sanking Hall during this period of time, the popularity had dropped to around 4 million. For more than 10 days, Ningf spent every day cultivating in the Taoist temple. He accompanied Little Falcon and Little Fox to play for a while, and at night, he would run around at night and practice his sword skills. Although it was fun and leisurely, there were still some netizens who preferred the exciting adventure life. Meanwhile, the Heavenly Horse Union had also taken advantage of Ningf's Taoist Temple during this period of time to launch a wilderness survival feature, imitating Ningf. They had also increased the popularity of their biggest streamer, Outdoor Brother Blackie. They had also achieved some results. Of course, Little Black's popularity was still not comparable to Ningf's. Ningf did not really care about this. His live broadcast was not just for the sake of his live broadcast. He still had to follow his heart when doing things. However, the content of today's live broadcast was different. I have to make a trip into the mountains today. I have to change the signboard of San King Hall and the signboard of Kingfing Temple. I'll go look for suitable wood. Ningf smiled and said to the netizens in the live stream room, Go to the mountain? The streamer is finally going to go to the mountain? Sob, 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 sob. I finally waited. Ha ha. I love watching the streamer in the mountains. The netizens were very happy. At the same time, many fans in Ningf's fan group also posted this message in the group. Chief Ning is going to the mountain. Seeing this message, some of the old fans couldn't wait to open the live stream. Help me up, I can still buy gifts. Ningf's popularity in the live stream room increased rapidly. Not long after, it returned to the popularity of 6 million. This was strength. Tanjun Union originally thought that Ningf's popularity had already passed its peak and was beginning to decline. Who knew that Ningf's popularity would immediately return after saying that he was going deep into the mountains? This meant that most of Ningf's fans were true die-hard fans. In the live broadcast world, Ningf was still a colossus-like existence. This time on the mountain, I want to find a wood that is suitable for making a signboard. The wood doesn't have to be very rare, but it has to be resistant to decay and erosion. Ningf made his plans. There were many precious trees in the mountain, 
such as the divine tree. However, Ning also knew that trees could not be cut down randomly, especially state protected plants. Cutting down trees was equivalent to breaking the law, and it was the same reason as poaching. What he was looking for was not rare trees. I've been to a place in the mountain yin before. It's suitable for the growth of saprophytic creatures and creatures that like cold and damp. This time, I'm going to a place with mountain yang. People have yin and yang, trees have yin and yang, and so do mountains. The yin of the mountain is not exposed to the sun all year round, it's cold and damp. The corresponding place in the mountain yin is mountain yang. Ning looked at the big mountain beside him and said slowly, a few years ago, there was a forest fire in that place. The forestry bureau concluded that it was a natural fire. At that time, the fire was very big, but the firefighters put it out very quickly, so it didn't cause too much harm. Ningf started to move. This time, he was traveling in a simple outfit. He wore a windbreaker, a cap, and hiking boots. He carried a hiking bag. Little fox, wait for me obediently. I'll be back tonight. Ningf did not plan to bring little fox into the mountain. Little fox was still young and could not run away from any danger. Hearing Ningf's words, Little fox ran to Ningf's feet and gently threw Ningf's calf as if it was acting coquettishly. It looked like it was begging Ningf to bring it along. Abby Dean Ning, bring little fox. Little fox is so cute. How can you abandon her? Which big shot knows how to call a fox? I've never heard of foxes cry before. Fox, fox, an old American. I've heard it before, and I remember it clearly. The cry of a fox is great chuk sing. Chen Sheng Wang, 666,666,666. Chen Sheng, Wu Guang, told you in his dream. Although the netizens had posted many bullet comments on behalf of Little Fox, Ningf was still unmoved. He let Little Fox go back to rest obediently. Little Falcon stood on Ningf's shoulder and raised his head. He looked fearless and calmly combed his feathers a few times. After that, Ningf walked into the deep mountains again. The plants here are recovering very well. Did you know that three years ago, the forest fire here was also on the news? Ningf explained as he walked. I still remember that forest fire very clearly. At that time, there was a thunderstorm. Not long after a lightning bolt, black smoke rose from the forest, accompanied by crackling sounds of explosions, and the fire spread. Fortunately, the fire and armed police came quickly and put out the fire. Three days after the fire was put out, I made a special trip here. Do you know what the scene in front of me is? Ningf described it vividly. When the netizens heard his words, their attention was particularly focused. Abidine, tell me quickly, what did you see? Yes, the forest fire is said to be very terrifying. I've only seen it on TV. Ningf sighed and said, it's black. It's pitch black. All the trees have no leaves and are covered with a layer of black ash. Occasionally, you can see the corpses of snakes and rats. The entire forest is very quiet. There's not a single sound. Now that I think about it, it's really like hell. The netizens were marveling at the terrifying world that Ningf had described. Ningf suddenly pointed ahead and said, Everyone, look, that's the forest that was burned by the fire. The drones rose up and the netizens immediately focused their attention over there. They saw a large stretch of lush green on the mountain in front of them. The ground was covered with all kinds of wild flowers and weeds. Although the number of trees was relatively small, they were still tall and straight, and they were growing very well. It did not look like a fire at all. This is a forest after a fire? Why do I feel that the environment is better? Yes, it looks very refreshing. Host, you can't be lying to us. Right? Ningf continued to explain. There is a view that natural forest fires are beneficial to the self-renewal of the forest. Because the forest has not been renewed for a long time, the density of the canopy is very high. The underground soil cannot receive sunlight, and the grass plants cannot grow. The herbivores that rely on the grass plants for food cannot survive. Natural forest fires can reduce the density of the forest providing space for the grass plants to grow, and thus allowing the ecology to be revitalized. Moreover, some trees can survive in the forest fire. Once the fire is over, they will continue to be rejuvenated. High school biology has also learned this. This is called secondary succession. After hearing Ningf's explanation, 
The netizens came to a sudden realization, I see, Abedinning's knowledge is really erudite, another knowledge point has been added, why do you know so much about all aspects, it's so frustrating to compare people with each other, yes, yes, I remember now, I've really learned about the secondary substitution, but I've never seen it in real life, so this is what it looks like, at this moment, Ningf walked to a tree and said again, this time, I went up the mountain to find a suitable wood for making the signboard, after the fire, the forestry bureau cleaned up the dead wood, but left some wood that was not sure whether it was dead or not, I want to see if I can find a suitable dead wood, chapter 72, burning wood, afternoon sunshine, this chapter is updated by novels.pl, after the fire, the scenery had indeed changed a lot, because of the excessive growth of herbs, Ningf saw a few hares along the way, the little falcon was not hungry now, but it still stared at the hares with sharp eyes, little falcon, we can't eat roasted hares today, this place is dry and the sun is directly shining, it's too dangerous to start a fire, Ningf stopped the little falcon from hunting in time, the little falcon flapped its wings, and obediently stopped moving, when Ningf was having a picnic in the forest, he would always consider the situation around him, if one paid close attention, they would realize that every time he lit a bonfire, it was not far from the river, there was water, and the air was relatively humid, most of the trees on this mountain are ordinary Chinese fir trees, occasionally, there will be other species, by the way, it's illegal to cut down precious wood like silver fir and camphor wood. It's also illegal to cut down forest wood on a large scale without permission. These actions violate the criminal law and the forest law. You'll have to pay compensation and go to jail. I don't plan to cut down the growing trees today. I'm just looking for trees that have died after the fire. Is there any suitable one? Ningf explained to the netizens calmly. Everyone knows that lightning strike wood is a top grade wood. Lightning strike wood refers to trees that were struck by lightning on a rainy day, the common people generally think that lightning strike wood is split by lightning from the heavens, ghosts are deeply afraid of it and it is the most powerful evil warding magic item, in fact, trees that are still intact after the fire have the same effect, they are also top grade wood, look over there, there's a big tree, at this moment, Ningf's eyes suddenly lit up, seeing his expression, the netizens all looked over, it was a very tall tree, its branches needed two people to hug it, in order to obtain enough space to survive, the branches of the trees in the deep mountains grew very tall, this big tree had already withered, and there were no traces of green, only its huge branches had witnessed its former glory, everyone, look, although this tree experienced the forest fire, its branches were able to remain so intact, its quality must be very high, Ningf walked over, his face full of amazement, what a big tree, what kind of tree is this, it can still remain intact after the fire, this is the first time I've seen such a huge withered tree, dmn, am I seeing things, that big tree is camphor wood, what is camphor wood, is it very expensive, camphor wood is one of the rare tree species in our country, it's a rare and high grade wood that is often used to make furniture, it's very expensive, dmn, the host is so lucky, after the netizens saw the big tree, they started discussing excitedly again, as they got closer, as expected, it was indeed a camphor wood, such a big camphor wood, Ningf exclaimed, even though this tree had been dead for many years, Ningf could still smell a faint fragrance, which made him feel particularly comfortable. Dear viewers, this is a camphor wood. The characteristics of camphor wood are that the whole tree has a fragrance, the wood is fine, the texture is exquisite, and the patterns are exquisite. The texture is tough and soft, it is not easy to break and it is not easy to produce cracks, Ningf had the skill encyclopedia of plants, once he saw camphor wood, the information about it would be in his mind, the fragrance produced by camphor wood has a unique and practical function, it can drive insects and prevent mildew, and prevent clothing from corrosion, since ancient times, it has been the best material to make closets and boxes, it is even more suitable to be used as a plaque, the drawback is that the fragrance of the cinnamon and camphor wood can affect the quality of sleep, it can make people excited and even lose sleep, it can also cause dizziness and other problems, it is not suitable to be used as a bed, Ningf was very excited, 
and his expression became cautious. Then, something unexpected happened to the netizens. Ning fused his right foot to tap on the tree trunk, and then used the force to jump up. After that, he used his left foot to tap on the tree branch next to him, and jumped high again. He used his hand to grab a thick branch on the tree, and with a sway, he jumped onto the top of the camphor tree. One had to know that this camphor tree was about 7 to 8 meters tall, and there was only a slightly protruding branch below it. Normal people would have to spend a lot of effort to climb up. But now, Ningf, just like how he practiced King Gong, went up so easily. Fook, what is that? Yudang Cloud Steps, Tan Yunshan, is that the technique where the left foot stomps on the right foot, and then the right foot stomps on the left foot to go up to the sky? That's right, it's that technique. It's the same principle as me lifting my neck to fly. 66666. There's a scientific explanation for this. As long as your left foot stomps on the right foot fast enough, Newton won't be able to catch up to you. Fook, Newton can't catch up to you. They're all experts. I'm impressed. The netizens were both amazed by Ningf's superb footwork and amused by the bullet comments. However, what Ningf did just now was truly shocking. Now that his physical fitness was getting stronger and stronger, coupled with the skill Huexi martial arts, it was normal for him to make some graceful movements. The little falcon was originally landing on the trunk of the camphor tree, but when it saw Ningf coming up just like that, its small eyes were immediately filled with great doubt. It looked as if it was thinking, could it be that its master could fly? Ningf was only coming up to confirm whether the camphor tree had sprouted new buds. Some trees might take a long time to sprout new buds. It's indeed dead, but the trunk is still intact. As he said that, Ningf jumped down again. Let's make some more science. Even if it's a dead tree, cutting it down is still against the criminal law. Ningf looked up at the camphor tree and laughed. He didn't expect to be so lucky to meet such a tree today. Then, Ningf temporarily turned off the live broadcast and let the drone fly to broadcast the scene of the mountain. Then, he called the forest ranger of Kinshan village. Hello, old bai, I found a dead tree. It's camphor wood. It's very big. You and the forestry bureau have to react. This tree needs to be dealt with, or it will affect the overall construction of the forest, Ningf said with a smile. Really? Camphor wood? A slightly puzzled voice came from the other end of the phone. Old Bai was his nickname, his name was Yong Tao, and he was a forest ranger in Kinshan village. At the age of 23, he was able to get a civil service position. His family also had some connections in Kinching. As for why Yong Tao's nickname was Old Bai, it was because people liked to use nicknames in high school, and these nicknames were often shocking. For example, Yong Tao was given the surname Bai by his bad friend. At first, everyone didn't understand what it meant. Then, they linked the three words together and said Bai Yong Tao. It was a homonym that was used to isolate future generations. Only then did everyone come to a realization. Oh, so that was the case. At this point, Yong Tao became famous in one battle. Throughout the entire high school era, no one had ever called him Yong Tao. Instead, they all called him Old Bai. Old Bai was an optimistic person by nature. He did not care about this at all. Basically, he could play with everyone. He was one of the most popular people in the class. Yes, I can confirm that it was a dead camphor tree. It was at the place where the fire happened three years ago. It was there. No wonder. At that time, the forestry bureau was cleaning up the burned trees. Many of the trees were left there without knowing if they were dead or alive. Yong Tao nodded and said, I happen to be patrolling the forest today. Wait for me for a while. I'll be there in a while. Okay. The reason why Ningf called Yong Tao was that Yong Tao would report the discovery of a dead tree to the Forestry Bureau. The Forestry Bureau could not send people over just for a tree, so they would let Yong Tao handle it. Of course, the camphor wood would definitely be kept as a sample for registration. After that, the Forestry Bureau would handle the wood. Ningf would just have to buy it personally. This was in accordance with legal procedures. If Ningf directly cut the camphor wood, the next step might be to broadcast prison life live. Ningf had to draw a map of the prison on his body in advance. After that, 
he would hook up with female prison doctors and find helpers. That was another story. It would still take a while for Yong Tao to come over. Ningf was a little bored, so he simply jumped onto the camphor wood and leaned against the tree trunk. He lay on the branch and planned to rest for a while. This scene was very leisurely, not to mention, lying on the tree was quite comfortable. Ningf immediately felt a little sleepy. When the netizens saw this scene, they were speechless and had an additional sense of envy. Their surroundings were the purest natural environment. In such a place, the air would definitely be very fresh. If they could sleep, it would naturally be even more comfortable. Hey, Ningf, after an unknown amount of time, Ningf suddenly heard someone calling him from below. Looking carefully, it was Yong Tao. Yong Tao's figure was relatively well proportioned. He wore a set of standard ranger work clothes and carried a box in his hand. Ningf jumped down from the tree. Here, this is for you. Yong Tao took out a box lunch from the box and handed it to him. The rangers usually brought their own lunch when they went up the mountain. Fortunately, Yong Tao had an extra set. Then, the two of them sat on the grass and began to chat. I'm getting married in a few months, Yong Tao suddenly said as they chatted. Upon hearing this, Ningf almost choked. He widened his eyes and said in surprise, getting married. So early? Yeah, my job is just for stability. I don't have any other pursuits. I'm just short of having a family. Yong Tao's face was filled with happiness. You know the bride too. Who is it? He he, Lin Fang. Lin Fang, damn, you got her in the end. Amazing, amazing. Ningf laughed feeling exceptionally happy. Yong Tao also laughed. It was afternoon time. The high school classmates were under the shade of the trees outside the mountains. They ate their lunch boxes and chatted about the interesting things of the past. In the midst of their leisure, there was an indescribable sense of satisfaction. There were times in life when one was really not that tired. When one calmed down, one would see many beautiful things. Chapter 73 the appearance of the goose semicolon faction in the mountain village. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. The matter of the camphor wood was left to Yong Tao. This was how Chinese society was like. It was easy to settle matters if one had connections. Ningf returned to the village. Yong Tao continued his patrolling mission. The forest rangers usually traveled together. Yong Tao went to look for his colleagues. On the way back to the village, Ningf saw a man and a dog walking towards him from the distance. The man and the dog were in a strange position. The dog looked funny when its two front paws were held in its owner's hands. On a closer look, the man and the dog were covered in mud, as if they had crawled out of the mud. What's that? DMN, the terracotta warriors have come out. Ha ha ha, they really look like terracotta warriors. This dog, this body, this mouth shape. It looks like a husky. A husky. Without a doubt, the netizens instantly became happy. Ningf also saw this scene and thought it was very interesting. He smiled and explained, That's Liu Hu at the west end of the village, the only person in the entire village who raises huskies. This husky is a famous dog in the village. It was only adopted for a few days before it crushed the walnut that the village chief had been laying around for a year. If it wasn't for Liu Hu desperately trying to stop it, this husky probably wouldn't have grown so big. In the end, it was Liu Hu who bought the best walnut and gave it to the village chief. Only then did this matter come to an end. Upon hearing Ningf's words, the netizens immediately launched bullet comments one after another. Ha ha ha, it seems like something a husky would do. The breed is very pure. This bloodline must at least be a noble among huskies. Raising huskies. Looks like this Liu Hu's family background is pretty good. At this moment, Liu Hu pulled the husky over. Their bodies were covered in mud. One of Liu Hu's slippers was already bald to his ankle, making him look particularly miserable. Looking at the husky again, one could vaguely see black and white fur under the mud. When the husky passed by Ningf, it even smiled at him in a silly manner. Seeing this scene, the netizens realized that the mountain village was much happier. Ningf did not greet Liu Hu because he knew that at this moment, Liu Hu's current appearance was not suitable for greeting. After they had walked far away, Ningf said, the mountain village generally has a large number of mutts, because the environment on the mountain is relatively harsh. It is not easy for a good breed of dog to survive. On the contrary, mutts do not have much of an impact. If you raise a good dog, you must take extra care of it. Liu Hu is even closer to that husky than his own son, 
but that husky is very good at tearing down homes. There are still a few broken sofas piled up in his yard. Fortunately, Liu Hu's family is relatively wealthy. The netizens found Ningf's story more and more interesting. They did not expect that a small mountain village would have so many interesting stories. A mountain village was different from a city. The people in the village had to farm and raise animals. When there were more animals, many funny stories would happen. Not long after, Ningf met the village West Mutt Gang. What Ningf didn't know was that the Mutt Gang at the western and eastern ends of the village was very popular online. There were some fans of hot blooded universities. They made a short video called Hot Blooded Mountain Village. It was about two groups of mutts and rhubarb with hot blooded background music. The video of the two groups of dogs playing became tense and exciting. The one at the western end of the village was called Kin's Domo Huang. The one at the eastern end of the village was called Long Yuan Huang. And the dog King Rubab was called Lin Dan Huang. Now that they met the group of dogs at the western end of the village, the netizens instantly became excited. Bullet comments swarmed over. Ning also noticed the bullet comments. After taking a closer look, he realized that everyone was particularly interested in the two groups of dogs. This made him not know whether to laugh or cry. Ningf even specially went to Duyin to search for that short video. After watching it, he found it very interesting, so he mysteriously said to the netizens in the live broadcast room, Dear viewers, the Mutt Gang at the eastern end of the village and the Mutt Gang at the western end of the village can only be considered small forces in Kin Mountain Village. Does everyone know who the real boss of the animal world of Kin Mountain Village is? As soon as Ning finished his words, the bullet screen exploded. Who is it? Who is better than Yuan Huang of Dragon Valley? I support Kai's Doma Huang. Are there other people standing at the top of Kinshan Village? Are there other mutt gangs? Abby Dean Ning, don't keep us in suspense. Tell us now. Ning found the bullet screen more and more interesting. He was also affected by the idiotic souls of these people. All right. Since everyone wants to see it, I'll bring everyone to see another faction in Kin Mountain Village. That's the Goose faction in Kin Mountain Village, north of the village, the North Village Goose Gang. Most people in Kin Mountain Village raised large geese. These large geese were the ones that were truly not to be trifled with. Many mutts complained endlessly after being pecked by their large geese. Of course, it was also because the mutts themselves were more timid and were not as fierce, like dogs. The geese also had the function of guarding the house in the village. Their attack power was not high, but their attack power was very high. When they met people, they would stretch their necks and lower their bodies to gesture. The key point was that the people in the northern part of the village were not easy to deal with. The geese only barked at passers-by and flapped their wings a few times. If the passers-by were pecked by the geese, the people in the northern part of the village would not be happy either. Moreover, some of the big geese were very strong, and it was very uncomfortable to be pecked a few times. Therefore, it was better to take a detour when they saw the group of big geese. Kingfing Temple was at the sunmost part of Kinshan village. Ningf had nothing to do anyway, so he took a stroll and walked towards the northern part of the village. Coincidentally, Ningf had just walked to a place not far from the northern part of the village when he saw two big geese chasing a small mutt. The small mutt was pecked twice on the head by the big goose. It hurriedly barked a few times and ran away. It should be a newly born mutt. It doesn't know the rules. How dare it come to the territory of the goose gang. Ningf shook his head helplessly. Abby Dean Ning, are these two the goose gang of the north of the village? They don't look like they're trying to scare people. Yeah. There are eight or nine mutts in the west and east of the village. The netizens said in confusion, this is nothing. Those two are just minions. The real goose gang is at the back. As he spoke, Ningf quickened his pace and continued walking north. As Ningf had said, he had only taken a few steps when he met the village north goose gang head on. There were a total of 12 or 13 large geese. They were walking in the middle of the road, raising their necks as they walked towards Ningf as they walked. They even quacked, only then did the netizens see the true colors of the geese gang. That is the village north geese gang. Only the people from the village north won't attack them. The rest of the people who pass by these geese liked a gesture. Ningf explained. Abby Dean Ning, let's go. Let's see how they do it. Taoist priest, I bet a rocket that you can beat these geese. Abby Dean Ning, 
the chance to reach the top of the mountain village has arrived. Ha ha ha, I want to see it too. Abby Dean Ning, let's go. Young Master Jiang, sent a super rocket. Abby Dean Ning, it's our duty to eliminate the geese. Golden Spear Iron Horse, sent a super rocket. I want to see how the geese attack. Morning Sun Wu Yanzu, sent a super rocket. I want to join in the fun. Ning shrugged when he saw the happy atmosphere on the bullet screen. The geese did not cause much harm to humans, but the mutts were more afraid of the geese. However, since the netizens wanted to see it, Ning did not mind. With a calm expression, he walked toward the village north geese gang. 10 meters, 9 meters, 8 meters. The following scene was accompanied by music. It was the background music when Longa Yuan's I went to challenge Feng Xian school in the hot-blooded high school. When he was only 3 meters away from the goose gang, the 12 geese lowered their necks and spread their wings in an offensive posture. The geese forces were ready to attack. Ningf put his hands in his pockets and stopped in place. The netizens thought that the following scene would be like Yuanzai charging into the crowd of the Phoenix Immortal School and fighting ten geese by himself. Ningf would also be entangled with the geese. Of course, Ningf would not do that. The geese flapped their wings and charged towards him. Ningf quickly turned around and left. The rural G's faction, we can't afford to offend them. Chapter 74, Great Picking. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. The Taoist temple was almost finished. The main building had been built and was being renovated at the moment. According to Ningf's design, the overall design of the Taoist temple leaned towards the ancient style and was integrated with the Sanking Hall. The first thing to enter was the Sanking Hall. On one side was the living area, on the other side were a few bungalows and behind them were vegetable fields and gardens. In the early morning, Ningf got up early and was busy working in the vegetable garden. He now had three square meters of fertile soil, plus the silver carrot fertilizer and the watermelon seeds from the lucky drawer. The watermelon he planted half a month ago was now about the size of a wash basin. Ningf knocked on the watermelon and heard a crisp sound. He smiled and said, yes. It's already fully ripe. It was the end of summer and the beginning of autumn. When Ningf saw the watermelon, he suddenly thought of something. Uncle Liu's grapes should be ripe too, right? Thinking of this, Ningf stood up and stretched. His live broadcast had been turned on long ago. The netizens were quietly watching him busy in the vegetable field. Dear viewers, looking at the time, the grapes in the farm should be ripe soon. Coincidentally, I haven't had a drink for a long time. I don't like beer and white wine. It doesn't suit my taste, but I like fruit wine. I plan to brew some fruit wine in the next few days. Everyone, please wait a moment. I'm going to change my clothes. It will be more comfortable to wear a long robe when picking grapes. With that, Ningf ran into the back room to change his clothes. Brewing wine? The streamer knows how to brew wine? Many netizens were very surprised. I just feel that there's nothing that Abby Dean Ning doesn't know. It's rare. It's not difficult to brew wine. It's just that there are fewer and fewer people who know traditional craftsmanship. Yeah, nowadays, drinks and wine can be bought in shops. Only some remote villages sell fruit wine, and it's very cheap. I drank it once. It's very delicious. It tastes completely different from the fruit wine in the supermarket. Just as the netizens were discussing fervently, Ningf walked out of the back room. The moment he came out, all the bullet comments changed. At this moment, Ningf was wearing a dark blue loose robe with a collar. His style was similar to that of Wang in the anime Under One Man. Coupled with his handsome face with sharp edges and tied up hair. The image of a handsome Taoist appeared instantly. One had to know that each person's style was different. Some celebrities in ancient costumes looked good, but modern makeup was much worse. For example, Song Yi was suitable for Kipao, Kiao Zeni U and Huang Haibing looked stunning in ancient costumes, but modern costumes were just so so. And now that Ningf had changed into a long robe and appeared, the bullet comments suddenly increased. Damn so handsome, streamer, it's better to wear a Taoist robe. This is the real Abby Dean. So handsome, hubby, you're finally wearing a Taoist robe. Number one in ancient style. The Taoist robe was looser, and it could move more freely. Moreover, it was cool. Ningf liked to wear it. However, 
He only wore it when he was in the Taras temple. I'm going to pick grapes and make wine today. Ningf carried a bamboo basket on his back and walked out of the Taras temple. Many netizens liked this scene very much. It was close to nature and far from the hustle and bustle. It was full of a leisurely and comfortable feeling, as if he had returned to an era without technology and was in a paradise. The vineyard was not far from Kingfeng Temple. Ning arrived after walking for about half an hour. There were a lot of people coming to the vineyard to pick grapes this season. Liu Lei Ikei was the owner of the vineyard. He opened the farmhouse. There were all kinds of entertainment facilities, such as a fishing pond, our jong rooms, and yurts as a place for meals. There was also an orchard next to it. Many people in Kin City would come because of the fame. Many tourists were introduced to the place. Every weekend, the business of the farmhouse was very popular. If one had any dealings with the boss of the farmhouse, one would find that the boss of the farmhouse was very enthusiastic and knew how to make friends with customers. This business was repeat business, and Liu Lei Kai knew many people. The way to charge for the vineyard was to pick the grapes required tickets and then pick the grapes at 30% off the market price. There was a ceiling. After Ningf paid the money, he began to pick the grapes. Yang Linlin and a few of his best friends went out to play. In the afternoon, they came to the farmhouse and specifically came to pick the grapes to experience the life of the farmhouse. At this time, Yang Linlin saw Ningf at first glance. Ningf was too conspicuous. He wore a Taoist robe and tied up his long hair revealing a handsome face. His eyes seemed to have spiritual energy and were exceptionally bright. Oh my god! Yang Linlin nervously swallowed a mouthful of saliva. When a woman saw a handsome man, she would be very nervous. Moreover, Yang Linlin had never seen such a handsome man. Isn't this too good looking? Yang Linlin was extremely excited. Then, he didn't know what to do and hurriedly ran to find her best friend. Let me tell you, I saw a super handsome, super handsome man. He also came in just now. Yang Linlin said impatiently with a face full of infatuation. Really? Her best friend, Wang Hui, looked at her in confusion. Is it necessary? How can there be a handsome guy in such a remote mountain village? Xu Xuan just curled his lips and said. It's true, super handsome. He is wearing a black and blue robe. Yang Linlin looked a little excited. She really wanted to describe Ningf's appearance. Hey, 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 don't be too infatuated. You're from the city after all. You're infatuated even when you come to a farm. Xuan was very calm. She didn't believe that there were any handsome men in a mountain village. They were probably all rustic. At this time, Xuan found that not only Yang Linlin, but even Wang Hui had become infatuated. Her eyes were staring behind her in a daze. What's going on between the two of you? Xing Xuan frowned and turned around. When she saw Ningf, her expression froze. Was he so handsome? Ningf was right behind her. He was reaching out to pick the grapes on top. His sleeves fell off naturally revealing his strong and fair arms. He looked like someone who had walked out of a manga. The scene of Ningf picking the grapes was also broadcasted live. The netizens found the scene very pleasing to the eye. Some netizens noticed Yang Linlin and the other two. Look over there, there are three girls staring at Abby Dean Ning. Why are they looking at my husband? I'm so angry. I want to go to the scene too. I'm envious. I'll probably have the same expression as those three girls over there. Xu An turned around, looked at Yang Linlin and Wang Hui, and said, He's really handsome. I think I've seen him somewhere before. I told you, he's super handsome. Yang Linlin said proudly. I remember now. He's that very popular Taoist priest. He's the one who touched the tiger and found the stalactite cave. I remember you saying that. It's him. The three girls discussed excitedly. The more they talked, the more excited they became. At this moment, Ningf was concentrating on choosing grapes. For wine making grapes, you must choose the grapes that are more mature or slightly ripe. The more purple the grape, the better it tastes. Ningf was still explaining to the netizens. He was explaining through a black Bluetooth earpiece that he wore by his ear. The earpiece was very small and was about the size of an airpod. So Abby Dean Ning likes purple grapes. Shouldn't they be pink grapes? You guys aren't right. This car can even drive. 666,666,666. At this moment, Yang Linlin and the other two came to Ningf's side and asked excitedly. 
Hello, Priest Ning. We are your fans. May we take a photo with you? Take a photo? Yes, you can. Ning smiled gently and did not refuse. This scene made many netizens envious. Later, when Yang Linlin and the other two posted the photo on their moments, they immediately received numerous likes. Those who usually did not like them could not help but praise and comment, you actually met Abby Dean Ning. That's amazing. Ning picked a basket full of grapes in the vineyard and returned to King Fing Temple with satisfaction. Chapter 75, Lonely Lamp, Chanting Scriptures. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Returning to King Fing Temple, Ning picked the grapes one by one, put them into the basin, and washed them clean with water. The little fox was next to him, acting coquettishly to Ning again. This white fox was very clingy. The little falcon stood on a high place, silently looking at Ning. Foxes were carnivores. They ate mice, fish, frogs, birds, insects, and the like, and also ate fruits. Ning saw that the little fox was cute so he threw it one or two grapes. The little fox took the grapes with its mouth and ate them. It seemed very satisfied. Ning waited for the grapes to be washed and dried naturally before he started brewing. To make fruit wine from grapes, you must choose the grapes that have just ripened. Unripe grapes will have a stringent taste when brewing, and those that are too ripe will have precipitation. Then, threshing, crushing, and removing the stalks. Here, you must pay attention. Red wine needs to be fermented with skin, while white wine needs to be crushed, squeezed, and fermented with juice. As Ningf processed the grapes, he explained at a leisurely pace. What he did not know was that most of the netizens' attention was not on how he told everyone how to brew wine, but on the process of his brewing. A tiest priest wearing a long robe was concentrating on brewing fruit wine, which in itself was very enjoyable to watch. Moreover, Ningf's hands were long and straight, which was undoubtedly more attractive to some girls who controlled their hands. The world was so big, and everyone cared about different things. For example, men had leg control, waist control, collarbone control, foot fetishism, and of course, they liked to knead dough and so on. Women were generally good looking, and they also liked abdominal muscles. There were many people who controlled them by hand. After Ning finished the grapes, he took out the wine jug that had been cleaned and sterilized at high temperature. He put the grapes in, added white sugar, fruit wine starter, and so on. After a whole set of operations, it looked exceptionally professional. The suitable fermentation temperature for grape wine is 20-25 degrees Celsius. In this way, the main fermentation can be completed in about 7 days. If it's 15-20 degrees Celsius, it will take half a month. After the main fermentation is completed, the grape wine will need to be filtered, pressed, clarified, and sterilized. After watching Ningf's operation, the netizens were amazed. At this time, Ningf took out another bag of apples. The apples were bought on the way back from the supermarket. They were also used to make fruit wine. The brewing of apple wine is similar. The longer the time, the more flavorful the wine. The wine and apple wine sold usually need a year to ferment. But I prefer the time when the fruit wine was just brewed. It was sweet and had a little taste of wine. In the past, there was an old man selling fruit wine in Kinshan village. But he left later. When I was young, my master would occasionally brew some. My master's level was relatively poor and the fruit wine he brewed was sour and bitter. Later, after I researched and understood it myself, I brewed the fruit wine myself. Listening to Ningf's narration, the netizens were momentarily entranced. Some stories did not have so many climaxes, but they were still fascinating. Ningf slowly narrated the interesting story of brewing wine. Coupled with the scene at this moment, the whole thing was like a beautiful painting. The pace of life was too fast now. Many people yearned for this kind of unrestrained life, but it was just a yearning. Society was like a clockwork machine that operated continuously. Everyone was a cog. As long as you were in it, there would be countless cogs that forced you to keep turning. Unless you had the financial strength or saw through everything, you didn't have to pay for reality, and you could pursue your dreams without any scruples. Ningf's live broadcast allowed the netizens to feel that this kind of life was real. In this way, they would be able to relax physically and mentally. Abbey Dean Ning, tell us about your master. The previous Abbey Dean of King Fing Abbey. Yeah. 
Do you know where he went? The netizens became curious again. My master, he went to live the life he wanted to live, Ningf said with a smile. Ningf knew that the netizens liked to fantasize. They guessed that his master must be an unworldly expert who lived in seclusion deep in the mountains. Or perhaps he was a figure like the old celestial master or the sweeping monk in an anime. But in reality, his master was just an ordinary person. He was ancient and warm-hearted, and at the same time, he greatly respected traditional culture and Taoist heritage. How could there be so many unworldly experts in the world? They just had their own lives. After the preparation work for the fruit wine was done, Ningf sealed the wine jar and sterilized it. Then, he put the wine jar into the cellar. The temperature in the cellar is very suitable. After seven days, I will be able to drink the fruit wine that I brewed myself. Ningf clapped his hands in satisfaction. There were some things that were as interesting as the process and the results. For example, when the students gathered for a barbecue in the wild, some people liked to sit there and wait for the barbecue to be done. Some people liked the barbecue process, spreading seasoning while controlling the barbecue to be evenly heated, it also had a different flavor, at this time, it was already getting late. From picking grapes in the afternoon to making wine, he had spent a lot of effort. In the evening, he went to Grandma Wang's house to cook. The broadcast stopped for an hour before he came back after eating there. It was midsummer now. The most comfortable time on the mountain was when the sun had just set. The evening breeze was blowing, making people feel particularly cool. Ningf sat in the courtyard under the eaves and took a scripture book from the book collection. He sat there and began to recite it silently, chanting morning lessons and evening lessons every day. If it was a regular large-scale Taoist temple, these were the systems that were adhered to every day. However, Ningf had lived like this with his master since he was young. His master had never required him to recite scriptures at a specific time every day. Some things worked when one's heart was sincere. Of course, his master would also require Ningf to recite the scriptures every few days to learn about the origins and inheritance of Taoism. Ningf sat cross-legged. Little Fox saw that there was a gap between Ningf's legs so it crawled between them and lay comfortably on Ningf's legs. Its hind legs were attracted, and its legs were extended forward. Its head was resting on its front legs, and its eyes were narrowed. It did not take long for it to fall asleep. The little falcon also flew onto Ningf's shoulder. The little falcon was still in its infancy. It was not very big, but it already had the bearing of a king. This scene was also very beautiful. Under the starry night, the wind blew. There was a lone lamp in the courtyard. A Taoist priest was chanting scriptures. The white fox was lying on his legs, and the falcon was standing on his shoulders. It was as if these two animals had a spirit and were listening to his teachings. The netizens were also stunned by this scene. There were no exaggerated performances or eye-catching movements, but this scene was something that the people who had lived in the city for a long time had never seen before. It was like a scene that could only appear in a fantasy. There were only two animals now. If there were other animals in the future, what would the scene be like when the Taoist priest recited the scriptures? Look, the little falcon seems to be listening to Abbey Dean Ning reciting the sutras. So is the little fox. Look how soundly she sleeps. Why did I suddenly think of the rat spirits who stole the oil lamp of Buddha in Journey to the West? Because those two rat spirits are very beautiful. I still remember them. Ha ha, do you mean that the little fox and the little falcon are ready to become immortals after listening to the sutras? Although it's a little surreal, this scene is really similar. It's magical. I want a fox like this too. The netizens were very excited because this scene was too beautiful. When the man saw Ningf's live stream, he thought that Abidin Ning was amazing. The process of reciting the sutras had the feeling of becoming immortals. When the woman saw Ningf's live stream, she thought that he was so handsome. He was really so handsome. He was such a handsome man. At the same time, in the hanging kettle clinic, Jiangs was sitting in front of the computer, busy with her work. Her Douyin account and website B account had already received over 3 million followers in just a few days and the video she made was the content of Ningf's live broadcast. It was not just a simple clip, but the background music and scene changes were added. Video clips mainly depended on the mood and overall feeling. The video made by Jiang's was the most interesting. When people saw the video, 
They could feel Ningf's coolness and calmness. She was also the host of Ningf's video editing that netizens liked the most. Jiangs had told Ningf about this, and Ningf gladly agreed. Usually, the host helped that netizens would edit their own videos and post them on Douyin and website B to gain huge popularity. For example, Master Lose Can You Kill Me with 18 Cards? I'll eat this video on the spot. PDD's Reverse Smoking, Laughing Pigs Cry, Mars Square Fighting, Positioning and so on. There were also the recently popular Lord Heretic. Other people have trophies behind them. Why do you have a flower pot behind them? And so on. Not to mention Station B, these anchors had been active in all kinds of editing for a long time, which had invisibly increased their popularity. The video that Jiangs was making now was about Ningf brewing fruit wine. From the process of Ningf picking grapes to brewing wine, she planned to wait until the wine was ready before editing it. Then, a complete video would be done, and there would definitely be a lot of people who would like to watch it. Like many die-hard fans. She spared no effort to accumulate popularity for Ningf, especially when she saw the scene of Ningf reciting the scriptures, her heart was even more turbulent. Tomorrow, it should be acupuncture. Jiangs suddenly thought of it. At this moment, the introverted girl like her was actually looking forward to taking off her clothes and lying in front of a man. This kind of humiliation made her particularly infatuated. Chapter 76 Abidin Ning was a craftsman. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. You should be more open minded and confident. After the acupuncture, Ningf said to Jiangs with a smile. At that moment, Jiangs was lying in front of him. Ningf knew that it was not appropriate for him to stay here. After putting away the silver needles, he stood up and walked out. Abidin Ning. Jiangs held back her shyness and called out with a flushed face. Ningf turned around. Well, can you wait for a moment? I want to thank you personally, Jiangs said. At that moment, Jiangs had already sat up from the bed. Her fair skin was covered with sweat. A strand of her hair stuck to her cheek, making her look even more charming. Sure, Jiang Feng just wants to treat me to a meal. I'll be right outside. With that, Ningf left. Ningf's expression was calm, while Jiangs was somewhat disappointed. After that, Jiang Feng treated Ningf to a meal at the best hotel in Kin City, followed by Jiang's. The three of them chatted and laughed. Jiang Feng was very grateful to Ningf, and their relationship gradually became familiar. In the afternoon, Ningf returned to King Feng Temple. Yong Tao drove a truck over, and the one behind the truck was the camphor wood. The procedures have been completed. Here's your wood, Yong Tao said with a smile. Just leave it by the roadside. Ningf looked at the camphor wood and smiled in satisfaction. You're doing well now. The Taoist temple has become so beautiful, Yong Tao said as he toppled the camphor wood from the car and got out. It's still under construction. The complete effect hasn't been released yet. Ningf, to be honest, I felt that you were the most special in high school. I also felt that you didn't work so hard. You always came first in your age in every exam. I feel that a person like you will definitely stand at the top of cities like Qingdu and Pudong in the future. Hearing Yong Tao's words, Ningf shook his head, he smiled and said, stop. There are so many cities and schools across the country. You are the number one in every year. How can you make a name for yourself so easily? Don't you all graduate and go to work? You're different. You're really different. I'm not the only one who feels this way. The others also feel the same. You're the kind of person who seems to be able to do everything easily. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not talk about this anymore. You can have lunch at my place. Ningf smiled helplessly. Yong Tao also shrugged. He did not understand why Ningf would come back. Could it really be for the inheritance of the Taoist temple? It was already the 21st century. This kind of concept had long disappeared. No one would believe it anymore. I don't think we can eat anymore. There's a problem at the Golden Monkey Conservation Area. One of our colleagues, the Golden Monkey Rangers, hasn't returned yet. I have to go take a look. There's such a thing? Who is it? Old Jang? Yeah, there are too few people who are willing to be wildlife patrol officers nowadays. Only old Jang is willing to work there. Okay, then pay attention to your safety. By the way, we agreed that you're my best man. There won't be any problems on my wedding day, right? Don't worry, I'll crawl over even if I have to crawl. Ha ha ha, I'll wait for you then. Then, 
Yong Tao drove away in the truck. Ning knew that Yong Tao was also a person who loved nature and animals, and was willing to protect this place. There were many people who liked animals, but very few people were willing to sacrifice their youth. Everyone liked a different way of life. Now that the camphor wood had arrived, Ning could also make plans for the next step. He went to the carpenter in the village to borrow tools. After returning to King Fing Temple, he explained to the netizens, Dear viewers, next I will have the fragrant camphor wood to make two plaques. Nowadays, traditional carpenter tools are very rare. Most of them already use mechanical tools. However, because the process of making plaques is not complicated, I plan to use traditional carpenter tools to make them. Square ruler, saw, plane, chisel, wood file, ink bucket. Ning took out the tools one by one. Damn. I know carpentry too. Isn't it just making a plaque? Can't you just chop a small piece of wood? Uh, strictly speaking, wood products have a high requirement for accuracy. This is also why they are all mechanized now. It is very difficult to use traditional techniques to make a plaque. It's not that easy to cut. Why don't you try cutting one? This is a delicate job. Don't think it's that simple. Yeah? At this moment, Ningf had already raised his axe and started cutting camphor wood. It was not convenient to wear a long robe when doing work. Ningf specially went to change into a pair of wide-legged jeans and a black half-sleeve. This kind of clothing was not afraid of being dirty and could even resist wood chips. The plaque of King Fing Temple is about 1.2 meters long, so we took a bit more. Ningf hacked down with his axe. Each axe would deepen a mark on the trunk. After about a dozen strikes, Ningf cut off the excess wood on one side. This scene also had a sense of violent aesthetics. My family makes wood. I can't believe that Abby D. Ning could cut off such a thick tree trunk so quickly. Amazing. Fellow workers, tree trunks are very difficult to cut down. Usually, machines are used to cut them. This streamer is really fierce. I didn't believe it when I heard that someone was a traditional carpenter. After watching this, I believed it. Then, Ningf cut off the other side of the tree trunk, leaving only a thick piece of wood. After that, he cut off the two sides slightly and made a rough shape of a rectangle. He measured the distance with a square ruler and sawed out the mold of the plaque with a saw. Now that the mold is made, the only things left are polishing and planing. The woodworkers usually prepare three types of planers, rough planer, fine planer, and light planer. I need to use all of these. There are also slotting planers and line planers at the back. They are more professional tools. When using the planer, you must pay attention to the downward force, not just a simple forward push. Ningf explained. He began to polish the plaque. The plaque that Ningf had made with a saw was a rectangular shape with a concave interior. The four sides were beveled and the large words in the middle were even more prominent. When the few wood-making netizens saw Ningf's actions, they were all amazed. Ningf's actions were very skilled. It was obvious that he had done carpentry before. After the plane was shaved, Ningf used a slot plane and a line plane to outline the lines. This move also amazed everyone. This streamer is very good. An expert knows the ropes. I have been working as a carpenter for about 10 years. The streamer's basic skills are very good. Yeah, it's rare for a traditional carpenter to have such standards. What? An outdoor streamer knows carpentry? Oh, it's Abby Dean Ning. It's fine then. Now, no matter what Abby Dean Ning does, I'm not surprised. I even feel that it's only right. So there's so much to be said for making a plaque. Ningf was so focused on making the plaque, although the camphor wood had withered, its unique fragrance was still there. This fragrance could both dispel insects and refresh the mind. It was a rare treasure. Ningf polished the plaque bit by bit. Every blind spot and every detail was carefully polished. Ningf had a very good advantage which was that he was very focused when doing things. When a man was focused on doing something, he was very handsome. That kind of focused gaze, serious expression, coupled with a strong body, made the male hormones explode. After the plaque was polished, its basic appearance was revealed. The plaque was square and angular, looking exceptionally grand. Good job. The ten-year-old carpenter could not help but praise. An expert would know the basics. The plaque made by Ningf had a very high smoothness and smoothness on the surface. It looked like a mirror. The angle of the beveled surface was consistent from beginning to end, and it was neat and tidy. The simpler the geometry, 
the more difficult it was to make it. This was because it required more details. Ningth's work was perfect in terms of details. There were no flaws at all. Abidin Ning's work is really good. I feel that something is wrong. How do you know that Abidin Ning's work is good? I felt it before. Ha ha ha. 6666. The netizens were delighted again. After that, Ningth did the same thing and made the second plaque. The second plaque was slightly smaller. It was the plaque of the Sanking Palace. The embryonic form of the plaque has been completed. The next step is to engrave the words. Before engraving the words, write down the three words King Fing Templar with a brush. Then, use a file and other tools to engrave the words. Ningth looked at the two completed plaques and smiled in satisfaction. The streamer plans to carve the characters personally. Nowadays, it's very convenient to carve the characters with lasers. The characters on wood are usually carved by lasers. Carving the characters by hand is too risky, and it's very easy to have flaws. Yeah. It feels quite difficult. Ningth looked behind the bullet screen and smiled faintly. King Fing Temple is my Taoist temple. I want to make these two plaques by myself. Chapter 77 This is my Taoist temple. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningth took out a brush, an inkstone, and ink. My master likes to write calligraphy. It can be considered one of the few hobbies of the elderly. So, I've been learning calligraphy from my master since I was young. Ningf began to grind and slowly explained. Chinese tradition had always been inseparable from ink, paper, and inkstone. To take the simplest example, during the 2008 Olympic Games, brush, ink, and landscape took up a lot of space. That was because it was the essence of Chinese culture, a treasure that could amaze the world. Taoist writing? I suddenly thought of those masters. A netizen suddenly said. His words made many people echo him. Some time ago, it was very popular online. A so-called master with disheveled hair and a white robe demonstrated Chinese calligraphy. He held a huge brush and casually waved it on the paper and the crowd applauded. This was still conservative. There was another master who was even more ruthless. He had long hair and dipped his head in ink. Then, he used his head to scribble on the paper. Just like that, there were many other disciples around him. They seemed to be middle-aged people in their thirties. They were clapping and cheering. The clown was in the palace hall, and the master was wandering. A while ago, there was a very popular painter on Duian. He was already close to fifty years old. His hair and beard were a little white, and his clothes were tattered. He sat on the street and made a living by drawing on fans. He could only draw five times a day, earning around 240 yuan a day. His paintings were purely handmade and lifelike. After they were exposed on the internet, they immediately became popular. Although this artist was older, his eyes were very clear and pure. He looked very sincere. After he became popular, Someone offered a very high price to buy his fan. He was still the same as before, drawing only so many times a day. Perhaps his realm was something that those so-called masters would never be able to achieve. After Ning finished grinding the ink, he took out a wolf's hair brush and dipped it in the ink, allowing the tip of the brush to absorb it fully. When he held the brush, a few people immediately felt that something was wrong and began to pace themselves. There was no lack of people on the internet who wanted to show off their sense of superiority to others. In fact, there were many such people. The host only uses three fingers to hold a pen. Are you sure you know calligraphy? I've studied calligraphy for three years. It means that the way to use a pen is the five-fingered method of holding a pen. I use all five fingers. The emphasis is on press. Press hook, top, and touch to ensure that the pen is held securely. Three fingers? It looks like a bit of an amateur. I thought he was a calligraphy master. Could it be that he's also trying to sensationalize the crowd? It's fine if the priest doesn't know calligraphy. There's no need. A few netizens who felt that they understood began to explain the situation. Some netizens who didn't understand the situation quickly followed showing that they were equally talented. The dogs in the village barked. The other dogs also barked, but they didn't know why. Lugzun. Ning also noticed the bullet comments. He just coldly shook his head. There are many ways to use a brush. There are three fingers holding a brush, five fingers holding a brush, holding a pipe, and so on. The most commonly used method now is the five fingers holding a brush, 
The three fingers holding a brush is the ancient Chinese way of holding a brush, Su Dongpa once said, there is no fixed method for holding a brush, you have to make the empty space wider. This means that there is no fixed method for holding a brush, as long as the palm of your hand is empty, it will be easy to write. Those who don't understand can go to Baidu on their own. There is no need to show your ignorance in the live broadcast room. Hearing Ningf's words, the person who initially had the rhythm really went to Baidu to look it up. In fact, he had just started learning calligraphy. He had also learned how to write with his five fingers from his teacher. He did not know anything else, but he could not help but want to show it off. Now that he was so popular with Ningf, he suddenly felt ashamed. Ningf was not disturbed by these people. He held a brush with his right hand and prepared to write. There are three forms of writing with a brush, occipital wrist, hanging wrist, and hanging elbow. Occipital wrist is the wrist resting on the table. Hanging wrist is the elbow resting on the table, hanging wrist, and the method I use is hanging elbow. This method is more free, and you can freely use it. Just as Ningf said, the hanging elbow was the arm holding the brush that was completely hanging in the air. The words written in this way were the most elegant and domineering. Kingfing Temple. Ningf's movements were completed in one go. The brush seemed to have a soul under his hand as it danced wantonly. He wrote these three big words on the plaque in very standard regular script. So handsome, so cool. These words are so beautiful. DMN, he really knows how to write with a brush. What's that word called again? Yes. The brush moves like a dragon and snake, I know that. It's a vivid image of the calligraphy. It's from Li Bei's cursive calligraphy. A dragon and snake move from time to time. The left side, the right side, the crease, and the lightning strike. Ha ha ha, the netizens are all literate people. I'm impressed. Dragons and snakes are in the brush, snakes and rats are in the nest. Nest. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon, dragon and horse spirit. Since ancient times, the bullet screen had produced talented people. Initially, everyone was still praising Ningf's calligraphy, but in a short while, the netizens started to play with the idiom dragon and dragon again. However, the scene of Ningf writing calligraphy still shocked many people. Ningf looked at the words on the plaque, and a satisfied smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Kingfing Temple. This was his Taoist temple. Then, he wrote three words on another board, Sanking Hall. After writing the words on the board, the next step was to carve. The words had to be carved into the wood. The carving of the words was even more delicate than the wood carving. Ningf held a file in his hand and started to carve again. This was the board of Kingfing Temple representing the facade of King Fing Temple. He did not want to make the plaque unusually overbearing and aggressive, but he hoped that this plaque could also be generous and square. Therefore, when he carved, he carved with emotion. He just immersed himself in the carving. The little falcon had gone somewhere to play. Every time when he worked seriously, the little fox would lie down at the side and quietly close her eyes to rest. In the end, the two plaques were completed. Ningf looked at the plaques that he had personally made and smiled in satisfaction. I have to go buy some things tomorrow. Paint, glaze, and seal the wax. The new tablet of Kingfing Temple will be completed. Congratulations, Abby Dean Ning. It's really amazing. I'm amazed after watching the whole process. I salute the traditional crafts. This is the real master. At the same time, in a small city, a middle-aged man who had experienced a lot looked at Ningf in the live broadcast and smiled very happily. He's really promising. He's much better than me. I knew this kid would be extraordinary in the future. Kingfing Temple will definitely flourish in his hands. What are you smiling for? Hurry up and wash the apples. Jaekian will be back in a while. A middle-aged woman's voice came from behind him. She sounded a little nagging. I'm coming. I'm coming. The middle-aged man was scolded. Instead, he smiled happily and immediately got up to wash the apples. Dot. The next morning, Ningf turned on the live broadcast as usual. He first went to do morning exercises for a while, then took a shower and had breakfast. At this time, he received a call. It was the forest ranger Zipeng, a colleague of Yong Tao. Hello, Ningf. Did Yong Tao go to your place? Zipeng's voice was a little anxious. Yong Tao. Didn't he go to pick up old Jang? Why? Didn't he go back? Yeah, he didn't pick up his phone either. I'm dying of anxiety. 
Zipeng said again. Ning realized that something was wrong, so he asked again, then, Ranger Old Jang, did he go back? Not yet. I have already contacted the search and rescue team and the armed police. I'm worried that something might have happened to them. Okay, I got it. After hanging up the phone, Ning felt a little uneasy. In the depths of Mount Kin, cars could not go there which meant that the members of the search and rescue team could only go in on foot. This kind of progress would undoubtedly be very slow. Yong Tao, I'm getting married. The bride is Lin Fang. Hee hee, you're my best man. There won't be any problems that day, right? Thinking of Yong Tao's words, Ningf did not hesitate at all. I have to go and see what happened. Following that, Ningf quickly changed into his hiking boots, carried his hiking bag and took his Sumu bow as he rushed into the depths of Mount Kin. Chapter 78, Rescue the Golden Monkey. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. Yesterday, Yong Tao said that old Jiang went to the Golden Monkey Reserve, so Yong Tao must have gone there too. Ningf was running on the mountain road, thinking to himself. The drone followed closely behind him. The little falcon was also hovering above his head. What is the streamer doing? Why did he go up the mountain in such a hurry? It's a little unusual. Abby Ning didn't say what he was going up the mountain for this time. Didn't the phone call just now say that his friend is still in the mountain and hasn't come back? Friend? Is that the forest ranger? Yes. It's him. Abby Ning went to look for his friend. The responsibility of the forest stranger is to protect the forest, but they have a specific patrol route, so there shouldn't be any danger. Abby Ning's expression doesn't seem right. It's the first time I've seen him so serious. The netizens began to discuss among themselves. Ningf did not have the time to care so much. He was only speeding up his journey. The Golden Monkey Nature Reserve was not too far away. Ningf moved forward at full speed and in about an hour and a half, he entered this area. This area was very large, spanning three mountains. Little Falcon, Ningf shouted loudly. When the little falcon heard his words, it immediately flew down and landed on Ningf's forearm. Go up and look for traces of humans. Tell me if you find any, Ningf said to the little falcon. Gaya, the little falcon cried out as if it was responding. It immediately flapped its wings and flew high into the sky disappearing in the blink of an eye. Seeing Ningf's actions, the netizens were all dumbfounded. What was going on? Giving orders to the little falcon? It could understand? Was this for real? The netizens felt that their understanding had been overturned. In fact, Ningf had fed the little falcon so much bird feed and had the skill to tame birds. He was confident that the little falcon could understand what he was saying. Falcons were one of the animals with the best eyesight in nature. There was nothing better than a falcons to find people in the forest. At the same time, Ningf continued his journey into the forest. At this moment, his expression changed. He saw a brand new beast trap not far in front of him. Is that a beast trap? A careful netizen also noticed this problem. Golden Monkey Nature Reserve. Why is there a beast trap? Could it be a hunter in the mountains? After Ningf saw the beast trap, he used a wooden stick to break the trap, and then put the beast trap into the backpack. Where did this person come from, to be so bold? Ningf's expression was somewhat solemn. In the past few years, the education work had been done very well. The people in the mountains were only allowed to hunt wild boars and rabbits, and only those who had the hunting license could do so. The rest of the villagers were all prohibited from hunting. The people in the village were also doing a good job in this aspect, and there were very few poachers. Moreover, there were wild giant pandas in the depths of Kinshan village, and poachers generally did not dare to come. Ningf continued to walk up the mountain. After walking for about half an hour, he did not find any traces of a beast trap on the road. At this moment, Ningf suddenly heard a sharp cry, which sounded very painful. It's the cry of the golden monkey. Ningf reacted. He hurriedly looked for the sound. As expected, he saw a golden monkey in the grass not far away. Its right foot was caught in a trap, and its wound was badly mutilated. The netizens also saw this scene in real time. It's the golden monkey. It's injured. This damn poacher. 
Don't they have any sympathy? How could they do it? There are many dark sides in the world that you can't see. We can only thank the country for letting us live in the sunshine. That monkey is so pitiful. I'm most afraid of seeing such a scene. The netizens were very worried about the golden monkey. Some of the more emotional girls even had tears in their eyes. Abby Dean Ning, help it. The netizens prayed. Ningf would do it. Even if the netizens did not need to say it. He approached the golden monkey. When the golden monkey saw that someone was coming, it immediately bared its teeth at Ningf and issued a strong warning. Ningf felt a pain in his heart. The golden monkey was a relatively docile animal. Although it was sometimes very naughty, it had never been so fierce. The only possibility was that the golden monkey was facing a life-threatening situation. The endless fear in its heart had turned into a fierce nature. Don't be afraid, I'm here to help you. Ningf continued to approach him slowly and maintained a gentle attitude. The golden monkey was still baring its teeth and shouting at him, but it did not resist so fiercely. Ningf touched the animal trap with both hands. In the next second, he exerted a little strength and broke the animal trap completely. The golden monkey pulled out its right leg and was able to escape. Thank you, Abby Dean Ning. A good man has a safe life. Thank you for saving the golden monkey. Ning took a look at the golden monkey's wound. The teeth of the animal trap bit into the bone. The bone of this golden monkey is broken. Ning's tone was full of concern and a little angry. Don't be afraid, I will help you. Ning said gently to the golden monkey. The golden monkey was a primate and had a high IQ. It could feel that Ningf had no ill intentions towards it. Then, Ningf cut off a branch from a fir tree and used a knife to carve out two small wooden planks. Ningf came to the golden monkey's side and took out a trauma ointment and stuck it on the golden monkey's wound. This ointment was a prop from the lucky drawer, and it was extremely effective. Then, Ningf took out a bandage from his backpack and fixed two small wooden boards on both sides of the golden monkey's fractured right leg. He used the bandage to wrap the wooden boards together. The ointment is very effective, and it can also promote the golden monkey's fracture. Using the wooden boards to fix it can ensure that the fracture will recover normally. Ningf said softly, while Ningf was doing all this, the golden monkey just looked at him quietly. I'm sorry, I have to find someone now. I don't have time to take care of you. After bandaging the golden monkey, Ningf said apologetically to the golden monkey. Under normal circumstances, Ningf would definitely bring the injured golden monkey to the forestry department or the animal management association to let them treat the injured golden monkey and release it back to nature. But there was no time now. Ningf could only say sorry and continue to look for Yong Tao and the patrol officer, Old Jang. The netizens were all very touched when they saw this scene. Whether a person was kind-hearted or not, it could be seen from his attitude toward animals. Ningf was a kind-hearted person. Gaya. At this moment, the little falcon flew back. Have you found it? Where is it? Ning asked anxiously. Gaya. The little falcon cried out and immediately flew forward with Ning. This scene made the netizens exclaim again. The little falcon is really leading the way. It can actually understand what Abby Dean Ning said just now. This bird got. How clever. Ning began to run wildly. He was very fast, like a cheetah, shuttling through the forest. After running for about 15 minutes, Ning finally saw the figure of Yong Tao. At this moment, Yong Tao was hiding on the trunk of a big tree, offering his body as an offering. He was hiding very well. If it were not for the little falcon leading the way, Ningf would not have found any traces of Yong Tao. Ningf quickly jumped onto the tree and patted Yong Tao's shoulder. What's wrong with you? Why didn't you go back in one night? What are you doing here? After being patted on the shoulder by Ningf, Yong Tao was obviously shocked. He turned around and saw Ningf, and his expression eased up. Then, Yong Tao lowered his voice and said angrily, it's the poachers. There are three of them. They are poaching golden monkeys here. Chapter 79. They had guns. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Ningf looked down from the tree where Yong Tao was pointing. Sure enough, about 100 meters away, he could see three men in dirty robes tidying up something. Each of them was carrying a sack. Some dark red oozed out from the sack. Poachers. The netizens were shocked when they saw these three people. This was the first time they had seen poachers in the real world. Many people who dared to take the risk of breaking the law to hunt were desperados. Just like in the movie Kekek Silly, 
under the temptation of huge benefits, poachers would completely lose their humanity. Did you call the police? Ning fasked seriously. They found me when I went up the mountain. I lost my phone and they were still looking for me. I didn't dare to go down, so I could only hide here, Yong Tao said with some guilt. You did the right thing. Ning heaved a sigh of relief. Fortunately, it was dark in the forest at night. It was very difficult to find people, so Yong Tao escaped the disaster. I've been hiding here. They're down there. Ning called the police first. In fact, when Ningf's live broadcast saw the poachers, many netizens chose to call the police. Now, everyone's awareness of the rule of law was very strong. The line of the police in Kin City was always busy, and more and more people called them. The armed police, the public security, and the search and rescue team were all mobilized. Don't worry, they can't escape. Then, Ningf controlled the drone to fly toward the poachers. In the information society now, as long as the portrait of the criminal was exposed, all the information about the criminal would be found out. What Ning had to do was to take a photo of the poacher's face. Brother-in-law, it's about time. It's time to go. Among the poachers, a short man said, what if the man in public clothes yesterday goes back to the police? His phone was smashed by me. What are you afraid of? I've seen the map. It's at least four hours from the nearest village and it's night road. He definitely can't run back, Li Duang said fiercely. They had found Yong Tao at about 3 o'clock in the morning yesterday. However, Yong Tao was very smart at that time. He immediately threw away the flashlight and escaped in the darkness. Two more hours. Li Duang also knew that the situation was urgent, but he wasn't very worried. He was confident that as long as he escaped to the mountains behind them, the police wouldn't be able to catch them at all. After all, Li Duang grew up in the mountains. Old Li, what is that? At this moment, another person beside him pointed to the sky and asked. Li Duang looked up and saw the drone flying straight towards him. Fook, cover your face. Li Duang reacted very quickly and directly covered his face with a coarse cloth. The other two hurriedly imitated him. The netizens in the live broadcast room originally planned to take a screenshot of the poacher's faces and send it to the local public security officers as soon as they saw this scene. Now, they were also shocked. These poacher's reactions were really fast. However, this was only the beginning. In the next second, Li Duang took out a shotgun from his back. Bang! The bullets of the shotgun hit the drone and the drone immediately shook a few times. At the same time, the camera lens also cracked, but the live broadcast interface was still there. They have guns. Oh my god, these poachers have guns. The netizens were stunned. The poacher's sudden shot had really shocked everyone. Abby Dean Ning, run. It's too dangerous. Abby Dean Ning, run. The netizens shouted with concern again. Ningf was currently looking at the live broadcast interface on his phone. He also wanted to see the appearance of the poachers. Now that he saw this situation, Ningf's expression became solemn. This group of poachers was not simple. The drone swayed and flew away. Ningf did not have time to care about this. At this time, Li Duang received a call. Hello, it's me. What did you say? There's a live streamer coming. It's 20 degrees west of the mountain. Okay, I got it. Don't worry, it's nothing. Li Duang hung up the phone. The next second, he turned around and took out his binoculars, looking directly in Ningf's direction. Because of the live broadcast just now, Ningf had been discovered. The distance between the two sides was about 100 meters. Li Duang brought two people and walked directly in their direction. Oh no. Ning fused his binoculars and also saw this scene clearly. Old Bai, hurry up and leave. At the same time, Ningf immediately turned off the live broadcast. A second before he turned off the live broadcast, the netizens only heard another gunshot coming from the pitch black live broadcast room. Bang! What's the situation? The live broadcast has been cut. Why are the gunshots again? Where's Abby Dean Ning? Is Abby Dean Ning alright? Abby Dean Ning, come back quickly. What are you doing? Streamer, run. The poachers are inhumane. Streamer, run. The netizens were panicking. At this moment, Many of them could not sit still. They could only stare at the dark screen of the live broadcast room and pray. What's going on? Ningf and Yong Tao were originally running outside. The forest was densely packed with trees, 
so the poachers would not be able to catch up to them under normal circumstances. However, the sound of the gun was so strong that Ningf did not expect it. Ningf stopped and looked back, only to find that the poachers did not shoot at them, but accidentally fired. The reason for the accidental firing was because of the patrol guard, Old Jang. At this moment, Old Jang was pouncing on Li Duang's body, biting Li Duang's ear tightly, and the corner of his mouth was a bloody mess. Li Duang cried out in pain. The other two poachers hurriedly pulled Old Jang down. A small part of Li Duang's right ear had been bitten off, and his face was covered in blood. The patrol guard, Old Jang, was a kind person. He was usually gentle to people and was very popular in the village. At this moment, Old Jang was like a crazy person. He no longer had any scruples. Fook, old thing, you dare to bite me. Li Duang used the butt of his gun to smash Old Jang's forehead. Old Jang immediately fell to the ground, his face covered in blood. Brother-in-law, another poacher said with concern. Li Duang ignored him and only looked at Old Jang. At the same time, he pointed his shotgun at his chest and threatened, old thing. We were just looking for you. You jumped out on your own. I'll ask you again, where is the Monkey King? Li Duang came to this mountain to hunt, his main goal was the monkey brain of the Golden Monkey King. There was a wealthy man whose son was sick. That wealthy man believed that the monkey brain of the Monkey King could save his son's illness and was willing to pay two million for a Golden Monkey King. This money was enough for Li Duang to take a risk. Old Jiang didn't answer but just stared at him with hatred. Old thing, let me tell you, the police are coming soon, and I have no patience. If you don't tell me, you will definitely die. Li Duang continued to threaten, his eyes without a trace of emotion. This was a no man's land, a place where humanity was destroyed. Ning also noticed this scene. It's old Jiang. What is he doing? Saving us. When Ning turned around and saw old Jiang, a trace of pity appeared on his face. I have to go back. What are you doing? It's time to go now. They have guns. What can you do if you go back? Yong Tao hurriedly stopped Ningf. You go first. I'm fine. Don't worry. Ningf threw down the backpack, only holding the Su wood bow and arrow, and went in the direction of the poachers. You. When Yong Tao saw that Ningf had returned so decisively, his face was full of hesitation and anxiety. He was about to get married, and those poachers had guns in their hands. No matter what angle he looked at it from, he should have left this place at this time. Damn it, I'm going all out. Yong Tao gritted his teeth and immediately chased after Ningf. He did not know why he had made such a stupid choice. 60 meters, 50 meters, 40 meters. Ningf increased his speed and hid behind a big tree. If I didn't see wrongly from the drone just now, there were three poachers and only one shotgun. Thinking of this, he suddenly exerted force and pulled the Su Mu Bao out to a full moon. Yong Ta saw this scene from behind and was dumbfounded. What did he want to do? At this moment, Li Duang was already very impatient. He could see that old Jiang still did not give in in the face of death. Old thing, count me unlucky. However, just as Li Duang was about to load and pull the trigger, a sound that made people's hearts tremble rang out from not far away. Whoosh. In the next second, Li Duang only felt a huge force coming from his hand. The Su Mu arrow was shot on the wooden cover of the hunting rifle. This shotgun was privately assembled by him. Other than the barrel, the trigger, and the barrel which were made of steel, the cover and the butt of the shotgun were all made of wood. Ningf's arrow was shot on the wooden part. In an instant, the shotgun flew out of Li Duang's hand. The cover had been completely shattered and could no longer support the force of the loading. In the next second, Ningf continued to rush towards Li Duang. Yong Tao was at the back with a dumbfounded expression. Chapter 80 Good Deeds. The netizens searched for animal traps together. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. When the search and rescue team and the armed police arrived at the scene, they were stunned. They saw three poachers tied firmly to a tree trunk. Next to them, Yong Tao was taking care of forest ranger old Jang, while Ningf was taking care of the golden monkey in a sack. Paramedics, quick! This way, the rescue team hurriedly carried a stretcher over. Yong Tao waved his hand, indicating that he was fine. Instead, he helped old Jiang lie down on the stretcher. More than ten golden monkeys died. How could they do that? Old Jiang was on the stretcher, 
facing the paramedics. He did not say anything about his injuries. Instead, he cried until he was in tears. Old Jang had no children and had always been a golden monkey patrolman. He liked golden monkeys very much. Now that he saw the poacher's zax open and the corpses of the monkeys one by one, he could no longer hold it in. The only fortunate thing was that in order to keep the monkey brains fresh, many golden monkeys were still alive and were rescued from the sacks. What happened here? The police looked at the forest ranger, Yong Tao, and asked curiously, Did you guys subdue these poachers? Ah. Yong Tao smacked his lips. He didn't know what to say. He looked at Ningf, and Ningf just gave him a look. Yong Tao was the only one who saw what happened. Just now, Ningf fought three poachers by himself, and a bird flew down from the sky to help him. In the end, one man and one bird easily subdued all three poachers. That scene was really cool. The poacher guns broke, so we went up together and won, Ningf explained to the police with a smile. Yong Tao wanted to say that Ningf did it alone, but Ningf stopped him. Ningf knew that Yong Tao was a public official. Catching poachers was a performance of great meritorious service. Public officials needed such meritorious service, which would be of great help to their careers. As for himself, he was just an idle person. The Zheng residents would give him a bonus and give him some recognition. It was dispensable. Moreover, Yong Tao was about to get married again. Now that he could make another contribution, it was a joyous occasion. Thank you, Ningf. Yong Tao thanked him sincerely. He was extremely grateful. In fact, if Ningf had chosen to leave the moment he turned around, he would not have ended up like this. Some courage was worth encouraging. It's nothing. Since everyone is here, I'll go back. The reporters will probably want to interview me later, so I'll leave them to you. I still have things to do. Ningf waved his hand at him, carried his backpack, and left. Ningf. Yong Tao looked at his departing back with unspeakable admiration in his heart. Dot. System, the drone is broken. How do I obtain a new one? Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an item. Drone. Intelligent. An intelligent drone. It can follow the host's live stream and automatically choose the angle of the camera. It can rely on the sun to charge itself. It has a powerful endurance ability. Just as he finished speaking, the system's voice sounded. What's going on? Is it a direct gift? Ningf guessed that the UAF was a necessary prop for the live stream system, so it was provided for free. Therefore, Ningf took out a new UAF and turned on the live stream immediately. Abby Dean Ning. Are you okay? We were scared to death just now. What happened with the gunshot? It scared me to the point that I broke out in a cold sweat. Abby Dean Ning, please don't be stupid. How's the poacher? As soon as he turned on the live stream, he saw a lot of bullet comments pouring in from the right. To be honest, he was a little touched by this scene. So many people that Ningf didn't know were concerned about his safety. Don't worry, I am fine. The poacher has been caught. Look over there. It's the search and rescue team and the police. Everything is fine now, Ningf explained to the netizens in the live broadcast room. At the same time, the live broadcast cut to the scene where the group of people behind were busy. Phew, that's great. You gave me a fright. Ha 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 ha. I'm relieved to see the police uncle. The poachers deserve their punishment. Everyone, don't worry. Poaching is a serious crime. These people poached golden monkeys. They are a national first class protected animal. They even have guns. I reckon they will never get out of prison for the rest of their lives. Such inhumane people deserve such punishment. Then, Ningf walked back to a certain area as if he was looking for something. A sharp eyed netizen saw this scene and hurriedly said, is the host looking for the golden monkey with a broken bone? That's right. Look at that crooked necked tree. I have an impression of it. The host found the golden monkey injured here. This. I don't know what to say. Is this the feelings of a Taoist priest? I'm in love. Ningf was indeed looking for the injured golden monkey. The people from the hunting and rescue team would take care of the poachers, but the monkeys in the wild might not. Squeak squeak. At this moment, the golden monkey smelled Ningf's scent and walked out from behind a tree trunk. The golden monkey looked a little comical. Its right leg was still wrapped in bandages as it hit the wooden board. When it walked, only its forearm was exerting strength. With its hind leg injured, the golden monkey could not climb up the tree. If it was left in the wild, it would die sooner or later. Ha ha, 
you're fine. That's great. Ningf heaved a sigh of relief and finally laughed. Then, Ningf called the search and rescue team. Yes, I'm in this area. This golden monkey is quite seriously injured. I'll check around and see if there are any other monkeys or traps. I'll wait for you guys to come over. Ningf chose to send the golden monkey to the Wildlife Conservation Association. They would be responsible for treating the injured wild animals and then releasing them. Of course, it was only limited to second class protected animals in the country. After all, the lives of animals in this era were not equivalent. Human society would definitely give more resources to precious animals. Dear viewers, in the afternoon, I plan to take a look around this forest. This time, I'm not looking for any mountain goods. I'm looking for other injured golden monkeys or hunting traps. If the traps are not removed completely, any animal that is attacked by the traps will basically die, Ningf said to the netizens in the live broadcast room. The netizens were amazed by Ningf's idea. Instantly, the bullet screens and gifts kept on coming. Nowadays, people's quality was getting higher and higher. Many people would always be touched by such kind acts. For example, in Duyin, someone specially found the baby seals that were entangled by fishing lines and cut the fishing lines off their bodies. There were stray dogs that fell into the water but did not go ashore. The kind-hearted university students would go down and pull them ashore. There was a careless mother duck. When she passed through the sewer, the seven or eight ducklings behind her all fell into the sewer through the cracks. The mother duck stamped her feet anxiously. A few kind-hearted people specially opened the lid of the sewer, they took out the ducklings one by one. There were also dogs whose heads were stuck in glass bottles. They would voluntarily seek help. People would break the glass bottles bit by bit to let the dogs out. There were many such people in society. What Ningf was doing now was the same. He was just looking for a trap that had been left behind. Perhaps he had saved the life of a golden monkey. The hunters should have set up traps from here. They would go all the way and then pull in the net from the back. According to the distance between the previous two traps, they should have set up a trap in an empty space. Ningf was focused on finding the beast trap. Abby Dean Ning, let the drone fly somewhere else. We'll help you find it too, a netizen said, and his words were immediately agreed by everyone. Yeah, you can find the drone too. We'll inform you through the bullet screen. Abby Dean Ning, set the gift alert to vibrate. When we find the beast trap, I'll send you a rocket to warn you. The netizens were thinking of something, and Ningf happily agreed. He smiled and said, we can look for it together, but there's no need to send gifts. I'll look at the bullet screen. As he said that, Ningf kept the drone at a certain height and searched in one direction at a constant speed while he went in another direction. At the same time, he turned off the voice input of the live broadcast. Who a uh, Ningf whistled again. Hearing the whistle, the little falcon flew down from the sky and landed on Ningf's forearm. The little falcon was now very good at controlling the strength of its claws. When it landed on Ningf's forearm, it gently clenched it. Ningf did not feel uncomfortable at all. You did well today. I'll go and pull some bird feed for you tonight. Ningf said with a smile while stroking the little falcon's feathers. When he was fighting with the three poachers, the little falcon saw that Ningf was in danger and immediately rushed down to scratch his brother-in-law's face. It could be considered as helping Ningf share some of his attention. The little falcon raised its chest proudly. Go around and see if there are any injured golden monkeys. Let me know if there are any, Ningf said. Then, Xiao Xiao also flew away. The rest of the time was spent by a Taoist priest leading a group of netizens to search for animal traps on the mountain. The netizens' eyes were much clearer. They found a total of four animal traps. Every time they found one, the live broadcast room would be filled with a carnival of gifts and bullet screens. Ningf himself only found two animal traps. Xiao Xiao did not find any other injured golden monkeys which was good news. It was not until late at night that Ningf returned to the Taoist temple. When the poacher Li Duang put on the handcuffs and sat in the police car, he was still in a confused state. He had grown up with a lot of experience. He had stolen a lot of hunting, and had even injured people with a gun. He was very fierce. His fighting ability, or rather, his killing ability, was very terrifying. In the end, that streamer was able to settle him with one kick. Li Duang touched his right cheek. He still felt pain. At that time, 
Ningth had dodged his dagger and kicked him unconscious in Madea. This gave him a memory that he would never forget for the rest of his life. It was just that he did not know if he still had a lifetime left.